watching Sally. Um, Hazel, thank you. I will you. continue that tomorrow, I promise. To be continued. <laughs> okay. um, sleep well, Hazel, no dodgy. Yes. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Crafters, this is a Hachanda announcement. We would like to inform you that our Hachanda buying crew have been busy searching for incredible brand new products and show ideas to inspire and stimulate all your crafty senses. So, watch out for Aileen's Original, Doodle Duck Designs, Etchol, Rose May, Rocks and Chains, Caterpillar Cross Stitch, Tulip, The Skinny Food Company, the Isabel Craft Collection, Staedtler, Hunt the Moon, Has Crafts and Star Glazers. We will be checking in our latest new product arrivals from 6pm on Thursday the 21st of January. Gates close at 6pm on Wednesday the 27th of January. So, join us on board flight Hachanda Air for our new arrivals event. Hello, I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. I'm Sam and we are from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company, Sam is my sister, and we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different, but what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to a Chanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on a Chanda.
Morning. I hope you are well. I just thought we should. Uh, I hope you're well. It's seven o'clock on Saturday morning. The date I'm unsure of. Um, the sixteenth, apparently the sixteenth already. Well, I never. The sixteenth on Saturday morning. Is it snowing where you are? Is it bleak? Is it bleak? I think it's just started snowing here. I think. I think. By the time I finish at five o'clock this afternoon, I could be sleeping in my car tonight. <laughs> I just, just putting that out there. Just going to put it out there now. If it carries on like this, I don't think I'll be going anywhere. But hey ho. Uh, right then. Um, yeah, we're not allowed to stay anywhere there. I text the hotel. They're not open either. So this could be an interesting day. Uh, right then, what we're we looking at, we are looking at a happy hour, is what we're looking at for this hour. It will be a jolly little hour. I don't know who will be jolly, someone will be jolly, that's why we call it a happy hour. Uh, you have this amount of time, 58 minutes and 47 seconds, to get the deals in front of me before the prices go back up. What are these prices and what are the items? I'm getting to it, don't worry. This is called filling time. So, let's kick straight, I don't know why I'm filling, we've got a lot of things to do. Um, we're on the Book of Faith as well. If you want us to come and say hello, uh, come on the Book of Faith. I know what's coming up, you see, and some of them. Uh, so, here we go. <laughs> well, no, there, well, there are, though, isn't there? Some of them you think, well, what? Until you get to them and really look at it, you think, well, actually, it's like, <laughs> it's like red liner tape. This is an essential. And this is what I like about these shows. They, they're very far and few between, but... I do, I enjoy a happy hour because everyone's on here and everyone has, a, we do have a good laugh. It, that's what it's about. And you get some bargains as well, you see. Things like these. Now, this is not a complete collection that I'm looking at tonight. We are missing a few. You're getting 12 rolls in total in this one. You're getting four of the three mil. Okay, so that's three there. Uh, you get four of the six mil. Which is that one. Uh, then you get two of the nine mil which is this one here, and then two of your 12 mil, okay? There is five metres on each, so you're going from your thinnest to your thickest, and you are getting everything in between as well. And all of that for 9 99 oh, I think that's a cracking little price, because sometimes you look at red liner tape and you think, do I need it now? Do I need it? And it's going to be that time you run out and you go, I should have got it then. I should have got it now. Especially when we've got a £10 saving on it as well. So you've already got £10 saving. You're already looking at five metres on each of the rolls for £9.99. £9.99. 082530 is your item number. Remember, you're getting 3 mil, 6 mil, 9 mil and 12 mil. It's Walter Strong, the big name of Walter Strong. Uh, for 9 99 Remember, if you're a Freedom member, that is a delivered price to your door. Can't grumble, can you? Can't grumble. Right then, let's press on. We've got a lot to get through. Uh, talking about tape, keeping it, see what we've done, keeping tape together. Uh, we are, it's as it is, uh, this is your Walter Strong, once again, crafting masking tape. Uh, 25 millimetres by 50 metres on each. So that's 50 metres on each, you're getting six rolls is what you're getting as well. That was the uh, Karen Keats, the Karen Keats Smackdown is what that is. Oh, yes, if you've not, we've got Jelly Bean Craft Card coming up in a minute, and if you've not seen Karen Keats, give it a little bang, you miss it out. Uh, so, uh, what is Walter Strong Masking Tape? Well, that's what it is. It is Walter Strong Crafting Masking Tape. Uh, basically, it's tacky, but not tacky. I know that. that. Uh, it's easy release. Easy tear. That's it. Uh, and it's got 14 days UV protection, uh, which means uh, if you do leave it out in the sun, <laughs> it ain't going to get a tab. Um, it also means, well, I don't know, why would tape have UV protection? So it doesn't bleach. So it doesn't bleach. <gasps> Good one, Jack. I suppose if you use it outside, if you, it doesn't bleach, but because it's low tackler, it's repositionable. Please do let me know. Why do you, why would tape, but I know we should know this stuff. <laughs> I'm not 
not going to lie. Um, it's UV protected. Uh, but it is super, it's super strong. Let's see if it pulls, let's see if it pulls the wallpaper. <laughs> this could go terribly, terribly wrong. Right, so it's on. Painting. La, 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 la. <laughs> You're throwing paint. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Then, oh, I put this on good. Uh, I'll just get that straight. Oh, you can't even see it. Look, blends in with the wall. Oh, and not and it's reusable, so I could reuse it again. And that was easy release. Look, we are very busy for this already. If that is not award-winning demo, and that shot, if that's not an award-winning shot, uh, crafting a uh, crafting man of the year influence. 2021, right here, here we go, uh, what's wrong, £9.98 pence is what we're looking at for this, uh, get it while you can, uh, for 9 pounds I'd be getting this, especially if you're doing things like um, uh, painting and decorating, the word I was looking for. yeah, like your skirting boards and things like that, it's always good to have, this is the sort of tape that we did Molly's walls with, uh, we just stuck it on. Um, it's a, so when we did our geometric design, we used this sort of tape uh, as well, which is worth getting on. That is the shot. That is the money shot, as they call it in the trade. And then, oh, look at that. Oh, I reckon there is a channel out there that does that. I reckon there is a channel out there that just sits there and rips tape off. So I peel it off. Ready? Put it next to my mic as well. Oh, that's what you <laughs> That's what you want at seven o'clock. Ah, oh, hang on. Here we go. Ah, Heather. Well, she's had to disappear. Bless her. Uh, who's on here? Ah, Heather's on here. Pauline's on here. Morning, Adam and everyone. Uh, so jealous of all the snow. All we get is rain, rain and more rain. Uh, you keep our spirits lifted, Adam. Uh, always full of beans. Well... <laughs> It's the McDonald's coffee I had before I come in, to be honest. Uh, you can also go to any other retail store. That's the only one that's open on my drive on the way in. Uh, toffee latte. Oh, perfection. Um, stunning demo, Adam. You're very strong. Uh, from our Heather. Well, let's move on to the glass mat. Um, hi, Adam and crew. Oh, you can come again, Joe. Uh, I wish there was snow here in Pembrokeshire. Uh, I don't know if that's how you're talking, Pembrokeshire. I do apologise. We've just got rain as usual. Have a great day. Uh, thank you, Joe. Uh, Sylvia's on. Hi, all. Hi, Heather. Uh, I've got the masking tape uh, when it was last on offer. It's worth getting. Who was that? Sylvia. See, she got it last time it was on offer. Uh, it's worth getting hold of. It really, really is. Especially if you do your masking demos and you do get a lot. Right, and let's move on. Uh, something that everyone needs in their craft room is a crafting mat. Good morning, Dawn. I hope you're well. They called her Dawn. Uh, we are talking. A bit of Frankie Valley there in the morning. Uh, £14.99 for your Oakwood Archer. One man. I always thought it was two. Um, but they'd come together, Oakwood and Archer. But it's not. It's the same man. Uh, for your glass mat. Now, you'll see all our demonstrators using an Oakwood Archer glass mat. And if it's not there, it'll be under something. These are all we have uh, in the studio. Uh, you've got all your measurements on there. All the sizes uh, from 12 by 12 all the way down through to your... A6 that you've got on there. What I also like as well, though, if you look at the 12 by 12, so if you keep that 12 by 12, where's your 12? There, you've got this bit. Now, what do you think? Well, that's, well what, why do I want that? So your 12 by 12 would fit here, but then you've still got your palette there. If you're going to use your watercolours, if you're going to use your water pens, uh, your brush shows on there, your glue's on there. Maybe that's where your glue gun's going to go. So if it clips onto your glass mats, you know it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, these corners, you would take off. Okay, some people keep them and then put them back on again. It's just protecting. It has got feet on the back as well. So it has got the feet, so it's going to lift it up off the table. If you haven't got a craft room, uh, it's well worth uh, getting hold of a mat, if I was you. Uh, easy to clean, easy to use, nice and strong as well. Uh, you can pop your tape on there and it's going to peel off lovely if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, you've got all your measurements around the outside, around the outside. Um, and you've got angles on there, angle for the dangle. Uh, so you've got all your angles on there, so it comes down from the one corner. 
Uh, so you really, really can't go wrong uh, with the a glass mat. And you say, I know, right, to be honest, you're saving £2.60. That's £2.60 in your back pocket. £2.60 that you wouldn't normally save when you're going for £17.59. Um, it's worth having a go. If you've not already got one, it's worth having a go. Uh, 992355 is your item number for your cutting glass mat, 13 by 19 inches, and it's from the world of Oakwood Archer. And we all know the name of Oakwood Archer. Right then, how about... I don't know what that is. Look at that. What's this? Someone's trying to, someone's trying to have me this morning. Little, little hiding a little pin. We'll leave that there. Uh, right, and if I told you you can get all this for £29.98, what a happy hour deal. Let's start. So you're going to get red, you're going to get orange, you're going to get green, you're going to get mustard and a bit of yellow in there. What a collection. We're not getting all that. How about if I said I will give you this and all of this? Two eight and a half, eight, yeah, eight and a half kilogram boxes, 17 kilograms of cardstock and paper. All of that, everything you see on there. Now, you won't get the shelving unit because look at it. <laughs> it's, like being on a, it's like being on a ship. But uh, look, so you're getting, you might get things like your little books that are in there that you can do yourself. Okay, so all things like this, uh, different weights, different cardstock. So if you've got a cutting machine, it maybe you just want a little go at something. Look at the beautiful colourways uh, that you've got. You've got from pastels to rainbows in there. You've got super smooth watercolour cardstock in there as well. Uh, you've also got black card, black shimmer card, pearlescent card in there. Uh, you've also got a bit of craft card down the bottom. Uh, you've even got your craft card paper as well. So you know when you get that bag, so you can start making your bands, if you wanted to make your bands. How beautiful. I know it's just paper, but it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Uh, you're getting all of this for £29.98 today. £29.98 today. 417073 is your item number. Uh, look at all of that that you're getting. Oh, oh now we're talking. Now, obviously, contents will vary on this, but you are getting card and paper stock. You're getting two boxes of eight and a half kilograms is what you're getting. 17 kilograms in total is what you're looking at. It's well worth getting hold of. Uh, you've already shopping ahead of me. Um, you've already found me buttons. Well... Uh, 212, uh, no it's not, it's 212 pieces in total is what you're looking at. Um, 946005 is your item number. These are the wooden and faux suede leather collection. Uh, assorted designs, 212 pieces in total for 12 99 That is a lot of stuff. That is better than a half price deal that we're looking at at the moment as well. Uh, it's well worth having a little go on this. I like them buttons collections because you never know when you need a good button. We've got our Anthea um, coming up later as well and she always likes little buttons and things like that in her kits, doesn't she? It's always, they're always handy to have. They always are. Right, and Jelly Bean Crafts is what we're talking uh, about now. Now, we had some of these on the other day with our Karen Keats, no doubt, who is watching. Um, £14.40 is what we're looking at for this. And what we're we talking about? Well, we're talking about your Jelly Bean Crafts A4 Spot and Stripe card collection. Uh, you're getting it in the green. Now, they vary between 190 and 300 GSM, and you're getting 100 sheets in total is what you're going to get uh, for all of this. Let's go through the colourway. Oh, you can see them there beautifully, but I've got them in my hands. Uh, but the colourway is green. I mean, the pattern way that you get there. Uh, so you're getting uh, the smaller polka dots. The larger polka dot, gingham. Oh, we love a bit of gingham. Uh, these are circles, but they look they look like diamonds on there. Uh, we've also got uh, stripes, uh, stripes going the other way. Uh, a bit more of uh, the gingham that we've got there as well. Uh, absolutely love it. Uh, then you've also got the smaller polka dot. Uh, but what can you create when you get this car stock home? Now, obviously, this is a different colourway 
but the patterns are the same, okay? It's just the samples that we had the other day, but we... Oh, he was, our Meg was just... <laughs> she Meg did have us, then I was like... I, I was like, that, that was my, just my whole editorial, that they're not the same colourway. <laughs> but you can see what you can do. Uh, but look what you can do. So, you know, it, you can cut it, which is nice. Uh, I've not got the barcodes in this collection. Uh, but smaller polka dots that you've got there as well. So it really does work uh, really well and it goes all ways as well. Uh, how beautiful is it though? To use the cards like that you've got there. Uh, it is good for the nice masculine cards that you might want to use them for. Uh, but there is a lot, a lot of stuff you can use when you get these home. So if you bought some of the Jelly Bean craft stock before, uh, go for it again. Remember you're talking between 190 and 300 GSM is what we're looking as well. So some of it will be construction because we're talking 300 uh, GSM. I think it's like the gingham. The gingham feels a bit... Got a, it's, got a, it's got a bit of rigidity to it. Uh, right, let's press on. Uh, 132238 is your item number. £14.40 and 40 pence today. Uh, a better than a half price saving is what we are looking at. Uh, more cardstock is up next. Let's see who's online. Uh, now, you're getting assorted designs and colours on this one. And, uh, yeah, designs and assorted colours. At approximately 250 sheets in total. All A5. We'll flick through them now. Uh, our Anne's come online. Morning, Anne. Hooray! I can now see the comments. Hi, everyone. I hope you're well. Uh, I like it. Hi, Anne. Good morning. Sylvia's online. Uh, who else is online? Sylvia. Oh, Sarah John's there. Hello, Heather, Dawn, Sylvia, Anne. They spend half the time saying hello to each other on this chat group. Uh, I've had enough. enough. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, oh, Sylvia, though. This is riveting. Oh, well. I'll have to read in a break. I can't. You all say hello, you see, and then I can't read the conversations of what's going on. There was one about the wobbly shelving unit that was in there, which made me chuckle earlier. Uh, who leave Adam with a wobbly shelving unit? Uh, right, and let's press on. Paper cardstock is what we're getting here. We're getting so much. Look at all of this that you are getting all the designs. Some are planes, some are patterns. Shall I lift it up and show you? Let's lift it up. Uh, I like this. It reminds me of a well known book company about book company penguin books uh there you've got your florals <laughs> that are in there uh look at all the, it could be pingo if you wanted it to be oh bit of vellum bit of vellum that's in there as well more card stock uh, we've got a lot of card on this show which is nice so this would go, this would work well uh with your your big bulk of 17 kilo uh, that you've got in there uh, which is absolutely beautiful. Different colourways that you've got. Clean, white, ivory in there. Uh, you've got gold in there as well. Uh, there's your gold. Oh, a bit of gold black. Oh, look at that. Expensive. Uh, then, have we done all them ones? Yeah, we've done all them ones. Let's flick through the other set. Here we go. No, I think these are different. Yeah, these are different. Oh, we've got yellow in this. Less than 4p a sheet is what you're paying. Less than four petal, bit of craft card, like. Uh, less than four p a sheet. Uh, really nice. I really, really like these. Um, we were flicking through the website last night, me and Mole, just to see what was on this show this morning, see what I was walking into. And uh, she said she wanted these. She was like, can you bring me these home? I said, of course I can. I don't know if I, don't know if I can or not. I don't know if I can or not. Uh, but look at that. So you've got the vellum there, but you can still see the daisies through your vellum. So you are getting a little bit of vellum that's underneath, which is nice. I absolutely love them. I'm just here and my director's got a pair of snakeskin uh, jeans. Le oh, have you got a pair of leather trousers, Jim? Have ya? Okay. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Yeah, that put me off slightly. Uh, you are? I was like, ooh. I just had an image. <laughs> just... Jimmy lunging. 9.99.915.974 is your item number. You wouldn't believe he's got a girlfriend. 9.15.974 uh, is your item number. £9.99 is what we're looking at. For 12, nine, uh, 12 pounds is what you're saving on this. Right, and let's press on. Uh, oh, that's a good idea there, Heather. Just borrow them at like Leone for Molly and don't bring them back. 
No, not leather trousers. Not Jimmy's leather trousers. Uh, right then. Uh, what are we talking now? We're talking A4 card, foam pads and foam tape. But in black is what we're talking about now. So you're getting all your foam tape that's in here as well. So these are all your foam tape rolls. You're getting eight rolls of your foam tape that you're already getting in there. So we have assorted sizes. Go, we go from the mighty thin to the mighty thick. More TV, Vicar. Then we go into your black cardstock. We love a bit of black cardstock because it's good for your mats and layers. Uh, 35 sheets of your black cardstock is what you're getting there. Then we're talking about foam pads. Now we've got all sizes. You're getting 12 sheets of these. So you get two sheets, I think, are basically of each size uh, is what you're getting. So there's your smaller ones. Then you've got some larger ones in there. So you get two sheets in there as well. Uh, they're all black as well. Uh, then you go to your mighty small. Mighty small. Look at all of that. Oh, if you only use a few. Uh, then you go to sort of your tiles at the back, which I can show you the size. Uh, they're this size because I have them that have been pushed out. <laughs> I don't know why they're here. I don't know why they're here, but they are. Uh, so you're getting all of that for £19.99 pence today. £19.99 today. So I, I would be going for red liner tape, the water strong masking tape, and I'd go for some of this as well. Uh, let's have a little look. Oh, black to the core. I know some people like that. Uh, black to the core. So now, for your feathers edges, for when you're cutting, you're not going to get the white bits that go all the way around. Absolutely love it. I really, really do. Um, well, they, they all want to see Jimmy in his leather trousers. <laughs> Can we see Jimmy in his leather trousers, please? That's our heather. You wouldn't want to see it, to be honest. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to. He's on most of the dating sites, Heather. Just check that. He's on most of them. Um, anyway, well, you know them sites where you all... Nah, yeah, yeah, keys in a bowl. Uh, £19 and 99 pence, 464045 is your item number that we're looking at this. A £30 saving on all of this. £30 is what you are saving. Oh my God, that's amazing. Uh, so we'll go back up to just shy of 50 quid. A try then a penny of 50 quid. So for 20 pounds today, 19 pounds and 99 pence, 464045 is your item number uh, for this one as well. Then, now these are normally busy. It's the first time I've seen this collection. Uh, it's normally a unicorn and a mermaid. This time though, We've got butterflies and the birds and the bees, the birds and the butterflies, and embossing folders that you're getting as well. It's from the wonderful world of Crafts 2, is what we're looking at uh, with this one. Uh, so if you've never seen uh, Crafts 2 before, it's our John, you know our John and Sam, uh, they're here often, uh, for the lads from Crafts 2. So you get a bit they've never been called lads. Uh, so you're getting your butterflies, first of all, which are your dies that you've already got there. Then you get your big old embossing folder at the back of that. Look at that for an embossing folder. How beautiful uh, then they really do work together because if I swing this around you can see what they all cut like uh, so you get your dies in there you get your embossing folder in there as well so if you if you're not 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 very good that's the wrong word to say if you're if you're ever unsure on how things put, are put together or you're unsure of what cards to run through or you don't really know which way to go. Use one of these because you know the butterflies are going to work with your background but you're not just getting one in this, you also get the birds as well which I absolutely adore. I love these little birds because that one there could be, well, they all could be little robins if you wanted them to. Robins mean so many things to so many people. Uh, you also get your embossing folder uh, in the back there as well which you sort of got your little bird cages on them all, which I think is absolutely stunning. So let me spin this around for you. Uh, then you can see what it looks like. That's nice. I like that a lot. 9.99 is what we're looking at for this. 349.269 is your item number. Uh, a £10 saving is what you've got on this as well, so which is always worth having. The price will go back up uh, to £20. 
20 pounds is what this will go back up into in just shy of an hour's time. We're 24 minutes past seven o'clock uh, in the morning at the moment is what we're already looking. 9.99 is what you'd be paying for both of them. So that works out to be about 4.99 each is what you're looking at, which is an amazing value for money for three dies and an embossing folder as well. 349269 is your item number. Nine pounds and 99 pence today. Right then, talking about stamps, what a collection of stamps we have up next for you. These are your acrylic stamp sets. This is your animal collection. There's approximately 80 stamps in total is what we're looking at. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence. Uh, they are amazing sizes and you're getting all of them. So they are a good little size. I want to say that the, the packaging that you're looking at now is the same size of the actual stamps that you're looking at, which is always good to have. Okay, ah, oh, look at the, let me see if I can find the little doggy stamp that you've got there, look. Here we go. So these are the stamps that you're talking about. Look at them, so that you do get a lot of stamp. Is that the right way around? I don't know. Oh no, it is that way. Uh, there's your teddy bears. Oh, they're nice. They're cute. I like your teddy bears. Uh, then you've got your daisy background that's in there. Good for the kids. If you don't want to give them the clear ones, because you're thinking, all oh, they're my best ones, uh, cut these up for the kids. Put them down on smaller blocks for them. Give them so it's easier to hold, instead of doing potato printing. I know my mum, we're not sending them to, to nursery as much um, these days, obviously. Uh, we try and keep us home as much as we can, keep everyone safe. Uh, so these is the best way to go. We've been crafting a lot. We've also been playing a lot of shops. Lots of shops I've had to play over the last few days. Oh, if I had to make any more money, I'm like money laundering in my own house at the moment. The amount of fivers and tenors I'm running up in the house. Uh, then, ah, oh, I like this. It's only fake money, should you know, when we, when we go to the shop. Uh, you also get the clear stamps uh, thrown in, which I absolutely adore. These are cute because they're the same as the bigger ones but slightly smaller. So these would be good for your envelopes, maybe, if you wanted to go for your envelopes on there. The teddy bears are cute. Uh, you've got a lot of backgrounds in here, like the golf clubs and the footballs. Uh, you could do those as little borders if you wanted to as well, uh, which I like. Um, bear hugs that you've got there. Uh, you've also got the trophy. Then we move down to all dressed up and nowhere to go. These are, these are so apt for the moment, aren't they? So apt. And it also sums up my life. Uh, all dressed up and nowhere to go. Uh, you get the hat, you get the bow ties in there. All of that for 14 pounds and 99 pence. 14 pounds and 99 pence, 471536 is your item number. A saving of 25 pounds is what you're looking at for that as well. If you like that though, you're also going to like the next item that I've got for you. These are amazing. I've never seen these as a happy hour before. Uh, they are, so they come on, they come like this, okay? So this is how they, this is how they come to you, flat pack. They all come flat, they literally just pop out, so you can't go wrong with them. Uh, then you could either use your red liner tape that we've also got on the show, uh, and then you put them together, but then you get like 3D, these are like 3D boxes uh, that you've got there. There's seven different designs, we'll go through the designs in a minute, but then look, so you got, it's got a little hand, so he could be holding something, like a beard tankard, or a newspaper, if you wanted him to be, uh, or some flowers that got there, so we could take out the newspaper from the dog, the, the walkie times, and you could put that into his hand. So he now looks like he's reading uh, a magazine. I wonder, I wonder if we could do this. Let's, let's do it. Oh, I don't think I've got any sticky on my phone tape. Uh, oh, I'll do it in a minute. Uh, but then, you've also got your granny. Don't forget granny with the glasses. So you've got a, even a glasses go over her ears. Look, so there's a... So that goes over her ears. She's knitting. A little bit of knitting here. Cool granny. So you can put a little sentiment that's on there as well. So you see, so that's all they've done. Look, they've just attached the knitting to her arms. Uh, I love it. How amazing is this? How beautiful are these? Uh, I absolutely love them. <laughs> From there, you've got, uh, you've got writing on the back. So you can put a little design. Let's look at the other designs. So we've got the dog. Uh, we've got Grandad. Oh, no, they're not. Uh, then, 
you've got could be anyone, mum, sister, grand. This could be this could be baby. No one puts baby in the corner. Uh, that's the one we've already seen. There we go, La. Oh. Then we've got uh, a friend. It could be you, it could be me. There's Nana. There's our Nana. We like Nana. Oh, they've got legs. These are your pop-up people, so they can sit on a shelf, so they actually have legs as well uh, that you've got in there. I quite, I like these a lot. Um, oh, yeah, there's like two pages. To, so, okay, let's go back. So there's your front page that you've got. Then there's your, there's your back page. So you can now add eyes, legs that are in there. You've got dog bowls, you've got ears uh, that run through there as well. I love the for nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Uh, you get fifteen of the kits that are in here. They're absolutely amazing, uh, and there's something different that in the times that we're in, they will really make someone. They would make someone smile. They they would. I think there's the legs for the granny uh, in that one in there, lot as you can see. Obviously, it hasn't been all gone through, uh, but how beautiful. Are these? It sort of looks like he's about to pickpocket her. We'll move him away. Um, literally looks like he's about to rub her handbag. Uh, but, <laughs> so, um, I love it. Look at it. Oh, I, these are cute. This would raise a smile in anyone's house. It really, really would. Uh, just thinking of you, just a little note to say. And on the inside, you could pop like a little tea bag and say, let's have a drink together. Call me sometime. Zoom me. Skype me. Um, yeah. Put, a, put your chocolates in there, put a bar of chocolate through there, and that could be like Granny's chocolate. At night, I, I adore these. Really, really do. Our glasses are going to fall off. Let's pop them back over her ear. Bless her. Oh, Jean. Come on, Jean. I pulled her ear off. Uh, so, uh, £19.99, 627-309 is your item number uh, for this one. Uh, love them. If you're not already... I know there are, there are many events on the way. We've, we had an email earlier in the week telling us all the events that are coming up. Some of our events are a freedom events. When you're a freedom event, you sort of get little perks. And you get perks anyway if you're a freedom member. Don't believe me? He's Ali. I need to tell me more. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Ah, uh, Aran. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I like this. It's like an action shot. Uh, <laughs> Arahan uh, has just bought the black foam tapes that we've got on the show as well. I like these cameras. It makes me look really tall. I'm loving them. Uh, Arahan's bought the black foam tapes. A little perk to a day is what we're looking at. Uh, then you've also got... Um, what else? Uh, Some of the house has been playing shops as well. with a, uh, uh, Lisa, she has a four-year-old niece and a two-year-old nephew. She knows what I mean about making money, like sort of money laundering that you've got there. Because you sort of have to make money, then you have to make receipts. You spend half day just making stuff uh, for the show is what you're looking at. Uh, from there... There's a lot of you buying. I see Adam's enjoying himself with his toys. Fair enough. Uh, have a great day. Uh, have great fun. Oh, yeah, we've got the Zuri on later as well. Uh, right then, let's carry on. Let's crack on. There's a lot of you online. A lot of you on the Facebooks that we're talking about at the moment. Uh, let's talk about red liner tape is what we're talking about at the moment. This red liner tape, you get a lot of red liner tape for your money. This is not a complete collection I'm showing you now. You are going to get 12 rolls. 
is what you're looking at for this. 12 rolls, you're getting four of the three mil. You're getting four of the six mil. You get two of the nine mil. And two of the 12 mil as well is what you're going to be getting. Um, it is amazing little bundle. It is that, I know Ascot always says this, it is the workhorse of your craft room. Everyone uses red liner tape. Everyone uses red liner tape. Uh, for £9.99, 082530 is your item number that we're looking at for this now. £9.99 is what we're looking at. You're saving of £10. You go from your thickest all the way through uh, to your thinnest, which is that one there. So from your thickest to your thinnest, you can't go wrongs. Well worth having a little look at all these with the red liner tape. Uh, many of you are saying on the online chats uh, that you've bought these in the past as well because uh, they're worth getting hold of. Something else that's worth getting hold of as well is your Walter Strong masking tape that we've got here. Uh, it is super strong, super sturdy. It's easy tear, easy, um, easy tear and easy, not easy wear, easy release is what it is. It's an easy release that you've got. Uh, for the sheer fact, we put this on at the top of the show. Uh, no one has touched uh, the tape since. And it's also got a bit draping. It's literally got, still got a drapey bit, so the wind could get up, the elements could get up it. And then, still, still, still reusable. I can still, let's put it on the back wall. And you can see it, see? It's still there, look, there's my line, the line of destiny. Look, look at that. Super strong. Super, super strong. Going nowhere, and I'm giving that a good old tug going nowhere. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm just showing the strength of the tape and how it does, it's got that super, so if you were painting, you're going to go up to the line, you're not going to go over the line, uh, you're going to have a beautiful crisp line as well, is what you're going to get. Uh, I do like the making a card, you know when you put tape down either side of the card and it gives you a little white border and then you ink in the middle. It gives you that neat and tidy crisp edge. Um, I do that with paint a lot and I do it with inks a lot as well because you know you're going to get that perfect precision line. Uh, and it's using tape that's like this. I'm going to leave that on there um, just to see how long it will be on there for. It's probably still there tomorrow, to be honest. Uh, should we take it off again? Oh, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice. It's still... <laughs> Good. Good tack to it. Good tack is what you get it. And there, I know, I know, look at that. So then, catch that. Well done. Uh, Walt Strong, £9.98 is what you're looking at for that as well. Uh, at 521749 is your item number uh, that you are looking at for that. Just there. Beautiful is what we're looking at. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, you can't go wrong for that. Nine pounds and ninety-eight pence. Five, two, one, seven, four, nine is your item number. Uh, right then, your glass cutting man. Adam always has fun with the sets. Well, you've got to really, you ain't you, Joe? Because this is like my little home. This is the manor we're currently in. The ma the manor. We had to take other. I am the man of the manor, and that's the first time that will ever be sent. You see me more of as a butler. Can you now, Meg? My Meg at uh, my my Meg, my Meg, my producer Meg, uh, who would be lost without. Because I just stand here and chat. She says, "Move on now, Adam. It's getting a little bit weird." Uh, she keeps me in check. Says she could see me as a, in a butler's outfit. I think that just say more about our lockdown, Meg, than <laughs> than Meg. You could have Jimmy in his leather pants, me in a little dicky bow and a little apron. Little bit of sausage. <laughs> Come to the manor. Oh, it's like a lad's pad. I could have, I'd, I could have an ABBA blasted. I don't know if you like ABBA, but I, I, I think you do. Uh, so, that was Jack. Jack is our floor manager, Jack. There's, any, there's, there's literally three of us in. Uh, Andrew, fix the camera. Uh, that we've, uh, our Jack would be, I think you would be the man of the manor, Jack. To, you would be Lord. You'd be up there. He'll take, take it. Take. take what you can get, to be honest, in this place. <laughs> I would. Uh, right, and let's press on. A glass mat is what we're looking at now. Uh, so, it's, these are random cards. So, 
Adam could have fun in a phone box if he was there, if there were any left. How can you have fun in a phone? Well, cards. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Nine nine two three five five is your item number. Uh, you're saving two pounds sixty on this. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's not a massive saving. Every little counts. Every little penny counts on this. Look after the pennies and the pounds will look after themselves. Everyone uses a glass cutting mat. Why? Because they're from the brand of Oakwood Archer. These corners you would take off. It's just glass protective. Uh, that's currently on the uh, on there at the moment. You got all your sizes from A6 through to twelve by twelve as well. Uh, so you've got all your sizes on there, and you've got excess down the edge. It would have been quite easy for Oakwood to stop at 12 by 12, but then your paper fills that whole page. What do you do with your inks? Where do you put everything, your scissors and your glue guns? You've got this extra down the side just here, which would be uh 12 to 18 inches. You've got you've got a lot, you've got a lot, of, a good six inches spare. Our Meg's gone quiet. So uh, you're getting all of that spare all the way down there, which is nice uh, for your inks and your cards and your bone folders that you've got and all your little accoutrement that comes with crafting. Uh, things like uh, your tape. So you'd still have your paper, you've got your tape there as well, your foam pads, uh, your red liner tapes that you've got there. It could be, yeah, it could be your ink blending palette uh, that you've got on there as well. Um, I absolutely adore them. For the sheer size, easy to clean. So if you do make a mess, they're strong and dual. You've got all your angles as well. So you've got 80, 60, 45, 30, and a 10 degree angle. Oof. Uh, then you've got all your measurements around the outside. Love a 10, de love a 10 degree. These aren't just for crafting. Just, they are just for, if you've not got that lack tray, if you've not got somewhere to, maybe to write, maybe you haven't got a, a decent flat surface, you've got that beautiful dining table that if it's anything like ours, you can't put anything on. Oh, don't scratch the table. Oh, don't scratch the table. Oh, don't, don't put it there. You'll mark it. Get one of these. Get a glass mat. You can always cover it with something else. You haven't got to know it's a glass mat. You can always cover it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm getting, I'm getting excited. Uh, you can always cover it. And it can be a little tabletop. I know I'm extreme, but if you've got a little table that you don't want, then, or it looks old and shabby, cover it. You've got a nice little table on there as well. You know it's sturdy and durable, so it's not going to go, oh, oh, oh. Uh, so it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, it's well worth having a go at one of these. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence. 992355 is your item number uh, for that as well. Uh, just watched it back. Uh, 992355 is your item number that we're looking at. Well worth having a little look at one of these as well. If your budget will stretch, it's worth having a little go. Uh, from there, one of our best sellers now. I need to move this slightly over. 17 kilograms of paper and card. Different weights, different. There you go. But if you've only just tuned in, you're thinking, well, that's not 17 kilograms. How if I said you'll get all of this and I'll give you all that. I'll give you everything that you see here. Now, obviously, contents will vary and you won't get the shelving unit. That's presenter's own. But you will get all the cardstock that you currently see on here at the moment for £29.98 today. Different GSMs, you get different colours, different weights in there. Everything you have got something for every occasion for the little dies. You just need that little bit of card, but you don't know what you don't want. To, you don't want to break into one of your big twelve by twelves. You don't want to break into that big A4 sheet that you've already got. You only want to you want to strip. You want to sliver, as it were. Well, you've got all the slithers that you need uh, from rainbow to pastels to even the different thicknesses that you're getting there. But you're getting the different thicknesses in there. So you haven't got to break in even your glitzy card. Uh, that we're talking about as well. Purple glitz is down here. So you've got purple cardstock, uh, you've got purple at the back, you've got a bit of gold, you've got a bit of purple paper, pink paper, uh, pastel in there, black, navy blue, your greens. Beautiful, beautiful cardstock that will work for any card that you are currently making. Nine pounds and 98 pence, 417073 is your item number that we're looking at at the moment.
It's well worth having a little look at the cardstock that you get is in there. Uh, absolutely adore it, and you'll be getting all this in no uncertain terms. Uh, worth having a little look on all of this, right? And let's press on because I want. I'm trying to get through everything we can uh, because we've only got 10 minutes left, so we haven't got that long. Jelly Bean Craft Card is what we're talking about next. This goes from 190 to 300 GSM. Steady yourself, Jack. A uh, hundred sheets in total. Yeah, a little fall. Uh, 132238 is your item number. 14 pounds and 40 pence is what we're looking at. You're saving a 15 pounds on this as well, uh, which I absolutely adore. Because it's so sturdy, you can create things that look like these. So these are super sturdy, but they're still cardstock that we're talking about. Uh, you've also got your gingham in here as well. We all love a bit of gingham. Uh, then you've also got your polka dots. Uh, that you've got running through. It's that sturdy, you can start creating big designs uh, out of these as well. You really can't go wrong. Good, sturdy cardstock from Jelly Bean Craft is what we're talking about, uh, which is what I absolutely adore. Uh, 132238 is your item number. 14 pounds and 40 pence. But remember, it's a happy hour deal. It is a happy hour deal and you've only got 14 minutes and 13 seconds left before the prices will go back up. And that's for everything across the board. Okay, you know what they're like with happy hours here. Uh, once they've gone, they have gone. Right, and something else that we've also got on the show, you, you're absolutely loving. These are your assorted carton paper designs. Uh, different paper, different designs in each one. I've got a selection here uh, to show you. So you're getting things like uh, your vellum that you've got as well. So you've got that beautiful, beautiful vellum uh, that we all absolutely adore. You've got things like daisies that's on there. Uh, I love that, like a picture of your bush. Like, what, are they, what are these leaves? Um, it is autumnal. I can't think what the plant's called. But it is, if you look closely, it is literally a close-up picture of a tree or a bush that you'd have in your garden. So it's like real autumnal that you've got in there. Uh, you've got your penguins. We all love a penguin. Gotta love a penguin. Oh, bit of, bit of snake skin in there. There's our Jimmy. That's our Jimmy. That is Jimmy all over. Um, and there you've got your flowers in there as well. Uh, I think we need to talk to you. £9.99. and pence. Most of that uh, collection that you've seen there, Jimmy's actually wore. £9.99. and pence. You are actually looking at for, uh, approximately 250 sheets. Um, for $9.99. $9.99 is what you're looking at for this. Well worth having a less than four pence a sheet is what we're talking about. 915-974 is your item number uh, for this one as well. I love these. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at those little dancing penguins like Happy Feet. I love that film. Uh, right then, nine pounds. I was just happy feeting. My little Bruce Forsyth. Uh, right, uh, now uh, Anne's bought these. Uh, she learned that uh, she wanted phone pads. Heather says she's bought them before. This is the this is the thing about the social community that we've got. Some of you have had them. Uh, some of you said they yeah they're really good. Get them while you can, uh, and that's what you've done. These are phone pads. So we are talking an array of your foam tape. So you go from your thicket, eight rolls of these, so you go assorted sizes uh, that you're getting with your foam tape that you've got here. Uh, so there's all your assorted sizes that you're getting with your foam tape. Then you've also got your cardstock, 35 sheets, and it's black through to the core as well. So good for your mats and layers uh, that we're talking about. All the way through, black to the core, you can't go wrong. Then you've got your 12 sheets of foam pads as well, different sizes, different, um, not different shapes, but they are different sizes. You go from your biggest all the way through to your smallest as well. If I tilt that forward, you'll see the size difference uh, that you actually got there with the ones comparison to the back. £19.99, 464045 is your item number. 45 pieces in total is what you're getting. Actually, there's more pieces than that if you count in each individual foam tape. Uh, £30 is what you're also saving on this as well. £19.99, pence, saving of 30 quid. Right then, let's move on. Uh, Crafts 2. 
Dies and stamps, dies and embossing folders is what we're looking at now. 349269 is your item number. 499 each or 999 for the pair. Uh, you can't get them individually. But as I said, if you break them down, you're only looking at 4.99 for this one, 4.99 for this one as well. Uh, where do I start? Let's start with the butterflies. So you do get that beautiful <laughs> embossing, but uh, embossing folder at the back, and you've also got the dies in there as well. Beautiful, beautiful dies. Once again, I think the butterfly that die cuts would cut that butterfly out just there. Uh, they're all going to look like this once you've cut them out, uh, which I absolutely adore. And they're quick and easy cards, really quick and easy cards uh, that you don't really need to do anything with. Uh, then we've also got the birds, you've got the birds in the bird cage uh, that you've got on there as well, which is absolutely adorable. And then you've also got your little birds at the bottom. Uh, turn these into little cheeky robins if you wanted to. You've got to turn them into little cheeky robins, turn them into little birds that you've got there. Uh, but that's what your embossing folder is going to look like, and also that's what your birds are going to look like when they're cut out as well. 349269 is your item number £9.99, a saving of £10 on this already. Right then. Uh, stamps is what we're looking at next. Uh, this time we're talking red stamps is what we're talking about. Good for the kids, uh, these would be, because you haven't got to worry. If they mess them up, they mess them up. Uh, £14.99, and pence. you're getting all the designs and large designs of that as well is what you're getting. So there's all your designs. Uh, you can see the designs on the design sheets. You've got things like backgrounds in there, uh, a little girl riding a lily by the looks of it. Um, then you've got your little bunny in a car. Then you've got your dog collection. Uh, then you've got your bear playing golf. Uh, with your um, with your backgrounds in there, you got Feynman Bear, which I like. Then craft, uh, crafting for you. Then you've got your dog feeling uh, woof and wet. <laughs> uh, take cover, dream. Oh, I like these. It's cute. Uh, then we've also got your clear stamps as well. So these are your lily pads. Or your ladybirds and your dragonflies that are in there. Relax with love, believe. A uh, beautiful background of daisies uh, that you've got on this one. Then you've got turtles and hares. Beautiful border. Then you've got your... Is that a pig or is it a rabbit? Let's go. We'll go with a, we'll go with a pig. <laughs> It's a pig dressed as a rabbit, going to a fancy dress party, £14.99. Then you get your clear stamps in there as well. Uh, you also get your clear stamps, which I adore. I do like these. My, my mom would love these. For the sheer fact, they're easy. They're easy and I haven't got to worry about them. I know they've not cost me an arm and a leg. £14.99, uh, saving of £25 as well. You get borders in there. Uh, all dressed up and nowhere to go, cutie pie. Uh, you got your handbag, your mirrors, and your hats in there. You got your teddy bears. Um, I love them, absolutely love them. Four seven one five three six is your item number. Last but no means least, our favourite by far of the show are the Make Yourself Cards with Legs collection uh, that you've got there because uh, they do come with legs. Uh, so if I show you the back of one of these. Uh, then you can see what you can do. So you're getting all these designs that's in there. So you get young Lucy in there, young Jack. There he is, look, there's our young Jack, eating biscuits. Uh, you get Nan. I don't think Nanny's meant to be knitting. I think Nanny's meant to be holding a cup of tea and cake and a wooden spoon. Um, if you want one to sum up our Meg. <laughs> there, she, there she is, look, mask on, drinking booze at a party. <laughs> um... <laughs> There's, there's our Jimmy at the moment in a fancy dress costume. Uh, there's me. Old granddad sitting there. Oh, then you put things on his back. Look, so you can, you can put the paper on his back. Oh, I absolutely love it. Very easy to do, look. Uh, and they all fold down and they pop into the envelope, which comes complete as well. A little care package. These would look lovely. They really, really would. £19.99 uh, is what we're looking at for these. Uh, you can't go wrong. 627309 is your item number. These are your pop-up people card making kit. Assorted designs. 15 is what you're getting in total. You're saving us £20. Uh, the usual price is £39.99. The price will go back up in six minutes. 1999 today is what we're looking at. Jump to the website. You've only got six minutes to do it though before before the prices will go back up. 
Uh, everything is all ready on there. Um, I adore them all. I really, really do. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone on the social medias as well. Uh, Joe, Sylvia, Sue, Anne, Heather, Pam, Alison, uh, Dawn. They call her Dawn. Uh, you've all been on there. Uh, have a good day if you're on the social medias. Uh, whatever you do today, stay safe. Uh, it, I think it is snowing uh, out there as well. I think it is. I'm not too sure. I'm, we have no windows. Uh, so I don't really know what's going on. Uh, but stay safe. If it is snowing out there, there's only one thing you can do. Get yourself a brew. Get yourself a bit of cake. Battenberg. Maybe treat yourself. It's a Saturday morning. Go for a cream horn. Partial to a cream horn. Or, or maybe a fondant fancy. Whatever you've got stuck in the back of the cupboard. Maybe an after eight. I don't mind. I, horses for courses. Uh, go straight for it. Grab yourself a brew. A uh, cup of tea, cup of coffee, uh, something slightly stronger if you wanted to. Well, I don't, I mean, just two, two little bits of coffee is what I'm talking about. And don't you go anywhere. One Day Special is up next with myself. Uh, and then who knows what's coming up. Well, I'll tell you now. Oh, we're back to that woman sprinkling glitter again. Uh, Pink Frog Crafts One Day Special. She's not even put any glue down, lot. Uh, one Day Special. You do not want to miss this One Day Special. Then our mail's in for Crafty Devils. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Jean and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint. And that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people would be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, 
had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hichanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hichanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. A very good morning to you and thank you for joining us on this fine, well it's not really fine in here, it might, well, it might be fine when you are, uh, we, don't, we were just discussing this, some people have had snow, I know up north where Scott is and Fee, they've had snow and they couldn't get in and down south, we've had none uh, where I'm from, we just had the rain, uh, but wherever you are, you are in for a treat this hour, for the sheer fact, when we talk cardstock, we talk cardstock from a company that knows their cardstock. From a company that doesn't just give you one size, they give you a bit of everything. And we are talking the big name of Pink Frog is what we are talking about this hour. This is a one day special that once the price, once the, once the one day special is finished at six o'clock tonight, the prices will go back up. I've just been told about that for across the board. So everything I'm about to show you will be exactly the same. Right, let's get rid of this. Uh, right then. Uh, so, what are we talking about? We are talking about a mass collection of cards. Two thirds of the stock has already gone. This is your Pink Frog Craft Super Smooth Collection. A3, 12 by 12, 15 by 42, uh, 15 by 30, and A4, 170 sheets in total is what you are looking at for £19.99. That works out to be 12p per sheet, 19.99. But then, on top of your 19.99, you pay no more from what I'm about to tell you. How about if I said I will gift you, well, you go for the 170 sheets, and then I will gift you some instructions to make things like folders, that look a little bit like this, that are made to last. How beautiful are these? I will also give you the instructions to make bags, to make bottle bags, to make frames, to make, well, loads of projects. And the lady who's going to tell us how to make all of these projects is standing next to me now. If she is, well, she, you could sum her up as Mrs Pink Frog. I don't know if she'd want to be, but... That's what, well, that's what we call her here. She's Lady Pink Frog herself. Uh, so, Hazel, how are you, love? I'm good, thank you. You? I'm good, thank you very much. Um, I can't get over this deal, though. When I came in this morning, I normally watch the one-day special from last night, but I was so into my Netflix, I forgot. Okay. Um, so, um, I, I, she came in this morning, and I was like, surely it can't be 19.99 for all of this. Surely that's just part of it. No, that, that is an amazing deal at 19.99 to get all of that and your instructions. But for us and this one day special, it's all about the techniques and what the card can do. Um, so whether you're using your brushos, your alcohol inks, your distress inks, your oxides, anything, paints, and we, it's all about doing lots of techniques for you and then bringing in the projects as well. So 
if I just bring these in, we've got, um, these are some of the instruction sheets that you're going to get. So it's all laid out. This is for, to make the frames. So you can make a 30 by 30 frame. You've got pictures there as well as the written instructions. Turn it round and it gives you the 15 by 15 frame card and then moving on to extra measurements as well. On top of that, we've got the bottle bag. So again, simple instructions, the landscape bag, and there's also a portrait bag. Uh, might be on there as well, it is. <laughs> uh, this one at the bottom, pizza box, ever so simple to make, but it will fit in your 15 by 42 cards folded in half. These are your um, memory book instructions. Again, pictures and written instructions to help you and guide you through. And then this is your little, uh, this one's the note look bag. If I bring this one in here, look. So a real cute little gift taking you through step by step. You can chop little cards up to pop inside. You could decorate them. I haven't done mine yet, um, but this will be a demo later on in the day. Um, and then you've also got that bag that you held up. So we'll be also be making one of those as well. The little 12 by 12 bag, scrumpling up the card. Um, the, the A4 that you get in the kit is super smooth paper, which is 180 GSM. But that doesn't mean you can't do all the techniques that we do on the card. Just because it's a paper, it's, it's taking it because it's 180 GSM. Um, and it's important to point out that whenever you buy the super smooth from us, it's the same quality every time. It's not like you're going to get this super smooth one, one week and another. It's the same Thanks, all the smooth. way through. Let's break it down and see what you're actually getting in your kit. So we so. A3, I don't know why, you know, you know what A3 is, but I'll hold it anyway. Uh, you get 20 sheets of your A3, 300 GSM. Then, 12 by 12, you get 25 of your 12 by 12 at 300 GSM. A4 is what we're talking now. Uh, you get 50 of your A4 at 180 GSM. Here comes the fun bit. Uh, let's do the little one first. So that is your 15 by 30, 50 sheets of this, 300 GSM, and then you get your 15 by 42, 25 sheets at 300 GSM. 937-606 is your item number, 19 pounds and 99 pence. We are very, very busy. Um, shop ahead on the website for me. Go on, Hazel. I forgot to mention when I had the instructions that you do get folds for the 15 by 42 and the 15 by 30, 10 of each. So you are getting everything you yeah. need for all your instructions. All your instruction needs is what you are getting in here. At 19 pounds, 99 pence, 397, no, I'll start that again. 937606 is your item number. I've got loads more on the counter. Loads more card stock. We've got the new glues, precision tips, everything that you will need during the show. Shop ahead of me on the website. It's all I'm going to ask. Shop ahead of me for the sheer fact if I spent all the time going down the counter, we'd never get to demo. Uh, so what I want you to do is shop ahead of me for you. We are talking super smooth, and that will be my next question uh, to our Hazel. What's so special about Super Smooth? And we'll get to that question in a minute. There's that new glue, the, uh, the EVA glue, 225 mils, 13.99. Then you've also got your non-clog uh, precision tip bottles in there, which are amazing. Uh, we've also got gesso primers in there as well. We've also got 12 by 12s. Uh, we've got Mylar in there. You've got masking sheets in there as well. Uh, Scotch tape that's already in there. Uh, what was busy last night, double-sided foam. You get a mass of this. You're getting 1,500 double-sided foam tapes per roll for 19.49. No more cutting. They're already done for you. Want to build layers? Want to make things look bulky? This is the way to go. With your super smooth cardstock, you cannot go wrong. So what would that be? 40 pounds today would get you that, 1,500 1, foam tapes and your one day special. Right then, let's play devil's advocate. Let me sit on the fence for you at home. I'm gonna go straight into a demo ask where I ask the question as well. So, we've got the card stock. We all rave about Pink Frog. Everyone uses Pink Frog. I was lucky enough that Pink Frog have sent Molly some cardstock as well. Uh, also, Hazel sent Molly some cardstock. So we can get through. So I've used it. I've played with it. But if you've never tried it before, if you've never picked it up, you've never inked on it, put a felt-tip pen on it, a crayon on it, why is Super Smooth so good? 
I'm going to just show you because okay. I think seeing is is the best. So I'm just going to dip in. I have a box next to me. It's got A6 and A5, and it's perfect for when you're doing these little techniques. So we'll start off with an A5. The first thing, back to basics, if you want to blend onto a card, it's the first thing that I want to do. Can I blend and get a lovely, vibrant finish onto my cardstock? And that goes on beautifully. So we'll wow. get a few different colours. Um, it doesn't really matter whether they go. Let's if you want organized. the Pink Frog A5 and A6 super smooth cards, so you get 160 of A5 and 320 sheets of your A6. Uh, if you want this, it's £13.98. So if you want your box of cardstock, this is uh, the way to go, is what you're looking at. So this is the way to go. Uh, if you want yours, get it while you can. That's what you're getting just there. Uh, look at the mass. All 300 uh, GSM. If you want that, £13.98. Sorry, stupid. I just thought I'd let people know you can get it. That's fine. OK, so the next thing I want to know is can I faux bleach it? So I'll just spritz some water down onto it. And then we'll mop that up. And that will then strip out your colour and give you that really quite nice effect. That's nice. And um, also, we want to see if it can take water. So if we pop ink down onto our mat, we'll just put a couple of colours down. Again, spritz that, that's going to bead up. And then you can go down into it and pick up your colours, I'm going to come in for another one because I want to get this one really wet, but I'm going to do it slightly different. So this time I'm going to add on the ink uh, and I'm not going to be tidy, I'm just going to scrub it on. Um, so really quite vibrant and then, that's that one. I'm just doing this quick just so that you can see. Um, but even that though, yellow. even the quickness of that shows it's not puckering or ripping Oh no, no, it'll tearing. take it really well. Um, if you like doing more mixed media things, this is going to take a layer of gesso and then do your work on it. Looks amazing. And it just gives you a completely different feel to the card as well. So we just add those colours down. And now we're going to spritz this. This time I've got water with a little bit of a mica in. We're going to wet that really quite Watch those colours start to move around and then Look dry that out. But because you've got the bits of mica in it, it's allowing you to do that. Yeah, so, you can see the glitch. Yeah, I mean, that just, it doesn't matter about your blending. If you're not a comfortable blender, just add water because you can do. I'm going to cheat slightly and just take some of this off. I don't think I'm a comfortable blender. Um, you can use your brushes. It, it, they blend beautifully with the brushes as well. If you don't like using inks and you're more a, um, a water pen person, we'll do one with those as well, just so that you can see how well it so takes. So it will take everything that we need? Yes. Whether you're painting... Obviously, it's not a watercolour card, but it's as good as because the results are amazing. That was going to be my next question. If yeah. I don't like watercolour, obviously, we always say on this channel, if you're a watercolourist, go for your watercolour yeah. paper. But So you can still do all the same techniques that you would do on watercolour paper on this, and it will still give me the same results. Absolutely. Obviously, it's not watercolour obviously, quality. Yeah, yeah. But this one now, I'm just going to start and scrumple up. I want to put some lines in it. This is damp because I haven't quite dried it out, but it's taking it really well. Let's it's just... not cracked no. or... And then we're going to flatten that down and then I want to bring them to the top. So let's just go in with this pad here just to bring out that detail so that you can see. And it just makes for an interesting background. Let's bring in our... Let's see how handy these boxes are. I've just picked out a few colours and I'll take the lids off because obviously when you're on a watercolour card and you've got a pen like this, you've got more open time to move the move it around so I'm going to get myself organized so I'm just going to scribble down but look how smooth that's going on it's not beading I didn't want that one next never mind <laughs> but it's just to show you and again we'll go in with plain water this time spritz it down but look how that's moving and again then you would go in and dry that out and that that's gone into a puddle but it, it just goes to show how well that's moving around the card if i bring this one in look 
so that you can see this. Oh, look at that. What we're achieving. And I might just whisk through these ones that I've got here as well. This is the impatient side coming out in me. I did spray a lot of water on that one. And just pop that to one side if I bring these in. So um, you can stamp with the markers onto the card, spritz and paint in. And then this, oh, this is a nice technique I have to show you. Look, I knew this would happen with my mat. <laughs> Let's move that over there. If you take your pens, I'm just going to take a couple of greens. They're not the greens that I want, but just flicking. This is going to give you your grass effect and then just a little bit of water just gives it that real nice mottled effect at the bottom. But really interesting. Then you go and start stamping on top of there and popping your flowers in or maybe your little animals. How effective would that How look? And um, if you like using brushos, again, another technique. This is something that I promised myself I wouldn't do. Getting, getting into a mess. <laughs> right. So you can go tap onto your brushos. So this is just a powdered pigment. There's lots of different brands out there. Um, and spritz your water on. And that would burst out. Look at that. Or if you go the other way, let's just move that one up so that you can see both. Spritz the card first. And then pop it in. Oh, I've never seen it done this way. But look at the detail that you get. And then if you want more, the more water, the more it disperses. So you can leave that to dry on its own. I love that bit there. That's amazing. Uh, leave it to dry on its own or force dry it with your, your heat tool. And then you can go again and you can put layer upon layer and keep going. But the card still holds its structure. And it just moves around. So remember, if you want the A5 and the A6, you're getting 160 of the A5, 320 of the A6. It did sell out last night. It's back on extended delivery uh, only from Monday. Uh, so it's not really that. Like, it's not really extended, is it? It's only from it's only a working weekend. Uh, from the 18th of January, which is this Monday coming, 698005 is your item number. I'm quite tempted for this little bundle. I love it. It's so handy to have on the counter. Don't forget to dry the backs as well, and then that's where it flattens it all back down. This one's got a little bit more water on it, so it's going to take a bit more time. I'm just going to have to cheat. Sorry. There we go. That will do us look. So as you can see there, that's just one, two, well, we've done quite a few, more than I thought I was going to do. <laughs> but how effective all of those different techniques, and that's not even touching our um, watercolour pencils or even getting our gesso out, but how effective do they look? look. So, you know, we always get the boards out and we stand there and we can go, you can do this, you can oh, do that, you can do that. Andrew loves his boards. It's all about showing you each of those techniques this time. I mean, this one here. That's good. In fact, I'm going to do it on top of here. Now, that is true, and I know we laugh and joke about the boards, as, as, and I'll let you into a trade secret. The boards are good, because it can show you what you can do, but they're a faff. They're a nuisance. For the sheer fact, nine times out of ten, them boards could have been done anywhere, could have been done on anything. But if you can see them done live, using the same cardstock that you are getting here, yes, we're using the A5 and A6, just a smaller version, because why waste a piece of A3 that you've got there? But you can cut yours down. You can make your smaller with your paper trimmer that you've already got here. And by Jove, you are going to get a lot of A5 and A6 cardstock out of this. This is your one-day special, £19.99. 937, we're approaching 80% of your one-day special now of everything that you see in front of me. Let's go through them again. We'll start with your A3. Your A3, you are getting... 20 sheets of your A3 at 300 GSM. Your 12 by 12 that we're talking about, you're getting 25 sheets at 300 GSM. A4, 50 sheets of your A4, 180 GSM. Uh, then we've got the longer one, which is 15 by 42. 42. 25 of those at 300 GSM. And then last but not least, 15 by 30, 50 of those. 
at 300 GSM. And then on top of that, we'll throw in the instructions for the book, the bag, the frame, the bottle bag of different sizes, the pizza box that you've got in there. Also, your little clutch handbag for your little notelets uh, that you might want to pop in as well. All of those are thrown in for free. That's how good Andrew is. Uh, if you wonder when we talk about Andrew, he is the head, the head honcho, the big chief as it were, of uh, uh, the big pink frog himself. Uh, that is our Andrew, who gives us cracking deals time and time again. Uh, that is a photo of Andrew just there. Uh, so, <laughs> I, do, I do miss when he's not here. Uh, not, I'm not saying for ages. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Uh, the real boss is our Gwen, though, to be honest. She is the real boss of Pink Frog. Uh, but you can make flowers. So we're now also talking construction in this. How beautiful are these to stamp onto, then turn them into flowers, turn them into journals, make your own cards with them. We've just seen how well they ink, how well you can construct that frame that you are seeing there is made from the cardstock that I currently have in front of me. Those flowers you see in the middle, I'm going to go for a guess and go for... Are they the dyes from Pink Frog? Of course they are, yeah. Of course they are. Anita, they. Anita made all the flowers in the middle there from the 180 GSM. She stamps them, she's got some die-cut ones, she's gone through the books, because Anita and Gwen are the flower queens. They are. Um, and then on air last night, I made the frame to frame it. So Anita, she... she made it all down, stuck it onto the card for me, and then sent it down, and I made the frame on it's there. It's absolutely beautiful. You can be doing things like this at home as well. And what do we normally say? We normally say, if, you ever go, if you've ever tried a project before and you go, oh, I can't do that, or I tried painting once, or I tried making a card once, and oh, it turned out terrible. Well, maybe it's not you. Maybe it's the card stock mm -hmm. you were using. Maybe it's the glue that you were using. If you start with the right tools, you are good to go. Over the weekend, I put a photo on my social media of a flower. I cannot draw. I will hold my hands up. I cannot draw to save my life. Me and Molly were painting. I found an old tile. Uh, we've got a few colours and we were painting. And I drew, quickly drew a flower that I thought was decent and watercoloured it on there. Just using felt tips and a bit of water and an old tile. Um, but I was using Pink Frog cardstock. And we tried it on many other cardstocks that I had around the house and it didn't really work. We tried it on Pink Frog. It worked beautifully. I was so happy with the results until Molly said, can I try colouring it as well and sort of ruined it. Uh, but... Um, <laughs> And then I threw it in the bin. Uh, but I did it on Pink Frog cardstock, and I cannot paint, I cannot draw. I like colouring, but it was the cardstock that helped me because it pushed me along, and it takes, it sort of gets rid of your mistakes for you. Yeah. It's very forgiving, yeah. um, even when you're blending, depending on what medium you're using, if you're using a brush, very forgiving um, when you're blending. You don't get those spongy marks. Some people struggle with the sponges so they go for brushes but it'll take both it, no problem it's your choice whatever you feel comfortable with it will take your blenders it will take your waters it will take your micas it will take your gessos it will take your paints it will take your inks it will take your pens it will take your pencils and we're not even scratching the surface on what it can do let's see what else it can do then let's go back to demo okay so i'm going to do a background now i'm going to go back to the oxides so you could do this with distress inks as well and again, it's just about getting the colour down on the card. I love this technique and I did do it last night, but I just wanted to cover it again in case anybody missed it because it's so, so effective. You see, I'm not worried about any of this. I'm just really, literally scrubbing this colour down. And I do like it vibrant, so I do load my sponges up really quite well rather than going over two or three times. Let's get some more yellow. So just a bit of, um, this is just water with a bit of mica and I'm not going to put lows because it'll take me long to dry, but I just want to mush them colours in together. So we just spritz and dry those. Give it a blast, but it just all kind of, I like the effect there you've got on there. It's all, it's the spotting, it's just beautiful. And you can see that more because I've put less water on. That's nice. I like it. Again, just get a little dry behind. And then you're going to need some black. And what we're going to do, we just put the ink onto... Now, you can do it onto a block or you can do it onto a piece of acetate. 
I was just going to say, let's show the acetate. So put your ink onto the acetate. I mean this in the nicest possible way, and you, and you know when I'm being genuine. Yeah. That in theory, what you've just done there, anybody could do. Absolutely. But it's the cardstock that's helped you to do and achieve this, isn't it? It's nothing yeah. that you've done special, that you're a crafter or anything like that. It's the cardstock that's helped you. Of course. It goes down to anything. It's all in the... Ing the, the quality of the ingredients makes the bake better. <laughs> I, knew you, I knew you would understand that. I would just say it. <laughs> no, it's fine. It? I don't mind standing here while you abuse me. It's fine. <laughs> no, and I didn't want to. I tried to reword it in my head as well. And I thought, I'm just going to come and I say I want it. this to sound nice without you. <laughs> it's fine. But no, it's true. It is like. We could. If I stood here and watched you do, I could also do make the Push same could. thing. We yeah, could yeah. both do we it. We could swap. Swap sides if you like. No, I think it's fine. You, you're good at what you're doing. But that's, that's what I'm trying to say, that yeah. if you're at home and you've got the right card stock... Don't be scared by it, yes. honestly. That's the thing. Uh, it is only a piece of card. It's not going to cost you... At these prices, you can afford to play and really get comfortable with your products without it costing the earth. So then we're going to go in for another layer. So it looks like I'm just covering up all that gorgeous colour but stick with it because we're just going to build up another layer on here and I'm I want some of that colour showing through. It's that one I want. I'm intrigued. So What's a little bit of... There? I knew you'd like this, this one, so I wanted to do it again. So I'm going to leave these bits of colour because it's going to add interest in a minute. But this is where we're going to tie in our gesso. So did you see the difference between using the acetate and the block? Yeah. I'm going to put that there so I don't put my hands in it. And I want to just hurry that up. OK. So from there, just clean that down. Because it is a bit messy with the black. OK, so some of our gesso. We're just going to pop that down. We've got this on the show as well, the gesso. Uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. And then we're just going to take a bit on a sponge. I want a sponge. And then just pound it in, and I'm going to dip in for my Myla. So this is one that I've made with circles, and we're just going to pop a little moon on here. We've got this on the show as well, We haven't have we? indeed. Every time it comes on, it's so popular. Um, just gentle pounding. So we're just going to white that out a bit, so that you get that pity, pitted kind of effect that you would get on a moon. But don't overload your sponge. There we go. So that looks really quite effective oh. like that. And then what you can do, if we just dry that off, you could add in around the edges as well. Just soften those off. You can come in with some black. Let's use some VersaClair. Because you always have a little bit of shading around your moons. Are they John's ink? These ones are Versa Claire. Oh, it says John Lockwood on the box. Oh, it's, that's where I store things at home. Uh, it depends on yeah. what's in the box. That yeah. would have had his dyes in or, yeah, or whatever, yeah. you know. John, if you've lost No, it's just because I really <laughs> like him and I want to write his name <laughs> on my boxes. <laughs> <laughs> right, so just put a bit of darker on that top edge. So when we take that away, that gives oh, you that real that. spherical kind of... I like that word too. Um, so then what I would do is come in with my fan brush. There should be enough in there. I bet there's not. Of course there's not. Don't be tight. Little dob in there. Pop some more water down. And then just pop some little... I love the little wiggly lines as well. So that just gives you, if I bring these two in from last night, so you've got that one there, which is a bit lighter around the edges, but I did do it on a big, look at that. So effective. You've got the mica oh, in there from the spray, but it's a piece of white card. Oh. You'd think that that was black card and you just put a little bit of colour on, yeah. on, wouldn't you? It's amazing what lengths it can go to, what, what it can take, oh. but really, really effective. 
That reminds me of one of them, you know, them photos you can get that you normally get when you're on holiday and it's the man sitting on the street with the spray cans. Yes. And he uses a bin and lid. The, and he, in the, yeah, we put yeah. bin lid and do. But yeah, I mean, amazing. I'm in awe when I see things like that. I think I wish I could create something like that with my crafty stash. And I think, I suppose, yeah, I'd love to do the silhouettes type stuff, but I'm not really freehand drawer or anything. Right, I suppose you could do the same, but then if you've got your smaller cast up with the shapes of your cast that you've got, so if you're using some of your long ones, like your 15 by yep. 30, you could tear into that and do a mountain range and put that down and then start building landscapes into there with your moons and your, as your moon rises. You could really go to town. £19.99. Something else I must show you as well. Brand new today because he's worth it, is your brand new uh, natural pH adhesive glue that we've got here as well. Uh, it is odourless, which is amazing. It uh, won't yellow over time, which is amazing as well. Uh, what else will this glue do? Okay, so the way that I want to keep it simple, it's an amazing glue for us crafters. So uh, n n n <laughs> neutral pH means it's like an archival glue so it's usually used for book binding so you can do your book binding with it you can mat and layer um it won't yellow over time and it won't go brittle so it's going to stay flexible that is yes yeah, so it's got a pre-drilled hole in the top that little cap clicks on really secure and then when you take that off you've got like a little seal so you take the seal off to obviously release the glue but you can then fill your non-clog bottles keeping that cap screwed on yeah. just pop off the top turn it upside down and squeeze it in so it's mess free thank you for that just put them perfectly <laughs> i know like our andrew likes his decanting yeah i mean eva and pva they are slightly different eva is mostly used for archival um, and your book binding side and it's like an ethylene vinyl acetate uh, whereas a pva is a polyvinyl but that's the technical bits which i didn't really want to get into <laughs> basically <laughs> it's amazing it's good glue for the paper yeah absolutely or for the cardstock that you're using at the moment so obviously if you're getting pink frog cardstock you might want to go for your pink frog glue as well because you know they've been made to work together uh, absolutely amazing stuff um i might have a little go myself a little, little pour later uh, right then, something else that we're busy on you found out is your non clogged bottles on this as well now you're getting two of these with the precision ends in there as well now the non clog you know old school when you used to get a pin and you used to put a pin in the end of your glue these have got them in the lids these have got the pins now in in the lids themselves let me show you let me show you come on come on missus uh let me show you uh these they sold out last night but they're on sending money so you've got your lids obviously i've pre-unscrewed mine otherwise you don't want to watch me uh, screwing uh, uh it's the lid off but you see the precision lid so this one here doesn't come out that stays in there that's your precision but that fits on top oh, i just did it while you're watching that uh that slide it in there, there we go. go so now that is going nowhere can you see because it's on there already uh, then that's not going to dry up so i can put my glue into that and you get two of them different size bottles oh yeah on the crafting on the go i think i want a set of these as well oh i want so much from this show uh so if you want the bottles you can get the bottles 12 pounds and 99 pence uh, is what you're looking at uh, for all of these at the moment uh, something else that i've already got on the show is the super smooth uh you super smooth that you get it this is the envelope collection uh, that we're looking at now uh, so what are you getting in this i hear you cry well you get two sizes of envelopes and you're also getting your 20 by 40 centimeter and your 18 by 36 uh, centimeter but you are getting 20 of the tw uh, you get 20 of the 20 by 40 and 25 the 18 by 36 is what you're getting as well uh, and then you always get your super smooth you're getting 20 of the larger envelopes and then 25 of the smaller envelopes as well uh, 968986 is your item number 13 pounds and 99 pence uh, is what you're looking at to them absolutely beautiful got a little shine to them little sheen to them as well always look expensive 968986 is your item number for that one then as we shimmy on down, 
Uh, we've got a bumper set. Now, this is worth its weight in gold as well. Uh, you've got your three different sizes in this one. If you're thinking the one-day special may be a bit big, you don't want to go that big, like your big 12 by 12 and your A3, you might just want to go slightly smaller. It's entirely up to you. This time, though, you get 21 by 30. You get 50 of those. Then you get 15 by 30. Uh, you get 50 of those. And then you get 15 by 42. Uh, you're getting 25 of those is what you are getting in there. £13.99, pence. a saving of £6 uh, is what you're getting in there as well. 459977 is your item number, £6 saving, £13.99 is what you're getting. Then, something else. Uh, we've seen this being used already throughout the hour. These are your A3s and your A5s, uh, your A6s, sorry, uh, that you're getting in here. Uh, already, half of the extended stock has now already gone. This is your super smooth, if I tilt it forward, you can see the size difference. Uh, basically, it's two of those is what you're getting. So it's two of those, so it's that cut in half, but it's already done for you. Uh, £13.98. Personally, for me, I would be going for this. I, personally, I've only lived in a little house. Uh, big A3, I, I get scared of big white paper. Yes, I know I can cut it down. This has already been cut for you for thirteen ninety eight. Um, but remember, you can cut your one-day special down as well. It's horses for courses, isn't it? If you've got a decent trimmer, you can start cutting your one-day special down. 6985005 is your item number. This works out three P per sheet. Three pence per sheet is what you're looking at. £13.98 pence and extended delivery from Monday. That's all, not long to wait at all. 50% of the extended stock is already gone. Then, a true black card up next. Now, this is true black. There's many shades of black. I know. I didn't know that either until I started working here. Uh, but there are many, many shades of black is what you can get. This is true black. Uh, we are talking your A5 true black, 280 GSM card stock. Uh, 280 GSM again. Uh, 80 sheets in total is what we're looking at. Uh, 10 pounds. I think that's just to emphasize that it's 280 GSM. Uh, 10 pounds and 99 pence. Do you know what GSM this black card stock is? Uh, yeah, 280. 280 is what it is. <laughs> uh, just double check it. It's there. Uh, 939972 is your item number. The quickest and the easiest thing, because I've got all this behind me as well. I've got it small black card stock. I've got your phone pads on there. I've got your glue. I've got your web. Jump on the website. Everything is on the website for you. Everything is there for you. You can't go wrong. Uh, We've got some 280 GSM card stuck on there. We've not seen that. We'll see that live in a minute. Uh, so uh, you've got your glue on there. You've got your precision tips on there as well. I adore that glue. Um, I think that might be my new favourite glue. You've got the Mylar on the show as well. You've got your masking sheets if you want to make your own masks. Uh, you've got them on there. You've got removable scotch tape on there as well. Uh, then you've got the poppy stamp that we've got there. Is that the stamp that you did, that we saw earlier in your demonstration it's, when you were showing us them in, cards? Yes, yes. Um, uh, we well, launched that one in October, it's, but it's just so popular. It is, and yeah. you get the red card stock as well, yeah. the true red card at 290 GSM. Very busy for the poppy. I like the poppy. I like the script in the poppy. I really, really do. True script as well. You can read it. Uh, 14 pounds and 95 pence is what we're looking at for that. 441936 is right. No, no, right then, Hazel, what are we up to? Okay, so I'm going to use from the one day special and I'm going to make a book card. So um, I'll show you what it is first and then you'll kind of know. We're going to manipulate the card, get it looking real kind of old. We've got some gilding wax on there as well. And you've got some oh. different techniques. So I'm just going to take you through how, how I made that. So to start off with, I've got a piece of card that's 15 by 20. So I would have picked up a 15 by 30 and just chopped 10 off the end. Uh, and I'm going to go across here and I'm going to score this every two centimetres. 6, 8, 10, 12. If you haven't got a um, scoreboard, you can do it with a ruler. So once you've done that, you're going to need to do that four times. I've already done them there, but it just gives you an idea. So I just go over and just fold each line backwards and then come back to the front and flip them concertina like a fan, like so. Once you've done that, give that a good firm press because then you're going to start and screw it up. So because you've got these score lines, be careful at the edges and use kind of the two your two fingers, your thumb and your forefinger, just to crumple those up, because you just want to get lots of detail in. 
and I know it seems bizarre and you're thinking, well, it's not going to be very nice, but it, it really does fold down. See what I just did then? Look, I wasn't very careful. So, just go across. There we go. Once you've done that, I've chosen a couple of inks. I've got chip sapphire and ground espresso. And you can go over and start just adding in your ink. And again, it doesn't have to be careful. Just rubbing them over together and it just gives a really quite nice effect and you need to do this on both sides. I'll just do this side and then I'll jump to the next one that I've got done. Okay, but by mixing the inks it's giving you kind of lots of interest. So if I bring these in. Are we aiming to cover all the white? Oh, that looks Yeah, so um, I've done these because obviously you didn't need to sit and watch me do. Look at each one. It just brings out all of the detail. It looks like marble. Yeah. And both sides. So if we move that to the side, what we need to do now is stick these together. So we need to concertina them. So have them so that the, um, if I say the W edge is pointed up. So make yourself a cross, like so. And then grab your glue. What we're going to do is we're going to put a square of glue here and here. And you're going to bring this edge over. Is that okay? You can see that. Now, when you place that down, you want to be careful that it doesn't interfere with the fold. So just place it down and do the same on this side. And then repeat that for the bottom. We've had a question in. Yep. From our Anita. Morning, Anita. My Morning, love. Anita. Well. Uh, she says she's loving the show. That's always a bonus. Fabulous. A good way to start an email, that is yes. loving the show. Good way, because if I uh, the show's all right, yes, I might push your email. Uh, she's <laughs> loving the show. She said, can you use this cardstock, I'm guessing the one-day special, uh, in electronic cutting machines? Of course you can, yes. It die cuts beautifully, whether that's manual or electronic. There you go, Anita, my love. I hope that answers your question. Any more questions, uh, keep them coming, and I'll, I'll pass them on. That's all I mean, I'm like a glorified postmistress. OK, so from that point, you've got the, the four corners stuck down. And then you've just got to bring the top and bottom in together. And I'm using my hands to hold them down. Bring that side one in, hold it on that side, that one. And then you're just going to keep going down. And all you're doing is just concertina in those corners. Now, I mean, it's an old technique. It's been around for a while, but I think it looks absolutely amazing with the crumple technique. So at the end, if your corners, if they're out, you've got to really pull them in tight and tuck them before you glue them. OK, so we're just coming to the end. Um, it does help if you've got big hands. <laughs> right, so you see here, look, on this corner, I need to tuck that in before I glue it. So I push that in, get my glue, put a square of glue on there and stick that down. Now, it doesn't matter if that glue comes out because I can wipe that away. So just keep pressing look at the state of my hands that's the ink i do apologize <laughs> right and then we'll turn glue, that around it? absolutely yeah so again tuck it in so it is perfect for your construction your boxes and your and your matting and layering because they're in the glues in here you're only dispensing such a tiny amount at a time it's not going to warp your card or, or yellow if you can see it over do you, do you know what i mean yeah no, that's good right, look at that pop that on And then the last one. All right. So once that's done, there we go. There you go. So I've kept it even, top and bottom, um, instead of um, what's the word, one under, one over, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So that you can pull out and expand a bit like an accordion. But I want to keep that quite flat and I need to make a wrap for that. So I've taken a, this is a 15 by 42 piece and I've cut off, that's 33, so 7, 8, 9. I've cut 9 centimetres off the end and I've just run a score line at 15 and a half centimetres and 17 and a half. That gives a 2 centimetre gusset where this is going to fit and it's gonna, oh. you're going to get that perfect kind of match around there. So I've got a couple more pieces here. 
what I want to do is this one I've got to crumple ink brand it. okay so I've got a square which is 15 centimeters square and I'm just going to crumple it up so on I think it was the 8 p.m. show I did the scrumply technique with the paper and it's a lot easier to um, to scrumple up in your hand this is because it's 300 GSM that's why I'm using like my finger and my thumb to get the creases and break down them fibers so that I've got all of the detail that I want on my project so it's still not difficult to do is it? not because at you all don't need no, to wet it or no. anything like that it's still quite easy so. yeah where's my blue there it is uh, we'll go brown first so then I'm just going to Again, it hasn't got to be careful because I want that kind of gnarly, um, rough, rustic finish. So we've got that brown down. Now we can add in a bit of blue. And sometimes it's um, quite effective if you do this with your brushes. Oh. I'll do that. Bit of blue in there. keep going like that and then if you want to add any um, rips like if I bring these in look I've done these ones already and I've got like a little rip now when I screwed it up I ripped it I'm gonna be honest with you and I thought oh and then I thought now I'm gonna make use of that and and curl it round um, so to get this kind of effect and I've got some stamping in the background so I'm gonna go through my stamps let's have um, this did one. you just keep inking that up? Like, did you just keep going at it? Because they look too like yeah, one's so darker than the other. Absolutely, because I've got to. I'm going to do some inking afterwards. So we're kind of going through the stages. I've okay. put a couple of layers on, but we've got a couple more left to do yet. So, pop your stamp on there, and then we're just going to ink up. Um, and I love these texture stamps especially for this technique because it just adds a little bit more in the background. Have we got these on the show? Um, they are on the pole, yes. They've been very popular, the textures. Texture stamps. We'll find the details for you now. Bring them in. I'm going to put a little bit of brown in there as well. Doesn't have to be too much, she says, putting it all over it. OK, there we go. That's that one. And I am going to need that ink as well. So from there, I'm going to pop some gilding wax on. Now, when you gild, I'm going to use a piece of that. Bring in the details for your texture stamps now. You get your pink frog, a fried text stamps, and you're getting super smooth war, uh, super smooth and watercolour cards. Uh, you get five sheets of each uh, with these ones. Uh, 14 pounds and 95 pence is what you're looking at for this. So what I'm doing, I'm just gently going over. Um, it, you might have a water-based type wax at home. Anything. Um, that gives you that kind of shiny look, but always take off the excess so that you don't get a big blob on there. So just going round and adding in some of the gold. Now, if I just take that, this will buff up them. And that just highlights then the creasing. If I just tilt that, there you go. Oh. How gorgeous does that look? look so that. now to deepen it down, I'm going to take my Versafine Claire and um, a brush. And we're going to start and darken this down. Look. Ah, that's where the darkness comes from. And just take that around. And the beauty of doing this is that not every one that you do is going to be exactly the same. It's, you know, it's like when you're doing your, um, your brush show backgrounds and that. It's like a lottery to know how it's going to turn out. I'm just looking for the end of my glue. Pop that in there. OK, so from there, let's piece that together. I've gone ahead and I've done a couple of strips and I've got a front and an inside and a back. So I'll just wipe that off and we'll be ready. We've got about six minutes left. OK. We can, oh, yeah, that's fine. We've got a few bits to do, but let's just take this. And I'll have put um, red liner tape on the back of here. Because my card's quite crumpled, um, I want it to, to stick tight quickly so that I can move on and get the other bits. 
Now, the 12 mil is brilliant for this because it does fill a lot of ground. So this is the front, so I'm just going to position that down onto there. And then I've got a little, cut a thin little strip, so this is um, one and a half centimetres. That should fit down there. And I've done that top to bottom. Hazel, go on, pull it off. That's how sticky your red liner tape is. Is it the same length? We've got red, line, red yes, liner tape is. on the show as well. There we go. And then we've got one for the inside of that. And then I'll show you a really nice little technique for inside the frame. Remember, if you want your foam tape or a brand new fruit bowl, it's up to you. Uh, you can go for your red liner tape. I didn't know how to display these ones on the stuff. Uh, all this, you'll get everything that you see here. All these are foam pads. 1,500 foam tabs is what you are actually getting for £19.49. Um, if you didn't want to use red liner tape, if you wanted to give it a bit more depth, could you use your foam tape? Absolutely, yeah. And they're 25 mil by 25 mil by 2 mil. If you wanted them a bit fatter, then just double them up. Stick them on top of each other. True. Right, so that's the base. Then we need to stick this one down. And I should have a square of card left. Is that going to fit in there? Yes, it is. So we'll, we'll stick this down just in case we run out of time. We're doing all right. Uh, I'm going to stick this on. Yeah, we've got about four minutes left. OK, we should have plenty of time. And I'm going to go for my glue for this one. Pop the one day the special, though, is approaching limited stock. Oh, wow. If you want the one day special, <laughs> well, I am there. Uh, if you are one, I'll have to put the clue back, in case I forgot. Uh, if you are wanting the one day special, it's approaching a limited stock. Get it while you can. <laughs> right, so we've got that in there, so that creates your little That's book. Cute. Okay. I like that. We'll set that aside. Now, this piece, what I've got, yeah, I remember now. Um, it's such a long time ago <laughs> since I prepped the batten, it's just like, what did I do? Okay, so I'm going to blend this over with. Um, yeah, <laughs> chip sapphire. And again, not even trying to blend out. I just want to scrub the colour on. There's a method in me madness. It looks like I can't blend, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyone's just tuning now, this is a technique. It is a is technique, not... yeah. Let's do it nicely. OK. Da, da, da. So always tilt your brush away if you want a nice smooth blend. OK. Now I need a stencil so I'm going to lay that over the top and I've got a baby wipe that I've taken out to dry try try and dry it out a bit it's still quite wet so I'm just going to tap that on and we're, we're, what we're doing is we're stripping the color away but I, I don't want the water to go underneath the stencil so it's better if they're a little bit drier so I'm just going to use that to dry it out. Just try and get into them corners. If you want to have a little peeky, just have a look underneath. Oh, look at that. Okay, really, really effective. I'm just going to go for a little bit more though. But it's not pilling or bobbling the card. So, there we go, take that away. And dry that off. Just why we dry, I have to say, 70% of the A5 and the A6 extended bundle now has already gone. So, you know that extended A5, A6 cardstock uh, that we've got there? 70% uh, of the extended cardstock now has already gone. So if you want it, I would get in quick £13.98. Let's go back to demo. Okay, so for this next step, I've just used ground espresso and I'm, I've opted for a brush because I want a nice soft blend just over to, to really bring those little stone looking shapes out. And you could go in with glossy accents or glitters, whatever you fancy, but this is quite a nice, it's, it's very quite male actually this, make a great background. Okay, and then we'll just stick that in to the centre. And that's ready then. Look at that precision for the glow. Pop that in. So. 
on it there. Oh, look at that. It's like a little man cave. It is, but it's really... With these concertina edges, you've got little die cuts, you can be slipping them in and really getting depth into your project. But a real... It's one of the... Where's that one gone? Did I do one? There it is. That's got to go on the back. And then it's completely finished. Look at that. So, so, as you said, you know I'm a big fan of a box frame anyway, but, and I like creating a scene. You do that with all your pastel colours and you, your meadows, your greens and your exactly. blues. Exactly, and it would look stunning. And everyone is going to be different. Yes. Everyone is still going to have that aged look, but it's down to the colours that you want to use to where you want to go as well. You're uh, in that, control, aren't you? But this is the thing, you are yeah, in control. it's a piece and of white card. And it, I suppose it's the and it is the cardstock. Yeah. It is a testament to what you can do with the cardstock once you get it home. We are very, very limited stock now for your one day special. Uh, I'm just hearing now the figures coming in. Uh, we are extremely limited. I'm now being told 698005 is your item number, 13 pounds, 98 pence. A saving of eight pounds is what you're getting on this. Remember you are getting, oh, that's for your A5 and your A6. Let me bring in the details for your one day special uh, just before we go, which is, is the limited, are we super limited on the one day special? Uh, one day special, super limited stock is what we are now. Uh, bringing the details with me, you're getting A3, you're 12 by 12, you're 15 by 42, you're 15 by 30, and you're A4. 170 sheets in total, uh, various of GSMs in there as well. 937606 is your item number. £19.99, and £99, a £10 saving. Our Hazel's back at 12 o'clock uh, today. Uh, we've literally got about 20 seconds left. Take 10 seconds for me just to sum up this card stock in a few words. I wouldn't leave it there. I would have to buy that one day special because the price is phenomenal. And for what you get, 36 projects off straight out of the box. And, and so much more. You get the templates in there as well. And you get all the cardstock. Don't you go anywhere. Thank you, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you to you as well. See you in an hour. Yes, indeed. Coming up next, it's a Crafty Devil's Happy Hour. or oh, one to watch and not miss. And then, who knows what will happen? It's Quilted Antics. Calling all crafters. This is a Hachanda announcement. We would like to inform you that our Hachanda buying crew have been busy searching for incredible brand new products and show ideas to inspire and stimulate all your crafty senses. So, watch out for Rosie's designs, Stitching Finger Kits, Janie's Originals, Emmeline Bags, Counting the Stars, Beck Beck Mix, Bergen and Bath, Gale Pan Designs, and Penguin Palace. We will be checking in our latest new product arrivals from 6pm on Thursday the 21st of January. Gates close at 6pm on Wednesday the 27th of January. So, join us on board flight Hachanda Air for our new arrivals event. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. 
Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. To you. I hope you are well. We have a happy hour for you now. We've got Mel with us as well. Hello, Mel. Hello. You crafty little devil, you. <laughs> Did you like that? I love it. <laughs> um, Mel, it's great to see you. And you. How have you been? Did you have a good Christmas? Oh, I had a lovely, quiet Did you? Christmas. Well, I say quiet. There's daughter, grandsons and that because we're in a bubble yes. for childcare. Um, so we were allowed to have them for Christmas. Aww. So it was quite nice. As long as you have a nice Christmas, yes. that's all that matters. Uh, right. Now a happy hour means we've got some great prices, discounted prices for the hour. So at the top of the hour, if you go to check out your baskets, after eight o'clock, oh, at eight o'clock, I'm an hour behind myself. <laughs> after 10 o'clock, then the prices are going back up. So whatever you see, make sure you do check out and make sure you get everything you need. Now we do have lots more items on the website that you can go and have a look so you can go and shop ahead before we even get down to the bottom of the counter which means you can pop items into your basket and check on out. Now we are looking at Easter so we've got some lovely MDF projects and we've also got some great papers for you as well. We've got art boards, we've got gesso and we've got red liner tape as well and we also have some fabulous sheets of paper to decorate of course your projects now the first bundle we have 12 pounds and 99 pence what a fantastic price mel it's great and it uh, it's not just for easter no no of course so not. it's versatile now, what I love about these crates is when you're giving gifts to people, um, it could be anything. It could be some soap, shampoo, for example, a mug and a couple of fondant fancies, which are in here. Um, putting them into a crate with uh, like crepe or tissue paper always looks very posh, doesn't it? It does. And then nice bit of cellophane around it. Look, it's just adds to the gift, doesn't it? It certainly does. Now, along with the kits, you get to make two boxes. You also get this beautiful, beautiful Easter embellishment that you can put onto the box if you want to, but you can also use for other projects as well. Yeah, definitely. Now, this has been designed, we were talking earlier, that the actual eggs and the flowers sit in between, what do we call these? The, the, the slats in the crate. Um, cute, isn't it? Um, or you could have it at the top if you want to, just like that. 
uh, just going over and then paint it, which is beautiful, isn't it? £12.99, pence. it's a great deal and you are saving £5 and you're also getting 24 sheets of yellow and 24 sheets of green tissue paper as well. What an absolute bargain. It's really good and the tissue paper you can um, cut with your scissors to shred it or yeah. you can put it for a paper shredder. Yeah, um, you could do. Depending, I've got, um, so that one, that bit of tissue in there I've cut with scissors um, and then later on I'll show you some that's cut in a shredder. Uh, I do need to add that the cup, unfortunately, and the fondant fancies are staying with me. Uh, they're not included in the deal. <laughs> 759696. We do sell the crates on their own. I think they're really handy to have around the home or to put presents in. Or maybe if you're selling online, this is going to be a great addition to your shop to put your goods in. Uh, these are three MDF Easter crate kits, saving £5, just £9.99. Works out to be... What, £3.33 pence each? So an absolute bargain. Uh, we've also got these sentiments as well. Love these. They're £9.99 for six. That's an absolute bargain. It really is. You're saving £5 on that deal for this hour and this hour only. Now, you might want to put those sentiments on crates, on cards, but you also might want to put them onto some artboards. And we do have some MDF artboards for you. Uh, £14.99. You do get a lot. You get three of each shape. My word, I thought it was fourteen ninety nine just for one shape. No, all of it is just a bargain. That's incredible. That's half price. Wow. So, let's see if I can remember my math from school. We've got your A4 size. Yeah. <laughs> your rectangle. Yeah. You've got your circle. Uh-huh. That you could cut in half and have a semicircle. You, you, you could. I don't know how you would cut that in half. No, you probably because, wouldn't. No, I, was just I was just trying to make yeah. it look like I was intelligent with lots of shapes. You yeah, know, circle, yeah. Unless you've got a laser machine, then you could cut it. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, next up, you've got your hexagon. And then you've got your square. What great value for money. And the square is 12 by 12, so that is going to be excellent for you scrapbooking papers. Brilliant, got. yeah. Yeah. What kind of things would we put onto the artboards, Mel? So, I just think these are really nice as memory pieces. Um, so, Christmas, for instance, yes. New Year we've just had, although not our normal time. But I just think, you know, a nice picture or some words, use your mediums on there, um, just decorate it. And then they also make such lovely gifts as well. Sorry, you might have seen me in the background then. <laughs> safely, of course, uh, <laughs> safely distancing uh, to grab this. I wanted to show it you. I think that is absolutely lovely. And that's been made by uh, Kaz. Yes, yeah, one of our design team. Um, obviously, she's bought the other um, different hexagons that yes. we do. Um, but just to show you, that they're, they're not just one dimensional either. You know, you can add dimension to them. Love and that. anybody that's into their honey or their bees or anything yeah. would love something like that. Isn't that nice? Just to hang up in the hallway, maybe, or towards the back garden would be yes. really nice. If you've got any kind of uh, protection, for example, uh, you can pop that outside. It works out to be one pounds and twenty-five pence each, which is which is an absolute bargain. It really is. And there is the uh, A4 size. Uh, this one by Sharon. How lovely is that? It's gorgeous, isn't it? And yeah. I just think the colours are lovely. Um, I just think. It's such a nice thing to give somebody as yeah, a gift. Yeah, definitely. And if you've got an online shop, for example, or you make and create and sell, whether it be for charity or yourself, then you can use them in that way. Yes, yeah, yeah. Perfect. £14.99. You're saving £15. It's a half price deal. 977314. Uh, we're very busy for these already. Nearly 20% of the stock has gone already. So you get three of each shape. An absolute bargain. An absolute. Well worth the journey here this morning, Mel. Yeah, well, I came up last night, thank Did goodness, you? because the weather this morning when I woke up was horrible and I wouldn't have wanted to drive all that way. Yes, it was quite torrential. It was yes. torrential rain, and then it was snowing, and then it was back to rain, and then I think it's snowing again. Yeah. But uh, all's good. We're all here. That's yeah. the main thing. Uh, right, we've got some uh, MDF shapes. Can we talk about the MDF, where it's made, and a little bit about MDF? Yep, so our MDF um, is a MedArt MDF, so no matter what we're cutting, um, or if you've lost a piece, you need a new piece, or you need to do a repair or anything, it's exactly the same as every other piece that we cut. Um, so, and it's all made down in Devon. Oh, 
So, yes. You're made in the UK? Yes, all down in our little unit in Devon. Um, we have a lovely guy called George who um, designs a few um, bits and pieces uh, with a little bit of input from me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. Um, and yeah, yeah, we do it all in house. So it's all done in house. And then we wrap it all up and send it to you. Now, look how cute that is. Now, you do get five pieces of each shape so five pieces of each shape and this one's interesting because those patterns actually come out so you've got even more for your money there yeah if you're lucky enough to get those bits ah. they don't all come with those Do they bits not? that's Ooh. just that's just um a bit that's just stuck in from the laser Ooh, so you and might get not them, you popped might out not. you might you might not mm. Lucky you dip. could actually use this. Yeah, it could be. Uh, you could use this as a like a, a stencil before you actually paint it up and use it. You as could a, use as it on the plain egg. Yeah, because um, you get a plain egg in there, so you could do your own sort of like um, stitch design, anything yeah. like that on there. So, it's, or you could make it two D there. Yeah, so it layer could it. be. If you turn it the other way, it could be a balloon. Oh, party yeah. balloon. Yeah, a little party balloon, which would be nice. Um, we've got some bunting here behind the stock let me just pick this up so nice little pretty bunting that you can make and paint them all those lovely Easter colors nine double six five seven zero nine pounds and 99 pence do we know when Easter is this year it's normally mid so it's around about Easter time <laughs> It's either at the start March of April or, or the end of March. March, isn't April, it? yeah. Fourth of April. April fourth. Ah. April fourth. There you go. Um, beautiful. So, if you want to get hold of those, great little projects put together for Easter coming up on the fourth of April. Nine double six five seven zero. Do you like chocolate, Mel? I love chocolate. Chocolate likes my hips and my backside. <laughs> <laughs> I love chocolate, but my hips and my backside don't. <laughs> oh, you know, you only live once, don't you? Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Oh, I was going to say something, but I'm not. Uh, no. Right. <laughs> uh, now, we have got some beautiful... Now, this is um, non-shed. It is. Paper. It's amazing stuff. I'm in love with this stuff. Now, is this self-adhesive? It is. So, you just peel off the back. Yeah. And then, well, that's got to be really easy to be putting on to the shape. It's really easy. Yeah. And not just for, you can use it in all your electric machines. Oh, really? In your die cutting machines. So, like your cricket, your die cutting machine, yeah. your silhouette. Yes, all that kind of stuff. And what I love about it is if you kind of get it wrong on your MDF first, you don't line it up quite, you do have that um, little bit of time where you can just peel it off and re-stick it but you can't do that too many times otherwise it will lose its tackiness yeah. but just with one error you can just and it's really easy to cut with scissors a craft knife um file a little bit of the edges with um your little file your yeah. nail file it's brilliant stuff a great idea now you're saving five pounds on this deal it's 14.99 you get eight rolls in total uh so you've got your silver in there you've got the beautiful pink you've got some lovely steel great oh it's more like a blue actually it's bluey yeah it's gorgeous isn't it with the gold as well so beautiful easter colors absolutely perfect um, if you want to go for some more hearts, we do have those for you. Uh, they are $9.99. You get 30 of them. Yeah, they're the large heart tags. You may have seen those in that particular sample that I picked up and showed you. Three uh, 633 is your item number. Now, white gesso, we've got some of that for you, which is perfect for your MDF. Um, and this is a huge amount. It really is. $9.99, saving £5 on that deal. So you've got a good saving. And you get uh, 500 ml of your white gesso, good quality as well. Next, we've got some red liner tape, always handy. And the red liner tape, it's a big package. Save oh my word, look at that, it's better than half price. <laughs> That's it, 20 assorted rolls. It's high performance red liner tape. And uh, each has five meters on. And you get different sizes, I believe. You do. So you've got 12, 9, 6, and 3 mil. That is an absolute bargain. 499549. Only for this hour, though, everyone. Only for this hour. Because it is a happy hour. Um, now, you've got 128 by 8 sheets of paper here. Beautiful designs. 160 GSM. 999. Saving five pounds on that deal. If you want to help yourself, pop that into your basket. Absolute bargain. We've also got oh, your magnetic. 
clasps. Love these. These are so handy. £12.99. Of course, with your MDF, especially with the shapes, you could actually start to create some memory books and maybe use some magnetic sheets stuck to them that you can use your magnets with. Uh, £12.99, saving £7, you get 25 of those. 699425 is your item number. Right, Mel, what we're going to have a look at? So we're going to do the crate, I think, to oh, start yes. with, a bit of Easter. I know Easter seems a long way away, but if you're making stuff, you need to prepare. Yeah, you and I do. just think, fingers crossed we might be able to have like a little easter egg hunt and stuff like that fingers crossed fingers crossed um fingers and crossed. i just think the first time we can do something like that let's make it special yeah let's, I suppose let's decorate and yeah make it, it fun exactly you could always exactly uh, <laughs> You could always send in the egg hunters one by one, but I think if I went in, I'd probably find them all and leave none for anyone else, so that wouldn't be a good idea. Yeah, and I think um, also some people do um, Easter memory trees, don't they? Yes. Um, for people that they've lost and they're thinking about yeah. that time. And I think those um, little um, shapes would be really cute to hang on to the memory tree yeah. as well. So not just um, for kids, not just for bunting, um, just all those different yeah. aspects memory uh, tree family tree for example yeah, yeah yeah and the little bunny rabbit as well if you're doing baby gifts and oh, things like that lovely. so brilliant kind of great very idea. versatile but so like with all our mdf it all comes together as a nice little kit and you can see the laser machines left some bits in here but they're easy to pop out Ta -da. so we're going to use some glue so any of your um, high tack yeah. um, PVA glue, dries clear, yeah. um, will hold on to the MDF for you. Now the crate is a little bit fiddly because obviously there's a little lip on it at the bottom. So if it looks fiddly, it is a little bit, but it's not overly complicated. Yeah. Do any of the um, kits come with instructions? Are they quite self-explanatory? Um, they do come with instructions, but they are, I mean, the crate is pretty self-explanatory. Um, there's two ends and yeah. two sides. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Now, we're gluing it together now. We've not decorated it or painted it yet. Would you no. recommend doing it in that order? I always recommend putting your MDF together first because MDF is a porous product yeah um your your first layer of whatever you're putting on there um will soak straight in okay. and if you get it in the little grooves or the little on the little tags it because it soaks it in it will swell just yeah. even if it's only like by half a mil and you don't because that, this do you? is so precise, yeah. half a mil is quite a lot. So, but if you prefer to paint beforehand, don't worry. Just try and avoid these little notches. Okay. If you get it on there, you can just use a little file, yes. a bit of sandpaper, yeah. and it will slot yeah, back you can in. Just take it yeah. Yeah. So I've let that stick a little bit. I'm going to put it on its end. You don't need an awful lot of glue either. Just on the little end bits there. Because they're precision cut, they fit so snug. They do. But it's definitely worth putting a little bit of glue in there just to make sure that it stays still. Yeah, because you don't want someone picking mm. it up and, yeah. like, if you pull it up, pick it up by the handles. Yes. Um, yeah. You don't want someone, like, pulling it gently and it just all collapses in around them. Uh, yeah, I've just got this one in my hands here. Uh, so you can see how sturdy that is with the glue. Um, and that's why we use the glue, so we don't want it falling apart, especially if you've got nice little gifts in there. You don't want your fondant fancies coming out all over the place, do you? No, I wouldn't want my fondant fancy coming out anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pop that back there. But these are, these are also nice, you know, in, in the bathroom, for example, just putting your creams and your bath salts and your toiletries and things. That's it. And mm. I, w I would say if you're going to put it in um, your bathroom, because your bathroom is quite a, um, so you shower, you get steam and yeah. that. Quite a steamy place steamy in the place, house. Yes. Um, I would um, put a sealant on it. Yes. To stop it, because obviously MDF, you're going to get it, if you get it wet, 
it's going to swell up. Bit, yeah. yeah, and you don't want it to warp or go no. horrible. No. So put a little sealant on it. Um, so yeah, so to make sure it doesn't swell up in the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> Put a layer of, of a, a lacquer on it or something. I'm just saying it as it is. That's all. Just facts. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> it's first thing in the morning. And, um, <laughs> it, it is. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, but for me, I feel like it's the middle of the night still. It's. Um, oh look. So. Just hold it for um, sort of like a, a couple of seconds, yeah. um, just to try and get the glue to adhere a little bit. So that's not the tricky bit. Obviously, that's quite easy. Yeah. This is the tricky bit. Okay. To line it and up. Is this exactly how we would build it? Yes, <clears throat> there is because you, if you put the ends on first, you've you've got to get these bits. In, so you'd yeah. have to pull it apart slightly to slot them in. So we just put our glue on. This is where the nation holds its breath. Breath, yes. This is where Mel... To watch what happens. Don't hold your breath at home, please don't. This is where Mel puts it on and it all collapses. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Well, you never know, it might. So I'll try and get that bit in first. Well, gonna... because the glue you're using as well, even if it did, even if it did, you've still got time to put it all back together and the glue will still be fine. Yes. <clears throat> so, and then we'll... Oh, see, that's how fiddly it is. You see? Perfect. Done. Now, here's a question. Would you put anything um, with a bit of weight on the top of that to keep it together or an elastic band? I've seen you use those before. Yeah, no. No. no, I wouldn't. I would just, what I would do is I would wait a minute yeah. for that to dry and then I would just crack on and so you can see I've like, I put it up. If you are worried, you can put something around it. Um, you can put some um, tape around these corners just to keep it tight if tack. you're, yeah, yeah. if you're, if you want to wait for it to dry completely. Yeah. Um, but usually what I do is I just put it to one side like that. And just leave it. Yeah. Um, it's great for the kids to decorate as well, a project for them to get involved with, a little yeah. crafty. Especially now, um, they're at home, aren't they? Where everyone's homeschooling. Yeah. So, little art lesson. Yeah. Um, a little gift for grandma. You could cross over to a science lesson as well. You and could. talk about MDF. Yes. And paint and glue and how it sticks and how it works. And what porous and stuff is. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. yeah. That would be fabulous. And you also get the embellishments as well with those kits, which are brilliant. I love those. And you can put them at the top if you want to. You can put them in the middle. Or you could use those with a separate project. And then you've got your uh, little crates. And you get two crates in the kit. 759-696 uh, is your item number. But you also get the tissue paper as well and those beautiful Easter-esque colours. Now, if you do want more of the crates, you can buy three for 9 99 So you could add those to your basket if you wish. Remember, this is a happy hour, so you are saving. Take advantage of those savings because all the prices are going back up in 40 minutes. 014064 is your item number if you want to go for the crates on their own. Uh, it is great to have your company this morning. It is Saturday, isn't it? It is. It's great to have your company this morning. You're on form, um, aren't you? I, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I'm being told in my ear just to let you demo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm they gonna, know me too well. They know I'm gonna, me too I'm gonna well. use my gesso. <laughs> and what I love about our gesso, it's a really nice consistency. It's in a nice big tub and it's got this click clack lid, I call it. So it's not a screw lid. Okay. So you don't yeah, have like to that. unscrew it. So it's got a nice seal in there. So if I hold it upside down like this, nothing is coming out. But if I squeeze it, then it will. Yes. Here's a, here's a question then. I know uh, there's lots of people joining us all the time. And we use the word gesso a lot. Lots of us use gesso on our projects. Um, why? Is there any particular type of gesso or is all gesso the same? Made from the same properties? I, I believe it's all made from the same yes. properties. Um, don't quote me on it, though. I won't. 
I won't. <laughs> That's I a question won't. I've never been asked. Uh, but this is a lot of gesso for your money, isn't it, Mel? It's really, it is. And um, I think if you're doing MDF projects, it's really important to use your gesso. Yes. Um, because we've all got those lovely paints that we've paid a lot of money for. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not the cheapest of things if you've got some nice acrylic paints. Um, and we don't want to waste them. No. So if you prime, then you're not going to use as much because you're not soak in, is it? No, your first layer, you can see here, I'm putting on a nice quantity of gesso because we've got such a big tub, we can yeah. afford to be nice and liberal with it. But you can see that that is soaking straight in. It's a good coverage as well. It's a really yeah. good coverage. So it's a really good base layer. Mm. Um, so that will soak in within a minute or two. Mm. It's also good if you're using any rice paper as well because it gives you the true colours when you gesso because you've got that white background. The same with your paints. Yes. It yeah. gives you the true colours. Now, we also, um, quite often you'll see us on here, we do a black one as well. Yeah. Um, and you'll see that the black one, if, you want, if you've got nice like burgundy red yeah. and you've got that rich depth to yes. it, use the dark one. Oh, okay, if you've yeah. got pastel colours and yeah. a nice vibrant red, use the white, use the white use because it will keep your colours true to form. Yeah, and that's really important, isn't it? What I like about this as well is it's not only the size, but also how easy it is just to open up and just get what you want from it. Uh, you don't necessarily have to dip your brush in, so you can just pop a bit of that onto your glass mat. I've got some gesso at home, and you know something? It's in a really wide, large tub. And I actually can't get it. I actually can't get it open because uh, I have sometimes um, issues with that wrist. Sometimes a bit of rheumatism and stuff. And so it's really difficult to get it open. But this absolutely perfect. You just open that clip lid, and then off you go. And if you do want to just take the whole lid off, then of course you can do that as well if you want to, because you can just screw that off. But it also keeps it nice and protected as well. So if you do want to go for that, only nine ninety nine, three nine seven four one seven is your item number. I love that. So once you've gessoed and that's dry, you can see that that is starting to dry quite quickly because yeah. it is absorbing all of that. Would you use a, a dryer, like an air dryer on there to dry it quicker? I think not? you could. Yeah. I never have because I'm always worried because I'm not the softest of people. Um, I'm a bit heavy handed. I'm always worried about overheating it and uh, warping yeah. the MDF. So I would say you can, but just be careful not to put too much heat on it. You don't want to get a, Good a warp in it. So I'll put that to one side because obviously we're on if you've TV. got a couple of projects on the go, you could make one, paint one, leave one, go back to the other, make it, and then by the time you've made it, go back to the one that you painted. Yes, you could, definitely. Oop. So I'm going to, this is my lovely green acrylic paint, which I'm going to use. Um, so you will see that the gesso has dried and you can see a little bit of the bleed of the MDF there. Yeah. But because you've gessoed it, that's not going to come through on your paint. Okay. That's like... Um, I suppose if you're painting and decorating yeah. and you've got knots in your wood and you you prime them before you paint yes. because otherwise they will come through your paint like a yellowy colour, oh, won't they? Oh, that's what I should have done then. Ah. That's what I should have done. Yeah. My knots are coming through. <laughs> so if you prime them before, if you seal them, prime them, they, they won't come through. And at, and at my time of life, you don't want your knots coming through, do you? So... I just think, especially with your pastel colours, you can see, now if I painted that straight onto MDF, I wouldn't get that coverage with one coat. So I will show you the difference. Yeah. So you think, oh, well, that looks very similar. And it's, I guess it's starting to soak in now. But it's going to yeah. soak in. And gesso is so handy because it will go on all kinds of different um, surfaces. I use it with some of my clay models. So I put a bit of gesso on there first. Works on MDF. You yeah. can also put it on your um, canvas boards as well to give it a bit of a, bit yes. of a key when, yeah. you, when you're doing that. So I'm going to let that dry and I will show you in a minute the difference 
in the coverage. I just think it's so important to prime. Yeah, definitely. Can't get that over enough. The effect, like if you're sanding um, your work after as well, the effect you get is totally different if you've primed. I think you've got a bit of fibre, just that, the, yeah, there you go. You don't want that getting caught in there. That'll be my hair. I was, bit, I was being polite <laughs> when I said fibre. <laughs> I thought it might be a, a hair. Yeah. But, you know, I thought, I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep it nice and polite. I haven't got to worry about fibre. The, I haven't got to worry about the dog molting. It's just me. Oh, how is your lovely dog? Oh, he's. Do you know what? He was one on Tuesday. No, are you kidding me? No. It only seems like yesterday that you got him. I know. It'll be a year, the beginning of March, that we've had him. Wow, I can remember you telling me. Yeah. Wow, a year. I'd, I'd like to say the year has flown by, but I think we all know it hasn't. Um, but yeah, a year. A year. And, and what kind of dog have you got at home and what's your doggy's name for everyone? So, Bentley. I think everyone knows because I talk about him all the time. Um, he's called Bentley and he's a cockapoo. He's beautiful. Is he an apricot cockapoo? Yes, yeah. he is. He is absolutely gorgeous. He's very cheeky. And um, we had a little birthday tea for him. Did you? What did you have? Um, so we had lovely birthday food. Yes. Um, Bentley had a doggy cupcake. Aww. And he had two of his puppy pals, um, which are my daughter's dogs. Um, Did they have to wear face masks? The they, no, they didn't. Oh. But my beautiful friend made Bentley a beautiful bandana with his name on how and lovely. Bentley's first birthday. Oh, and oh how lovely. She, oh, he's so spoiled. He's like... Because my children are grown up, he's yeah. like my child now. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> I used to make um, a cake for my hamster when my hamster had a birthday. And the birds as well. I used to make cakes for birds. But I used to just soak toast in, in um, milk and then add seed and then bake it again and put it out for the birds. And also nice. give it to my um, hamster. I did used to play alone uh, as a child, quite a bit. <laughs> 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 I haven't, uh, I've not told you the best story yet. I don't know whether I should. <laughs> Before you go to the, your best story, yeah. I just want to show you. So I painted. <laughs> well done, Mel. Well done, Mel. Keep me on track. <laughs> Those are the two panels that I painted with the gesso. Yeah. Okay. So you can see nice pastel green. So if I turn it over, the panel that I painted without the gesso. Can yeah. you see the MDF is coming through? Yeah. It looks very dry. Yeah. You're the colour's not the same. Right? You're going to have to put probably another two layers mm. on that. Yeah. Um, to, to, get, to get the coverage properly and to get the pastel. Yeah. And it, but it's never going to be a vibrant pastel. It's always going to be what I call like a grungy pastel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, you might want that effect, but like you can see, using that gesso, it's absolutely perfect. And it will work on so many different mediums and so many different uses as well. And uh, it will make your paints last longer because you've got your layer of gesso on first, so your paint's not going to soak into the MDF. That is excellent value for money. Do your own research if you want to. It's a happy hour deal and a quarter of the stock has gone. It's always worth topping up and stocking up with it because then you're encouraged to use it more. Uh, Mel, we've got another show later on, haven't we? We have, but it's... You do know it's with me again. Oh, dear. oh such yeah, you, can, you can request someone else a little later on if you want to. <laughs> They, they all do, all the no, guests do No, try. they don't, they never do. <laughs> they, um, yes, um, but I would say the next happy hour is different products. Okay. So if you think, oh, I'll leave it till two o'clock when she's back on, yep. don't, because it's different products. Yeah, yeah, so do check out your baskets now. It is a happy hour, so it is only good for this hour, the prices. Of course, you can perhaps buy stuff after the hour, but the prices will be going back up. I do believe there's a clock just there, yeah which is in the right direction. Um, right, so you can head to the website and have a look at all the different items we've got available for you because we have got some brilliant deals. And I think this is the time of year, really, Mel, yeah. um, that we can start to put together new projects, new inspirations. Let's leave last year behind that, and yeah. bring on some new inspiration projects. Let's, let's keep our fingers crossed and plan for Easter as we would normally have Easter. Good idea. But because we haven't had Easter as we normally have it for such a long time, well, nearly a year, um, let's make a party of it. Yeah. Let's get out in the garden. Let's have our friends round yeah. if we can. Yeah. And if we um, can't, still have the party yourself. Yes. And then maybe video it or social media. You could do it live. 
uh, which is really nice. So, you know, let's bring colour back into our lives if it's been missing for a while, because I think we all need that, don't we? Definitely. So I'm just painting my bunny rabbit. Now with, I'm going to move this crate out of the way a minute. So with the Easter shapes, you can definitely see, it's a bit stuck in there from the laser machine, you can definitely see where your flowers and your eggs should be. So it's really easy to, um, to, to see that so that you're not painting over your letters. Now I'm painting my bunny in pink because I like a pink bunny. I think this shows off your MDF extremely well and also how laser cut MDF can be so beneficial because you've got all of those shapes in between. You've got the eyes in there, you've got the little, what's the mouth, like little cheeks in there, you've got the ears as well. Um, but it is so delicate. If I just move that around there, you can see. And that's why your laser cut MDF is so precise. It's made here in Devon as well. Um, and it, they're absolutely fantastic. If you want to pop this at the top of the box, in the middle of the box, you can do. But you can use this for all kinds of different projects. In fact, if you're going for the MDF plaques, for example, you could pop it onto a plaque. It fits on there nicely. fits onto the A4 rectangle fit onto the circle, uh, the hexagon and the 12 by 12. So you could do a little memory plaque if you want to. And again, you could have that just offset at the top like so if you want to. I think it's so cute, so lovely. Um, and here's the thing, you know that mirror mist spray you can get? Yeah. That would look nice on your... Could we put that on the MDF? Would look lovely. Could we gesso first? Yeah. <gasps> that would be a really mirror that would make this mirror. That'd be well, well cool as they say. I also think if you're handy with your craft knife, you can put the glitter roll on these. No one actually does say, well, cool, sorry. So, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> yeah. So you can put your um, self-adhesive glitter yes, roll now. on, cut them out on the flowers. Yes, the flowers. So how would, how would you do it? Because they're, they're quite small, the flowers. They are. So I would cut off a little piece yeah. and stick it on. And then I would turn it over and with my craft knife. Just cut round. Just cut round. Yeah. And then you do, obviously, these two bits, you'd have to be quite precise. Yeah. And if you had like a mini tiny little nail file, especially one of the metal ones that you can get that goes thinner at the end, like that would be like really this. handy. Yeah. Yes. Like one of those. Like one of those. Like one like of those. Like one of those. <laughs> yeah. You see? It's all about having the right tools for the trade, isn't it? It is. But I'm not um, an artist or anything like that, don't proclaim to be. But you can see, it's just so easy. You're not, I'm not that, going out the lines, as that, that would say. That would look nice and then have the non-shed glitter behind it. Yes. As a backdrop maybe on one of your plaques. That yes. would look really nice. Or even just behind the bunny ears. So he's got yeah. sparkly ears. Oh, a yeah, sparkly in, in, bunny. Yeah, in the in the bits in between. I don't know whether I've got a sample of that because I think the bunny ears that I've got here are painted on. But yeah, I mean the double sided, not double sided, the non shed um, glitter papers are beautiful. And here's a lovely way of using them on the love hearts. Who are these lovely ladies? Here is that you, Mel? No, those are my daughters. Oh, they're a, beautiful. A long photographs. time ago. My my eldest daughter's just turned thirty yesterday. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that's when they were school age. Do you think she's watching? What's her name? Tandy. Tandy. Do you think Tandy's watching? Um, she might not be. She might be enjoying a nice peaceful cuppa. But I bet my grandsons are. Oh well, there you go. There's your mum on the telly. Uh, <laughs> what's your other daughter called? Georgie. Georgie. Tandy and Georgie. That's beautiful and a really good way of showing you how to use those. Um, Adhesive non shed glitter. Absolutely beautiful. See, they look gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> They'll be chuffed. Will they? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought as much. I thought I'll get that one in. I put some pictures up yesterday uh, for, for Tandy for her birthday, and she did mention she in her th thanks, Mum. Nice pictures. Oh, is it a birthday today? No, yesterday. Oh, well, happy yes. birthday, Tandy, for yesterday. It's all a bit pants, isn't it? I, I had my big birthday last year in the summer, Aww. 
Oh. Um, but you can't, no, couldn't do anything no. really. And she's had her 30th and she's like, can't do anything. So I think as soon as we can, you will. we're going to have a big garden party. Oh, my, my birthday last year was actually on lockdown. I was all ready to go out and then he said, no, you can't. Oh. So who knows what's going to happen on my birthday this year. Well, hopefully. 23rd of March. Oh, well, fingers crossed you'll be able to go out and have a few cocktails and... Well, I'm on dry January at the moment. I might, I might keep that going as well. I'm kind of enjoying it. Is that realistic? <laughs> <laughs> is, is that I realistic? You know me too well. Is that realistic? Um, maybe not, but <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying my sobriety. Yeah. For January. Apart, apart from the few days that I fell off the wagon. <laughs> and then I had to chase it down the street <laughs> to get back on it again. You could have mocktails. Well, you could have mocktails. You can, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing about dry January is, yes, you can go every day without having a drink, and that's good. And then it's also about just reducing. It's not about being dry every day. It's, it's, it is. It's about reducing your intake. Um, and, OK, I've fallen off the wagon a few times, but such is life. Five o'clock in the evening when you watch that little news thing, sometimes I just fall off. <laughs> you get depressed, think, oh, can't go out again. Let's have a drink. <laughs> no, drink responsibly, everybody. Yes. I'm not a massive drinker. No. But I do quite like a drink now and again. Nice and relaxing. Yes. Yeah. I'm not a home drinker, so I, I haven't really drunk much at all. I've but got no choice. We can't really go out. No. I did, oh, I did indulge New Year, obviously. Yeah. Um, we've got cues on the phones. We're busy this morning. It's great to have your company. And uh, thank you for buying from us here at Hochanda. Um, if you want to head to the website, it's the best way to order um, because you can go to all the different items. You can pop them into your basket. You can check out yourself. You can also check out being a Freedom member as well. And if you're a Freedom member, if you're new to us here at Hochanda, £5.97 pence a month means you pay no standard PMP. You don't pay any PMP, which is great. So you could buy from this show, you could buy from the show with Leone later on, or the show with Anthea later on. You won't be paying any PMP. You can save a lot of money. Um, and it's only £5.97 pence a month. You can stop it at any time. It's a rolling monthly Freedom membership. Um, unlimited standard delivery, no contracts, exclusive discounts as well. If you see a blue banner, on the website that means you've got a freedom discount lots of times it's 10 percent sometimes it could be more you get a monthly newsletter and a member's badge i think i did the intro to this newsletter in january i'm not sure i might have done i might have done um but yeah that's your freedom membership triple eight triple eight in your basket back to mel right so i i quite like this embellishment just with the middle bits painted i quite like the mdf on its own yes I'm, I, I, I do, and I love the smell of MDF. Do you? Yeah, when it's come off the laser, it smells like campfires. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, oh, I'd love to have a campfire now. You'll notice it. When you, when you unwrap your um, purchase, you'll notice the smell when you unwrap it. Yeah. Just like... Now, does that go away when you gesso, when you yes. paint? Yes. Yeah, it doesn't always smell like that. No. Um, so, I'm just going to paint that, leave that to dry. So and pop that to the side and then I want to show you your lovely you get so much of yeah, this. Yeah you do. That is this is an excellent deal. You get 24 sheets of each colour. It's an absolute bargain, it really is. It's um and it's lovely quality. It's I love tissue paper. So much you can do with it. Well you could if you wanted to put some paint on there and stamp on it and then use it as um like decoupage. Yes. Yeah, you can yeah, you can um decoupage with it it's I'm just going to use three sheets and you can see like I, I've used some of this already but you've still got loads yeah. left so if you are doing stuff for um, selling um, face baying whatever whatever you do um, you have got a lot in there yeah so it's um it's going to go a long way now I'm going to fold it Nice like yellow so. and green colours as well for Easter. They're lovely and they're uh, the green's my favourite. I love the green. 
But it just reminds me of daffodils, the yellow and the green yes. together. They'll be coming up soon. They will. We've got snowdrops in our garden. Yeah, we have as well. So I'm just going to show you, just cut it finely. Oh, got a bit sticky on my scissors. That's not good, is it? So, They're meant no. to be non-stick. <laughs> Have you got a, a wire? There, it's you gone. Yeah. Just use my nail. <laughs> so just. So if you don't have a shredder, yeah, that's a good way of doing just it. Just do this, and you'll think, oh, well, that doesn't look very good. But you are going to fluff it up. Some people, some people mm. have um, pasta machines to do their craft with. I've got a pasta machine. Right. Um, from a polymer clay. I know Catherine has. And um, you can use those like a shredder as well. Can you? Yeah, instead of tagliatelle, you're shredding up your papers. Oh. Mm. I didn't know that. If you've got the right, um, like, a adjustment thing on it. Yeah. So then what you're going to do is you're going to fluff it. I did it on some bills the other day. Just shredded them. I thought, I'll shred them. I won't pay them. <laughs> <laughs> Out of sight, out of mind, that's what I said. So just fluff it up, and there's obviously a few stubborn bits always. Just separate them up. But you can see that is coming mm. along. Just keep fluffing. Yeah, it looks like straw as well. Yeah, yellow. yeah. So that's that. Just to show you that how easy it is yeah, to cut that. with your scissors. Very, um, very good. Right, what we're going to do is recap the counter, if that's all right, Mel, yes. just to let people know what we've got available. Uh, now, the bundle uh, that we've got for you comes with that tissue paper, 24 sheets of each. That's a lovely um, leaf green, lime green. You've got the yellow as well, two beautiful Easter colours. You make two of the crates, and you also get two of the sentiments as well. Now, the sentiments can go on the crate, and they look perfect because your eggs and your flowers will go into the gap just there. Um, you don't have to use them with the crates, you could use them for another project if you want to, but you do get two of those and you get enough to make two crates as well. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic deal. £12.99 pence. works out to be £6.50 per crate, but you'll have lots of the crate paper uh, left over. We also have a set of three crates for you. If you want to go for those, they're nine ninety nine. You could ask those, add those to your basket. I'm sure you'll have enough crepe paper from your first bundle to continue making and creating the fillers for them. Nine ninety nine zero one four zero six four. Sixty percent of the stock of those have gone. Remember, these prices are only for this hour. At the top of the hour, all of those discounts are being reapplied to the products, and you'll be paying the higher price after ten o'clock today. Get them at the discounted prices today. Get some brand new projects to put together. Uh, we also have the. Six sentiments. It works out to be one pound sixty-seven each. Two oh nine three four seven. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. I love those. I think they're absolutely fantastic. All laser cut, all made here in the UK, down in Devon, and are beautiful in their lovely design. You got that bunny rabbit in the middle. Nine ninety-nine, saving five pounds for this hour and this hour only. Fourteen minutes and twenty-nine seconds left to save that money. Uh, right, we have got four different shapes for you three of each shape. I know all of this is an incredible deal. It really is. £14.99. You get your rectangle, your circle, your hexagon, and you also get your 12 by 12. Uh, the circle is 300 mil, if you want to know that in diameter. Uh, saving £15. It's a better than half price deal. These are fantastic for putting together your pieces of art if you want to. You could add fabric, you have all sorts of different mediums. Um, I think they're absolutely beautiful and gives you inspiration. It's your blank canvas to start your brand new project on. 977314 is your item number. Uh, again, they're all laser cut for you as well. And half the stock has gone. Remember the price is going back up at 10 o'clock. So £15 will be added to this price. If you try and check out your basket after 10 o'clock, it's 29.99. We don't have the same products later on. We've got another show at two but it's not the same product so this is your only chance to get these items at that discounted price right next we've got some uh, embellishments for you you get five of each love these shapes so you've got uh, your basket with your eggs inside so your little there you go so you've got your little basket with your eggs inside uh, you've got your chick um, and the chick you can see their little hole at the top so you can thread some twine through there or something to hang it up you also get your bunny rabbit 
cute little bunny rabbit there and you've got the inside to paint on its ears and then you've got your egg or we did say it could be a balloon or it could be someone's head or it could be little mouse's head anyway that's your mdf and then you have your fantastic zigzag egg shapes you can pop that on the front or you could use it separately if you want to to show you a sample of what you could make let's pop this up for you you have got your piece of bunting which is lovely isn't it uh key rings as well these make great key rings mel they would um a third of the stock is gone of those shapes you get five of each 9.99 saving 10 pounds it's a great deal it really really is now we have been talking about our self-adhesive non-shed glitter sheets well here they are what an array of colors as well lovely easter colors and you've also got the gold in there as well it's a happy hour deal they look fantastic on your mdf you don't need to gesso them you can put them straight on if you want to um and nearly stock wise 20% is gone already. These will also work with your electronic uh, die cutting machine. So we're going to bring the details up. Um, ooh. We need to feed that mouse. They are, they're also like pan pipes as well. You could like. Uh, anyway, uh, the item number is for these. Well, they're $14.99. We do know that much. Um, and we'll. we'll, we'll um, here we go, the item number, 766-638, there you go, 766-638, you can also see them on the website as well. Uh, right, okay, back to Mel, what are we having a look at now, Mel? So I just want to show you another thing with, um, because we've primed yeah. and without our primer, because I, I, I really can't stress enough how important it is to yeah. prime. So once we've painted, um, and this is the side with the gesso on, and I'm a bit of a sander at the moment, I, don't, I quite like to sand it because I like to get the edges a little bit of the MDF showing through on the oh, edges. Yeah, that always looks good. So, what kind of sandpaper? Mel? So fine grade. Fine. Yeah. Or or like a. I've got also got a nice little nail file that just does takes the edges off. I just like that that look. Yeah. That's that's my kind of thing. Obviously. Well, it looks vintage, looks vintage, doesn't it? Yeah, and I think it. You can see the difference in the paint. It smooths. It gives yeah. a smoother finish to the paint. So, um, how about brushing over some crackle paint as well? Yes, crackle yeah. paint. Love a bit of crackle. Or adding a bit of gesso back on there to give like a little distressed look to it. Yeah. So with with the sanding, you'll see. You can see the gesso coming through. Yeah. As you take as you take the the paint off yeah. a little bit. So that's the difference. So you get a nice even finish whereas mm. when you've painted you might have a piece that's darker than yeah. the other piece. What um, paint have you put on there? What's the green paint? So it's just an acrylic paint. I'm just thinking the you know how you're sanding that back and you've yes. got the residue like the powder. Yeah. I wonder if you mix that with some gesso it would color it up. Oh, shall we try? Because, you know, waste not, want not. Waste not, want not. Waste not, want not. Nearly 40% of the bundle has gone. It's a happy hour deal for this hour, only £12.99. And you also get that uh, crepe paper as well, 24 sheets of the green and the yellow. So this is the bit that we didn't prime. Now, if you like, if you want that kind of grungy look, this yeah. is perfect. But you can see the effect is a lot duller and you're not getting the white come yeah, through because you've got no gesso the there and it just looks um it dull. looks a bit dirty to me it looks a bit dirty <laughs> a bit and dirty dull, and dull. Dirty and, we don't want a dirty and dull box, no do we? so please please invest in your gesso invest in your gesso right so we're going to try the mixing so Just that's an idea. Our gesso. Uh, the gesso is busy, actually. It's, it's a fantastic deal. It really is, everyone. 500 mil for your gesso. Um, and uh, is it going green? It, it, it kind really? of is, yeah. I think if you have more, yeah. it... Oh, it has gone a very pale well, there you green. Go, you like see. a baby green, a baby mint green. Oh. Waste not, want not. Yeah. Waste not, want not. I like don't know if I'd have the patience to save all my sandings. No, probably not. No. <laughs> but it, it was just 
It was just an idea. Just, just an idea. Just... I've just got visions of lots of lady crafters with little bags of, <laughs> of sand. Uh, <laughs> let's hope it's not white paint that yes, they're using. Let's hope, yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> Uh, right, white gesso. Uh, excellent deal. What we like about this is the amount we're getting for the money, £9.99. But also, you just simply clip off and you can squeeze on out. And if you want to, uh, you can take the whole thing off. It's entirely up to you. Two thirds of the stock has gone. We are running out of time. Two and a half minutes left of the show. And eight minutes left to get your bargains. Seven and a half minutes left to get all the bargains that you need. Seven minutes and 16 seconds and counting. Uh, right, so you've got the self-adhesive self yeah, self self litter. So this is how easy this is. Now, I believe last time we were on the show with this, it sold out. It did, yes. So get it now while you can is my my thing. And it's non-shed, so you just rub that. It's non-shed. How off. nice is that? The yeah. cat or the dog is not going to get covered in glitter. Yeah. Okay, and this is how easy it is to cut. Just using a craft knife. And that's with the backing off as well, so you, you're yeah. slicing through, yeah. So I'm going to pull that that way. And then with your edges that haven't cut quite cut, See how easy that is just to sand away? Now, normally we would reuse the um, the pieces that we've cut off, but just because it's TV demonstrated, so I can tell there's lots of people at home then going, oh, <gasps> what, have you what have you done? What have you done? And if Catherine was here, she'd be like, oh, I want that bit out of the bin. <laughs> she'd be rummaging that bin. <laughs> she if would. She's in fact, she'll be here in about six minutes. She'll be rummaging through that bin before you know it. But that's how easy... That is. Look at that. Look at the finish you've got on that as well. And they, look at that. That is no it. Let shed. me go and grab that sample because we've got 45 seconds left of the show. Uh, we're going to see Mel back at 2 o'clock today with different stuff. So do check out your baskets. You've still got time to get the great deals that we've got available for you. But 70% of the crates individually have gone. That's a set of three. Fantastic. Might sell out just before the hour. Uh, and the same with the gesso as well. Very, very busy for that. That's an incredible deal. Mel, what a joy. What a pleasure. Thank you. That's the finished crate just oh, before you no. go. And you've got the bunny rabbit in there as well. And I've got bunny rabbit and some little eggs. Chocolate bunny rabbit. There we go. That won't be staying in there for that long, I can tell you. <laughs> Uh, we'll see you again at two. Lovely. Thank Look forward you. to that. Uh, and we'll see you guys after the break because we've got so much more here to come on Hachanda. But do check out your baskets for those happy hour deals. Right, coming up next, yeah, we've got some antics coming up next, I can tell you. Uh, Lisa Zagada after that with our lovely Leone. And then Pink Frog Crafts One Day Special Returns. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody.
Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on Achanda. Yes, indeed. We are talking quilting antics. We are talking the Chinese New Year on February of this year. Um, it's based around the circles of the new moons are what we're talking about as well uh, when we talk all about this. And we know when we talk quilting antics, we are talking patterns. We are, we are talking projects that you can achieve at home. You can achieve everything you are currently seeing here at the moment. But remember, everything that you need to create, you're going to need the booklet as well. Everything is in this pack for you. So, first of all, a very good morning to you. I hope you're well. The time is just done 10 o'clock on this fine Saturday morning. What a beautiful Saturday morning as well. To sit in your craft room and maybe just do a little bit of sewing. Maybe just sit there and start creating. Now, before we go throw over to our Anthea, our Anthea is going to take us around the world this year without even going anywhere. We are going to go on a one-way ticket all the way around and back again and we're kicking off with Chinese New Year over in February. So what are you getting? You are getting this beautiful booklet first of all and we know with our Anthea everything is in the booklet plus more as well. You are going to be getting eight projects in this booklet. These are the projects just... Oh, oh. Uh, these are the projects just here that you're going to be getting and you'll also be getting some added extras thrown in as well. Added extras I hear you cry. Yes, things like large pandas uh, that you're going to be getting in there which I can show you. You're going to be getting the panda. You're going to be getting things like the Great Wall of China image in there as well which now means you can applique which now means you can doodle upon and put them onto cushions, maybe just use small elements of them if you wanted to as well. 
But what I must stress, everything I'm about to show you on this show to do with the Chinese New Year, you are going to need the booklet. And we are already busy for the pattern booklet already. So what are you getting? You are getting eight patterns in there plus added extras as well and we know when we talk about patterns and added extras by the end of this hour there could be 20 more extras being added to this book because she's here herself uh, be upstanding if you can for the queen of the seam it is the one and only it's our Anthea <laughs> Hello, good morning. <laughs> How are you, love? Yeah, I'm all right, I'm all right. I'll be ready by about, I don't know, 11-ish. By about, yeah, next by time about, we do this yeah. again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is true, though, isn't it? with these booklets, you give us the main concept of the booklet itself, but then you do add the gesture of you think, oh, I'll put that in, oh, I'll put that yeah. in. Because you quite easily could make two booklets from the projects you've given us. You could put them in two separate booklets and charge us for two, but you don't. And that's what we love about Quilting Antics. Well, the thing about China was, it's a fairly big place, isn't it? It is, really. <laughs> and you start looking around and you're like, oh, right, well, if you go on a Wendy Wu tour, that's your main one to China, by the way, other tours are available. So you start off and you've got your Great Wall and you've got your Panda Zoo and you've got your Lions and you've got your this and you've got your that. And Quilting Antics, we like wildlife and how do we incorporate that? And we've done that before and da 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 And all of a sudden, <laughs> we've got what we've got and then it's like, oh... No, 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 no. We can't go there without having, and then we add extra bits. But what we try and do is, your book really is in two halves. So if you like to make, and you just want to make projects, you've got construction notes to make projects. That's it. Boof. Projects. If you like applique, you've got lots of applique pictures that are relevant to China, and you can just do those. Or you can mix and match, or you can put this on that and this and that, and you know, we've got stuff we've done in previous books, and it all works interchangeably. So, hopefully, we've given you an infinite number of possibilities and that's that's really what it's all about is getting as much as you can it is amazing what you're doing uh, 10 percent of the pattern book has already gone i didn't even mention uh, that you also get this sort of the decoupage fan that you can put in there uh, you can also be making the bunting i'll give you more details about this later as well let's do the booklet now for you though uh, 23 pounds and 99 pence 820643 is your item number and 10 percent of the booklet has now already gone 23 pounds and 90 nine pence right i'm going to take this with me for the sheer fact what you are going to get now is you're going to get the equipment to make no instructions your instructions are here the details for the instruction booklets at the bottom of the screen so now we're going to be making the sort of the chinese calendar as it were we're coming into this year uh, in february of this year we'll be entering the year of the ox uh, we worked out i'm an ox uh, our Meg is a snake. Our Jimmy was a goat. Uh, we've worked this out as well. Do you know what you are, Anthea? Do you know? I was just thinking. I totally forgot to look. Oh, <laughs> we'll have it. Well, we'll, we'll do can it. Can I be something air. pretty? Well, of course you can. What would you like to be? What do you hope you would be? I don't know, really. Uh, Ali is a pig. <laughs> I'd like to be something nice and sweet. Uh, they are some, they're, they're some kids, but you are getting, we're getting everything in the kit that we need, aren't we? Apart from the, the yeah. back. So in. everything on the front you yeah. get in, the back stuff, the housekeeping, we've got that separately because you might already, you don't want me bumping the price up just to shove something in you've already got. That is very true. So you are getting everything that you see here. So you're getting all your gold. And by the looks of it, with the gold that you've given us, here, we're getting more than we actually need in these yeah. kits. Yeah. Oh, you're getting plenty. So um, I think I put your fat, full fat quarter of gold in there. Um, so you will get, you know, you will have some bits extra. Because when I, the thing is, there wasn't an economical way to cut it smaller. So I just thought, let you have it. Just me doing Are you back at Butlins then? Uh, I love it. I, absol <laughs> I absolutely adore it. For the shit, I used to have a shirt made out of this. Um, I do. Uh, because Anthea is very generous once again. She could just give us a small amount because she knows how much we're going to need to use all this. But no, give us a full quite a full order of the gold. You get enough silver in there as well, but you only need this little bit of silver. So you could go in with more detail if you want. You also get the tweed, which we know Anthea for. And you also get your black in there as well for yin and yang. But what you are going to need is the instructor booklet. But if you just want the materials, 
28 pounds and 99 pence 026207 is your item number uh, that we're looking for for this at the moment as well remember what is here will create the front of what you are seeing here absolutely beautiful 10% uh, has already gone on the fabric pack as well getting quick because uh, who knows once it's gone it may be gone it might be one of these items right then let's press on at the bag that we've got it how stunning is this little bag it's a little drawstring bag that you've got here as well a nice little design motif on the front now i'm going to put it out there you know me i'll just say it as it is if you if you if you're not a partial to the motif on the front and you want your initials if you want something else remember you're getting everything you need to create the bag you haven't got to go for the detail if you don't want if you just want it plain red you can just do it plain red it's entirely up to you so you get the red you get the black you get the silver for the motif you get the cord for the handle as well uh, that which is everything you need obviously this one has just been added a little gripper uh, do we get the button in this one Anthea or not yeah, yeah, I'll make sure that's in. Oh, so we'll also get the we'll also get the button in there yeah. as well. Adam, I was going to say, any of the appliques on here, yeah, you could switch for the front there if you wanted. Yeah, that's true. If you want some of the appliques for maybe uh, the ducks that we got coming up, or the birds yeah. that we got coming up, or anything on the later show, because once you've seen this. It's a whole new show this afternoon with Quilting Antics, uh, so we won't have the same things on again. But you could change this anything that you've already got. See, this would be nice. I'm, I'm a big fan of initials. I love initials on things. Uh, you could have beautiful initials uh, on the front in there. A little company logo, maybe it's going to be. Uh, but you, the handle on it is immense. It's absolutely uh, massive. It really, really is. Take it off the banana hook. Uh, so you've got that good length on. So if you are going away... Oh, it's a little bit short for me, but... I think probably um, just on your shoulder, Adam, would be, I think it'd be quite sufficient. It is, but I, well, I don't know. I quite like, I like an over-the-shoulder bag. It keeps oh, it right safe because it goes under my arm, you see, when I'm with my purse. <laughs> my little purse walking around the stores. What would you like? Uh, no, I like it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, what you've got is a third of the stock has already gone here as well. A uh, third of the stock. Oh, that's my other hip. A uh, third of the stock. It's already gone. Uh, very busy is what we are for this as well. Uh, nice little post bag that you've got there. I really do like this bag a lot. I think there's a lot of uses uh, for it as well. Um, Adam, I was just going to say, that bag was inspired by my daughter, Gemma. And she had a bag very similar. Not the same, very similar. And she used to just have it, like, round her wrist. Oh, like a little clutch. Uh, yeah, I always used to watch her coming in and she'd have it like just round her wrist and stuff. You know, like young people do and stuff. And I wouldn't it just, know. Well, I wouldn't know anymore. It's a bit foreign to me. But, you know, that, that's how she, she just had it as a grab thing. She, if she was going out for a few drinks, you know, it's got a, a keys. A, a a keys, phone. your money, your card, yeah, your phone, yeah, a little bit of yeah. lippy. Just, yeah, yeah. Just, to, you know, you're not going to get a week shopping in there, right? It's not designed no, for No, that, that is the thing. Um, it's it's a it sort of a a nice, an occasional bag. Yeah, it was a nice little bag to grab. And that little blingy um, strap, you know, it's nice for weddings, isn't it? Well, it is. It's like a little occasion bag for something in the evening. If you want to change an outfit, if you're going on a cruise, yeah. obviously no one's going anywhere. But if you're going on a cruise or going on holiday, you don't want to carry that bigger bag around with you That's evening. That's right. Like, if hotels, what do you normally take? Your key card and you normally take a bit of money for your all-inclusive. That's about it, to be honest. Uh, you put them in a little bag like that. Well, uh, did we say 10% of the stock? A third of the stock now has already gone. Remember, though, you're only getting the materials. You are going to need the booklet as well uh, that gives you the full pattern. Let's move on. He's already busy. Uh, a third of the stock has already gone here with this. Uh, we are talking the Chinese lion that we've got character. This is your fabric pack. Uh, 386650 is your item number. £28.99. Now you get everything in the kit that you need once again, uh, from the frill of the tassel to the green, uh, which is on his eyes. So look how much green you're actually using to what you're actually getting in the kit. You know why this is? Go on, tell me. It's, it's a lockdown special, is this? So this uh, lion, I've got to give credit to Roberta. She made the lion. And how we're managing to cope with lockdown is... Um, oh, I've just pulled my nib out my pencil. <laughs> we're managing is um, we have a phone conversation. I tell her what I want. She tells me what she might use. I put something together with the price in mind, and then I deliver it. 
and she has to create what we've discussed out of what I've delivered. What you give. So I never know just what she's going to use, but of course the kit has to come here for photography. So, so we've got, you know, that, that's how it's all, it's all it happening is. this year. It's quite clever stuff, isn't it? It is clever of what yeah. she's achieved with this as well. It's absolutely oh, she's a cracker. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, we're very busy for this now. £28.99. The only thing you have to add is your own toy stuffing, okay, on the inside. You are getting full instructions, remember, included in the booklet. So you do need the pattern booklet for this one as well. The details for that are at the bottom of the screen. If you just want the material that you're thinking, I like the dragon, but I'll just take the material. You can. Your material's here. You can get all of this for your lion for £28.99. pence. If you want to go for the lion, just the material pack, £28.99. 386650 is your item number. Uh, and then you can be creating... Your, this would be a beautiful little doorstop. Yeah, if you made him heavier. You yeah. weight his the, feet. The, yeah, the, yeah, oh yeah, that'd be a good idea, yeah. I absolutely... You could put a bit of lavender in there. Definitely. That'd be nice, a little bit of lavender. Absolutely. Uh, that'd be beautiful. But look at the... There is so many possibilities uh, that you can get. That. And what I like... 40% of the stock's already gone here, and 40% of the stock. But what I like, though, is for the sheer fact, get the pattern, get the pattern, and, and get this, OK? Most of you are already. But then what are you buying into? You're buying into a character. You could turn this into absolutely anything you want to turn it into. You could make it time and time again, different colours, different animals. Obviously, it would be the same animal, but you could do him as a lion. You can sort of give him a bigger mane if you wanted to uh, with your fake faux fur that we've got um, on the shows and on the website. Uh, you could go to town. You really could go to town with him. Absolutely adore it. £28.99 is what we're looking at. Uh, 386650. Over there is your item number 28 pounds and 99 pence. Right then, applique packs is what we're talking about now. So, the pattern in the booklet is going to give you the applique to do this here, okay? So, you're not getting the cushion material, you're just getting the applique of packs. Now, I'm going to be up front and I'm going to say colors may vary on this one. Let's go to Amity and work out why the colors will. Will you just right. explain a little bit Ooh, more why the colors will vary? Right. So, uh, so, we started designing all this stuff and we got all the, the fabrics and we, we did what we did. And then I went to order more fabric and the mill went, uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> computer says no. So, Quite a few, of, not all, but quite a few of the fabrics have been discontinued. So we've, we've got to juggle a bit. Now, I think I'm OK in the short term, but if we're doing exceptionally well and we have to go beyond the numbers, it will be a case of colours may vary. Um, and it, they'll be similar, but, you know, it, it, it's what it is, unfortunately. So, we, so, what you, so what we're looking at now, so if you're liking the applique pack for this, Get in now. The minute I have to put this on extended delivery, I think is what Anthea is saying. So the yep. minute it goes on to extended delivery, that's when contents will vary. That's when colours will vary. Yep. So if you want the colours that you see here, <laughs> I've just seen it as well. Uh, they're all saying in my ear, it looks a little bit like Donald Trump with the hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... <laughs> At uh, 15 pounds and 90, that's all we can say. 15 pounds and 99 pence, 574930 is your item number. Uh, it is literally the orange face, the little bit of hair, you can't go wrong. He's not busy now either, so he's probably watching. Uh, 574930 is your item number. Baker's telling me to calm down. Uh, then we've got our Mandarin duck, is what we're looking at now as well. We are busy on the Mandarin duck. Remember, we're talking a. Um, Applique. So we're only talking the applique that is on the front. You get the design on the inside of the book as well. Let's see if I can find uh, the design for you. Once again, this Mandarin duck, though, out there, I've not really asked, are the projects easy to do? If we talk yes. about applique, but is it easy applique? Yes. All the stuff that we do is easy, but what we will do is layer several easy techniques and then it begin begins to look complicated. So it's not but nobody will know that by looking at your work. And amazing. on the duck, we've put some stitching on its neck. Now, if you didn't want to do the stitching, you'd still have a mandarin duck. It's just about taking it further. And this afternoon, um, we'll discuss that a bit further with one of the different projects about how you can do that. So our stuff, you can keep it simple. And just, to, just an aside, 
when we're designing, we're, we're often designing for the, um, the weakest member of the class, the newest crafter. Yes. Yeah. If you then want to take our designs again you know off and away that's entirely up to you but we're often designing for that person who's the newest so in theory whether you're beginner intermediate or expert you're yep. still going to get the same end result but obviously the more you learn on Amplia's yep. journey the more you can take your project so we can talk about the standard yeah. duck that you can get in your applique kit, but then you take it a step further and you give it the, the little bit of feathering that you've got down there. Maybe you take it a step further and you, you sort of put your feathers into the wing if you wanted to. Then you take it a step further again and you don't do it on a cushion. You do it on something totally different with the fabrics that you've already got from your handy stash that you've got at home. You are good to go. You are going to go on a journey. So whether you've never done this before, whether you've been doing it for years, you can still do this. And just because we've got it on a cushion in the studio, that doesn't mean to say you can't do it on the corner of a throw for the end of your bed. Maybe you're going to put one on either end of that throw that you've always wanted to do. Maybe you're going to put this onto a canvas and do it that way. There is so many possibilities uh, with the applique that you're looking at here. £15.99, pence. but what you are going to need, you are going to need your book. £15.99 and 99 pence is what you're going to need. 655-159 is your item number. That's for the applique pick. The details for the book will appear on the bottom of the screen very, very shortly. Now, our lantern kits that we're looking at now, these are beautiful. I can see these all year round, not just for Chinese New Year. These are the colourways uh, that we're looking at first of all. Look at the vibrancy of those. How beautiful from your lime greens to your citrus blues in there, to your fiery reds, to the purples, to the fiery orange, to that deep red that you've got in there as well. Uh, from there, you can now turn them into this. And what I can see on the top of this as well is not only do I see lanterns, I also see things like hot air balloons. Oh, yeah. From things like the red ones that you've got in there, and especially that purple one that we're coming to in a minute, I see the top of a hot air balloon. So if you then can scale that down, this is where we talk about going further with your projects, don't we? Especially this one here. If you put a basket on the bottom of there, that could be a hot air balloon. I think it's right? absolutely beautiful for the sheer fact make the lanterns up then go right and what else can i do with this these also look like blues. that one that green one that you're looking at now that could be a vase it could be a vase on an applique then you put your flowers on the top if you wanted to there is so many there's so much to, to, to find an old term there's a lot of scope and it's got legs as it were are you not as daft as you look, really? No, are you? I'm not. You see, yeah. I try not to be. <laughs> but it has got legs. And in the long and short of it is, I like value for money. If I'm paying twenty nine ninety nine for bits of fabric and the and the book as well, obviously you're going to get them both together. But if I, once I get this book home, I want to not be able to create bunting. I want to be creating all sorts of things. Also, half the stock has already gone here. You see, you know it's got legs as well. You are absolutely loving this. Um, Beautiful fabrics as well. It is beautiful, and even just for a pile of coloured fabric, it's worth getting. It is absolutely beautiful. So if you didn't beautiful. want to do balloons or anything on the counter, you've got a pile of cracking coloured tweeds there to do what you want with. Uh, you really have. It's stunning designs. They're the designs. Right, and let's move down. Like this time, uh, we've got the wall hanging of the owl and the pussycat. Went to see... Oh, the dragon. Oh, we've got the dragon first. Oh, gee, gee whizzer. Uh, £19.99 is what we're looking at now. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so, uh, let me lay your cushion down for you just so you can see. Uh, so, this is your applique pack once again that we're looking at here. But what does this create? This will create this dragon that you have here. How beautiful is that? Once again, could be on a cushion, could be on a duvet, could be on a quilt, could be on a pillow, could be on that cushion that you're not allowed to sit on, but everyone does. It could be absolutely anything. You could then applique the alphabet along the body, maybe for a child's bedroom, if you wanted to. Change the colour slightly, go green and embroider on some scales if you wanted to do that as well. £19.99. Uh, that's just for your applique kit. From there, what you're also going to need, though, 
is you're going to need the pattern book. Look at the details at the bottom of the screen. £23. Pounds. 99 pence, 820643 is your item number. Uh, that is for your applique kit and these details here. The details down here are the ones for the booklet. Right then, Anthea, what are you showing me first? Well, I thought I'd start with something, then let you have a bit of a waffle while I crack on. Sounds and then good. we can, uh, you know, mix and match. Right, so the thing I'm going to start showing you is the Zodiac. Because uh, there's stitching to do with that. I figure I can stitch while you're, you know. Not a problem. So, um, so I've started here. I've got, um, little, put my teeth in. So I've done my front bit. I've got my tweed on the front onto the, uh, the bosal in our form. Yeah. Yeah. And then what I've done is I've traced the, um, the border onto here. Because we're going to get that gold on. We are not fiddling about with little waffy bits. We're just going to whack it on. Okay. In a piece, right? When you trace it, top tip, I don't know if you can see on the camera, I've used two colours. I've used a red and a green, yeah. no matter what colour you use. And that. the reason is, when I did the original, I traced all in one colour. And I couldn't, there were places where I lost my lines. So I've done in two colours because there's like a, an outside set of T's and an inner set of T's. When you're drawing it, it will become clear because you're on a continuous line. Okay. But by drawing in two colours, I've now got my stitch line. I can tell where I'm going. Right. So I'm going to put that down and I'm just going to do a small section of it for, for us. So I'll put that to one side because I can do that afterwards when we're when you're, you know, on your next trip up the counter. But I thought, um, very quickly, I would um, have a look at the Gemma's bag. Um, I just wondered if you could chuck it down and we can have a look at the... Uh, Matt angle. will get it for you and sanitise it all. Oh, don't worry, we'll just... We'll, between the two of us, okay, we'll... We we'll work. Sorry about that. Uh, I've just got a quick update on the lanterns as well. Uh, we're now limited stock on the fabric pack. If you want the fabric pack to make the beautiful lanterns behind me, uh, we are limited, super limited stock, is what I'm hearing now. And once these have gone, am I right in saying once they've gone, they're gone? The lanterns, definitely, yet. Yeah, there's no more lanterns. Once the lanterns have gone, they have gone. Getting quick. If you want the lanterns, I haven't got many left. If you want them, get them. 411098 is your item number. For the fabric pack of the lanterns, remember, you're only getting the fabric. You are going to need that booklet as well uh, to put them together if you want the patterns. But at the moment, if you just want the fabric pack for these lanterns, get in quick, limited stock, £29, £99, 411-098 is your item number. Uh, right then, let's get back to demo. So, bag we were talking right, about. Right, so the bag. So we can all make a bag and there's, you know, it's a drawstring bag. You follow the instructions. But the bit that's new is, is the strap because it's all done in one, you know, we've got, this is where it joins here at the top. Um, Put it down a bit and get it in the shot. So what we want to do is use one long length to get all the way around and secure it without stitching. So how we're going to do that is get your length of um, cord. Now don't fold it in an exact half. It will become clear afterwards. Fold it in a not a half. Go under. I'm going to use my scissors instead of this. So using the little ears, the little tabs. With your folded cord, go under and push your cord through. Yep. So you've got one end is sorted. Yep. Yeah. Now we need to fasten the other end onto here. But if we knot that now, you won't manage to do it, will you? No. No. So how are you going to do it, Adam? Ah, this is where it gets clever. So what you've got to do for your second one is... Now I just said in the, in the instructions, just have a practice. So we're going to wind a single strand just around to copy this so you'll you'll like go you know in and out and round and across it tells you it tells you in the book how to do it but anyway so you're going to copy that and then you need to fasten the ends and i was thinking about this how do you fasten the ends together without having a knot burn it ah well no you see i've seen our anadonis do this oh yeah when he's uh, got his toe rope out so what he does, and this is seriously... Is a euphemism? No, Just behave checking. yourself, man. <laughs> You're on the wrong channel. <laughs> well, so, <laughs> anyway... <been> said. <laughs> oh, I do have trouble with you lot. <laughs> <laughs> so what you do is, seriously, I watched him do this. This is years ago, and I was thinking, how can we get this? So get your two ends, not at the end. 
put a little, um, you know, make a little hole in your, in your whatnot, in your rope, cord. Shove a bit through. Make another little hole. Bring it back. Oops. It's so simple. It's like, you know, do you need to do a demo on this because it is so simple? But it, you know the easy things you often do? So I'm just weaving it in a few times. Well, so now, you just create, you're just opening up the thread and just weaving yeah, it in it and out. Let me see if I can do it a bit clearer. So just with my fingers, open the thread up. So I'm going down the other half now. So push it through. Oops. And then make another little hole. And come back. So just wiggle it down. It tells you in the instructions just what to do. Yeah. And now that, Look and that. I'm giving it some real pasty there, and that will not come apart because the harder you pull, the tighter you fasten it in. That's a good little Isn't trick. Isn't it good? So if you want to tow your car, that's how you fasten your tow rope. Well, I never. <laughs> Is that not so simple that it needed a demo, but it's so obvious that... I never would have thought about yeah. doing that. Now, at the end, so all I've done is um, it frays just for the fun, does this. So while you're working, have a knot in the end. These these bits had sellotape round. So I've just not um, snipped the ends off, and then you can just fray them open. Look and at they'll, this. And they'll fray for the fun of it, will these? There we go. Oh. And now it's decorated. So now you see why you didn't want your fold bang central. So you're going to fiddle about because what you want is to work it so that that is going to be central on your shoulder. Look Oops. at And it does, that. if I'm honest, it does take a little bit of fiddling to just get it in the right place. But it's one of them, once you've fiddled, and then you fiddle it the other way and you go oh, too far, then you know how far to fiddle it back. Back again. And it's, it's one of them, you'll work it as you do it. Um, if I said do it six inches from the bottom, you, you'd make a hash, just fiddle it. I suppose everyone's different sizes as well. Yeah, and you absolutely. Can, you can have it smaller yeah. or larger depending on yeah. you and where you want it. Uh, I do need to tell you as well, those for the lanterns, uh, technically sold out now. Technically sold out the lanterns. They're all in baskets. If you've got them in your baskets, start checking them out if I wish you. Uh, otherwise, you might miss out on that deal. Technical sellouts on the lanterns and they will not be back. Right then, whatever you're going for this hour, uh, any of the Chinese New Year, we are going on the Chinese New Year as Quilts and Antics are taking us round the world uh, this year, um, which is going to be amazing. So we're going to go to different parts of the world and this time we're stopping in China uh, because of the Chinese New Year down in February of this year. Uh, so, what you're getting in this is your Live Long and Prosperous book of your quilting antics. Uh, you're getting eight projects is what you're getting on the inside, plus your added bonuses as well. So not only are you getting the, uh, the Zodiac signed wall hanging, uh, the little Gemma's bag that you've got in there, you've got the lion doll, you've got the dragon wall hanging, but you're also getting the extras of the Chinese fan in there. Uh, you're also getting the extras of the Berlin w uh, the wall that's in there as well. Uh, you're also getting the extras of that large panda that's there that you can use on absolutely anything. These are some of the projects uh, that you'll be able to create uh, once you get them all home. You're also getting the beautiful cushions uh, that's in there as well. All of this is what you will be getting uh, when you get home. For a third of the stock has already gone on this booklet. And remember, this show will not be back on today. There is another Quilting Antic show on this afternoon. But it is a totally different show. So if you want to get it now, get it while you can, because we won't be spending much time on these this afternoon. Uh, 820643 is your item number. This book goes with every single project I'm about to show you. Everything else I'm about to show you now, you're just getting the materials to make what you're seeing. You need your instruction booklet as we go along. Uh, from there, it's the time and the uh, the, Oh, hello. It's the sign of the times is what we're looking at here as well. Uh, how beautiful is this? Once again, we're talking high quality tweed in here that you're actually getting. If you want some more tweed, I've also got those on the show. I've also got, uh, well, we've got loads on the show. We'll talk about them in a minute. But look at the detail. Look at the material you're using here. Uh, we know Anthea for a tweed as well. 
and it is absolutely stunning. Um, is it, now we, obviously if you've never worked with it before, let's ask the question for you. Tweed though, is it easy to work with? Very, very easy. Once you've worked with tweed, you won't want to go back to cotton. It is that simple. It's forgiving, it's just it's easy to work with. You know, when you pick it up, it's got some grunt about yeah, it. it has. It's just a lovely, a lovely weight fabric. And there is different weights, but it's it's sumptuous. It's lovely. It, it's the fabric does the talking. <laughs> it feels quality as well. The minute you pick it up, you know you're talking quality uh, when we're talking things here as well. Uh, you can't go wrong with this, and you're getting all the zodiac sign from me. You're getting all the templates in there as well. Twenty-eight pounds and ninety-nine pence. Zero six. I'll start that again. Zero two six two zero seven is your item number. But remember, you are going to need the booklet. The details are at the bottom of the screen if you want the patterns in there. So you are going to need the booklet. The details for that is just here. If you just want to get this, the details are just over here. Get in while you can, though. 026207 is your item number. Then we talked about Gemma's bag. Uh, nearly 50% of the pack has now already gone. Uh, this is the bag itself. We saw how easy it was to do that handle. So they all link in together so you won't have to do anything else. Uh, all your fabric is in there uh, and your high quality red cord in there as well, uh, which you can't go wrong, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, and you also get your little bit of that little bit of silver, that little bit of detail uh, that you've got running through. Remember, you're just getting this, but if you want the pattern to do that uh, detail at the front, if you want the pattern to do the bag as well, what you are going to need is the booklet. You are going to need the booklet. The details for the booklet are at the bottom of the screen, but if you just want the pack, the details are on the side of the screen. £24.99 uh, 420445 is your item number for that at the moment. Then, very busy for the lion. Nearly 50% of the stock has already gone here. How beautiful is this lion? It's absolutely stunning. £28.99, pence. you get all the materials that you need to make the dragon itself. Remember, all your patterns are in the booklet. Uh, but uh, look how beautiful uh, he is. It's absolutely stunning. From his ruffled mane that you've got on there all the way through to the head. Uh, let's have the other question, though. If you've never made the uh, sort of the three-dimensional animals before, are these as easy following the steps in the book? Now, I didn't personally make that one. Roberta assures me it's easy. Now, if you're going to be doing stuff like this, you obviously like twiddling and fiddling. You know, I'm not going to pretend that there's none involved. Um, but Roberta has a way of making things easy. So she'll make something and then apply it as opposed to like making it all in one go, um, you know, so that you, you're going up here and down there and, and all the rest. So she'll often, I think if you look the eyebrows, she's made them and put them on. Um, you know, so she does things like that, the ears, she's made them and then put them on. So once you've got your basic shape, you're just adding bits on. They are beautiful. Look yeah. at that. She's, she's fantastic at doing the twiddly bits. She'll sit for hours. You know, and doing do things. Yeah. And like, I'm looking on there and there's bits of embroidery. And the one thing she said to me when I collected this lion offer is, I would have liked more time to take it further. But actually, I, I quite like where it's at because you at home, you can see you could take it further. But actually, if you don't want to take it as far, you could you leave some of the swirly bits off and, you know, you'd still have a fantastic thing. It's well worth having a little look. 60% of the stock now has already gone here. 60% of your stock has now already gone. If you want your lion, £28.99, 386650 is your item number that we're looking at for this one as well. Remember, we're just talking about the, uh, the, the actual kit, but remember, you are going to need the instruction booklet and the details for that are currently at the bottom of the screen. 386650 is your item number for this. But if you want to go for the booklet, we'll bring the details back up shortly. Then we started talking uh, the applique kit that we've got on the show as well. So now we're not talking about the cushion. We're talking about the bits in the centre is what we're talking about here. £15.99 is what we're looking at. 574930 is your item number for your applique kit that we're looking at. So all your applique is here. 
as we said before when i take this extended delivery when it sells out uh, the colors may vary at the moment you're going to get the colors that you're currently seeing on the beautiful cushion as well uh, with the applique kit uh, anthea do we uh, not only do we get the beautiful pheasant do we get the detail down the side as well like is there yeah. enough to do the yeah, detail down the side gold for that it's just the background of the cushion but we've got the tweed fat quarters on so if you want to do a tweed cushion you can because we've got them here so you, you can get them as well but what it with the applique pack what it allows is for you to have beautiful tweed and put it on some fabric you've already got so it just helps everybody's pocket that way but if you want the tweeds We've got them here. We have got them on the show. Check out the website, 15 pounds, 99 pence, 574930 is your item number. Uh, same process now, though, but for Mandarin Duck that we've got on the show. Uh, you're just getting the applique kit for the duck. Uh, you need to provide your own uh, tweed for the background. 15 pounds, 99 pence, 655 159. I'll start that again. 655159 is your item number. Uh, 15 pounds and brand new today. 1599. But you are going to need the booklet uh, to make the, uh, the to do the applique. If you want the templates in there, you can do that as well. Uh, the lanterns have sold out, but now uh, we've also got the dragon in there as well. So we are talking the applique kit of all the little fat quarters, uh, little squares of fabric that you've already got in there. So you're going to get all that, and once you've put this together with the pattern in the book you are going to be creating something that looks a little bit like this. If I move that for you, uh, that is what you're going to be creating. How beautiful is that? 075400 is your item number. 19 pounds and 99 pence uh, is what you're looking at. Uh, remember, we're just talking about the applique pack. So you're just doing the dragon. So ignore all the back. You're just going to be able to do the dragon with that applique pack. But remember, in the design booklets... You get the full patterns to do everything you're about to see. Uh, something else that you've been looking at this hour as well uh, is the owl and the pussycat quilt uh, that we're looking at. This is the new fat quarter uh, for this month, £24.99. Uh, the owl and the pussycat quilt and project booklet, six projects in total is what we're looking at in here uh, for £24.99. Uh, there's also a corresponding fabric pack uh, that goes with this as well. Uh, £24.99 and pence is what you're looking at for the corresponding uh, fabric pack that we're looking at there. What um, part are we looking at? Is this the octopus? We're doing the, sea, the second half of the sea this time. Now, just to mention, if you're joining this for the first time and you're going to dive in at block six, I will make sure that the other blocks are available. So even if they're sold out, okay. somebody will get in touch with me and I'll make sure that they're available so that you know you can you can jump in now um so what we're doing is and i've got the background it hasn't got let me shove my machine out of the way it hasn't got the applique on it's just just the background then you can see so you've done the sky and you've got um i'll give you a quick a quick chat so um the background is made up in six six inch finished squares and what we've done is we've tried to shade it so that you've got can you see your your moon goes here and it's light across like the moon's like a like a spotlight going across so you spent four months putting the background together with all its applique and now you're doing um the sea so you did the first half which is decorated so you've got your first half of your sea so Half the decorations that you got last month, you may have saved to split between the two months. And this month, the decoration that you get for the sea, you can split. So you've got like jellyfish on both halves instead of like all of one type of one animal bit. at this <laughs> side. And, you know, so you can, I would do the, the sea month, the two sea months together yeah. as, as one. And it'll give you a, a, a better overall balance. So you're going to put your two, let me get rid of that. You're going to put your two sea sea pieces together oops now at the moment just do your applique don't do anything else because what we're going to do after next month is we're going to get your sea so you're making it in squares and we're going to shape it and you've got in the book you've got a shape for your um for your wave and we're going to shape the top top row and then it will applique onto your above the sea ah, okay. stuff but don't do that yet because next month you're getting the main event so it's going to be the owl and the pussycat in the center um you'll get your flag your boat your owl your pussycat your guitar your whole lot but you want that to tuck behind your waves 
So if you think you're going to get ahead and put your waves on this month, next month your boat is going to be out of the water. So you need your boat yeah? in the water. So, so although bike. you're finishing your sea this month, just finish it and then next month it all starts to come together. It's quite exciting, isn't it? It is. And remember, if you're just starting off, never fear. You can dip into this at any time you want. £24.99 for the booklet is what we're talking about here. So that is just for the booklet on its own. Uh, that gives you everything you need in the booklet. Uh, 536153 is your item number. Uh, that is the booklet that you've got there. But what you also will need is you will need the pack to correspond with this booklet as well. Now let's bring up the details uh, for the pack itself. £24.99 is what you're looking at. 919067 is your item number for your fabric pack of the Owl and the Pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. Uh, 919067 is your item number. Right then, Anthea, what are you showing me this time? Bit of bling. Um, well, I'll have another minute for that. So, um, what I thought was tassels. How easy is it to make a tassel? So, I've got here. Um, just some embroidery thread uh, you know if you've if you've got some cheapy stuff it's great for tassels and ooh, where's my needle book oh it's in here I'm just going to use my needle book so obviously these tassels were at the end of the lanterns that have now sold yeah. out Th thank you Adam <laughs> I forgot put it into some context Anthea <laughs> um, but obviously you still you can still do a tassel wherever you want a tassel but obviously yeah. that's where the, that's where the idea was and easy peasy get a book get something like that and all you do is you go round and round and round Lots of times till you get a tassel about the size that you want. Get a second colour of thread. Let's use this one because it'll stand up. Stand out. Do, 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 do. This is like whistle stop tassels. Now, if you go on um, on YouTube, you'll get loads and loads of uh, video tutorials. And we will put our own on there as well um, on how to do tassels. And there's some really great ones. So there we go. Got it off. And then you just go round and round the top. Oops. And uh, fasten it off. Oops. How does that after? I'll just hold it in my hand for this minute. <clears throat> fasten it off at the top. And then cut your loops at the bottom. And that basically, fluff it up, is a tassel. I mean, obviously, you're going to put some finesse in it when you do it at home, but that's it. <laughs> obviously. Obviously. You'll put, it, it, but you'll it's put another some... one. It is so easy. That if you know how, though. If you know how, yeah. Um, so, anyway, it's not the greatest tassel in the world, but in the, you know... In well, Canada, I don't know. I've been the... to some clubs and that looks good. <laughs> it's a good old tassel that you've got there. Uh, £23.99, not for the tassel. Oh, I've got uh, Not for the tassel. Oh, we come back. Uh, no, for the tassel is what we're looking at. I need to sneeze. Uh, £23.99. This is for the booklet that we're looking at at the moment. Uh, 820643 is your item number. Uh, that you're looking at for this, £23.99 is your price. You are getting the booklet. Remember, in the booklet, it has all the ideas. So if you're thinking now, I've got loads of fabric at home. Um, I'd love to make that, that the beautiful Chinese lanterns uh, that we've got outside. But I'd like to do it in my own fabric. I'd like to do it in that ditzy print that I've been meaning to use for years. Or I want to do it in that floral that I've always wanted to do. Well, now you can. Because remember, you're buying into ideas. Once you've got the pattern, you've got the pattern for life is what you're looking at at the moment. £23.99. 820643 is your item number uh, for this one. Uh, very easy as well. Some of the projects, things like the lanterns, we've seen so many things, other ideas uh, that you've already got in there. Right, then let's go back to Andy. Where are you up to on your bit of bling? Oh, we're doing all right, actually. So, um... I've put my open toed foot on my machine. I started out and I thought, oh, Anthea, come on up your game a little bit. So I swapped my foot and I put my open toed one on. Oops, I've gone too far there. And it's really easy. So um, having learnt from my original uh, effort and done the drawing in two different colours, I'm finding it really, really easy to whiz round. Now, so I'm just doing a, a chunk here. Um, let me. Uh, I'm just going to do a, a smidgen. Am I going to do a smidgen more? Oh, well, anyway, um, I'll need to just have another little minute on this, Adam. Uh, let me get another couple of teas in and then, ooh, can you see? Whizzing along quite nicely. 
So once you start cutting out the um, the gold from the other side, you'll find, I haven't even looked yet to check whether it looks okay. I might just be doing it under the table thinking, oh, Anthea, that's all creased up. So uh, let me just get around this one because I'm looking at the clock and I'm really conscious of what we've got. So you can see I'm plodding along. I'm just doing a section here for you. There we go. And you get a bit of a rhythm, really. Um, now, when you did your drawing, or when I did my drawing, there were parts of it where I've got to say I wasn't quite on the line. Don't worry, because as I'm sewing, I can correct that. And even if I don't like my sewing, when I come to cut out, I get another chance to correct any mistakes, because I, I only need to cut where I want to cut, don't I? Yeah, true. There we go. Oh, we're rocketing on now, absolutely rocketing on. I suppose, though, if you were canny enough, if you went from the Mylar from the One Day Special, you could cut your template out of Mylar. What's that? Plastic. All oh, right. I don't know. But then, you see, if you cut your gold out, it would be very, very waffy. No, I mean, I'd use it as a template so you'd get perfect tees if you were worried about your drawing. Well, I don't know. There's something kind of wonderfully perfect about being imperfect um, I and I, I kind of quite like that not being perfect as well so, but I'll tell you what I was thinking talking about other suppliers as you were going down the counter um, sometimes I tune in and I watch Katrina on Rowan Dean oh, oh, she's Rowan great isn't she Dean, some of her that. stitches on the on the mandarin duck and the pheasant. That would be nice. Wouldn't little, they look fantastic? And also you've got like a um, organza things. You could like do ideas Forget like that time. in the background. So right, can you make that out? Can you see what it is? Oh, that's cute. There you go. And so all I'm going to do is get my little curved scissors, and then I'm just going to cut between. So just pierce it. And these little curved scissors are on the website, by the way. They're perfect. For, I mean, any little sharp scissors are, are great, but these curved ones just somehow make it much easier. I'm shaking. I don't know why I'm doing that. Must be in your like presence, Adam. I'm like, well, you wouldn't be the I'm first like woman. I'm like Our Meg, our Meg, our Meg's on the floor. <laughs> Where's my line gone? It's up here. So uh, yeah, you just snip away, and once you get going and you get a rhythm, which I haven't quite got this minute. Um, once you get a rhythm, it does make sense because you're just snipping up to your stitching. So have you sewn yours onto the red tweed underneath so yeah. that would come through yeah. as green? Now, I didn't bond the gold on because I do want to lift it off um, and you do need to pin it well because you don't want it to get, you know, all wrinkled up. Wrinkled, that's a good word, isn't it? But all, you, all you're doing is just snipping now, in a minute, it'll start to come clear. But, um, you know, where you had all those, uh, what's the madudas, all those little lines and stuff, you just snip away. <laughs> uh, remember as well, though, just because you get the hanging, you could also put this onto a cushion if yep, you wanted to as fat. well by using the, the larger pieces of tweed uh, that we've already got on the show. This is the bit where Anthea's currently doing at the moment where it's all green, yeah. so the little teeth. You've, uh, you've, you've got things like your panda drawing in the book. Yes, um, the fan. How great would your panda look it's sat in the middle? That would be nice. Something like this. It would look really... And, you know, by putting it inside something like this, all of a sudden, you would give it some kind of context, you know, where it's from. Did you know all pandas in the world belong to China? Really? Yeah. Well, I did. Well, I never. Hey, I'm not as daft as I look either. Where all the pandas belong to China. Yeah. Even if they're elsewhere in the world, they all belong to China. Well, I, well, I never... Mm -hmm. uh, we've also got the raggy guy. We've also got the raggy doll. Uh, oh raggy yeah, dolls. we have. We've never mentioned that, have we? Uh, no, but we've got them on the show though, and this sells out time and time again. Yeah. This is a nice little bumper stash. Yeah, and there isn't. Can I stand up and grab it? You stand up. There isn't you actually want. a lot of this um, because one of the uh, one of the like side effects of lockdown uh, 2020 is people weren't shopping. The mill weren't creating the uh, the sample books, so we weren't getting all the offcuts that we normally get. So there's not a massive amount, um, but you would get two of these. So this is look at this. This is what's in one bag. 
it's just bits and bobs and you can do what you want with them they're absolutely fab. I mean, it just it just goes on, doesn't it? It is amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. Could I you imagine an hour sewing all those together? A bit of patchwork that you've got going yeah. on there. But you've got you've got some good size bits. Now all the bags are different because it depends what book they're doing. But your log cabins, your raggy reeds, your corsages. People get these. Do some fantastic corsages. Oh, put okay. a corsage on a handbag. Dress it up. Uh, put it on your on your coat whatever um absolutely fantastic or some of them are great for you know if you're doing plique that's small fussy bits and you just want a little piece of green or whatever a little piece of whatever color whatever you've you got want. you've got there um, you've got enough to start plique 24 pounds and yeah. 99 pence two three zero one four five is your item number uh different varieties different colors different textures but you what you can guarantee is they're going to be a hundred cent wool tweed fabric is what you're looking two three zero one four five is your item number for those uh we've also got the tweed fat quarters on the show as well there's a variety of color options running through these uh, you can see them all on the website as well. 695917 is your item number uh, for this. Uh, but by far most popular so far has been our brand new launch today, Chinese New Year um, inspired a book as Quilting Antics takes us around the world with eight projects and free designs in there as well is what we're also going to be looking at. 820643 is your item number. Uh, where are we off to next in the world? Uh, we're off to Russia. Oh. Do you know why? Why? Because Easter's coming and what does Russia do well? Easter? Easter eggs. Fabergé eggs. Oh. So we're off to Russia next. But don't think you're getting a book full of eggs because you're not. <laughs> I reckon there's going to be a little Russian doll in there. A little pattern for a Russian doll, no doubt. There may yes. well be. I think there might be. You can't get a rush without a little Russian doll. Actually, they've got some really good um, wildlife. Did you know there's four different types of uh, land in, in Russia? Because you've got your Arctic tundra and you've got your your forests and you've... Oh, oh you've, I tell you. Oh, um, that's, that'll that'll be stuff, ooh, that will be a treat. We are busy. This is what you're going to be creating, though. Uh, all of these projects and more as well. Uh, remember, all your designs... Uh, like your mandarin duck look a little bit like this you've also got your panda uh, which looks a little bit like this as well hello uh, you've got your panda which is also in there i, I reckon that's how he talks so we've uh, used that panda before but i just thought you can't you can't go to china without seeing pandas can you well no that is true and you've got things like the great wall of china uh, that is also yeah. in there that you can do whatever you want with so maybe you just take the first bit and you turn it into a little castle or take the tops and just turn it into a sand castle. Do it in some beautiful sand tone colours. Uh, you can go down a day at the beach. But where does it all come from? It's all come from your live long and prosperous round the world in a year with quilting antics. Uh, what have we got coming up this afternoon, Anthea? Uh, we're doing birds. We're doing birds? We're doing birds, yeah. Do you know why? Because um, at the end of last year, when we were looking at putting everything together, like for the best of the year, and we got so much. I'm like, oh, we can't fit it all in one month. So uh, we've just like gone over. So it's just a collection of some of my favourites. Um, and uh, I really like it. Well, join us this afternoon uh, for birds. We're talking all sort of things birds. You uh, thank you, Andrew. It's been an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Don't you go anywhere either. There's so much more to shop for here on Achanda. Yes, indeed. Up next, it's Alioni and Janice. And then it's another look at your one-day special with Pink Frog Crafts. And then we're back. It's Quilting Antics with the birds. Crafters, this is a Hachanda announcement. We would like to inform you that our Hachanda buying crew have been busy searching for incredible brand new products and show ideas to inspire and stimulate all your crafty senses. So, watch out for Aileen's Original, Doodle Duck Designs, Etchol, Rose May, Rocks and Chains, Caterpillar Cross Stitch, Tulip, The Skinny Poo Company, the Isabel Craft Collection, Stadler, Hunt the Moon, Has Crafts, and Star Glazers. 
We will be checking in our latest new product arrivals from 6 p.m. on Thursday, the 21st of January. Gates close at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, the 27th of January. So, join us on board flight Pachanga Air for our new arrivals event. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to Achanda and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on Achanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at Achanda. I got into crafting years ago, Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people and that's just the beauty of this, there's always something new to learn, there's always something that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let Leone Lou show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftoscope. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Vichanda. Good morning everyone, I hope you're well. Uh, we've got a fantastic show lined up. I'm really, really excited about the stamp collection that we've got to show you. If you've not seen Lesia Zagada and her collection before, my word, you are in for a treat. Not only do we have fantastic stamps, but we also have some samples for you from Lesia herself because she is an incredible colorist. And it will give you ideas and inspiration how you can use these wonderful images that we've got available for you. But I'm not alone, of course. I'm not. Uh, I've got lovely Leone. We are letting her loose in a few moments time. Uh, but if you head to the website, that's where you can find all of the stamps from Lesia available for you. Uh, we do have another show later on and some of these products will be featured on the three o'clock show, but we'll have some new items then as well. Please go and have a look at all of the different stamp sets available to you. You might want a couple in your basket.
biscuit. Uh, but do check out as well because I do believe uh, we're going to have a very, very busy show. You wait till you see those fantastic samples live and the lovely Leone. Ah, thank you, our lovely Janice. Um, okay, now, Lesia, um, yeah, she is fantastic. We do have um, some really, really uh, beautiful stamps. And some we've, have, uh, we've had on before. You might have seen them, but you might not. So please get ahead of us. Do shop, because I know some of them that we've had on sold out in no time whatsoever. So um, I am worried some of them won't be around for long. Okay, I will whip down the counter. Now, first of all... These are beautiful. The first lot of stamps we ha ever had from Lesia on a let loose was um, her animals. And what she does, she does some beautiful, beautiful stamps with the animals, all cosy, all cuddled up and asleep. And on this one, you've got, you've actually got three little cats there. And it's difficult to see initially, but when, and let, this is Lesia. I mean, Lesia's artwork is phenomenal. Her colouring in is beyond um, incredible. I mean, look at the detail of that. Now, can you see? So you got one little putty cat there. You got another there. You got another there. The artwork is stunning. I mean, that is just so cosy, isn't it? They just look, they look real, don't they? I mean, you know that that's exactly what cats will do, all cuddled up, purring away. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and I love that it's in the shape of a heart as well. I think that is adorable. Um, and Lesia's designs, she does them so detailed. You know, you've got all the, the beautiful fur in there. You've got the, um, look at that. Isn't that stunning? Now, obviously, if you can colour in like Lesia, amazing. I cannot colour in like Lesia, but it doesn't matter because the stamp is beautiful. It's going to allow you to create something um, that looks just adorable, whatever your skill set is when it comes to colouring in. Now, for that one stamp, it's twelve ninety nine. Such a good price for that amazing artwork. Um, okay, it is very busy. Three uh, four three nine two zero five. Is there any extended delivery on these, are Ross? There isn't. There is. Um, I thought there would be nine days. Um, so please check your baskets out. Not long to wait. And I do believe Lesia stamps. This is the only place in the UK that you can get them. I believe. I don't think they're. I know they're not widely available. Uh, but I'm. I'm pretty sure that this is the only place. I mean, have a look. But make sure you check your baskets out. Um, be part of a chance of freedom. You're not paying postage either. Okay. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Mommy's little kitten. So you've got mommy cat and then you've got the beautiful little kitten all curled up and snuggly, smiling away. I mean, that is just adorable. Um, the sentiment is separate, so you don't have to stamp them together. And again, only £11.99. And if I just pop that in, you can see the detail there. I tell you what, oh, Ross, have we got any end of call ones? So as you're checking out your basket, because I might, uh, there might be the little mices as you're checking out your basket. I just adore that. Again, it's just one of those that, that allows you to create such beautiful pieces. Now, if you do want, as you're checking out your basket, to go with our little cats, we have got the little mices. Um, so you might want to add them to your baskets for only three ninety nine, And they are at, look at them, they're adorable. So you have got your little mices. You've got two of the silhouette and you've got two of the open image which are fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Highly recommend you get hold of them as well. Now, next, in staying in with the cat, and this is lovely, because look at him. Again, he is smiling away as he's uh, getting in a right state with the wool. And, of course, Lesia's artwork, beautiful, and her colouring in as ever. She just uses coloured pencils, and it just looks stunning. Uh, check her out on Instagram, because Lesia does do tutorials for colouring, so it's definitely worth checking her out and having a look at them um, and she's got so much inspiration on building them up obviously the stamp itself again is fabulous you know you've got such detail there you've got your sentiment have a perfect day and you can see obviously less of yes coloring in is fabulous then we look at mine but again you see that's a beautiful thing when you've got an image like this you don't need to be able to color in amazing because you have got the the stamp is amazing and you need very little on the card to make it absolutely gorgeous now if you'd love him um such a happy little cat 
eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. Two seven three nine five three is your item number. They are so busy. If you want them, check your baskets out. Now, next we've got for you um, and the cherry blossom. Now, this again is absolutely beautiful. Um, thing is with this, you've got that detail. I mean, it is exquisite. The way that Leslie has coloured that in is phenomenal. Do check uh, the latest shows as well, because if you're loving all the the sort of geometry um, stamps, then we have got those on the show. But that is just exceptional, isn't it? Beautiful for backgrounds, beautiful as a focal image. And believe it or not, you can actually easily cut that out as well. So pretty. Um, only £11.99 is your price. That one is a brand new today. 201773 is your item number. Now, um, we've also got the larger cherry blossom. Now, with this one, what you've got, you've got the separate layers. It is up to you how you use it. I mean, you don't need to layer it up, but it does look phenomenal. And, of course, you've got those layers. So you're putting the, the sort of main colour down. You're then creating the detail. You've got the outline stamp, and then you've got the centre of the cherry blossom there. Um, only £9.99. And, and, again, the detail of these stamps is beautiful. 239174, your item number. Now, these are sold out in the past um we got the circle and then we've got the uh, hexagon i really like these um they're it's so simple but ridiculously effective you've got your three circles here and they've got that lovely sort of stitch line it's sort of stitched it's doodled it's just um oh it's just perfect Really like these. Real, yeah, it looks like the bottom of a jar as well with a little bit of string around it. Um, these make the most beautiful backgrounds. They make the most, I mean, there I've just used it to draw the eye into the centre. Um, the whale is on the second hour. He won't last long though, he's sold out in the past. If you do want these, I really like these. They're so effective. I mean, look at that, to just create that focal point on the background stunning absolutely stunning um, now check your baskets out on those 11 pounds and 99 pence your price 030264 the hexagon this mixes and matches perfectly and again that really nice sort of um the stitch and the scribble the i bought the straight lines as well it's a really good stamps are these really good stamps you've got three of these really easy to pattern build as well so obviously you can make you know you could do all sorts with them you can decorate them all separate and then obviously make a really nice sort of almost patchwork quilt with them i absolutely adore these um yeah, there you go you can see that one the layer of course the layer beautiful and then less i love that as well that one less is just playing with um with building it up but actually that's a real card but we do like what she's been doing on the back of the card as well which is why we short it um now if you do want to get hold of that again you are getting your three stamps with your hexagon only 11 pounds and 99 pence and i know that's sold out in the past if you've already got any alessia stamps I'd love to know what you've done with them. You know what I'm like. I really like to see your work. So please email in studio at tachanda.com now. Lesia has shared a tutorial on Instagram doing, um, doing something like that. And honestly, it's gorgeous to see it come together. I love the little jars. These are absolutely fabulous. And actually, that does come with that one. Oh, I'm so glad because when now we're looking at it, I thought, oh, is that separate? Um, oh, uh, honestly, I love this set. The jars are fabulous. And this one, we all the little flowers. You've got the flowers. You've got the little, um, the stamps that will make it look like the lights hitting the jar. You've got the little bubbles in there. I adore this one. Beautiful. And how Leslie has built them up with the, again, the, the beautiful geometry in the back there, which looks so cool. I mean, look at her colouring in. That's ridiculous, isn't it? So good. And then the other one, I love how she's built that up. It's just beautiful. Isn't that cool? If you love the moon and the stars and the triangle um, and the, the clouds, we've got those in the second hour. So please check those out. If you want to see the tutorial, how Leslie did that, please have a look on Instagram because I know she shared that recently. I've done, and I just think... I really like that because it's soft, it's gentle, but just building up your little jars. Yeah, love that one. $13.99. And it's um, when Lessia does... Oh, there's another one there. In fact, there's two more. Sorry, they're on that one for some reason. What's that? Okay, these are these ones, actually. Look at that. 
and these are my ones but again you can do so much with these if you've got um if you've got the the um the ones from this afternoon the um the stars the moon the clouds they work and look how you can build that up oh i love that stamp <laughs> so nice uh check your baskets out there 13 pounds and 99 pence and then these are adorable more of a little jars oh they're just exquisite so look look at all i mean they're a bit christmasy but i don't think they need to be uh, it's winter i mean and it's just i just think the little jars of magic quite frankly they're just adorable and obviously it's how you color them in completely changes it look how sweet these are i adore these tiny tiny little stamps um and the beautiful thing is with these, if you get these and the other jars, you can build up your own scenes within the other jars with these ones. Ad adorable, absolutely adorable. And look at that, that is so easy to do. But honestly, it's ridiculously effective. Oh, I do like them. Um, only 11 99 as well. Fantastic prices. The artwork is amazing. Um, 543-338-333 is your item number. Okay, it's dead busy. If you do want something, you have to check your ass baskets out. Otherwise, you are going to miss out. There's so much choice. And um, this is a problem when there's so much choice. It's where do you start? Get your favourites. If you're building up a designs, get the ones that you haven't got yet. Remember, everything is going to be dispatched um, from the 21st, did you say? Sorry, 26. Um, and they're stunning. I highly, highly recommend you get on there and look at the whale because that whale is always ridiculously busy. The cats are seriously busy. Last time, the alphabet sold out in May. Minutes. That sold out so quickly. So if you haven't got that, you need to check your basket out. The polar bears, someone actually emailed me to ask about those bears. Um, and I, I, obviously, that were a little while ago. But we've got those back in stock as well. I know they sold out last time. Honestly, we have got loads that sold out last time. So check your baskets out. Okay. So we're going to start. Oh, and there's photos coming in already. Thank you. I love you. Um, get those images sent in. So I've already got, I've done a bit of die cutting because I thought I wanted to mix it up. Um, I'm going to start with the beautiful hexagons. I, I adore these. I just think they're such cool images. So I'm going to start with the lovely hexagon. And I'm going to stamp that there. I've had to raid my other ink pads because I've left all my ink pads at home. Of course I have. I'm doing a stamping show. Of course, I've left ink pads at all. I mean, why wouldn't you? Why would you bring ink pads at it in when you're um, stamping? <laughs> Leone. <laughs> oh, how, how I giggled when I realised I'd done that. Oh, how I giggled at myself and thought, oh, Leone, you are funny. Uh, I didn't actually. I swore at myself. <laughs> Veminently. But I won't repeat that. So, <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh golly gosh, oh blood and sand, I've left my ink pads. <laughs> uh, oh silly Billy Leone, oh, oh you. Uh, anyway, hexagon, beautiful. It already, I mean, it already creates that, that wonderful focal image. Absolutely adore that. I'm bringing, I've already die cut um, a hexagon. So that's going to be going in the centre of there, which of course fits beautiful. And that one I'm going to offset. Because that one fits so well in the centre of there, I'm also going to stamp into that one. Um, and of course, there's that many hexagons. It's a thing, isn't it, at the minute? Um, so you'll get the other dies that will match these. You'll have all sorts that will match these. But they're just good standalone stamps. So I'll pop that there, like so. And then just ink up. Stick a magnet in the middle, even though it doesn't matter particularly. And there we go. So just popping my ink on this one. And I love... Um, I mean, I'm really into all the sort of geometry and the, the sort of sacred geometry at the moment. I just think that is super cool. Um, and Lesia does a lot of that. And I love how she combines all her images uh, so they mix and match with that. I think it looks amazing. So, got that. That's my base. Really like it. Let's bring a little bit of colour into this. I'm not going to go heavy with colour. Because this is, um, it's backgrounds, but obviously there's loads you can do with it. So I'm going to get my, my paintbrush 
like dish and which paint brush shall I use let's get that one so taking my paints and then just spritz that first of all like so and I'll also wet this now super smooth card a6 obviously um you want this special that's where you're gonna find it it is pink frog i didn't blast my ink dry and it's actually it's funny actually because i'm not used to i've stopped because i don't use my adirondacks as much you forget which um which inks and i should have blasted it dry but actually i don't mind that run i think that's quite interesting so and i'll be chopping it down as ever but yeah if you do want your car stop make sure you check that out for your one day special so i'm just gently going around it is super smooth but i can still use my um my beautiful watercolor paints on my super smooth because as we well know it um it does allow it allow it to move beautifully so just bring in that round then this will create a really nice frame so it's a really nice open frame and as i say i didn't blast the black dry but i quite like that I quite like that um, that sort of bleed out. I think it looks quite cool. If you don't want that, just remember to dry, blast it dry. And this is because I've been using my, my different inks. You get, you forget. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Boom. And then let me just gently, and I'm only gonna do this gently. I'm only gonna pick up a little bit of ink, um, a little bit of paint. So I'm scrunching it up because I don't want to pick up tons. But I do want to pick up a little bit. A, to dry it off a bit quicker. But B, just to put a tiny bit of texture in there. So I've got a bit of texture going on. Like so. Okay. Cool. So I like that. I think that's a really nice background. And I've got that beautiful focal image. And even though that's really nice and light, and the paint's light, you've still got a seriously good focal image. Now, that one I'm going to bring in, but I'm going to do the same because, I, again, I want a, a bit of a... I want it to stand out. So if I just take this, like so, and I'm going to just go around here again... I got a bit of a bleed and it is very busy. I'm not surprised. See, we don't have Leslie on often. So she's just, it's such like a treat when we have her on. It's like, oh, that's such a treat. And I think because her artwork is just absolutely splendid, it's, um, it's ace to see. It'd be lovely to, I don't, it'd be lovely to have her, have her over. They're in Poland. Yeah. You have to look at her artwork. Just look her up on Instagram. She's ace. She colour, her colouring in is fabulous. And she's got these fabulously manicured nails and she does all this amazing artwork and it's like, not a bit jealous. <laughs> but no, she's really, really good. I'm a big fan. Okay. So, again, just lifting some of that out. And, of course, loads you can do with that. Okay, move that out my way. Just dry that off a little bit there so i've got those layers which i really like so you've got your lovely little layers I'd, i would you know what i'm like i always work on bigger and then cut it down because i'm terrible for that but i'll be cutting that down because i think just taking the the top and the bottom off and then it just makes it smaller and in fact i'm going to show you that because i should dry my card off before i do this really let's dry it off I don't want to faff too much because I've got that many stamps. I want to show you those, but you know what I'm like. So give it a blast dry before I cut it because obviously if you cut it while it's still wet, um, you end up ripping your card. So hopefully that's dry enough. Just. That's a bit. I'm, a, I'm pushing my look a bit here. There. Pushing my look. But what I love about this, if you've got, say, an art journal... And you get a blank page. Look how good it would look on this. So you've got your beautiful blank page in the centre, like that. Bring that in as well, which looks really effective. Just go around the edges now, in your black. Like so. There we are. And then what you've got in um, one of your little jars, 
you've actually got those tiny, teeny, tiny little stars. This is such a cute stamp. It's absolutely gorgeous. So it's in the little jars one. Um, the It's in, you know, the one where you get your little house oh, and the trees. I mean, they're just adorable. And if I just take these, so just a few little stars in the background. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, that is just, it, it, they look like it's actually a bit, they're more sort of snowflakey than stars actually. But they're just so pretty. So I have those just sort of flittering round because I think that looks gorgeous. Such a good stamp. One tiny stamp and it's the detail of that that's absolutely phenomenal. Okay, happy with that. So again, see where I'm going. There, that's where we're going. So that can actually go in my, I'm going to pop it in the journal. So that's going in my journal and I've got my glue. Obviously, my pink frog glue. There we go. So that is going on here, like so. I want to uh, finish my art journals, you see, and then I'm going to sell them. All right, that's my first one. And then just use a little bit of 3D foam. Get my scissors. I won't be tight. <clears throat> Pop a few layers and my good old 3D. So that can go here, <clears throat> like so. And then I might pop that one. I kind of want that at a bit of a, a jaunty angle. But where I'm going with this is so that's going to be my next layer. But before I do that, let me just show you how good. I've already coloured the flower in, but let me just show you the beautiful flower because this is brand new and it's exquisite. In fact, I've gone and picked up the, the wrong flower there, haven't I? Let me get my, there we go, this is the one. So this is my cherry blossom and it is absolutely stunning, stunning flower. And you can see with all of these, I mean the quality of these images are just beautiful. So if I just take this like that, and actually, I'm going to stamp this in Abandoned Coral. Let's do a little bit of that because it just looks fabulous. So if I stamp that, and if you're doing backgrounds, for instance, so you can literally, that one, look at the detail on that. But you can do such a good background with this because you can just, it fills a page. Isn't that one lovely? And it'll just give you such detail. And this is me going off on a tangent. But I wanted to show you, I wanted to stamp it out because I've already stamped this out and I've already cut it out. If you're doing a background with it, remember to fall off the page. Don't keep it on the page because otherwise it doesn't look like a background. It looks too contrived, it looks too set. But if you have it so it falls off the page, so make sure you get these little elements so they're coming off as well. And then it just looks like you've cut a beautiful piece of pattern paper up. Like that. Like that, like that there. See, look how pretty that looks. But it's such a good stamp, is that one. Absolutely exquisite. Obviously, that's just, that's just like by and by. I'm not actually using that one, so I'll put that one aside. But that one could be another one, couldn't it? But what I've already done with this is coloured it in and cut it out. So that's my lovely cherry blossom. So that's going to go in there. I want that over the top like that. But I just thought I'd like um, one of the, the little hexagons as well, just coming over because I think that looks pretty. I never put my embellishments on the right, but I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix it up. Gosh, messes with my head a little bit, does that? Just popping my glue there and popping it there, like so. So that can go there, that'll hit there, like that. And then my beautiful cherry blossom. I am going to glue it on, not 3D it. So that's going to go there. I'm not going to glue it all the little elements on because I think they look quite nice, a little bit sort of all over the shop, like that. And then we just need a sentiment, don't we? Now, Actually, I've got my, my wild and free, but... So this is, again, this is in the second hour, um, and it is with one of the sets that you're going to get in the second hour. 
So if I just take that, I can take one of my scraps, proper scrap piece of paper here. And I love this because even though I've cut those off, you know, the, you can use them. And I might use the, ooh, the blue or the pink, the blue. Let's use that one. There. And even her sentiments are beautiful. You know, even her, the, the font or her handwriting is absolutely gorgeous. So just cut that out. Like so. And we're ready to go. So that now, just ink round the edge. Like so. And I can stick that on my page. So I'm going to have that. Coming in, I think, oh, where shall I have it? I thought that, I forgot that that wasn't 3D. <laughs> the 3D bit is there. I like that. It's going to go there, and I'm going to 3D that one with my 3D tape, which is right next to me. So that one, I'll 3D on, like so. See now, I like this because it's quite a tiny little project, and it's you know on a on a nice big page, but then you've got that tiny little project. What I am going to do is go around the um, edges. So with my white gel pen, I won't make you watch me do that. But with my white gel pen, I'm going to do some little edging because I want to frame it a bit more. So just like that, because I think that'll look really pretty. And it'll just finish it off. I don't want to do any splashes on this one. So just a few little scribbler lines, I think will just finish that off. But I have used quite a few stamps there, but this is the beautiful thing. Everything mixes and matches gorgeously together. Um, right, I'm going to get ready for another demonstration. We've had some images sent in. Let's see what you lot have been doing. So the first one's from Jane. Let's have a look what... Oh, Jane. Oh, she's going for a jar face. Jane, I love those. They're so pretty. So she's got loads of gorgeous little jars lined up there, Jane. That's absolutely adorable. And when you look at that and imagine the size of the jars, that's going to be really teeny tiny. That's so cute, Jane. Thank you. And um, we've got one from Jackie. Oh, that's lovely. Now, that is one of the sort of the very early stamps that we brought to you from Lesia. And yeah, just incredible. They're incredible. They're so beautiful. Oh, and, and um, sorry, that was Jackie, wasn't it, that one? Yeah. Oh, love it. Uh, keep those coming in, please, because I love seeing your work. Uh, right, back to Janice, and I'll tidy up and do something else. Oh, thanks, Leone. Inspirational demonstrations time after time. You can watch this show again, by the way. When you get your stamps home, you can craft along with Leone and see what she's doing and do something similar or the same if you want to. Right, let's run you through all the different items from Lesia on the show. We've been hugely, hugely busy. It doesn't surprise me. When you see Lesia's artwork, it's very, very inspirational because it shows you exactly what that stamp can do for you. Whether you are a colorist or whether you're just picking up pens for the first time or whether you want to use them in a gray st uh, style manner, I still think these are going to look absolutely incredible because look at the stamp itself, look at the detail, look at the dots that are on there that make up that image that almost give you the shading without the color. 439205 is your item number, but a third of the stock has gone, oh my word. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, you could just get lost for hours on end just looking at the images that you stamp out because they are so beautiful. Right, the next one we've got available for you. Uh, you'll see you've got that lovely cat and the baby kitten in there on that cushion, all soft and all warm and all cuddly. Oh, look at that. Little mummy's kitten. Oh, hello. Um, <laughs> It's on my elbow there. Uh, 906467 is your item number if you want to go for mummy's kitten. And why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Um, in the stamp set itself, uh, it says two stamp sets because the actual sentiment underneath is separate, but the actual full image of the kitten and its mummy and the cushion is all one. Now, everything, it's, uh, everything will be dispatched on the 26th of January, not too long to wait at all. Can't believe I'm saying that, but it's true. Uh, right, continuing with the cat theme. Love this, isn't this? This is Have a Perfect Day. Well, this little kitty cat is certainly having a perfect day. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know about um, its mummy or daddy when they come back and they see all the uh, <laughs> balls of wool that he's been playing with. Uh, but you'll see Lessie's artwork there is lovely. You've got the grey and the dark, uh, which I think is really effective and it looks great on that craft card. But also any colours that you use, beautiful. And look at the dots, like the dotalism that's in there. Uh, or is it pointillism? Pointillism, dotalism? Yeah, pointillism. Um, but you've got all of that in there, which is the shading. It's almost like a guide for you, as well as being the fur on the cat. Isn't that great? £11.99, sensational price. Very busy for this. 273953. Is this, if this is going to be your perfect stamp, then pop that into your baskets. Right, next up. This is lovely. This is what Leone's just been using in her demonstration. And that background was so effective, wasn't it? And, and you learn so much from watching Leone. One would think, right, I'll put that stamp onto the card, I'll make a background. But when Leone said, no, take it off the card, fall off the card, it does create that wonderful background as if you have cut it from uh, a piece of backing paper. £11.99, 201-773 is your item number for that particular stamp. Right, we've got another cherry blossom set for you here. I can't wait for my cherry blossom to come out this spring. I really can't wait because I know each year the tree gets bigger and bigger and bigger. and We get more and more blossom every single year. And it's such a delightful, delightful flower to see and such a lovely flower to have on your craft as well. £9.99, you get five stamps in total. So you get the stamens as well and you also get the layering system of your cherry blossoms. 239174 is your item number. Now the circles, very popular the stitch circles because you can use these in many, many different ways. Uh, the stamp sets themselves, as you'll see there, they are separate. So in there you've got one, two, three stamps with that lovely detail. I think if you know anybody who is into soft crafts that like sewing, for example, using this on a card that you're sending them, perfect. Using it as a background, as a grunge style addition to your mixed media style backgrounds, again, it's going to look fabulous. There's something about circles, isn't there, that just, just you know, really finish off your piece of artwork and say such a lot as well. I think they say the sign of a true artist is the circle that they draw. The more perfect the circle, the more true the artist. I don't know, we're all artists, but I, I, I've probably read that somewhere. My circles are more like oblongs, so I don't know what that says about me. Uh, next up, next up, uh, we've got more stitchy detail. These are your hexagons. Uh, now, if I just move that there, you can see that shape changes, doesn't it, slightly. And that's how you can use them as well, in whichever way you choose. 323162 is your item number. Um, I just want to show you that because that is like that, so that you know instantly that that's the same. Of course, I'll take it away now. And it's still upside down. Yes. There you go. Uh, but I just wanted to show it that way. Uh, 11 99 I know I could just spin the stamp myself. There you go. That's better. You see, working together always works well. There you go. Yeah. Should have been right the first time, but never mind. Uh, 323162 is the item number, so I do apologise. I do apologise. No, that was me turning it the wrong way. Should have been right. Uh, next up, next up, we've got the bottles. Now, these are very, very popular because these could be, you could draw your flowers into the jars or you could use the round jar for like some perfumery. There's a word. There's a word I didn't think I was going to be saying at this time of day on a Saturday. <laughs> Perfumery. 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 Not poison. Not poison. No. <laughs> Depends what herb you use. Do be careful. £13.99. 678074. 40% of the stock has gone. It's been very, very popular. I do like those samples there. Uh, they look 3D, don't they? Uh, I imagine using glossy accents on these as well will just look absolutely incredible and give you that glass effect. Isn't that lovely? Um, and who would have thought that putting a jar onto a card would look so attractive and it really really does and here's another sample for you as well to give you some inspiration 13 pounds and 99 pence 678074 is your item number finally finally we've got the winter jars was it karen that sent in the picture of the car jane sent in um, was it these jars? It was jar similar jars to yeah. these. I um, think she did have winter jars in there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Look at that. 
When I first saw that picture, Leonie, I don't know about you, I thought that was really big. Uh, yeah, I, I thought that's a huge piece of artwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's going to be teeny tiny. I know. How amazing. I imagine how small that writing is as well. Yeah. Uh, well, these are the jars that Jane used. Love these. Uh, it's a winter vibe, isn't it? I guess, Leonie, there's nothing stopping you from masking off the middle part of the jars yeah, yeah. if you just wanted to have the jars themselves you could put anything you like in there absolutely um, so you could mask that off if you want to and uh, you color it in differently and i just think i don't know they're just a little bit magical I, yeah. I just think they're absolutely adorable and the other stamps that you get the trees and then that little snowflakey one that i used before oh, the detail yeah, of that is that. just phenomenal I really like things on a small scale. Oh, you know, I do. when you're using uh, your micro pens as well mm. to extend any of the artwork. Um, but the detail in here is incredible. Leslie's done an incredible job designing these. £11.99, 548333 is your item number. Let's have a look at the website. We'll head back to Leone. Keep sending your pictures in. We love seeing them. Leone loves seeing them as well. Um, you can have a look at all the different stamps from Leslie's Sagada on the website and choose wisely pop them into your basket and do check on out i do like the whale one i think that is absolutely marvelous my favorite of course would be the fox mm. love foxes uh, but i like those geometric shapes as well um geometric shapes very very popular i think they're going to stay with us for a long time as well and the alphabet very very good with that of course i would spell out fox for fox <laughs> have, I, have I told you, Leonie, I like foxes? <laughs> I love foxes too. Foxes are marvellous. Right, Leonie? Foxes are fabulous. You look okay. like a fox today, actually. Uh, the bit. orange. Yeah. Cheek a bit of orange. Yeah. Yeah, yeah foxy, Leonie. Foxy. <laughs> foxy I mean, I'm feeling really foxy today. Growl. <laughs> <laughs> Foxes, I think they bark, I don't think they growl. They make some weird noises, they the do. foxes, don't they? They, they do. make some very weird noises. They do. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they're fabulous. Um, okay, so, um, it's funny, isn't it? I mean, I used to see more foxes in London than I see yeah. round Oundle. The urban fox. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, there's no, I don't, I've not well, I suppose they've got so much foxes. countryside, they just stay yeah. there. There's a lot more people with guns around here and all. Oh it? dear, no. No sauce. <laughs> Let's not go, go there. there. Here we go again, Leone. I'll go and sort them out though, Leone, trust me. <laughs> Trust me, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> scary, scary fuck. Anyway, I'll stop. Um, so, <laughs> what I've got, yeah, move on, Leona. Tell you, terrible all the stuff that comes out of my mouth. Um, I want to use the jars because, A, because I know they're really busy, but B, because there's lots of things you can do with them. I'm not aiming to finish a piece. I just want to show you how you can use these. So, let's use that circle jar first of all. Now, Let's you use these with some of the stamps that are coming up in the second hour, which of course you can use. What I love about this jar, okay, I'm going to stamp it a couple of times. Let's stamp it a few times and then I can show you different variants. So, oh, there's so much you can do with these. They're tremendous. So I've got my little jar there and then let's stamp it once more as well. Let's have a little, let's have a little play with this stamp. Would that Just... be a light bulb as well, Leonie? Yeah, it could be, could be, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. I mean, it's just a beautiful image. Funny, isn't it? Things like this. I mean, such a a simple image, but ridiculously effective. Now she's good at that, but so the way this has actually been designed, you've got all these flowers. Now these are beautiful it's up to you how you use these so you might want the flowers in the jar you might want the flowers out of the jar that's the thing it is up to you i've already created a mask so if i wanted the flowers out of the jar you'd put your little mask on there like so and then start deciding where you're going to layer your stamps. So I've got my, my lovely little florals. These are just gorgeous. I mean, the detail of these is absolutely phenomenal. And because I've got my mask on, I can stamp over the top. I know that it's going to be absolutely fine. It's not going to go on the jar. And it allows me to decide exactly where I want these beautiful florals. So I can do this kind of thing. And look at these. I mean, this is so pretty. That one is just beautiful. Look. Isn't that? Oh, lovely Sarah. Sarah's emailed in from Funky Fossil. Oh, <laughs> she said, um, and newly only cost me money today. So, 
she's gone for the stitch detail and the geometry stamps that we've got coming up in the second hour. Oh, I'm so pleased you got home safe and sound. And um, oh, it was the first time I ever worked with Sarah yesterday. And I had such a lovely show. I love Sarah's stuff. Absolutely beautiful. If you did miss any of that, please check it all out on the website. But yeah, it was so nice working with you. She's a, an incredible crafter as well. Oh, thank you, Sarah. And yeah, I'm glad you made it home safe and sound because she finished very late last night, did I, Sarah? So this is ace. That little stamp is beautiful because it allows you to fill in. And as ever with something like this, you can go as big as you want because I've stamped it out a few times. So I won't get carried away. When you bring it out, it's that pop. You know, that never fails to impress because it always looks good. If you do, and what I've done is obviously um, I've done the, the inking around the outside, left the centre so it makes that pop even more. You have got as well, you've got your, your little thing is here. So it's got... You know, so it looks like the light hitting the jar. She's literally thought of everything. You could put the flowers inside the jar. It's up to you. So that's one way of using the jar. OK, pop that to one side. The next way of using the jar. So again, if I mask this off. So I've got one little jar here, like so. Let me just have a little look. So I did have my other mask from my other jar. And I had it in front of me and then mysteriously moved it away from myself. Now, those jars are really busy. 60% of the stock has gone. If you do want them, you need to check your baskets out. But look, they mix and match beautifully. So if I bring the other jar in, so you're getting this one as well, of course. So bring that one in as well, like so, which is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then, if I mask that off, and then... You can bring in, so let's say you bring in your beautiful, let's go stitch circle on this one. So you bring your stitch circle. I could bring some of the stamps from the second hour, the geometry stamps, but I'm saving them for the second hour. Although I do absolutely love those as well. So bring in this in, like so. And obviously I've masked them both off, so I know that when I lift those off, that lovely circle is going behind the jars, which looks really cool. But then, if you want to stamp inside the jar, inky fingers. That's one of me. So what I've done, when I've cut my mask out, I've actually cut it out really carefully. So I've got a mask for the jar, but then I've got a mask for inside of the jar. So this will now allow me to place it just there so then i can come in and i can start doing my little scene inside the jar and this is really really nice because obviously it allows you lots and lots of um versatility so i can bring that little one in there like so pretty it's just so cute isn't it and then you're also getting those the little trees i haven't opened that one yet so get my little trees and pop that there. And I'm not inking the full thing because I know if I ink the full thing, then it'll be too big for what I want it. So just go in like that. How cute is that? Then when you lift that off, in fact, let me put a tiny bit of ink in there. Only a tiny bit, but just coming around the edges. Oh, I forgot to blast my ink dry again. Eee, I'm not used to working with it. I'm used to working with my Versafat, um, my Claire that dries so quickly. There we go. But look, how pretty is that? So you can stamp in the jars, which does look absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then my other one. Where did I put my other one? Da, 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 there. So that's my other one. So now with this one, and this is something that Lesia did. Um, as I say, please check that out because she has shared this and it's a lovely, lovely technique. This is using stamps um, that are in this afternoons. So what she used were 
the wonderful, there we go, oh, and these are really nice, really nice stamps, the stars and the moons, they're absolutely exquisite. So she used these ones, um, and what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to mask. She did use a different jar, so I'll look that up on Instagram. So one that we've got, she actually sent it to us as well. So what you can do now is start stamping inside the jar. This is a lovely stamp set. When we had these on, they absolutely flew. So please check your basket out. Um, a bit of a sneak peek with these. I mean, look at that cloud stamp. It's just so beautiful, beautiful. Uh, the details are there, actually. If you do want these, it comes with the wave, and the wave stamp is stunning, especially as in the next hour we have got the gorgeous whale as well. Um, only 9 99 Check your baskets out. I'd get them before we get to the second hour, just in case we don't have those left. Because look, I mean, how cool is that? So you've got the beautiful clouds inside there. I'm then going to put... You've got the lovely little stars as well. So I'm going to have a little star in there. I would put colour in, but, but because I'm sort of being a bit quick. Oh, isn't that good star? So your little star just going on. And then there's another little star. I've actually lost one of my little stars, which is very bad. But pop that in. Like so. And have it coming off the jar as well, so it looks, again, there, like this. And then when I remove that, look at that lovely jar. It's so cool. And then, this is actually, I'm copying what Leslie did, because I really like to design. I might mix it up a little bit, but she used the beautiful moon, and she stamped the moon at the bottom. And this is absolutely copying Leslie. So um, this isn't my work. She left more room at the bottom. My moon's going to fall off, but she left more room at the bottom. But as I say, you can check this out on Insta. But I liked it that much, I thought, I'm going to copy this one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I liked it that much. But this is, this is why we share ideas, isn't it? So people can be inspired and, and use those designs. I mean, I have used a different jar, so it's almost a little bit mine. But it's not really, it's Lessius. But there you go. It's still Lessia, and everything's Lessia. I mean, I mean, it's just magical. And then what Lessia used again, still pinching Lessia's ideas. She um, used one of. The, oh, I love these. She used one of her beautiful geometry stamps. These are ace. Um, oh, and I'm so pleased. These have been really, really busy. It's really interesting. When we first brought all the geometry styles to you. I loved them, but they weren't that busy. I think it's taken people a little bit of time to go, oh, yeah, OK. But now people are getting it. And these are getting busier and busier. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go through the centre of that. So I'm lining it up. I'm poising it over the top before I actually go for it. But then going through the centre of the jar. So that gives me... So it's going all the way through the centre of the jar, and I adore that. Obviously, Lessie's design, absolutely not my design. I have literally pinched that off Lessie. But then you would blast that, and I have to blast that to cut to set that ink. I'm stamping on um, uh, Super Smooth, so I know it'll dry. It is a dye ink, so I know it's going to dry. I mean, it's a really good quality ink pad. It's just you need to try it off because it'll stay open a bit longer, which will allow me to do watercolour effects with it. But if you do want to bring in your colour, you do need to let that dry off. But then, as soon as you start bringing colour around that jar, so if I just bring my colour, and I might use, I'm kind of feeling like using a purple on that. I don't use purple a lot, but purple's a kind of a magic colour, isn't it? So, steve oh, um, Hiya, Steve-o. So, oh, he's going to try and find pictures for the later show because he's already invested in loads of Lessie's beautiful stamps. Thank you, Steve-o. Lovely to hear from you. Um, and he's going for the geometric and the hexagons in this hour as well. So, yeah, those geometrics are getting more and more popular. And then, let me just, I'm hoping I can drag that out there. 
So just dragging that out a little bit. Oh, I've not worked quick enough, but that's okay. Because if you don't work quick enough and can't drag it out quick, and, but I can't like that actually. I think that looks really cool. Have I only got five minutes? Okay, can I show you something else then really, really quickly? Obviously you'll colour that in and do all sorts with it, blah, blah, blah. Um, the jars, they are now limited stock. You need to check your baskets out with those. They are all adorable absolutely adorable the artwork is amazing do not miss out on those they are now limited stock um okay so dead quickly shift all that shift all that the cat i thought i better do something with the cats hadn't i because these are just adorable so if i take my my little putty cat um i want to stamp on there so i will bring this in like so quick 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 leona you're running out of time so I'll pop that there, pop my little putty cats there, and I'll ink it there, pop that there, like so. I already done that. I did some die cuts. I thought, ooh, I'm going to stamp on die cuts. So I've got my form in, clear stamps. <laughs> Rookie error the other day. So I'm going to go in with a few different colours. I want to go in with a brown. I'm using me all the distress, me normal distress oxide, because I've left all my ink pads at home. It means I've had to dig out all my other ink pads, so it's quite nice, actually. I'm using inks I haven't used in ages. I like, it's quite nice doing that, and it? Forcing yourself to rediscover your inks, because obviously distress inks are just amazing. So we're taking that, and look at that image. How gorgeous is that? Obviously, what we can do with this as well is just gently move some of that ink. So A, it creates um, a beautiful shading. It obviously colours it in without you needing to, to faff at all. I'm not going to do the full thing because there's a lot of detail there. And that little cat's face there... You almost can't see that little putty cat's face. Oh, it's just so adorable. So pop in that, and I'm not going to colour much more in. You get lost with it. You'll end up colouring it in because you get lost, because it's that gorgeous. So just lift that out. I would ink round the edges. How much time have I got? Oh, that's OK. I can do this and even throw back to our jammies. Boom. So what I can do is not that sponge now we get fussy with the punch just <laughs> so then <laughs> just gently round the edge <laughs> there we go <laughs> go around that edge like that Apparently Janice has suddenly acquired the fear of a microphone. No, it, it's not. Do you know what it is? What is it? As soon as my mic goes live, I just have to be careful what I say. I just can't help it. It's just... <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I do need to tell you, we've sold out the jars. Um, that's what I was really excited. We've sold out of the jars, everyone. So, um, yeah, they've gone. What a fabulous demonstration as well with those oh, jars. I love it? them. And it's funny because you just want to go, you can do this, you can do this. Do you know what I mean? It's just there's so many different things you can do that's that background that i created with the beautiful blossoms but i thought how pretty will that look as a background for my Aww. lovely little putty cats and then i have got a sentiment for the little putty cat which hopefully i'll be able to squidge on there before i run out of any time so you've got perfect friends per there and of course uh, oh where's my p <laughs> um hold on it's fur fur pet oh, hold on the fur pet fur <laughs> anyway that's what it is <laughs> forever friends <laughs> um you mat and layer that you'll probably put a bit of ink around you've finished coloring it in and have a lovely time Aww. aren't we, they adorable they are well you know what you could have replaced the fur with we we are forever friends. Oh, yes, or we you are could. ever friends. Yeah. Aww. Aren't they lovely? What a perfect way <sighs> to end a perfect show.
Well, how marvellous. Thank oh. you, are Janice. Leonie, you're back later with more stamps yes. uh, from last year yeah. as well. What can we expect to see? Um, it's the whales. Mm. They're beautiful. The geometry stamps, which are amazing. And already selling. And already selling. So, yes. yeah, you do need to uh, you do need to be quick with them because otherwise they might have gone by the time we get round to 3 o'clock. Yes, they are available now, dare I say, on the website. So you can jump ahead of everyone else joining us at 3. But, you know... Do leave them a few. Do leave them a few. Uh, it's been great to have your company. Check out your baskets. Have a look on the website. And do have a peruse for the show that's coming up from Lesia Zagada at 3 o'clock today. But we'll see you after the break. Right, coming up next, Pink Frog Crafts One Day Special with Hazel and Catherine. Quilting antics after that. And then we're heading back to that happy hour with Crafty Devils. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, a professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a chandy because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a chandy. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Branche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves, for your jars, glasses, we have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hachanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs. 
whether you're using them on carbs or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. A very good afternoon to you all. Yes, it's the one day special and I've got some news for you as well. We're just looking at some of the amazing samples that of course have been made for us by Pink Frog and Hazel's always here in the studio with us as well. But the news is, oh, I'm going to tell you right now, the one day special did sell out in between the shows. So what are we going to do? Well, I'll tell you a little story, shall I? Because we did load more stock on extended delivery. It's just next Thursday, which is the 21st of January, but already a third or th was it a third? Wow, that's how busy it is, Hazel. A third of the stock already gone and extended. That's in between shows. I know. It, I'm not surprised, though, because the value is amazing. And what you're getting in there, and it doesn't matter. If you're a card maker, it's perfect. You've got your card blanks in there. If you like making boxes, you've got your bigger card in there. You've also got all them instructions. You can make frames. You can stamp. You can paint. It's, wow. What could be better? Well, let's talk about those instructions and the one day special because they are included. The instructions themselves, along with the card stock that we're going to go through, make 36 different projects. And I was having a little chat to uh, Hazel as well. That um, Just before the hour, Hazel, you were telling me that if you make every one of those projects yeah. with the one day special, uh -huh. you will still have leftovers. Loads left, yeah. And that is ridiculous. I know it is. And we're talking big frames, we're talking big bags and gift yep. bags, you know, of all different sizes. We're exactly. talking memory boxes or books. Yep. We're talking card files as well. Your, yeah, your memory books. You could make probably one of the 15 by 42 ones, which you've got on that side there. You could also wow. make a 15 by 30 one as well, easily. So all of the pages in this book? Yeah. That is ridiculous, isn't it? Well, let's have a look what we've got in the one day special. Just as I go through this, of course, you can fill this however you wish. But the cardstock from the one day special being used in the making of this, this is just one of the 36 projects. Now, you are getting so much when it comes to the super smooth cardstock as well. And Hazel, of course, when we talk about super smooth, we know by now with Pink Frog, yeah. you can throw so many things of at the surface. You can. And you know what? The whole idea behind this show was so that. I didn't want to stand here with the boards and just point and say, you can do that. You, I wanted to show you physically. And yeah. that's why the whole counter in every size that we do, ranging from A6 all the way up to 12 by 12, is there. Wow. Because I can show you what you can do on it. And it's just... Some of us, the techniques that have been around for a long time, but we forget about them. We do. We do. By we do. seeing them physically, yeah. it's, it's just like a little light bulb going off. And it's just like, oh, oh, I need to try that. And then you could make your own little memory book. The one in front of you. This one here? It, yeah. Caroline's made that. And that's her little technique book. So... I love the frame. When on the you front get your little one, well. one day special home, you can make your own and you can put your own oh, techniques into it. Oh, but wow. it's just a oh, really nice way to catalogue all the different things that you can do with Super Smooth. So on there you've got a little pulley, so you can use your alcohol markers, your water pens, your water pencils, and they all work perfectly. Amazing. Yeah. Well, you are getting A3 cardstock. You're getting 12 by 12 in here as well. We are also getting, is it the 15 by the 42 we've okay. got in there as well? Yeah, you've got your 15 by 42, you'll get 25 of. Yeah. And you've got your 15 by 30, you'll get 50 of. Wow. But also, you're getting 50 sheets of the Super Smooth in the paper, which is 180 GSM. We call it paper. It, it's almost a card. Yeah. The quality is beautiful. You can still do all them techniques on it, even though it's a thinner a thinner weight. Well, it doesn't get so, much better than that, does yeah. it? And we're talking those 36 instruction sheets as well, Hazel. So yes. we've already mentioned we've got frames. I mean, we've got frames of all sorts of different sizes. We've talked about the books as well, the memory books. We've talked about the gift bags as well. And I can see you've got a whole array of different sizes Absolutely, at the back there. Yeah. And there's that little, um, that one there. That's, the, that's from, made from one sheet of 12 oh, by 12 so card. Sweet. 
We are going to make one of those in this show, but we're really going to put the car to its paces and we're going to be crumpling it up and inking on it and stamping on it. And it will not look like a piece of white card when we're finished. Amazing. In fact, you'll think, was that really white when we started? <laughs> oh, I cannot wait. Well, the price is just 19 99 There's a £10 saving. 937606. Just think, for t less than 20 I'm going to say less than 20 because yeah. every penny counts. Yeah. For less than £20, you can make 36 projects and still have that card stock left over as well. Now, it works out at just 12 pence per sheet. That really is seriously incredible value, isn't it? Let's go to the website and see what else we've got over there as well, because we've got different bundles for you as well. So there's lots of different sizes when it comes to the Super Smooth. We've got envelopes in some of the bundles as well. We've also got the True Black in there. You don't want to miss out on that one. You know, we've got glues as well in your consumables. The glue has been extremely busy. I've got to say the non clogged bottles are there as well we've got gesso for you we've got mylar so we have got a lot in store for you as well and the scotch tape as well always a popular buy for holding down your dies and uh, you know low tack tape that's what it is we've got stamps there as well you may have noticed some of the samples using some of these stamps already but you know everything all those consumables are there for you as well included the red liner tape and the double-sided foam as well oh look at that Yes, 10.99. That's your A4 180 GSM, 100 sheets. So that is in the one-day special. That's the A4, the same sort that we've got in the one-day exactly, special. Exactly, but we put it on as a separate item because as it's getting known, more and more people think it are, oh, and they're falling in love with it because these flowers here, they've all been made from the paper and wow. it moulds so beautifully. And it but does take the ink and stamps. Why would you pay the 10.99, even though it's a great price, when you can get that in the one-day exactly. special and get Obviously everything else half included? The amount, but it's a still yeah. a big chunk to get you started. It is. Yes. Right, we're going to go straight to you, Hazel. Okay, so Can't I'm wait. just going to dip in. Um, I'm, I have a box next to me. I'm going to lift it up and show you. It's got my A6 and my A5 in there. It's just so handy to have because I always dip into it and, and pick out for when I'm doing my little sample swatches and that bits and pieces. That is a great pieces. idea for anybody, actually, yeah. isn't it? To have it's, that ready to go when you're crafting. Yeah, I mean, you can decorate the... I've put a little bit of pattern card on the front there just to decorate it up, just to make it mine, so to speak. But Wonderful. they stack up on your shelf really yeah. well as well, so... Right, now, I'm we do start. have that available for you as well. If you want a box like Hazel, you can get it for £13.98. You are saving £8. It is already on extended delivery from the 18th of January, but well worth the wait. It's not long, is it? 698005. Right, Hazel. OK, so throughout the shows, we've gone from blending with um, oxides, with all sorts of different things. We've had our brush shows on there and our eco lines. I'm going to come on with some paint now. Um, and hopefully just show you a few things, including using the gesso as well. So mm -hmm. this yeah. one is just, um, it's just like an acrylic paint. And I'm just going to almost dry brush, but a little bit heavier. I just okay. want to get some of that um, paint cover in it. Oh, you've chosen one of my favourite colours. I love the khaki, it's gorgeous. So I don't want to over wet it, but it, it will take it. Wonderful. In fact, for this one, I will cover it because I'll do the scrumply. Now, what I do enjoy about this is that the even though we're putting paint on there and drying it it doesn't it doesn't stop me from doing other techniques on it so i'm actually going to crumple this one up all oh, right okay it doesn't crack and i can score on it as well so i'm going to do a couple of things i'll just put some paint on this one when this one's dry okay and that's drying very quickly we can see yeah, is that quick. an acrylic paint is it a chalk based paint uh, it's paint acrylic i'm sure yeah. it is yes chalk acrylic yeah Lovely. And then for this one, I'm just going to more um, dry brush it, so I won't need as much paint. I'm intrigued. I've no idea what you're going to do. <laughs> it's exciting. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to set that one aside to dry while we work on this piece. Okay. So, I'm just going to use my, my two thumbs to break down the fibres and crease into the card. Because it's 300 GSM, Sometimes, you know, like when you, oh, do you know what, I'm going to do it. Sometimes it just jabs into your hand, but that's given me a nice bit of detail in the middle. And we can so see that no I can tearing, pick up, the paint's not cracked. No, no cracking at all on there. And then I'm going to pick out, I've got Shady Lane from my Versa range. And I'm just going to blend around. Okay. Do you know what, I've got the wrong colour. It doesn't matter. Let's put a bit of Shady Lane round first. I was getting confused with the next technique. 
but that's fine. That's, that's a lovely colour though. It, you can it, see it, it's it does up on match in really plant. nice. Yeah, it does. So I'm now going to go onto my brown and okay. my fallen leaves. And I just, suppose you could put as many colours as oh, you wish you can, on. Oh, of course you can. I got Ooh, a bit carried that. away this morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. So that's just picking oh, out all that. of that detail. Yeah. In fact, the one that I did is a completely different colour still. But it doesn't matter. This is the thing. That looks really kind of... Let's bring that one in, look. Oh, yeah. So you can really yeah. see the difference there. Um, you get almost a bit of a shine on there as well. Yeah, you could dry brush that. some um, gesso across there as well. So that's one way of using it with the paint. Also, on yesterday's show, on our launch show, I made a frame and I scored on top of the paint, which didn't crack either. And it's the grey frame at the front with all the flowers Ooh, we'll on. We'll see if we can take a look at that. Yeah, I can just spot it, actually, at the corner of my eye. We'll see if the camera can pick that one up. But every time you do this technique as well, Hazel, you're going to get different effects, aren't you? Oh. I thought something was going to fall over there. Some of the <laughs> it was just, just the paper. wafted back. Yeah. But so that is, it's 15 by 30. I've used four, one for each edge. Yeah. It's got the paint on, which is white gesso with a little bit of black pigment in. Covered it totally, dried it out, white brushed some gesso on, and then added a tiny bit of stamping. But it Love scored it. beautifully. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to start on this one. This is. Um, the shady lane now I'm just going to add a little bit of ink around the outside and I'm going to make this look a little bit fence like oh I can see that already actually yeah oh you weathered wood okay so I'm just going to bring in my board I've just took <laughs> never mind Move what it did out you the do? way. Do you know, it's always the way when you're crafting. You start off with such a big area and you end up with it round, yeah, just sitting on your knee. I'm just going to score every um, one and a half centimetres. Okay, lovely stuff. Um, just on the reverse so it pokes through. What's that, four and a half? And if you don't have a scoreboard, Hazel, you could mark with a pencil and use the edge of a ruler and your scoring tool. Of course, of course you can. Seven, do you know what? I probably haven't done that right, but never mind. We'll get away with it. Okay. I can't add up at the best of times. <laughs> <laughs> um, now I'm looking for some ground espresso. So I'm just going to drag my pad down. This is ah. going to give me that wood-like effect, oh, wow. but I've got that, that lovely paint detail in the background. So it's about mixing up all your mediums, really, isn't it? Now, that's picked up the embossing that I did. You can... I love that, Hazel. It's gorgeous, isn't it? A little bit of a baby wipe. Yeah. That just softens down if you want to just so to mix it. that's a wet baby wipe that that's you use That's exactly. There. What yeah. did I call it? Baby. You just say baby wipe, but sometimes we, we dry them out and use them for different techniques. Yeah, so things. I've left it on there because I didn't want it soaking because I, I do really quite like the darker, the darker bits that they add like knots. So, yeah. But how effective is that one? And that's a, a technique that isn't on our board. I know our boards have got probably, I don't know... Um, 8, 16, 24 different techniques on our boards, but um, yeah, I find new ones all the time, but there you go. That, I'm going to pinch that, I'm going to do that later. Do it! I am, Definitely. I love that technique. I, are you, I, I know you're poised with your... Just as you're resetting, Hazel, we're going to mention this glue as well. Tell us about this glue, actually, because this has been a, a really good seller for okay. you as well, hasn't so it? So, an EVA glue, it's, um, that's an ethylene vinyl acetate glue, as opposed to a PVA. And all okay. it means is it's used in the archivals. Yeah. So, the real delicate documents that need preserving, it's a, it's a specialist glue that, d that does all that. It stays flexible, it's not brittle, it doesn't yellow. It's perfect for book binding and all your crafty needs. Lovely. Um, got a nice nozzle the, on there yeah, as that's well. That's a lovely cap. click, kind of secure, yeah. keeps it... Yeah. Yes, you can hear and it. And then when you unscrew the lid, you've got like a little seal that you have to take off. OK. From once you replace that lid, if you pop off the end, then you can fill them into our glue bottles with no fuss. Ooh, no do go for that. Everywhere. Many of you are, are already going for that yeah. as well. I know Hazel loves that. 1399 538442 is the item number. We've also got the non clog bottles as well. So that will go decant into the non clog, will Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yes. Perfect. Into the three and the five. Uh, is it three and the five? Five and the eight. I always get it confused. <laughs> five mil and eight mil. The, the yellow well. top and the. Yeah, the now top. these are also an extended <laughs> delivery, twelve ninety nine. but pop those into your basket as well, 603-282. 
Oh, I think everybody needs some of those in their life. I know our Lottie does. She just told me. They're amazing. OK, I'm going to move on to our gesso now. And I know we've got this on. It's an amazing price. Um, but by adding the gesso to your cardstock, it just gives you a completely different finish. I'm just going to try and clean this green off a little bit. I've just seen the price on these. I know. I've just been it's asked, mad, can I grab these it? from the back? And I thought, do I just get one or do I get them all? Surely I must get them all because they're all sat there. Yeah. Never expected to see all three for 11 is it? There's 200 million in a tube, that isn't it? That yes, is crazy. Mil. And look at the name on it as well. It's Talons. Talons. 028044 is the item number. Do not miss out on those. Art is quality. Oh... There's going to be another shopping basket getting full here, isn't there? <laughs> <sighs> OK, I have got a tinge of green in there, but it's fine. I'm going to do two, two pieces, two different techniques. Okay. and then just going to let everybody know we are very busy on the phone lines as well. Uh, about four minutes queue time at the moment. If you can go to the website or use the app, that is the quickest route, of course, but we will get to you as soon as possible. I think now you've seen the price of that gesso as well, you're definitely <laughs> going to be adding that into your baskets. I can't get off for that. No, I know. It's mad. Right. <clears throat> I've got a little bit of gesso on there. I'm going to leave that to one side to dry okay. while we work with this one. Now, I didn't completely coat it, but what I'm going to do... Just make sure it's dry before we start doing anything. I am totally intrigued here, Hazel. I honestly have absolutely no <laughs> idea what you're creating. What I discovered was, by putting the gesso down... Because it's a super smooth, it shouldn't work like a watercolour card. Yeah. By putting this um, gesso down, it gives you m more time to sort of like move ink around and play and it's more mixed media. So if I just dip down here and get, um, I know what I'm looking for. Well, I think anybody that's got quite a stock of super smooth from Pink Frog, you still need to go for the one day special because remember you are getting 36 project sheets included as well. So you've got your A3, you've got your A4 in there, you've got your 12 by 12, you've got your 15 by your 42. What else have I missed out? You've got your paper, haven't you, in there as well. And all of those projects as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. A3, 12 by 12, 15 by 42, 15 by 30, and your A4 paper. All your instructions can't be bad. Can and it? just in case you miss the start of the show, you can make every one of the 36 projects and still have spare cardstock as well. And we're talking using the materials that Hazel's using, your inks, your gessos, your sprays, your stamps, you know, so many different techniques, all for that wonderful price. There is a £10 saving even without that, it's incredible value, but 937606 for the one day special. Just a reminder, we did sell out in between shows today, so it's an extended delivery from the 21st of January. It's only next Thursday, so not long to wait. Right, Hazel, back to you. OK, so although I'm working with the paints, I'm just going to bring in my Ecoline, 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 I never know which way, and I'm just going to add a few little bits of colour onto the top here. OK. And we'll just pop some of that yellow there. And then just a bit of water. Oh, look at that. OK, so this then <gasps> is going to move... A lot more than yeah. it would have if it, if it, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Trying to spit it out. Uh, I didn't really mean to put that much water down, but we think no, it's I think that looks great. Let's just ink that. Lovely colours. It just works really well. I'm going to mop this one up a little bit because okay. I'm a bit of a cheater like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do do that. I don't think there's any such thing as cheating. <laughs> there's no wrong and there's no cheating. No, there isn't. Except when Hazel does it, then she's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way that it's kind of smoky. I'm going to bring this one into shot so that you can see. Oh, look, this is that. one that I did oh, earlier. Oh, wow. Where's that flower from, Hazel? That, that is from, stamps? yes, it's from our poppy set. Which oh, I is love so those popular. colours. So, so that's literally just the technique you've done with the pens and you've overstamped. Yeah. So literally, I'm just going to... Like you say, I could do it in my stamping platform, but I am just going to pop that on there. This is why you never, ever throw these backgrounds the way that you make, even no. if you don't like them. We learnt that with Lou the other day as well, Lou Sims, when we did the uh, one day special with the jelly plates. Just seal that off because... Um, I love that stamp. Just make sure that that black's not going to run. See, look, I've dried that all away, which is perfect. Love and then it. when I go in with... Um, 
some colour. Let's pop some blue in. Okay, we're just we're not taking our eyes off you, Hazel. Okay. I'll just let everyone know if you want that poppy stamp, which is stunning. It does come with some true red card as well. It's A4, 290 GSM. And of course, you've got more than the one poppy on there as well. Look at that. What another great buy. 350 saving, 1495, 441936. And that just goes to show, despite the fact you do get red card, poppies don't have to be red. No. I am absolutely loving the colours you're working with. Thank you. So can you see how well that, that ink is moving around? If at any point you want to come in and just pick up some extra and dab it in, it takes the, the, the spotting. Do you know what I mean? You can really get and play with this. It just gives a really beautiful effect. It really does. So you can add as much or as little. Go from your palette, from your pen. Just add in more. I can't take my eyes off that stamp as well. You've got just the right amount of detail in there. Yeah. You've got the curl of the petals. You've got that density in the middle there. But you haven't got too much shading, so it doesn't take away from the effect that no, you're doing. No, I love the open spaces, but yeah. like you know where to add a little bit of extra. So Beautiful. that was one thing, just by adding the white gesso to the background. If you take it another, whoopsie. If you take it another way, this is the one that we did previous, but you want to do your ink blending techniques, um, let's go with these colours, shall we? We've got a bit of Mermaid Lagoon. Okay. Ah, oh, this is, I mean, I'm sorry that my mat's really bad. Oh, But that's look fine. how nice that's, that's blending it? over it. And so then, again, over the gesso there. You can't tell the gesso is there, so if you have just tuned in, Hazel did just put a very, very thin layer of gesso on. We do have the gesso for sale. That is not an incorrect price either at 11 97 for three tubes, 200 millilitres in each, from Royal Talons as well. I'm going to I've got to show you these again. This is just a bargain if ever I saw one. Grab those while you can. That price, genuine there, can't get over that. So a little bit of drying off with a heat gun, Hazel. Yep. So a nice dry surface and now working And now we're inking onto it. As if, it's, as if it's a piece of... What am I looking for? Do you know, nearly two as thirds of the gesso is gone. As if it's a piece of card. Gone. That's what I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just working with it now as if it's a piece of super smooth. Okay. But it's got this um, mixed media feel to it. Do you have favourite colours? Hazel, because looking around at all the, your wonderful samples, there's so many different They're just all different, aren't they? Yeah. It just depends what takes me fancy on the day. I do get a, a, a favourite combo and then I have to restrain myself to step <laughs> away from it because everything ends up that colour. And I was here a couple of weeks back with a one-day special with the chocolate brown card and, oh, oh. my word, I've got speckled... Um, is it speckled egg? Speckled hen. Y yes. Why do you want to the, say yeah, speckled hen? Distress. No, it is yeah. speckled egg. Speckled egg, peacock feathers, <gasps> and um, ground espresso. Can't oh, wow. leave it alone. Just wow. Mm, oh. Anyway, um, water. I've got a few bits of mica in this one. Okay. Yeah. I've got plain water in that one. We'll put a few dots. Now the magic about this one is that when you put your spritzes on with the mica in, when you take it away. The mica stays, but the colour strips. It's amazing, and I'm going to hope it? Look that at I can. That. Can you see that? Can I get it at the right Magi angle? Yeah. Oh, I just caught a little glimpse of it there. So the I, can, I can see it now can in the big in the big dob. You can Might still the see the I'm sparkle. At, I'm oh, I got a spot, spotted it then. The more it dries as well, the more yeah. that's going to come through. So then, what I would do there I is that effect. I would pull in my mylar. Now, this is the box that I um, keep all of my stencils in. So I've cut my mylar into squares, so you get four out of a sheet. Okay. Um, oh, I see. I've got to use my stars because they now are the my mylar favorite. again is something that's a very good price. Yeah. But for anyone that hasn't seen mylar before, can you okay. explain what it is? Hazel? So it's a 350 micron. Let me get a plain piece okay. like this. It starts yeah. off like this, and the idea is that you use your simple dies to to cut the shapes so that you can use them to ink through. Um, if you're lucky enough to have one of those electronic machines that's got a deep cut blade, then you might be able to do fancier, but wow. we're just recommending the simple shapes on here. So it could be stars, it could be circles. But I find the basic shapes the most useful as well. Absolutely. And do you know what? The mylar and the masket couple up brilliantly together. Because the mylar is 350 micron, it's quite deep. So if you wanted to stamp right up to the edge, I tend to bring in my masket. So if I show you the front of here, I've got that real nice crisp edge on that circle. Yeah. 
that's where I did my mask it because Amazing. I wanted to stamp right up to the edge there, you see. So they kind of work hand in hand together. They do, don't they? And yeah. I've just noticed as well, when it comes to the mylar, 12 by 12. So if you cut into four, you've instantly got four six by six stencils from one sheet. Yeah. I've got 24 from How a much is that for a stencil? 50p that works. I know. Each. That's crazy. 394204. We do have the musket as well for you. Now, 10 sheets of A4 with a musket. So, obviously, with the name, and you've just described there, Hazel, for masking off areas. We're just, ma else we're just masking it, it over so that, um, well, one for inking, but when you're stamping, you say I stamp that poppy down. If I go through to my poppy set in here, Shut that down. And um, on this side, I've got oh, my mask. So I stamp go. my poppy down. Yeah. I would pop that over the top, which would mask that area. So it means that when I go back down, I'll do it for you so that you can see. Um, and stamp over that. Maybe we we'll go there. I take that away that then puts that oh, behind yes. and you can keep moving it around and there's one particular thing I'll show you if I bring this one in if you look at the the roses in the background there that's all been masked off really? separately yeah so they're all behind each other and oh, you can wow. create some wonderful techniques oh wow oh you need this as well 9.99 yeah. you're getting 10 sheets a4 and it's reusable of course to a certain point isn't it obviously you can reuse Absolutely. it to a point it's a then... low tack because yeah. obviously you don't want it to stick to your work um, and it, it will lose its stick um i've got mine stored in this little folder that i've made so this acetate so i just stick it on that side so this is all of our, all of my stamps from pink frog stored and I've made it from the one-day special, would you believe? It's just um, super wow. smooth cardstock layered on top, um, ah, different techniques on really the front. That's a really good idea as well. Now, if, if anybody wanted to make something like that, could we convert maybe the, the album to do a similar thing? Would that work? Yes, you could. could so you that album it? that's in front of you that we went through that... Um, um, Caroline had made. Yeah. In fact, there's a bigger one on this side. It's still your side of the screen. Yeah. The, uh, it's just got this pattern one? papers. That's it. So it's made from a 15 by 42. So that would be the so size. You get the template for this in with the one day special. Absolutely. Yeah. Not the bits that I've put inside because yeah. that's just bits of card stuck yeah, in of and little flaps and that. But if you wanted to put a stamp set on each one of those, then absolutely yes, you could. Wow. You've got the depth. You've got the spine. It's. Do you know what I mean? So yes, you could either follow that template. If you want to make one like mine, it's just a sheet of A4, um, super smooth, and you score it at 14 and a half centimetres from each end, which gives you a seven millimetre gusset, so to speak, and then they just sit on top of each other. Amazing. Just glue them. Well, you can catch these shows on Rewind if you want those instructions again. But don't forget, with the One Day Special, you are getting 36 instruction sheets to create all of the different samples that we've seen around the studio here, from the books, from the folded cards, to the gift bags, to the big frames, the small frames. And you will still have cards that left over if you make one of each of those wonderful projects. I can tell you that the phone lines are so busy, we've got nine-minute queues at the moment. Wow. Please do go to the website. Please use the app if you can do. We are on extended delivery for the one day special itself. The one day special sold out in between this morning show and this, this afternoon show basically. So already when we launched at the beginning or when we started at the beginning of the hour, a third or was it 30%? A third of the stock had gone, hadn't it? It is flying out. You need, need, need to check those baskets out. Now half of the stock of the extended stock has now gone. Dispatched on the 21st of January. Do not miss out on this. This is incredible value. And while you've got those baskets of course you can be adding in things like your gesso your glues your glue bottles with those uh, tiny nozzles as well many of you are doing that we've got other things as well I can tell you oh no the royal talons oh. It's looking very, very vulnerable. It's almost at limited stock now. You need to be quick with that. I am not surprised. I bet some people are being multi buying on that by the droves. I really do. I cannot get over that price. 11.97.028.044. Just very quickly to go back to the one day special. If you break it down per sheet, it makes it just 12 pence per sheet. And we are talking as large as A3 in there. 
We've got 12 by 12 in there. Yes, we've got A4 in there as well. We've got those longer lengths as well. They'll do all those different folds as well. You've got that A4, which is paper. Do you know, it just is incredible. I think many people will be buying this, Hazel, simply for the instruction sheets as well. Absolutely. They may have already got car stock, but you are never going to want to run out of this, you are you? You can't run out of it. It's because it's one that you're going to go to every single day. Yeah. I mean, you see me... This is no lie. This isn't just put on for the show. This is literally... I dip into it every time I make something. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing. Right, so you're using one of the stencils that you made with the Mylar, Dan. I Absolutely, can see you've gone for the stars. Yeah. Just and I'm just overlaying um, just lots of the different sizes and just adding some colour. And then I'm, I'm actually adding a little bit of black just to shade on the side. Okay. So yeah. I'm just building up kind of a, a kaleidos. Is it? Kaleidoscope. Yeah, like yeah. yeah I think so I'm so. going to lay up that yellow because it's a little bit hidden in the background, and I'm just going to actually make that. And this is a, a good technique as well. I mean, we often see using water brushes, adding some watercolour around the edge to bring the shadowing out on something. But you yeah. can do that with your stencils. You can even do it with your masking as well, can't you? If you move your mask, you know, if you, like the flower you'd got, if you moved it over slightly and caught yeah. the edge with ink, you Absolutely. could give it that shadow in there as so well. So this is a bit of mask it. Look, I'll just peel a bit off and we'll stick it on there. It doesn't really go, but I'll show you exactly what you can do. Okay. Um, as opposed to using mask it as opposed to your mylar. Yeah. So because my ink is a bit wet it might not stick totally brilliant let's get that one and we'll just use a little bit of black ink and I'm coming in with a brush this time so I want it softer okay um like I say it's not something that I should have really have done it on a separate piece of paper but it's going to give you the idea yeah of what you can do well, can other than use it with down. you. Yeah. It looks like you haven't amazing. done much, but actually when you take it away, oh, yeah. you've got oh, another wow, dimension. So, dimensional. so if I bring this in look, and just show you there, look what you can create. Oh, oh. So is that's, that done with brush shows in the background? That's brush shows in the background, and then they just look like bubbles, <gasps> don't, they? don't they? Floating down. And it's just oh, a wow. clever bit of ink work, just inking on one side darker and lighter across the top there. And then there's a few splats of um, gesso flicked, watered down and flicked on. Amazing. You need the mylar and you need the musket, as, as, long, as well as with, of course, everything else that's going in your baskets. You need them. Now, the musket, only 9 99 for 10 sheets, 9 7 6 5 6 9 and almost 60% of the stock has gone. Just looking at those samples again there from Hazel, they blow you away, don't they? Now, bottom of the screen, you can find that mylar as well. Don't miss out on that. You're going to be making your own stencils by die-cutting those shapes. Do you know, even if you are just sticking to those basic shapes, we can see with a circle what you can achieve there. 394204 is the item number on the Mylar. Now, when it comes to the Mylar, 70% of the stock has gone as well. There it is at the side of the screen now for you. Remember, these aren't 6x6, six six, as you see in the Hazel using those stencils. These are 12x12, 12 12, so you can cut those down straight down the middle one way, straight down the middle the other, and instantly you've got four 6x6 six six stencils ready to go. That gives you 24 6x6 six stencils for 11 99 making it just 50 pence per stencil. Of course, if you want bigger stencils, you can, but it's easy to work that out, isn't it? And I think 6x6 six six is a really, really lovely size to work with as well, because you can move the stencils around. Uh, you know, we often use 6x6 six six as a card base as well. Now, I can tell you as well, I'm so sorry, Hazel, because I don't want to keep pulling it's, away from you. No, but it's absolutely fine. Would you believe we have got 11 minute queue times on the phone at the moment. This is the busiest I think we've been so far since 2021 started. That's what I think. Wow. Please, if you can use the app or the website, do so. But don't miss out on anything. It's well worth hanging on in there. If you can only hang on in the phone line, please do. We will get to you as soon as possible. Over half of the extended stock of the one day special has also now gone as well. I'm going to throw straight to Hazel and shut up before I get instructed to give some more updates. Quick, Hazel. Oh, my word, I was just tidying <laughs> up. Right, I want to show you. Um, I'm going to show you from a sheet of 12 by 12 card how to make a bag okay, from lovely. the instructions. Yep. Now, the first thing you need to do, so this is in the one day special, it's your 12 by 12 sheet. Just going to take that messy sheet off. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut off to start with two strips at one inch. Okay. And that leaves us 12 inches by 10 inches to make our bag. Yeah. And then you need your scoreboard. 
So it's all, um, I was going to, I'll show you the sheet so that you know what it looks like. Okay. This is the one. So um, it says after you've cut off your two, you've got your 10 by 12 and it's, it's all clearly laid out. Okay, so I'm gonna, I am going to work on inches. I don't usually, but if the card is measured in inches, I work in inches. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go half an inch on all four sides. Lovely stuff. Now, I'm not going to stop your hazel. That's fine. But looking at the templates you've got there, yeah. I can see they've been laminated. I presume that's a good suggestion for everybody to Absolutely. laminate them when they get Absolutely. Laminate them, them, punch a couple of holes in, or even just a, a, a hole at the top and put them on a ring so that you can flip yeah. through them. Because and they're wipeable then as well, aren't they? Of course they are. And them. we've all got ink and paint everywhere. So the halfway point here is six inches. So I'm going to score that, and then I'm going to go an inch either side. So that's um, five and seven. Okay. And then rotate it back around. We need to score an inch and a half. So it's there. I'm going to roughly, I'm going to guesstimate. I'm sure I'll get there. If it's the wrong one, though, I'll be angry. So use the strip <laughs> <laughs> um, and just kind of, there we go. It's about there. Feel it. Once you're in the groove, you know. Okay. And then going across here, an inch and a half in would be eight and a half. Um, about there. Make sure you're butted up. You can kind of see. Yeah. Um, that's it. So the most important thing with this one is seeing it being made to understand how it works, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. So I am just going to show you which bits to cut, show you how I inked it up, but I have got one. Look, if I bring this up, this is what we're heading for, okay? And this is all ready for us to, um, to put together. Okay. So with your scissors, first things first, you're going to snip out those four corners. So right out there, so yeah. following those score lines, you can see exactly where to cut. Yeah, and forgive me, I'm going fast because I'm, I really have got so many things to show you. <laughs> I want to try and get them all in. Okay, so that's the four corners. And then in the centre, cut up to that score line that we did. Yeah. And then take off that, that tab line there. Okay, okay so it's yeah. just come in. And do the same on this side. And then snip that one off. Okay, you need to be making sure you check out those baskets on the one day special. We are so, so busy. Oh, you're scrunching. Literally again. now. In fact, you should really do them folds first. Just just those four, that'll be fine. And then when you're scrumpling it, be careful. Do it with your two thumbs because you don't want to split where you've cut, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not going to yeah. do too much on the bottom because it's okay. the bottom of the bag. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to go over. And I'll just concentrate on this top half just so that you can see how okay. I achieved it. So where you've it. scored because you've already broken the fibres. That's exactly. where you've got to be a little bit yeah. more careful. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm choosing to use, um, on here I did ground espresso and a bit of aged mahogany and okay. um, so I found a good way is just chuck the pad on there look rub it over get the ink down and then use a brush or a blending tool just to fill in the background a bit it's fact, a lovely effect, I might have used it? walnut stain either or it doesn't matter I'd, brown you could do this in bright colors and of course, where the fibres are broken, it's going to pick up the intensity of exactly. the ink more. Then you can go in and recrease and do some more if you want. Pick up some of another colour, Yeah. get that one down, and this is how you build it up. I'm just going to use that same brush. Um, I have gone in on mine and used some of our texture stamps, which I know are very popular and on the show. Okay. Uh, we'll use the peel paint looking one. Um, and I'll just pop that on there. I cannot tell you how busy we are, Hazel. Oh, my word. Um, the queue the queue's <laughs> gone up. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. Poor people waiting. It's gone up to 12 minutes now, 12 minutes. Hang in there, guys. It's worth yeah, the wait. It, is. it really it is. It really is. For less than £20, I should round it up, really. Let's say, let's just round it up. It's £20 for the one-day special for all of that card stock that you're getting. It works out at 12 pence per sheet. You've got the paper in there as well, the 180 GSM. You are getting 36 templates to work with. Do what um, Hazel suggests and what she's done. Do laminate them. Put them 
monitoring, keep them nice and safe, keep them clean, because you will use them time and time and time again. We are talking about those little memory books that you can make, or turn them into somewhere to keep your stamps and your dies. We're talking about those wonderful frames that we've got dotted around the studio, and some of them are really large as well. We're talking about those gift bags, we're talking about those different folds, you know, your stepper cards, your gatefold cards, there's so many different templates there. Two thirds of the extended stock has already gone. We're just looking at those wonderful flowers there as well. They've been done with the 180 GSM paper that's also in the one day special. We do have it separately at 10.99. If you just want the paper, you can go for it. But when you think for 20 pounds, well, 19.99 for the whole one day special, then it's a bit of a no-brainer, really, isn't it? You can always add on some more paper if you want it. 019281 is the item number. And we just see more and more of those fabulous samples as well. Oh, Brilliant. Wow. Okay, so this is where I'm up to. Obviously, on this one, I worked it a bit more and I added a bit more ink in, but we've got the stamped in the, in the background. We've got the two colours, so I'm just going to move that over. Okay. All you do then Looks is... Looks like a crumpled old map there. Yeah. Um, some red liner tape, I would go for probably 9 mil on this because we did it at half an inch, didn't we? I'd pop some red liner there and fold that over. That gives us the same as this edge here, look. Okay. We do, the, we do it on that side and we do it on this side as well, okay? Love this stuff. So that's what I've got there on both edges. And then I've put red liner tape on these two tabs here. We do have the red liner as well. Maybe need to restock after Christmas. Thirteen ninety nine. You're getting three mil, six mil, nine mil, mil, and twelve mil. So every width that you're going to want there as well. One hundred and twenty meters in total. I don't think I've ever seen meterage like that on anybody else's red liner tape. It works out per meter at just twelve pence per meter. Eight two five eight one zero is the item number. Sorry, Hazel. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> so whilst we're there, I've just popped. Um, this is the front side of the bag, and I did ink it on the inside just so that it didn't look white inside when you looked yeah. in the bag. So for the tabs, you've got um, two bits of tape on the tabs that go on the inside. And then I've put red liner down there, but on the inside on the opposite one. Now this one here is the one that's going to go round first. And I'll show you that. They're ever so easy to make. Okay. I can so, still see if you've got any compass stamps, world stamps, or anything that's kind of go, map they? related. That yeah. technique just lends itself so beautifully yeah. in those colours. I'm trying to do this so that you can see. So when you pull this round, the reason for this um, score line on the base is so that this score line here matches up to it when you bring it round, and you know that you're in the right place. Then, okay? Can you see that? So that yeah. it just follow. Um, that way, yeah, follows it all the way yeah, around. we can see that. And then this is all sticky because I've took the back off. I'm going to take the back off of this as well. And then when you bring this one around, you've got to bring that across to that yeah. line, give it a little bit of a stick there, and then can you see if I fold that there? Yeah. And the fold the one underneath that's where it lines oh, up right okay, okay. yeah so just pop it down give it a rub on there yeah and then that gives you that perfect finish does, repeat that on this side so just pull that around and it's got such good strength to yeah. it as well stick it on the bottom and then make sure that you're lined up at the top which we are press that down i mean already look at that yeah now, I did have two strips Look of card somewhere, which were going to be the handles. Oh, here they are. So I've done the same technique on those. And all that we would do... How are we doing for time? That's it. You would just pop those around and stick those on. So you've used every scrap of that piece of card that every you started with? Every single piece, yeah. Wow. Not no anything waste off. whatsoever. No. But how... It's just so... It's tactile, the right word. It looks almost fabric-like, doesn't it? Does. It even, even though I can't feel that, they're just watching you, yeah. sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just flexing that a little bit and rubbing yeah, over that. It exactly. looks like fabric from where I'm stood. Yeah. And the inside matches, but it's gone from super smooth that is ridiculous. to super grungy. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is, oh, In okay, not so a lot of time. Clever. 
It didn't Love take it. long. Although, obviously, I did prep that because I didn't want to bore you all, but you oh, saw you the that, but, you know, <laughs> No, you but the and the weathered woods we started with as well. Lovely yeah. effects there. And all from the super smooth that you're getting in the one-day special. Incredible value. Again, 12 pence per sheet, and we are talking as big, big as your A3 there. You can see you've got your 12 by 12. So straight away, again, if you want to put that down to 6 by 6s, 4 6 by 6 faces to cards if you want or fronts of boxes um, you know leave it leave it as 12 by 12 make those frames as well you've got your longer lengths your 15 by 42 for your different folds looking around the studio at some of these samples as well I mean there's so many different versions on the theme there are so many different colors being used we've got pretty we've got grungy we've got uh, wrinkled effects torn effects we've got pretty stamped effects we've got die cut We've got those gorgeous cardstock papers that have been used there as well for those frames and just a simple die cut, but it doesn't look any less the beautiful, does it? Do you know, it's amazing, Hazel, it's again. It's for everyone, really. There it's really, a piece really of white is. card, but you can make it what you want to. You can. I don't know if you can just reach your side. Yeah. Something that keeps catching my eye, the frame within a frame. That, well, you've got more than this one, one, but well, oh, that, this one, one. that won't be fine either of those, actually, because, okay. you know, just to show, using the different templates and mixing them together as well, so a really large frame with three of the smaller frames in there with those beautiful flowers as well, and then again, a large frame with another yeah. internal frame there with those Stamping stamps that have been used. Well. Oh, it just looks magnificent, doesn't yeah. it? I'm thinking Mother's Day, though. Well, oh, that would yes. be a gift. Don't go yeah. for the card. Just make a frame like that and put something nice and personal in there. You could make this frame out of that starter kit easily. You could probably make, a, well, how many sheets of A3 are there? Uh, 20. So um, there's one sheet of A3 for the back in. There's a 15 by 42 twice yeah. and there's a 15 by 30 twice. And then for the little bits in the middle, you could probably get those out of your 15 by 30s. Wow. So not a lot of card. You could easily make... 10 plus of that just that particular frame and again um, the, the frame and, yeah. at the top hazel i've just got to point out because that is absolutely beautiful the techniques yeah. that you are achieving the dribbling down on there. this card stock do you know whether it's things whether it's the brush shows using yeah. the gessos whether it's your sprays you know you can throw so many things at the surface of this card stock and if you want those things to move or if you want to protect that of course you go for the gesso as well yeah. and it extends the options that you've got there thank you hazel That's okay. they, out of the corner of my eye i can just see that frame all the time i just think it's so beautiful 19.99 for the one day special it's so busy out there please please hang on in there we are so busy i can't tell you extended delivery that's what we're on but 70 percent of the stock has now gone and we put huge stocks back in as well oh, can i say what i've just heard this is how busy we are. Sometimes I'm told things and I think I don't say it, so I have to get permission. There are uh, over 100 people trying to get the one day special alone at this current moment. That is why it is so important. If you can go to the website, if you can use the app, please do because that definitely is the quickest and easiest route. I know I sound like I'm repeating myself, but it is true. Let's have a look at that one day special again. Of course, you're getting those 36 templates included and you are talking 12 pence per sheet. I wouldn't be surprised, I said this earlier, but if a lot of you have been going for the one day special to get those templates, those instructions, but you're just stocking up on that card stock as an extra because for the instructions alone it's worth every penny now 70 percent of the glue is also gone this is your eva glue 225 milliliters just 13.99 five three eight four four two then you've got your non-clog bottles as well go for these if you're going for that glue you can decant from the larger bottle into the smaller ones you've got those fine tips on there you can see all the details 12.99 is the price six zero three two eight two been very busy on those the gesso has been extremely busy I can remember the price because it's so amazing. 11.97 for three. This is Royal Talons. Three gesso primers. 028044 is the item number. Then the Mylar. You're getting, oh, this is again incredible value. The 12 by 12s. You're getting six sheets. But if you want to make six by six stencils, you will get 24 stencils for 11.99, making it just 50 pence per stencil. 394204. And 70% of the stock has gone. Then we have the mask it for you. This is A4, but you're getting 10 sheets. You can cut this down to whatever size you want and use it in various different ways as we've seen by Hazel, 999-976-569. 
and something that we sold out of and we've tried to get hold of them and we can't. The scotch tape has sold out. We cannot get any more currently. We'll try and get it back in for next time. Pink Frog's here, but I don't know how when that will be. Sorry about that, but well done if you got it. The poppy stamp has been extremely busy, almost at limited stock on that one. £3.50 saving, 14.95 Hazel, over to you. <sighs> OK. <laughs> Right, I'm going to show you how... Just a bit busy. <laughs> it's quite overwhelming, actually. Um, starting off with the Super Smooth, I'm going to do some embossing with it to show that how, even though when it's been embossed and, and stretched, you can still ink and play. Wonderful. Um, I've just pulled the first two embossing folders out of my stash that I could find. So I'm going to start in and I'm going to go, this one, I'm going to emboss through. I'll try and put it in straight. I'll emboss that and then we'll ink a piece of card and show you a different way of doing it. So I'm going to feed that through, okay. grab another bit of card. Hazel, quick question while that's feeding through so I'm not disturbing the demo. Yep. Um, could you use a 3D embossing folder or is it advisable to go with the standard embossing folder? Okay. Does it matter? You can use any. That's one on a 2D. Let's show you the depth there. Wow. wow. Okay. So that's lovely and crisp. You've got no ripping, no creasing, nothing. If we go to a 3D, and I did pick one up, funnily enough, just in case somebody asked, I just hope I've got well, the right Well, I know right some layers. cards won't take it, you see. Of course, so it's, no. it's worth asking, because a lot of people might have a lot of 3D folders. So let's folders. just pop that one in there like so. Now, you just have to change your um, layer format. We've got about five minutes demo time, Hazel. OK, let's just try it with them two. I might need to just pop another one in with it. OK. It's all about knowing your machine. Yeah, the sandwich. I'll just have a little look. Do you know what? That's absolutely perfect, yeah. Wow. So, so that's, that's a 3D you, one? Yeah, look at that. Wow. The depth. Wow. I mean, look at the depth on that peak. That one there. Can we turn it over and see the other yeah. side as well, Hazel? Look at that. That's your deep boss. So you're super smooth, great for your 2D and your 3D embossing folders as well. Wow. Right, so what was I going to do? Oh, I remember now, because I went off on a tangent then. <laughs> OK, so we've got one embossed, we've got one on the 3D. Let's pop some ink onto this one. OK. And again, I'm going to do that kind of random that it doesn't really matter kind of inking. Yeah. Um, I'll be a bit careful, though. There we go. So I like a vibrant ink on my um, projects. So I'm going to come in with some seedless preserves. That's a pretty colour, isn't it? And they mix over, lovely. And all you've got to do is go back to the first colour and blend over yeah. that edge, and then you get more of a seamless kind of crossover. Yeah. It doesn't really matter for what I'm going to do, but I'll, I'll be a little bit more careful than I was earlier. Loving the green that's coming through there. Yeah, I like to get those crossover colours, and I have wow. got a green. <sighs> I was cold earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hot. Uh. Right, now this one, this sponge is very, very old, and can you see how pitted it is? Yeah. That's going to affect my blending. Okay. Okay, if I show you, it's going to be quite scratchy. Can you see the marks that I'm getting? That is because of my sponge. But I love the way, look, this green is pulling in that colour up there. Let's add a little bit again, more. Again, adding texture. Yeah. I presume you're going to put this through an embossing folder. I am indeed, I? yes. So, I'm just going to soften out that line with some of the yellow. Pull that down. Okay. It's now, going to be some very colourful something or others. Wonderful. Now, Hazel, as, you, as we just watched Hazel put this into an embossing folder, I'm going to again urge you to check your baskets out as quickly as you possibly can. We've sold so much stock this hour. Almost 75% of the extended stock has gone. And when I say huge stocks, I mean huge stocks. Now, what could happen if we don't sell out during the live hour is it could go in between the hours as well. So you do not want to miss out. I know if you're on the phone lines, you might be get a little bit flustered now, like Hazel, get a little bit warm, because you're still waiting. So this is why it's important to go to the website or use the app if you can, because you will be able to check out quicker. OK. So now I've got a few different ones. This one, look, I've got my embossing through oh, there. that's pretty. You can see it, but it doesn't stand out. So one of my favourite techniques to do, and I'm going to do it with... Mm, see, look, I've just changed my mind. I'm going to do it with black soot. So I'm just going to 
Ah, so we're going with a roller this time. Yeah. So this, um, it's a, a light motion, but you just yeah. pick up that embossed area. And I'm, not, I'm sorry about my brake because it has got a bit of a squeak. No, Coming just... from different angles. That, do you know that works so well with a roller, doesn't it? Because you're not kind of going in between exactly. those embossed areas yeah. quite as much. So oh, look at these. Um, this one here, look, different colours in the background, but then you've got that. Um, I've gone over with a blue there, but that one's on, on a watery background. Um, that one was brayed, but very lightly, so I've got that lovely yeah. speckled finish. This is a stencil um, embossed. Can you see the yeah. detail? So you've still got that depth. For want of a better word, Hazel, yeah. this shows the abuse that that cardstock can take. We've taught 3D embossing folders, yeah. we've taught ink in multiple layers because yeah. you're blending, you're re-blending, you're going over the top with a brayer as well, and still no cracking, no tearing. You can see that cardstock is drying beautifully flat as well, and it's just the perfect surface to work from, isn't it? It's I am amazing. Very quickly, just going to say, I did hear a lot of phone calls going on. Um, I did say... We couldn't get hold of something else. Lovely Andy from Pink Frog has just been in touch and said he's managed to get hold of some more scotch tape. This is going to be dispatched from the 21st of January. So if you did miss out, I know we said we got it. We we didn't think we could get any more. Andy's managed to find that for us. Make sure you check your baskets out right now. One day special is going crazy, literally crazy. Don't know what's going to be left for the one day special. It's going to keep selling in between those hours because there's so many people still waiting on the phone line as well. Hazel, we're just watching you finishing off there as well. Do you want to hold that up very quickly? We've got okay. about five seconds left. There you Thank go. You, just Hazel. Building it. Check Thank those you, baskets everyone. out, everybody. See you at four. <laughs> My goodness, that was exhausting for Hazel and for me. I think Quilting Antics coming up next. Then we've got Crafty Devils Happy Hour and then we've got Lessie Zagada back at three. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a channel. a Hachanda announcement. We would like to inform you that our Hachanda buying crew have been busy searching for incredible brand new products and show ideas to inspire and stimulate all your crafty senses. So watch out for Rosie's designs, Stitching Finger Kits, Janie's Originals, Emmeline Bags, Counting the Stars, Beck Beck Makes, Bergen and Bath, Gale Pan Designs, and Penguin Palace. We will be checking in our latest new product arrivals from 6 p.m. on Thursday, the 21st of January. Gates close at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, the 27th of January. 
So, join us on board flight Hachanda Air for our new arrivals event. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design Shows on Hochanda. It's indeed a very good afternoon to you. The time has just gone one o'clock in the afternoon and look, we're back. Quilting antics is what we're looking at this as well. Uh, totally new counter from this morning. So get this morning out of your head because we are going all things, all things natural, all things birdified is what we're going this hour. Uh, we are going your top chicks is what we're looking at in this one. Now, if I showed you these three books, and maybe you have these three at home already. Maybe you're thinking, I saw them when they were last on and I really, really wanted them, but I didn't really know which one to go for. But how if I told you, from these three books here, I will pick the best of all three that you get there. Then I'll put in some new ones as well, and we'll put them all into one book for you. For £23.99, you are getting a mammoth amount of projects. All the projects I'm about to show you are in this new snazzy little book. Never been seen before. You could say this is the best of uh, the Top Chick collection. All the birds that we do. And let's hand it over to, to the lady herself. The mastermind that puts all these plans together. The lady that doesn't just give us a book. She gives us concepts. She gives us ideas. And no doubt, once again, through this hour, we will have more to add to this book than we've actually got now. It's our very own Anthea. Hello. <laughs> You're on my love. Wow, you've set me up big there, haven't you? But no, Ooh. you do, though. Isn't it? This is what you do. <laughs> that you come with us with a concept. You come, you come to us, and it's, it would be very easy to put the patterns in for each individual one. But I love the way you do this for the sheer fact you give us the book on its own. So if we want to go and weigh and create it out of our own stash that we've got... In theory, we're not tied down, are we, to the colour schemes that you've bought us. So if we just want to go for some of the panels or the scrap bag that we've got on the show, the, the ragged dust that we've got on there, we could do it all out of that if we wanted to as well. You give us everything. Absolutely. And don't forget, we never mentioned this morning, these books are exclusive to Hochanda. Oh. With the exception of the block of the month, that's a different thing. But the, you can't get these anywhere else. So only if here. you come to me, you can buy individual patterns, but you pay the full price. Whereas here, you're getting a whole load at a discounted price, massively discounted. Well, you are, aren't you? For the sheer fact, so if you went to Anthony, you could go for these individually. By all means, go and check it out. But how about if I told you, you get everything you need in here, and I will also give you a £34.50 saving on top of that as well. In theory, you're not paying for more than half of these patterns in this book. No, well, I've just had a tot up. Now, the back, we did a last-minute swap, so the back, uh, I know, I know. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> Let's leave it at that, Adam. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven projects in here, which you would buy as eleven separate patterns from me, which would be That's just over 18. seventy quid. That's two pound eight, and, and today yeah. you're paying two pound eighteen a project. Yeah. So you would pay just over seventy quid if you bought all those direct from me. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, look at the owl in there. That must be the wise old owl character doll uh, is, that we're yeah. talking about here. That's one of the yeah. new ones Ooh, for this book as well. As can I on. just say something of out loud? Right, of Sunday, this is yeah. Somebody drew my attention this week to the fact one of the pattern pieces in the wise owl in the old book was wrong oh. so if you've had the twilight book or the kit get in touch and we'll send you out the correct pattern piece it was just one and it's one of them things when i'm like doing all this it all happens on photoshop and stuff it had just resized wrongly and i hadn't realized That's so fine. um so get in touch and they know in the call center and they'll they'll I can send out the correct I'll ping piece. it across to you, but in this book, everything is tipped up and everything is right. Everything that you need is in here to do all these beautiful, uh, beautiful books that we're talking about itself. Uh, but remember, everything else I'm about to show you, you are going to need this book, so add it to your basket. £23.99, 248859 is your item number for your book. Now, we go from this, oh, to tip tops is what we're looking at here. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, so in this kit, are we getting the just the, the blue tits? You are getting the blue tits and the milk bottles. So in my mind, for, for absolutely yonky poos, I've had this idea of, because when I was little, every morning, and are you, are you old enough to remember? You, you opened the door in winter. That's where we're going, are you? <laughs> and it was, no, 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 because you got your milk bottles because they came every morning, didn't they, on a rattly van? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I don't remember that, though. I'm, I'm literally just turned 18. Well, I actually thought you were 19, but well, I'm the, sorry. The, <laughs> I got it wrong. Uh, did you, did you disserve? <laughs> but, you know, like every morning you get up like, and you'd be like, oh, they've been in, they've managed to get this far, and mum would be going, nobody put the blinking prince's spread thing on the top, you know, the, the spready paste <laughs> that <laughs> went on the top <laughs> <laughs> to stop the birds getting in. And I just, I, I've had this in my mind for ages. And Sue, and I should say as well, this morning, Sue illustrated all the stuff this morning. Su superb. So, um, Sue has illustrated this and captured what was in mm. my head perfectly, which I is not always it. easy. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sure, I'm sure you're true, but look at what you're getting. So ignore the background panel that you've got here, because you can do it on whatever background you want. Yeah. So these could now, 20% already gone, I can see why for 15 99 um, What you're looking at, these would look superb on maybe on like a little tea towel, or yeah, maybe well, on four corners of a dining table, yeah. or like a, a, um, a tablecloth. Yeah, we deliberately put them on something nondescript. So that you would you like get your own ideas from there. <laughs> By complete fluke, it looks like a snowy morning, doesn't it? But that's, it does. That's it looks just a absolutely. Fluke. It was supposed to be a background that disappeared. <laughs> no, I absolutely adore yeah. it. These would look fantastic if you wanted to do something for the kitchen, let's say. Yeah. Because it's milk bottles, and it's it's about that history that lots of us remember, and I'd forgotten as well, because it's so long since. You know the, the the foil tops and milk bottle milkmen on mass. A lot of us have forgotten that now, and it's yeah, just true. a great reminder. Well, it's also coming back, and it since everyone's yeah. been in lockdown, milkmen have been busier. Have they really? Yeah, That's I saw great. it on, in the factory the other day. Um, I love that program inside the factory <laughs> uh, with Greg Wallace. No doubt, uh, no, milkmen are getting busier for the sheer fact people can't get out more, so their milkmen are now delivering. Well, they deliver everything, milkman yeah. these days. That would look, just as a hanging itself, I would love that in my home. That is absolutely beautiful. £15.99. Then we've got the Red Kite Starter Pack up next, what we're looking at. Now, the finished sample for this one, um, as I said, this is a sort of a rounded show. This is a best of show of the last three books uh, that we've got here as well. So, what are you getting here? You are getting all your material that you need to put together the red kite that we've got there. Now, it Adam is on the front of this one. The, oh, the I, actual sample, oh yeah, well done. The actual sample, I've got to say, flew away because we put this show together quite quickly. Okay. So I'm going to demo him. We'll, we'll have a new one by the end. Oh, so yeah. this is the demo we're going to do. Yeah, I'm just uh, like... So what does the fabric allow us to make? What can we so make So it's everything the for the front. So everything we see and there. And then we did him as a freestanding, well, like, you'll see when you come onto the woodpecker, just a free form shape. Now you can put that on your wall 
as, you know, yeah. an alternate to ducks. <laughs> <laughs> There's three of them. Or you could put him on a cushion, you could put him on a bag, you can put him on whatever you want. So it's, big, it's up like to a, you. Like a big bit of a plea case, really, what you're putting him on to. So yeah. he's, he's massive. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you when we get to the, I will show you when we get to the woodpecker what I mean, because I have got some out there. Uh, so for the pack itself, for everything that you see here to make that beautiful, and it's a good size as well. I've, I've seen the size over at Ampia. £15.99, 490978 is your item number. Remember, though, you're going to need the book if you want the template for that. The details for the book are currently at the bottom of your screen. Now, this one is amazing. This is an all-round kit. You get everything you need to create the bag itself including the button which is there that you have to cover so you get the button included as well not only do you get that you get all the thread to do the sort of sort of the stitch work on this it is a beautiful beautiful uh, sort of postman bag that you've got there it is absolutely you imagine that maybe for, for your phone or just a little, a little day bag that you're going to do, a little shopping bag that you've got there. How beautiful is this bag? This is stunning. Remember, though, you've got two flexible payments on this, which I also love. Uh, for the sheer fact, anything else you buy, you can split the cost onto two interest-free flexible payments. You're going to need this £49.99, but with £49.99, split the cost and also add your book in as well, because that's going to give you all the templates uh, to make the bag itself. This is a stunning little bag. Now, oh. Silv, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like this. You would pay more than 50 quid. If, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Look at um, that. It is a stunning handbag. You know, that, that is great, going to work, um, and don't forget, you can either leave the applique off or you can use one of the different appliques and put that on too. You don't have to have it. Um, it suits you, Adam. I love it. I <laughs> genu I'm a big bag fan anyway. I love a bag. I love a bag. I love a man bag, even though I've got nothing to put in it. Uh, I <laughs> love a little man it. bag. Uh, I think it's from working overseas that's there, because uh, you always keep your money and things in your little man bag. Uh, it was a little satchel. And you could, though, once you've got the pattern, you could upscale and you could go bigger if you wanted to as well. Two flex payments, £25. Six, seven, one, one, four, three is your item number. Remember to pop in uh, your book as well. Right then, now, this next one, the stitchery kit. Once again, you get everything in the kit that you need. You need the instructions from the instruction booklet, but this is what you're creating. Oh, you imagine doing this on the bag. This sort of guides you around the world of knots that you've got there. If our Katrina's watching for Rowan Dean, she'd love this. <laughs> she really would. Look, all the knots, you've got French knots. We're all, oh, we're all a big fat. We all love a French knot. You can't go wrong with a French knot. Very easy to do. Uh, good for beginners. It's like, it's like a little um, reference yeah. guide. Yeah, so this one is by Michaela Smith. Um, Michaela's stitching is beautiful. Mine doesn't look like that. Um, and it's a great sampler. So if you want to get into stitching and you don't know your, your basic stitches, this is a great one. It's a sampler, and that means you get an opportunity to sample new things, to sample things you haven't done before. And when you look at the stitch and its name, you might go, oh yeah, feather stitch, yeah. I know where I can use that, you know, and so on and so forth. When you see how the lazy daisies are used to make little flowers, penny drops, you know, you can see how you would apply these stitches when you've put a few of them together. I like, I absolutely adore it. For the sheer yeah. fact, this might be one of those things that you make now and then you don't do it for a moment. Then you go back to your cross stitch and you go, what can I put there? What can I put on yeah. that bag? And then Absolutely. it will dawn on you. Oh, I could do yeah. a few French knots there and I could do a meadow with some of the other colours uh, that I've got as well. Uh, remember, you get everything in the kit yeah. that you need and all the skeins of thread. Now, when, when Anthea gives us thread, uh, we get the best of the best with thread, it's don't DMC we? It's DMC thread and that is silk noil that uh, you're stitching on. It's I not only it. like your rough old uh, stuff, it's, it's silk. Oh, it's beautiful. It is gorgeous to stitch through. So in theory, 20 quid is all you're paying for all this today. Yep. £19.99 £99 is what you're looking at. Uh, 784186 is your item number. £19.99 £99 uh, for that one. Now, this is when we called about the woodpecker. So, this is what you're getting with this. How beautiful. So you get everything you need to create the front. If you want your own backing, uh, you can create your own backing yourself. But you could put this on anything you wanted to put him onto. Absolutely anything. So he could go that way. He could go up a tree, which I think is the way he's meant to go. But any way you want. So now 
you could have placated him onto a cushion. You could put him on the log, like he's just fell, out, like he's just perched onto a little log, waiting to get a little worm. Uh, anything you want to do, but for fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, remember you're going to need the book as well, because that's going to guide you through everything, and that's going to give you all your patterns. The details for that are at the bottom of the screen. But once again, we get more tweed in here. Remember, we're talking about tweed than we actually need. For the sheer fact, if you hold up the two greens, this is the amount you use. Look at the amount you're getting. You get. More than you need. To I'm going to ask to the question. Fair, Go on. To be fair, because the pieces are curved, you, it, they are bigger than you need, but you wouldn't have like a big piece left to do another job with. So I don't want people to think they'd like, get several out of it because you wouldn't. Oh no, that's what yeah. I was going to. I was yeah. going to ask oh, that question. I, I, I was going to say, you wouldn't. <laughs> would you get another one out of it yeah. with the bits you had left? I'd be over here minding my own business. <laughs> no, 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 that's fine. But that's literally the question I was going to ask. I was going to yeah. say. No, you just you just get the one. But if you wanted to like shrink the pattern down and do something else, absolutely you could. Can we you... scale him down as well? So can we take yeah. them, can we take right, your so, design and scale them yeah. down? So the rule is with our patterns, um, you do what you want. The only thing you can't do is reproduce it for sale. Apart from that, you know, um, for for your own use, make it bigger, make it smaller, flip it back to front, do part of it, you know, do the bottom, do the top, whatever. And if you're selling for charity, the only rule is get as much money as you can. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. I like that. Uh, Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, eight nine two nine one five. Right, we're going to pick up the pace slightly because we want to get to demo as well. Remember, everything I'm showing you now, you need the book for it. Okay, you need the book for the patterns. I'm not going to keep telling you that. You need the book for that patterns. Right then, uh, the beautiful puffin bay fabric pack that is up next. This would look beautiful in a child's bedroom. It really, really would. You get everything that you need then there. there. Uh, Anthony, do we get the fabric to make everything that we see in the photo? Yes, you do. You will get everything. Everything for the front, in fact, in that one, you are getting the backing and the wadding as well. Oh, so okay. we get everything. So this is a you complete do. kit for £40. Yeah. So all you need to provide is your frame. And obviously, I don't know what your decor's like, so I are providing that. My original frame on that was silver and it looked amazing, I but bet. I dropped it. Oh. <laughs> this is nice. I like it in the wood. But look yeah. at the detail. And then once again, uh, you do get everything. I was flicking through the designs earlier. Is it an easy concept to do? Yes, it's very easy. Um, the the piecing in the back, it actually is all two and a half inch squares, but it's deliberately done so that it looks uneven and mismatched because I was thinking about rocks and, and rugged, edge, yeah. ruggedness. So if you're no good at matching points, if you find that really hard, this is great because don't match them. <laughs> Just, you know, um, some of them are deliberately pieced so that the points don't meet and others they do meet but if they didn't it wouldn't matter does I that make it. sense no it made perfect sense. then you've got your straight stitch and you've got a french knot in yeah, there for and your again, flowers if you as don't, well if you don't want to do the stitchery don't put it on but I just felt it needed that little colour pop. No, I like it, because then you could change the colour of that if you wanted you have the thread at home to match your decor in your own home. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I wanted it to look like thrift, because you never see puffins without the sap in some thrift, are they? No, I little like it. Little pink flowers. Um, I absolutely adore it. Uh, then, once again, you get all the patterns for the legs as well. Everything you need, £40.99, pence, including the backing and the wadding. 251518 is your item number uh, for this one. Now, this next one, oh my word. Now, you get the fabric to make the cushion front. Okay, so you get enough to make the complete cushion uh, for £44.99. pence. But there are two designs you get in the kit. So you can either make this cushion as you see here, or you can make this cushion. It's entirely up to you which one, but you will get enough in that kit to create one of those cushions. So one of the cushions that you see here, you will get enough to make one of them. How beautiful. So if you want both of the designs, buy for two kits. Go for two kits, then you'll get both of them that look like this, so you know they're going to match as well. They are absolutely beautiful cushions, nice sturdy cushions. Remember they're made from that beautiful high quality tweed as well, which there's something about the tweed that Anthea brings us that it really does feel quality. You want to touch it, you want to see it. It's so tactile, the tweed you bring us. Uh, in the main, it's from the Abraham Moon Woolen Mill. Anybody who knows Moon, it just, you know, you might as well put top quality woolen mill and everybody would know where it was. <laughs> it's just, it is, it's top drawer stuff. 
it's as good as you get. And the other thing is, you know, if you were to go and buy these ready-made, you would be paying 50 quid just for something that was a fat quarter of tweed. You know, yeah, never true. mind the piece in the applique, moving it up to the next level, just for something that is a plain quarter. Well, it wouldn't even mm -hmm. be a quarter. Um, you would be paying 50 quid. Easy peasy. So it's worth going for. You can make but one of these cushions, one of the designs today for £22.50 today. Uh, 105932 is your item number. On the same principle, uh, remember they've got the envelope back in there as well, which is it's an easy cushion uh, to make an envelope back. Uh, now we've got the owls that we've got on the show. This is a 16-inch cushion. Uh, fabric pack is what you're getting. So you get everything to make the cushion. So you've either got this first design, 490000, is your item number uh, for this one, or... You could have got enough material to either make this one. So it's up to you which one you want to create. These would look stunning on a conservatory sofa, somewhere like that. The deep blue that you've got running through there. Let me put them side by side so you can see both of the patterns uh, that we're looking at now. So you will get enough in the kit to create one of the designs and the cushion as well, the 16-inch cushion. £22.50 pence if you want both of them. Pop two into your baskets today and your first flexible payment will be £44.99. pence. It's well worth doing. 490000 is your item number uh, that we're looking for this as well. I absolutely love it. But on the flip side of that, as we were talking before, maybe you're just going for the pattern booklet. Maybe you're just going for this and you think, I like the ideas but I want to do it my own style. I've got some already. I've got some stashed away, some little bit of toys. I just need those little bits, Adam. Have you got those little bits? Now, we have the Raggy Gold Dust on the show as well. It's already limited stock. If you want it, I would get in quick. 230-1545. 230-145 is your item number. £24.99 is what we're looking at. Um, tell me about this. Uh, what, what is so special about... Because you right. get a lot. Oh, yeah. Right, so Raggy Gold Dust. I go up to the mill when they are making their sample books, and this is the offcuts from that job. So I get whatever book they've been on. It's lovely doing this. Ooh, unashamed. <laughs> <laughs> whatever book they've been doing, that's what I get. So there's no rhyme or reason to what, what any of us get. But because I'm buying something that is essentially a scrap product to them, we get it at a great price. Okay. So you would not get this volume. There's, you know, you're getting two of these. So that's half of it. Yay. This is the other half. Yeah, you wouldn't get this volume of stuff, this many different bits at this price. Now, the downside is it's small pieces, but the limit is your imagination. If you join some of these together, which I have done previously, you get a piece of fabric. The technical sellout. It's now a technical sellout. We knew it was going to go once you saw what you're getting. If you've got it in your basket, start checking them out. 230145 is your item number. Uh, it's well worth going for it. Well, unfortunately, it is now sold out. Congratulations if you got it. Uh, let's put the details in back for the pattern booklet and we'll go over to demonstration. Uh, 248859 is your item number. This is the top chicks. This is the best of three collections all rounded up into one book is what we're looking at here for £23.99. 428859 is your item number. Brand new today, a saving of £34.50 to get them individually. Well, you wouldn't be able to do it. It'll cost you a fortune uh, for the amount you're getting in here as well. I think we worked out to be £2.50. Around 250, 2.50 a pattern is what we're looking at. 2.50 a pattern around that. Uh, right, and Anthony, what are you up to this hour? Well, as my red kites like floating off, <laughs> you've no idea how quickly we put this show together. Um, so I thought, do you know what? Let's make, let's make another one. So uh, it's quite good that you've come to demo because now I don't have to work sideways. <laughs> <I'll> just... <laughs> so um, if I use our um, woodpecker just to show you, the red kite is like this. Yep, that's what we're going to end up with. So, starting with the drawing. Now, the drawing for the red kite, you've got to... Excuse me, I've defaced the one I'm working on. Um, well, here we are. Here's the other one. So, now, in the original um, Fantastic Birds, you're getting him in a couple of different sizes, too. In the top chicks, you're just getting the one size. You just get the one So, in size. fact, that's worth pointing out. So, the best of books, you just get the pattern. 
whereas in its original form you might have got it you know this big this big this big twisted blah blah so in this you just get in whatever so if you now, already have the, if you already have the books they are slightly different because you are just getting yeah. the one size yeah because otherwise you've got to try and make it a bit different there's no point is there yeah, no, so yeah. uh, so that's what we do so you've got two drawings and the reason you've got two drawings is when i put them over the top of each other it was just too much information so we start out with this one and I've traced it, you've all seen me do this a hundred times, I've traced it onto the, um, the calico, just, just the cheap calico. Um, we've, we've got it there, it's in the background if you want it. So trace it on, I've written on my piece in order as well, and all I'm going to do now is starting at the beginning, I'm going to put the colours on the other side. Okay. Now they appear on this side. Ah. ah, this is how we build it. So it's a bit like if you've ever done foundation piecing where you sew from the top and your design builds underneath. It's kind of the same idea but easier. Um, it's it's liberating. The hard thing is getting your mind into the the, the, the way of, oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it, it's too easy. <laughs> so um, So what you've got to do is think about what things are at the bottom of the pile and what things go on top. So I've got my left hand and my right hand. If they're gonna be if they're gonna appear like this, I wouldn't be putting this one down first, would I? No. I need to put that one down yeah. first, because that's overlapping it. And that's the same with how the fabrics go. You want the ones at the furthest extremities to go down first because you then you're gonna the overlap. Middle. So in the middle that's where you want it to, it's like your pinnacle, your crescendo, oh. your, your, wow. <laughs> your meeting of magnificence. So, um, so right, and you might notice with this one, I've drawn the whole thing, and this is scribbling out and all sorts, and there's lines gone wrong. I've used a felt tip pen there, um, and then I've drawn the body as well here, and that's because to get that extra little bit of height, and you'll know, Adam, because when we're driving here, to handle, we fly, we, we fly, we drive wow. underneath. Someone's doing well if they're flying. <laughs> to I be went flying last night coming down here, I'll tell you. <laughs> um, you know, we often drive underneath the red kites. Yeah, we do. And as you look up, and they're, they're just mag a magnificent bird, and what strikes you, it's, it's kind of angular, isn't it? As you're looking at it, it's the size, it's the presence, but then it's, its body is like a ridge that just somehow you know, I know what you mean. They're, they are magnificent the shape, to watch. There's angles to them, isn't there? Uh, so what we've done to try and replicate that is you're going to make the body separate and put it on top. Okay. So the body is like double thickness and that just helps it to pop through. It's a bit like putting foam pads under it, isn't it? To just raise it up. If exactly. you're doing a car and you put yeah. your foam pads underneath, yeah. it just raises up that body just so it gives you uh, that really big bit. Uh, we are so busy on the book at the moment. 40% of the book now has already gone. Let me show you some of the designs uh, that you are getting in the book already. So you've got the cushions uh, designs in there. We've got the bag in there as well. Uh, we've also got uh, the French knots and all the sort of your knottage that's in here. You've got your puffins, uh, you've got your tip top that's in there. You've got your owl, which is absolutely stunning. Um, also, are the... Um, are the, I'm guessing these other cushions will be in here as well uh, at some point. They're not in this one, but they would be. You know what, Anthea's like, we've probably left it out, probably on the cutting room floor. Uh, we'll ask her now, are we all ready? Uh, Anthea, yeah. we'll uh, Anthea, these cushions... Yeah. Um, are they in the book as well? Because obviously they're not on my photo. Oh, right. So, <laughs> you know, I said we put this together really quickly. Yes, they will be in the book. Oh, so you get um, them as well. So originally, originally there was a different, um, a different one in the book. Right. She says, doing the red kite because we couldn't find the sample. I couldn't find the sample for the hummingbird, so I rang our Katie up yesterday. Oh, Katie, I'm in a right to an eight. Right, I said, I can't find this, but I've got that. Can I put that in? And say, oh, yes, she said, do that. And then I've got down here today and I've got the correct cushion and the wrong blinking kit, and I thought, oh, God. So do we get both cushions? Do we get the hummingbird as well? Do you know what? I'm going to put it in. Let's, oh. let's do it. You've now got 12 patterns. Oh, Adam, you're such a sweet talker. You, you stick with me, kid. Go on. You stick with me. Let's I've just do got, it. I've just got you an extra patch, and no, I won't even add anything on. Not, I will not add a single You're penny You're so generous. This. You see? I'm not even on commission. <laughs> I think you've been pushing me all day to put extras in, and I've well, been so good. I've been so good behaving myself. That I keep offering you. 
<laughs> uh, they've never turned up, though. What, the strawberry bonbons? No. When oh. have I had a strawberry bonbon off you? Well, play your cards right. Now! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you're going to get the patterns for this one and, <laughs> and the hummingbird as well. And I'll see if I can throw in a pack of strawberry bonbons by the end of the hour. Uh, all of that is what you are getting at 248859 is your item number. You are now only paying per pattern £2 a pattern. See, I've got it down by 50p already. £2 a pattern is what you're paying. No, I won't, card. <laughs> it's a good little deal, though, isn't it? Throw in the hummingbird, so you've got an extra cushion design in there as well. And um, push for a fabric pack. Go on, ch chuck one in. What? Um, you know the fat quarters that we've got on the show as well? Yeah. The big, the, the big yep. ones? Yep, do you want to look? Uh, there's loads of choices to go with them. Um, they work really well with the birds as well, because you can sort yeah, of just do. go for any colour and they would really work. Yeah, and the, the reason that I've brought the herringbone ones, let me just grab some, is because, let me get one that's very herringbony. Do we get one uh, of these thrown in or? Adam, do you know what? You go over there and do what you do and I'll be over here doing what I do. So the herringbony ones, I mean, blue's not a great example for a bird, but you can see they're, kind of, they're feathery, they lend themselves. And so that's what, <laughs> do you know, ladies and gents, is chuckling away like a little girl over here. A little here. cheeky fat corsa <laughs> you could throw in. <laughs> Little tester. So, <laughs> no, Adam, behave yourself. <laughs> I like these though, because these are big as well, isn't they? they? You can get a lot out of these. You can. Oh, the whoppers. Let me open one out and see. Um, in fact, hey, look at this one. Look at this one. My sewing oh, roll. Oh, I think they're be yeah. oh, I think they're really, really smart. They're yeah, absolutely. So Right, so, do you know, I've just pulled my machine. We're never going to get this kite finished, are we? We will. Don't <laughs> worry. It's only 29 minutes right, past. Right, so, uh, tweed is 54 usable inches wide, as opposed to your craft cottons, which are 44 inches. So you're getting an extra 10 inches, which is fantastic. It is. You know, and it's tweed, so it's, it's like the best 10. So that is, let me hold that up, that is what a tweed fat quarter looks like. Yep. Nice. If you get two tweed fat quarters, I will cut them as a continuous length. Oh. So you get half a metre, yeah? And half a metre, you would get yourself a bag out of that, oh, quite yeah. simply. I mean, it does depend what pattern you're using. Um, you know, you're not going to get a four-foot rucksack out of it, but um, you, would, you would get something good. You would get three sides of a cushion, so you could have tweed on the front and a cheaper fabric on the back. That would give you three cushions. So if I bought one of those... Yep. How many of the how many of the bags could I make? Could I make a complete bag out of one of those fat quarters? Yes, but if you want it to make it like that, you've got more than one colour. No, I just mean one colour. If I just yeah. wanted to make one yeah, yeah. colour, I could go for one of those and yeah. I could make this. Because if you if we think about it, right, your um, it's strap like a cushion out of this. This is a complete cushion. Look, your length. What a little throw. Is, oh, a little toga. That's your strap, isn't it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Under different circumstances, we could have a party. <laughs> so that's you know, a screen. Your, your length, if you're getting half a metre, that's your strap. Yeah. And then just think about. These think are going fast. If you want them, get your favourite now. £13.99. They are flying yeah. out of the door. Yeah. I so, just like one as a little scarf. Yeah, but if you just think about it, right? So I'm doing a front, a back, and a flap, right? Minus what we've cut off for the strap, you get a bag that big. Oh, Easy look peasy. At, look at this. And that's look, a front. No, hold it there for me. Don't move it. There we go. That's three layers because you've got a front, back, and flap there. Which, if you were doing a tote bag, for instance, you wouldn't be wanting front, back, and flap. That's, that's good. And if you put more than one colour together, I mean, straight off, these two look fantastic together. So what's that's that nice. one? That is your um, pink and sky. They look amazing. I love how um, the tweed, you can have feminine colours and masculine colours. And these are undoubtedly feminine. Light, light denim is your favourite colour so far. 20, it always I just, is. I just worked it out. £28. £28 for two of these today. Yep. So if you did want to make that matching bag with the two different colours, or you wanted two separate cushions with a bit extra as well, maybe with a bit of a plique in the front, maybe you could make two. I reckon if you went for two... And correct me if I'm wrong, Anthea. Uh -huh. If you went for two of them, you could make two pretty decent-sized cushions. You'd get three. 
Three uh, no, cushions. Sorry. No, no. I'm well, just I was going to say two yeah. cushions, and then you could swap the colours over for the applique. Right. So, if you got half a metre, I'm getting carried away with you myself. You are now, now. aren't you? You're half excited. a metre would be the most efficient, right? Because if you... So, your fat quarter is this. Your cushion is roughly this. So, you'd have a bit left over. If you got half metre, that left over bit would join on to the next left over bit, and you would get three sides. Yeah, so three sides, you could either get another tweed and have three complete tweed cushions, or, and this is the magic, if you put a cheaper fabric on the back, Bro, you would get, get three cracking cushions, a, a fairly affordable price. You would. So half a metre is what, twenty seven ninety eight? Uh, no, for one of those states, thirteen ninety nine. Yeah, no, for two, I mean. Oh, uh, £28. Pounds. £27.98. Yeah, £27.98 yeah. for two. Get in your stash, put something on the back, right? Birthday presents all year long. Yeah? Yes. And you can, you know, you've got your applique. I know you've got your applique fabrics there. <laughs> We've been selling them to you for yonky boos. <laughs> so you can, you can just wax some applique on there. You have got some cracking cushions. I mean, the cushions this morning. They were um, a large bit in the middle and a border top and bottom. They were beautiful. They were, they were absolutely stunning. stunning. Um, so, you know, with more than one colour, you can mix and match your colours, but your half metre is the most efficient. That doesn't mean quarters won't work. The bigger the fabric, the more yeah. you can get out of it in zero. Thirteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is what you're going to be getting. You are going to be getting <laughs> that mammoth bit of fabric, and you get that extra ten inches, uh, which is all important as well. Thirteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Six nine five nine one seven is your item number. Just choose your colour. If your budget will stretch, I would go for two, and then you'll be creating cushions that look like this. Uh, maybe not with the owls, but if I did that, even those still look stunning. How beautiful! That's not my shirt at the moment. Just. Just that little bit of belly poking at the bottom. Uh, but how beautiful would that be? Uh, just two denim cushions. Uh, that look like they are stunning, stunning cushions, and you can be creating these all on your very little own. Uh, it's well worth it having a little look. And then, once you've got the cushions, you can then start creating some of the appliques that you've got going. If you're going for the book on the own, maybe you've already got the tweed, maybe you've already got your fabric at home, maybe you're just thinking, you know what, I've got that little ditzy print at home that I don't know what to do. Remember with the book as well, you're now getting 12 patterns is what you're getting inside that book. 12. It was 11 35 minutes ago. Within 35 minutes, I've managed to get you an extra pattern that will be put into your book. Your extra pattern will be this one just here. So you are going to get the hummingbird. And give me 25 more minutes, and I'm going to throw in a fat quarter as well. But leave that one with me. I'm working on it. Working on it. Uh, £23.99. I don't think it's going to happen. But God loves a trier. Uh, 20 Say again? You get your hand in your pocket. And well, and I buy, I buy you, one each. You, yeah, you could do that part. I've done the pattern, you can do the fabric. That's fair. That oh, look fair. at his face now, I'll ladies and gents. I'll do the pattern. Oh. I'll come up with a new pattern. <laughs> it's, called, it's called Minimalist Circle. <laughs> hey, we're sorting the wheat from the chaff now, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is what we're getting at, you see? And this is what I love about these shows. Anthea's are very very open to ideas and very open to to change and, and to adapt for what you want as well at home. And Anthea, when we said this in the previous hour, when we talk about uh, quilting antics and things like that, we go, we talk about the very beginner. We start the journey at the beginning. So it's, it, you start at the beginning, but then you can extend your journey to however far you want it to go. And this is what I do. Right, let's go back to demo just to see how far we've got. Not very far. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> So I've got my wingtips on. I've got to say I'm a bit balloony there, but that's I'm going to blame you for that. You've got my sewing machine all over the place. My mum would blame you. Well, if you give away them fat quarters, you'd have more room. Oh, now look what I've done. My scissors have gone here. Oh, she's all of a diddle when she works with me. All of a diddle. Oh, Adam, what have you done to oh. me? <laughs> oh. Right, so I've put the first piece on. I've roughly cut it back because I'm going to do the edges when we cut the whole thing out. I've put the next piece on, which... Um, I'm going to just roughly cut out now. Uh, there we go. I decided to use a double layer of, uh, of cotton just because I could. So I'm just going to put that on. And the next piece is the tan colour. Now, um, when you're trying to 
replace your pieces of fabric. Can you see I'm just lopping? Just absolutely. This technique is great for just lopping. I will come back with the nice scissors and, and be nice and everything, but just for now, let's just lop. Right, so next piece is this one, and this is going to go the top of the wing here and the next wing there. So instead of doing two pieces, this is big enough to do the lot and I'm just faff around get the best get the best fit there I think is about the best fit so it wants to go on the other side obviously now if you're trying to place it and you, oh, I can't you know I can't see this and all the rest hold it up to the light because it puts a shadow over and you can use the shadow I don't think you can see that in the camera but let's have a look can you see the shadow is it going to show? No. No. Right, but I can see there's a shadow, so I know that I'm covering the area that I want to I cover. I suppose if you had a light panel as well, like a little light box, yeah. you could place it on you there. You don't need to. It. At home, you don't need to, honestly. Um, so all I'm being careful to do is make sure that there's enough left over for that second body that I'm going to do. So if I lift that up, I'll get my second Obviously, if you'd like a light body. panel, you can find them on the website. Oh, yeah, for that reason, yeah. Sorry, I forgot your <laughs> car right, salesman, I've still you? got a job to do, yeah. mate. So <laughs> <laughs> you don't need one. Well, that's my job out the window. <laughs> yeah. There you, goes your fat you, quarter, madam. I can't afford to give you yeah. one anymore. I've just got this image of you now doing used cars, and I can't... I'm not I a used... I'm not a car. used car salesman. <laughs> I only yeah. asked for a hey, little back water. I've got all giddy now and I've gone all uh, all unnecessary and I've missed a bit out. So yeah. I'm just going to leave that open. At the, so, you know, I said this technique is really forgiving. So I've just left it open at the bottom so I can slip the next piece. Oh, shoot. Slip the next piece under. Do you know what? I've made a right hash of this. I'll just be unpicking. Adam, you do your stuff. I'll do some numbers. You do your Let's stuff. Give me the book. So, the book is what we're going to be looking at at the moment. Uh, we are very busy for the book. Uh, £23.99. Uh, you've now also got included the hummingbird pattern in there as well, which is this one just here. And you've also got the other cushions uh, with the pattern that will also go in. Both the designs will go in. All the fabric packs are available on the website, so jump to the website uh, with those ones, which are absolutely beautiful. Uh, something else that you might like as well is the owl and the pussy gut. This is the quilt project that we're looking at. There's six projects uh, in here all together is what you're going to be looking at. It's an absolutely stunning, stunning project that breaks everything down for you uh, that you've actually got. Let me see if there's a picture. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, oh, you get things like this. That's cute. Look at them. Exclusive to you. All the extra projects are exclusive to us. Yep. Let's have a look for some more. So if you buy that direct from me, you don't get the extras. Oh, you see? So this is an exclusive. Uh, then you get these as well. These are cute. You can make little pockets in your blanket. That's nice. Uh, so you get all the little extras in there as well. Uh, nice little pattern booklet uh, to talk around. That You've got £24.99. Uh, 536153 is your item number. Six projects in total is what we're looking at. And you also get the plan for making the quilt as well is what you're currently looking at at the moment. Maybe you've started this. Or maybe you just want to start out. Now, we're in the, currently on block six at the moment, is where that octopus is currently at the bottom. Uh, that is block six that we're looking at. They are all available at the moment. So if you want to jump in now or you want to go back to block one, uh, feel free. You'll find them all on the website. £24.99. Obviously, you need the book to go with them. But I've also got block six here with all the fabric uh, that you need in there. So there is your octopus just there in disguise. Uh, so that's what your octopus looks like uh, before you cut him out. And there he is with his very sort of angry face uh, that you've got there. Uh, absolutely love it. You can be creating this as well. Um, it really, really is adorable. £24.99, 919067 is your item number. Uh, best friends forever up next. Uh, this is our little bunny one uh, that we're looking at. Uh, I absolutely adore this one as well. Uh, there's also, if you don't like bunnies, are we right, and dog, are we right in saying, is this the book that's also got the cats yeah. and the dogs in? Yes, yeah, so if, you do, if, you're not a, if you're not bunny bonkers, switch the bunnies for cats and dogs. So the requirements and everything are written around the bunnies, but we're talking a dog appliqué, it's not that difficult to, 
to swap over. I love it. So you should uh, be able to do it quite easily. This is one that you come, the one that you come and see at the moment. I've also got the pack for that as well. So that's the pack we're currently on. So if you don't like bunnies and you don't like cats and you don't like dogs, uh, well, you're not going to like it. Put something else Put in some instead. Put some birds in. Well, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Put your <laughs> birds in. Go for your woodpeckers if you want to put them in as well. Go for things like that. Go for your kites as well. Uh, this is the video sample for the bunnies uh, that we're looking at at the moment. How beautiful is this? Look at this. This is nice. So you've got, basically, you've got a quilt there that you can build and it's inspiration. And what you put in the squares, the big squares, you know, if you don't want to do the same as us, it's entirely up to you. But what you've got is we've done the planning and we've done the instructions for a stunning quilt. It is true, I like it. Even if you took that quilt, took the design for the quilt, and where the bunnies are, you put letters of the alphabet or numbers for a child's perfect. bedroom. Absolutely it would be absolutely perfect. stunning. Uh, yeah. The bunny that's currently standing up as well, I've also got the fabric pack for that one. That is the block we're currently on at the moment on our little bunny journey. I like the carrots. That's been nice, quite padded. Um, £24.99, 675-286 is your item number. Uh, that is what the fabric that you're actually getting there as well, uh, which is absolutely <laughs> beautiful that you've got there. Uh, 7675-286 is your item them for the fabric pack but you're also going to need uh, the book as well to go with it uh, that is everything i've got on the show for you today check out the website and shop ahead of me is the quickest and the easiest place to go let's go back to our amphia we've got about nine minutes left oh you, are we going to finish this because let's I was just do it i'm staying with we, you oh all right okay <laughs> no pressure no pressure ladies and gents so are we all doing anyway are we all uh, no we're all doing we're all doing we good all, uh, we're all we're all in bated breath what this is going to look like in eight <laughs> minutes time you, you promised us they finished bird. Oh, yeah, but you were putting me off, Adam. Well, right, I wanted to say, so... if you don't finish it, you give us a, a, a fat quarter. <laughs> I thought you were funding that. Right, so, no. no. Back, back to being serious, because I can do serious sometimes. Okay. Not often, not often, but I can sometimes. So, right, all I'm doing is following the lines round. I'm just sewing on the line. That's it. I drew the lines. Um, some of the lines I drew badly, and I... I scribbled them out and redrew them how I wanted them. Um, and now I'm just sewing on the lines. And it's as simple as that. And as long as I sew in like the right order so that what's at the bottom goes on first, um, just build it up bit by bit. Now where the lines meet, the line that's going to be covered, I'm going to sew, I don't know if you can see, just wide of the line so that my stitching, that stitch line, is going to be totally out of sight. So we've got that, oh, that makes sense. and you should be able to see now how the wings are. I could have been a bit more frugal with my fabric, I will uh, hold my hat up there. So just cutting it back to the stitching, in fact I'm just hacking it back, there's no finesse at this stage if you don't need to. Um, and then when I come back to cut out, you know, nicely, just hold it up, get your little curved scissors in there. As long as you use little sharp scissors, you'll be fine. Sharp scissors, we've got them on the website as well. We do indeed. I love these, absolutely love them. I mean, I do use other ones, but these are my, my go-to favourites. Um, because I can, if I put them on the top of the sewing machine, you can see, because the point is up, um, it doesn't cut the fabric if, that I don't want it to. Yeah, no, so I can cut from this, like the bottom of the dish, and it, you know, it's just, they're a nice pair of scissors. If you get some, you'll work it out. That's it. That, that's, my, that's my selling thing. Oh, you've got me all unnecessary. You well, know? Don't be blaming me, missus. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. I'm never normally like this with anybody else. It's just you, Adam. I'm sure well, it is. Oh, well, let's hope Yanis is listening. <laughs> oh, do I detect competition? Well, you know. <laughs> You know. I haven't had Yanis for months, you know. Months you? Of, I Lucky haven't, you. no. I haven't. And do you know what? That's why he's, I've he's told been busy. you, you're on the wrong channel. We said that this morning. Well, don't look at me. <laughs> on the wrong... I know, I should be on ITV. <laughs> I should be on ITV <laughs> with my own game show. Oh, wouldn't that be good? Move over, Ryland. Supermarket sweep with our Adam. Oh! Hey, I'd enter, I'd enter. Come wild in me aisles. Yeah. So, back to trying to find the uh, the right place for this. Get it on nicely. No pressure whatsoever. So, You've got, how oh, have we, how have we got? I've, I've missed the same piece off again. 
What have I got, like 30 seconds? No, we've got about six minutes. Oh, loads of time. Loads of time. Right then, get that on. Get that on there. So you see, we're just building. It does tell you how to build these properly and you'll be reading the instructions as you go along. So I have every faith that you're not going to have any problem. But how proud will you be when you've produced something that, that, that looks you know, like a really great red kite. And the other thing is as well, if you don't particularly care for this technique that I'm doing, you've got a cracking applique drawing there um, that you can just use with your normal fusible web technique. And it would be absolutely fine. In fact, you do have the fusible web instructions. They're in the oh, book. Okay. So you don't have to do it this way. Um, what I tend to do when I write these books is I'll do like a housekeeping page. So you've got this technique, you've got your fusible web. I'll give you like your binding instructions if you're going to make a wall hanging. You know, all those kind of basics. So you're getting that as standard and then you're getting all the projects. Um, and for each project, there's, a, there's construction notes and then you've got your applique design. So you've got, if you only like doing part of it, you just take that part out of the book. If we get the home, we've read the book, and we've read all the, we've read all the housekeeping that's there, and we're still none the wiser. You know when we have those little, those little yeah. mind fogs in the head, you think, I don't know what get I'm doing in, now. I do not understand. Can I get in touch with you? Yeah, yeah. At the moment, the, uh, so I am, in fact, that's actually a good point. At Thank the moment, you. we are, we are struggling with lockdown because I've been out of my premises now for nearly a year. Yeah, it's all happening in the living room. It ain't good. Oh. <laughs> it's not very romantic at all. Um, so I've had the telephone disconnected because I'm just paying for a phone that's there and not being used and everything. What, in your house? No, in the oh. shop. In the shop. I'd say we'd rally round if well... you want a couple of quid. <laughs> I don't yeah, mind. Have a whip round. No, no, I've had it disconnected. So anybody who's ringing me on the business phone, you're not going to get anywhere. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that when we get back in there, they'll let me have the number back. That's what they said. Are you on Facebook? Um, yes, that's what I'm saying. Get in touch on Facebook. Send me a message. Now, if I haven't got time to deal with you, I don't open your message there and then. And I know some people are like looking to see if the message is open and they get really cross because, ah, she's had it two days and not opened it. And I'm like, no, because it stands out to me while it's not open, doesn't it? True, it does. It's and I know I've still got to deal with it. So, uh, so don't worry. I am... I am a little overwhelmed at the minute, uh, but yeah, Facebook is great, Instagram. Um, are you on the Instas? Yeah, I like Insta, I'm getting well into it. Oh, I didn't know. What are you on the Instagram? What's your handle? Uh, Quilting Antics Wool Tweed. Oh, have, a little, oh have yeah. a little look on the old Instagram. Do you do the TikToks? I've done a couple. Well, I say I've done a couple. <laughs> what are you on? Release tell me what you are. What are you on? Is it Quilting oh, Antics no, on no, TikTok? The, uh, when, when you say TikTok, sorry, I'm thinking reels which we've done on TikTok and then put on the... Yeah, so like the videos on your Instagram, that's what Adam's on about. Right. So, uh, yeah. I want to see a bit. So, so Leon bit is... <laughs> Leon's supposed to be earning his pocket money by doing, um, doing the, uh, the little uh, videos for me. I've right. got to say, we have creative differences and it's oh. not going entirely <laughs> well. <laughs> Who were? Uh... Leon's 12, in case anybody didn't know. So, uh, yeah, uh, there's some musical differences. Oh, <laughs> is he all down with the kids and you more want Max Bygraves? And... Yeah, um, I did this one uh, for the Harvest Bunting, where I got it like, we got, we got up to some woods and strung it between some trees. Oh. And I'm like, I've got twigs and I'm doing like dance macabre. Do -do 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 <laughs> I so, I'm so following this after this show. Yeah, he didn't get it, and so we had to. Uh, I think we had some fair old. Um... <laughs> Can you just imagine walking through the woods, watching Anthea playing on a bit of bunting, <laughs> just walking your dog, minding your own business? Is that Anthea? Yeah. Causing that? Hey, it dance my car, well. me, on me, on me, on me bunting with my sticks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, so uh, yeah, he's, he's supposed to do regular TikToks, but it's not quite happening. Uh, it's not quite happening as the um, the employer no. suggests. Other well, sites are available, by the way. I just realised we are oh, talking about the, the same. We feed automatically into those. <laughs> yeah. But you can. But where we were getting to is, if you need help, help is there. Don't worry. That subs that. You can contact Anthea. Uh, I'm going to have a whip round after the show. See if we can get a couple of quid. Um,
penny farthing or something, we'll get that phone reinstated in the office. We'll get her back <laughs> to that office as soon as we can. Keep her in her own little bubble. Right. Ooh. We're kind of getting We've there We've got a minute now. and a half. Oh, loads of time. Right, so what I'm going to do, obviously we know it's not going to be finished. Adam's just kept me talking far too long. Don't blame me, it's your <laughs> demos. I just spilled the topic, that's all I'm here for. <laughs> to be fair, you did sidetrack me a couple of times. I've been lean eating <laughs> white Lindor eggs from over there that no one knows, that Mel don't know about. I think everybody knows what you like, Adam, really. <laughs> They're nice. They're he's, in, they're not, he's not a bad part. stick, really, is he, I'm ladies all right. and gents? I get by. We, you'll, you'll do for us. I think you're a keeper. Oh, bless you. Right, so just cut this bit out and then it will, it will just suddenly start to take shape. We know it needs finessing. We know it hasn't got the body on. We know it hasn't got a face and feet and stuff. But you will see. Da -da -da -da. And then I'm going to cut away all the excess. Pardon? Come from nowhere. It didn't look like a, nothing a minute ago. Now you start cutting it away. Yeah, that quick. Well. That and, and I mean, we, we've had an hour. It's been rambash. It's been giggly. It, it's been not really focused. Like, oh, I've missed a line off there. I'll just go over that. Not really um, focused. <laughs> no, That's like if you're at home, you know, you've got your eye on the ball a bit more, haven't you? That's what I'm saying. So if I was at home, we wouldn't be. We won't be having to unpick and like all oh, ooh. Uh. Is Derek under these counters anywhere? He lives here somewhere. He's literally is not. Who? Bring him our Derek. Oh, you know Derek it? went away for a pizza and then come back. Oh, is that who he is? Yeah, is that who he is? <laughs> <laughs> do, do you watch the channel outside work? Or? <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> We've got about 20 seconds I'm too left. busy uh, doing your designs. Thank you, Anthea, my love. It's been an absolute pleasure. Hang on, hang on, uh, hang on. Don't you go anywhere either. A professional show is on the way, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> if you want to watch all this Yay. again, but why would you? Let's be honest. For all the hints and tips, don't go anywhere. Thank you again, Anthea. It's been a pleasure. Ooh, See you in an hour. Thank you. <laughs>Getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly, and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning, and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK, and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. 
At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. have another happy hour for you which means the prices on the show are reduced for this hour and if you don't check out your baskets by the time we get to three o'clock then the prices will all go back up we've got some incredible bargains for you and some lovely projects for you to start working on in the new year heading towards the spring heading towards Easter with all those lovely gifts that you're starting to put together we've also got Mel with us again hello Hiya. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I've had a nice cup of tea. And Have I'm you? All, yes. Refrigerated. Now, Mel, I need yes. to ask you a question. Okay. Do you still have any of those chocolates left yes. from the earlier show? <laughs> yes, of good, course. Good. Yes. We're okay then. We're okay. <laughs> we'll see it through this show. <laughs> Uh, it was all about Easter. It you know, was, and That's yes. why we're talking yes. about chocolate. And we still have some Easter-esque style uh, projects for you on the show including this one here, but we also have some other items available for you. So you can shop ahead on the website. Can you tell us a little bit about Crafty Devils for anyone that's not seen you before? So it's a family run business. Um, and I think we've been going about, oh, dare I say it, about 16, 17 years have you? now. Yeah, so a long Where time. Where have you been going? Well, <laughs> nowhere at the moment. <laughs> Um, so we're a small um, business, yep. um, so there's me and my husband Mark, um, my daughter-in-law-to-be works Ooh. for us and then we've got a couple of lads downstairs that I've known since where they were babies um, and Mark played cricket with their dads oh, wow. and everything so it's all quite um, family oh, orientated. Oh that is lovely and it's all made here? Yes. Yeah, well your MDF is cut, laser cut here in the UK? It is, mm. down in Devon, yeah. Fabulous. Well, shall we kick off the happy hour with Happy Easter? 20 MDF Happy Easter sentiments, saving £5, just 9 99 Again, these are precision cut, uh, so when you do get them, 
uh, just on the edges they'll be darker but you know something I really like that look I probably um, wouldn't put anything on there because I really like the rawness of laser cut MDF I do um, and there's a little tip if you don't want to put any paint on the edges pull your brush from the middle out oh, okay. and then you won't get paint on the edges dribbling over yeah like it great tip there uh, 9.99 here's another tip get them into your basket and check <laughs> on out before the top of the hour for sure because the price will be going back up to 14 pounds and 99 pence and there's the clock just there got it right again that's amazing that is twice my whole three-year career i've got it right um, talking of that, three years tomorrow for me. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Three years. Cake. Three years. I'll have to bring some cake. Mm. I'll have to bring some cake. I won't bake it because <laughs> I think everyone will fall ill. <laughs> I shall buy it instead. <laughs> uh, right, let's move on. We've got more MDF for you. We've got a bumper pack for you. Um, we're already busy for this and it's a little bit of everything, isn't it, Mel? It is. It's a nice um, kit that you can do all sorts with, not just for grown-ups and um, the kids are at home at the moment, homeschooling and that. Sure. So um, door hangers for their bedrooms, little plaques to make for their friends that they're missing. Um, yeah, so not just for grown-ups. No, it's just projects, isn't it? And having the MDF plaques to start another project. You do one, you finish it, you're proud of it, you like it, you enjoyed it, now you want to do another one. And this kit is going to make sure that you have enough to keep on going, to keep putting out your projects. And of course with these you can put all your different mediums on here, can't you? Yes, yes. And they've got little holes for hanging, so you can, um, what's the word, a concertina hang them? Oh yeah, like, um, is that the right word? I don't know, like raindrop them? Yeah, yeah, so, you know, a bit of ribbon. I don't in. think that's the term, raindrop no, them no, <laughs> Where I got Make that it up from. as we go along. Yeah, just, just, just you know, like what? Yeah. Waterfall, that's what, that's that's what I meant, it. Jack. Yeah. Well done, Jack, thank you. <laughs> Where would I be without him, eh? Where would we all be? Thanks, Jack. Um, and you also have the, the discs as well. You could use those for artist trading discs. Yes. Um, or, like you say, you could put them on a little piece of bunting or you could waterfall them down. They're really good as well if you've got the um, rings, put them on the rings. They make yeah. a nice key ring. Yes. They also make it, when we can go back to our shows, um, nice um, samples. Yeah. So you've got all your so colours of together. your inks and your paints and things on them. Oh, it's a lovely idea. That really is. 921271 is your item number. £19.99. pence. So you get 20 plaques, 15 door hangers, 30 of the 63mm round tags. My word, that is a lot. Did we even mention the love hearts there? Or are we having the love hearts as our door hangers, maybe? It's part of the plaques. Part of the plaques. Uh, an amazing deal. It really is. Down by £15 pounds for this hour at just under £20 pounds by a penny. Right. We've got some hexagons for you. Um, we had some hexagons in the previous show, but we've got a whole collection of different sizes uh, for you. Ignore that price. We're going to bring up uh, another price for you. Uh, but size-wise, you've got one, two, three, four different sizes, as you can see quite easily just there, from the smallest one going up to the largest one. I'm just looking around me. I think you've got some samples behind you, Mel, yeah. um, that we can have a look at. Um, and with your shapes, you can, well, you can do all sorts. You can put your papers on there. Your mediums, yep. your paints, yep. every, everything really is your embellishments. Now, if you've got any um, moulds that you bought from us, maybe you've got some Zuri moulds, for example, and you might want to put them onto a plaque, then this is going to be ideal for you. So you've got a whole selection there. Uh, great price. We'll bring the details up uh, in a moment's time. But you can head to the website and have a look and see how much these are. And then maybe email it and tell me. Don't be really joking. <laughs> they are going to be fourteen ninety nine. That is an incredible deal. It really, really is. Um, and you've got all the different sizes there. One, two, three, four. Do we know the item number? We're just checking out the item number for you. It's four triple nine. Seven four. That's your item number if you want to go for those. But we'll come back to those. But you can find them on the website and add them to your basket. All laser cut, all here in the UK. And if you need some gesso, we've got some gesso on the show, haven't we? We have. Always mm. got gesso. We were very busy for the gesso earlier on today. Uh, 500 mil for your gesso. And it's the clip top 
isn't it, Mel? So it makes it yeah. easy to pour, um, and also you get a lot of it. And we do recommend you putting gesso on the MDF, don't we? We do, yes. We certainly do. Uh, right, so we've got some embellishments for you. Wow! We've got a lot of embellishments here for you. And some really nice diamante style. Um, and we've also got your lovely uh, beads in there as well. There are ones at the back, and I'm going to pick them up. I was just giving you a visual representation of the ones we have here. But now, I can go to the back. I always have to answer the voices that I hear. I know you guys at home can't hear the wonderful Christopher Baker and his dulcet tones. <laughs> but I can, and you it's can. something I want to share. <laughs> I'm not supposed to, but you know what they say? A problem shared is a problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> is he a problem? Oh dear. <laughs> um, this is a great collection. How, how and where would we use these, Mel? So I think these are really good if you want a quick, easy card. Yes nice quick simple card um, really good for your um, plaques really good for your little door hangers um, and really good if you're a beginner yes because you want something ready-made yeah to put together like a yeah kit. so if you're a beginner and you're just thinking about getting into craft mm. and you're watching perfect kit yeah 9.99 is a perfect price um, these sentiments with congrats and wish. Are they self-adhesive or do we need glue? They are self-adhesive. Brilliant, yeah. Um, and if you don't want the sentiment, yep. just snip them in between the jewels and use the jewels individually. That's a good idea. Mm. That is a great idea. 9.99. Have you seen the saving? You are saving 53 pounds. That's huge. 51 pence that is a huge saving and Mel's right if you know anyone that's just getting into crafts if you know someone that loves their craft my goodness they're going to love you when you send this through the post and you're going to love yourself because it's only 9.99 you've saved yourself all that money 301907 is your item number it works out to be 34 pence per pack that is an amazing deal amazing deal and you might want to use these with what we've got coming up next this is an app Absolute bargain. Love these. And um, these are really well made as well, Mel, aren't they? They are. They're lovely, nice, um, strong bags, paper bags. Um, and I love getting a gift in a brown paper bag. I don't know what it is about brown paper bags. Yeah. I prefer them to the patterned ones that you can get. I just love a little brown paper. I think because it's it's more traditional, natural. isn't it? Natural. Yeah, natural, um, organic, and um, very, very. Um, Vintage, like a vintage style. Very of the now kind of yeah. way that people are going, isn't it? Isn't it strange how the now is how it used to be back then? Yes. The now is the past. There you go. 382702 is your item number. Uh, it's a marvellous deal, it really is. Um, the details will be on the website and you can head there and place these into your basket. Only 9 99 for 18 small craft bags uh, with your raffia handles as well. So good, sturdy, strong handles. And you can decorate them with your MDF embellishments and shapes or with the embellishments in the set that we've just seen. Great price, 9 99 for 18 bags. Um, marvellous. Marvellous, marvellous deal. Right, so we've got more for you. We've got some gorgeous embellishments and uh, gilded flakes. Um, right, the gilded flakes, uh, you have three different colours. So you've got the gold, the copper and the silver. Um, beautiful gilded flakes. If, no, if people haven't seen gilded flakes before, what do we use these for, Mel? So they're really good for um, putting on your embellishments, your like, your, like the Happy Easter laser cut. Yep. Really good for that, putting on edge of products, doing your stencils, um, anything really that you want to bling up, I think. Now, these mm. are so, so lightweight. That's yes. why I'm being very, very careful because <laughs> if I were to throw these up in the air, where well, we'd have a, a whole confetti, I'm so tempted now, but I'm not going to. No, because we would give you a dustpan and brush. You would. Yes. You would. That's true. <laughs> It would keep me quiet for the rest of the hour, though. Maybe. Shall I throw them up? No. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't throw them up when you get them home either. Uh, you've got your three different colours there, um, but they're, they're, they're brilliant and they do give such a wonderful, easy effect to your crafting. Nine, uh, £10.99, saving £7, the gold, the silver and the copper. So you get all three of those. Uh, getting busy for those now, actually. Um, you can multi-buy, by the way. It's a happy hour, so why not? Why not? Uh, we've got some brass charms. I've often been described like that. Um, brass. <laughs> 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 oh, 
listen to her brass charms. <laughs> These are brilliant, Mel. They're great because you not only got like your butterflies, dragonflies, you've got male bits in there, keys, bicycles. I thought you meant male bits to the butterflies <laughs> then. I thought, oh, I've got wrong. <laughs> it's only two o'clock in the afternoon. Not I don't that want show. You wrong that. show. Wrong show. <laughs> <laughs> um, so your bicycles, your little boats. I think you've got like a little yacht in there. Oh, you have, um, yeah. So really, really oh, yeah. good versatile. And also you can use your mediums on oh. them as well. There's a little love So you like your structure pastes. And they're things lovely. like that, you can put them on top of them. And they are, they're, they're metal. These are brilliant. Little charms, making up little charm bracelets or for your key fobs. Um, absolutely um, brilliant for that. Great price, great price. Um, they are going down to £9.99. So pop those into your basket. Um, the original price was 14 99 And the item number is 353 seven four five and if you forget that information it's okay just give us a call and then the call center will be able to guide you uh, via their website and uh, yeah just say that Janice's brass charms made me phone up and um, and then you'll be able to check out your basket with those and there you go, you can give us a call on 01733 So they are now 9 99 from 14 99 There you go. Uh, brilliant. We, we, will, uh, we will pay the little mouse that's changing the details, hopefully, or give him some cheese. He'll be fine. Right, uh, we have got some palette knives for you. And we also have your artist palette. Now, with the palettes that you've got here, Mel... Yeah. Um, can we use them for painting with acrylic paints? Yes. Can we use them for using texture paste? Yes. Can we use them for getting bread out of the oven? No. No, just testing you there. <laughs> just testing. <laughs> uh, these have got different numbers on, different shapes, different, different types. Um, what would you recommend we use the different ones for? Well, I like, I think it's number two oh, let me for pick number two up. my glitter scooping. Good idea. Yeah, it's like a little shovel, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. I like, I like number one because it's Diddy. Oh, yeah. And I, yep. just, I, just, I just love it. <laughs> yep. So like that's that. really good for getting in your little corners and things like Perfect. that. Perfect. And then your other ones for whatever you want, really. Yeah. yeah, it's a great little set. And it's a fabulous price as well. Uh, the palette knives, they come with the palette, yes. artist palette, together. Um, and this is really nice. Do you know what? I like the design of this because you've got that little thumb hole there. Well, luckily for me, it's a big thumb hole. Um, but it, that just allows you to, to hold it better, she says, desperately trying to hold it so it doesn't look <laughs> awkward. Um, but it does. It, I guess it's left-handed and right-handed. So I like this one because um, anybody that's seen me on the show before knows that I like a bit of blackboard paint. Mm. Now, blackboard paint tends to stain your... Um, what do call it, Matt? Glass mat? Yeah, no, the this bit. Oh, um, it's one of them yes. that you're pointing at. Yes, yeah, yes. one of these, one of these. It tends to stain. Ah, right. So I like these to put my blackboard paint in. And then I like when I'm doing little projects and you only need a little bit of paint, I like the little sections on the side because you can just drop a tiny piece in. Yeah. And you haven't got to worry about it mixing unless you want it to. Um, of course, you can put a little bit of water into yeah. the circular um, place, you can. part, bit, uh, if, you, if you want to, or a little into the tray, that's the word I was looking for, or if you've got um, a little jar of water, that could go in there, or maybe you've got a little jar of ink or something like that. Um, I really do like this, actually, and it's going down to 11 .99. Don't forget, you get your palette knives included, and that's going down from 14 99 to 11.99 so you get five of your palette knives in there and the item number is 205803 so there you go you get the whole lot on a tray just like that there that's you go. such a good buy i've seen palette knives for like mm. five pounds oh, yes. for one yeah, yeah. this is an ex this is exceptional value for money it really really is even if you think to yourself well i don't really need those palette knives when you get them home yes you do you will find lots of different uses and your crafting i believe will become easier and more inspirational as well right let's head to mel we've got our first demonstration remember you can still th see things on the website but you haven't got you have got, sorry, up until three o'clock to get them at the great discounted prices. Right, Mel? Right, we're going to 
do a little fun Easter door hanger because I'm just Eastered up at the moment. Are you? I am. I'm thinking. I've got my fingers crossed that we're going to be able to celebrate. Yes. I'm thinking garden party. Oh, lovely. I'm thinking decorations. Yeah. I'm thinking pims. <laughs> yeah. I mean, drink responsibly. But yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yes, other drinks are available, yes. but you yeah, know what, that's Easter, what I'm thinking. maybe yeah. not. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so like we said, our MDF, um, I always recommend our lovely Gesso. Because, if you didn't see the show earlier, MDF is such a porous surface, you'll see, putting this on, it's soaking straight in. And that gesso is excellent value for money and um, it's 500 mil and it is the clip top as well which makes it easier to get out, makes it very very easy to hold as well. Uh, so you can just flip that up and then you can just close that, I always do that just to make sure it's closed and if you want to you can take the whole top off as well. Um, but super value for money, 500 mil of your gesso is that 9.99. It is $9.99, yeah, $9.99. Um, the item number uh, will bring up on your screens in a moment's time. You can head to the website and get hold of this. There you go, 397417 is your item number if you want to go for your white gesso. Um, I think it's absolutely um, essential now with crafting, especially if you're working with your MDF. Of course, you can get black gesso, but this white gesso is perfect for you. 397417 is your item number. Perfect. So I will just show you my little tip that I mentioned earlier. If you don't want to get paint on the edge of your yeah. MDF, start in the middle of your project and pull your gesso outwards. Keep your brush flat. Perfect. Go along the edge like that. Just pull it out. Don't go too heavy handed. And then you'll see there's no paint on your edge bit if you get a tiny bit you just wipe it like that yeah, well done Go. keep your edge Brilliant. okay so gesso your door hanger and why do we use gesso again we were talking about this in the earlier show but there might be people joining us that didn't see the earlier show that's it and so <coughs> gesso MDF is such a porous surface so your first layer of whatever you put on there you can see it's it soaks straight in. Yeah. So that MDF is just drinking that first layer. So if we were to put our paint straight onto there, we'd be wasting an awful lot yes. of our quality paint. Yeah. We don't want to do that because most crafters are pretty frugal. So, um, so that's why we use it. Also, it keeps the vibrancy of the colour of the paint that you're using. Yeah. If you don't use gesso, if I get a chance at the end, I'll show you um, a little project that we haven't used gesso on. Oh, cool. um, <clears throat> you get more of a dirty, grungy kind of look. Mm, which can be a good thing if that's what you're looking for. Yes, if that's what you're looking for, don't use the gesso. But your paint will also be quite dull and dirty looking. Yes. Yeah, I find gesso has helped if I'm doing any kind of um, rice paper or decoupage projects on MDF because using the white gesso underneath just lifts it, gives it a base. That's it. Yes, just um, and you get the colour, you don't get the um, MDF coming through, yes. do you? Yeah. So, gesso your plaque because we're on TV. Haven't got time to do all of it. So <laughs> there's one I did earlier. <laughs> So I'll show you what I mean by um, keeping the depth of colour. And can we use any medium paint on top of the gesso? Does it yes. have to be an acrylic? No, you can use anything. Um, so if you want to stamp onto your MDF, yep. That's um, a good idea. then use your watercolours. Just mm. make sure you've got a really good thick base of gesso. Yep. Um, so a couple of layers, would you say? Definitely. Yeah. Um, it's, it depends on the colour of your paint. So yeah. if you're using cream, I would probably do three layers. Oh, OK. Um, if you're using lilac, two layers would be yeah. enough. But um, the cream, if you weren't to use your gesso, you're, you're going to be looking at six, seven layers. Yeah, because um, of it soaking in. Yeah. Well, there's the difference. <clears throat> so you'll see... I'm only, only going to probably need two layers of the lilac 
and I like to do I could get away with one layer if I put it on nice and thick but what I like to do I'm into my sanding at the moment are you how so I don't, I don't know I just like I just like sanding I think do you? yeah if it moves sand it yeah kind of thing. yeah that's why Mark's got a shiny head <laughs> <laughs> please don't sand your husband <laughs> <laughs> Please don't send your husband. <laughs> it's quite sore, not just shiny. Yeah, well, <laughs> great, you know. <laughs> Sometimes he deserves a sandpaper. <laughs> I shouldn't say that really because he's cooking tea tonight for when I get home. I'd be careful how, I'd probably get someone else to tr try the tea before you yeah. eat it after that comment. <laughs> Bless him. Oh, what's he cooking you? So I'm having um, from a new recipe book, low calorie recipe book, um, firecracker prawns. Oh yes, now what time do you want me round? <laughs> oh no, I can't come round anymore, can I? No. Oh, I send you a picture. Yeah, please do because that's and the recipe. Yes. And maybe Mark when he's allowed to do so. When he's allowed yes. to do so. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, him and Bentley are cooking tonight. Well, Bentley will probably be jumping up trying to eat and just to clarify that Bentley is a dog. is the dog yes yes <laughs> just in case just in case be. so once you've painted now you see even with my base layer of gesso how that first layer of acrylic paint is soaking in yeah so I w if I want to sand it I would probably do another layer would you yeah yes. yeah otherwise you'll sand it all off Yes, unless yeah. that's the look you're going for. But I quite like two layers, sand it, and I get a little bit of white coming through. Yeah. So let's put that one to one side. And here's one I did earlier. Look at this. It's like um, that kids' program. Yes. So, Uncle Peter. Yeah. <laughs> so when you sand, I like to do it one way because then you don't get like a scratchy look yeah and it's and it kind of smooths the paint okay. as well and I like well, to show fine sandpaper isn't it it is it's just from a DIY shop you can get I also have for the edges I have my trusty nail file you used to use a matchbox when we ran out of the nail file or sanding you can't get matchboxes now though, not, can like, you? not 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 like um not, wasn't it, I guess it was sandpaper, wasn't it, on the side of the match? Box? Yeah. It's very, very, very cool. You used to get swan matches, didn't yes. you? Yes. But I don't think, yeah. But I don't, can you get them now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we used to use them for filing the nails and then maybe filing down the skirting board if we'd run out of sandpaper, get me mum's matches. <laughs> <laughs> You've been there a long time. <laughs> <laughs> a very long time. Yeah. Um, the gesso is technically sold out, everyone. Um, so I'm glad I mentioned that. I'm glad you got the, the the final few that we've got. So that has technically sold out. If any bounce back, we'll let you know. Well done to everyone who's got it. You won't regret it. So I'm just going to brush my project off after I've sanded it. And um, if you are really, really frugal, we found in the previous show, if you collect all your little dust scraps. <laughs> <laughs> these dust scraps you'll be there a long time you will um you can mix it with your gesso and it'll give you a pale a paler lilac color yeah very pale very it pale depends, it depends how much you sand but yes it's a thought it's a it thought was, it was janice's idea all right earlier. don't blame me <laughs> i am blaming you <laughs> waste not want not <laughs> just like your chocolates don't yeah. waste them i'll add them after the yeah. show Right, so my happy Easter, I'm going to put some gilding flakes on. Oh, okay, yes, so. we've got these on the show. Copper, gold and silver with your gilding flakes. So if you've not quite decided whether to put them into your basket or not, let's see how we use them. And we'll put the details at the bottom of the screen for you. So I'm just going to put my glue on randomly. And I'm going to get a little brush and sp spread it around. And three colours you get there, but if you want a fourth colour, just mix them all, all the colours together. And then you get a coppery, goldy, silvery effect. And you're just using a brush to put them on, or did you...? No, I'm just spreading... Ah, oh, the glue. Spreading the glue. Because you don't want the glue too lumpy. No. Spray glues. I guess you, yeah, yeah, you a, can, a, yeah. A, a canister thing. Gimmagy. 
Yeah. Aerosol. That's the word I was looking for, thank you. But I think when you use aerosols, you need to be in a really well ventilated yes. room, don't yes, you? Yes, do. And if you're only doing a little... And also, if you're a bigger project, use your extra wide, which I believe we've got on the show. Oh, extra, sorry, I wonder what you meant then. Yes. Um, yeah, extra, yes, I've got some of that, actually. Your double-sided tape. This is incredible, because we don't just have wide, we have extra wide. Um, these come together. This is a brilliant deal. Look at that. Um, I don't know why I put it on my arm. Just showing you how wide that is, and it's double-sided as well. And you've also got the other size. So that's 210 millimetres by 10 metres and 105 millimetres by 20 metres. £14.99. It's a half price deal. You're saving £15. That is exceptional value for money. Great for die cutting as well, isn't it? Really good for die yeah. cutting. Um, also good if you want to make your own glitter sheets. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Um, and really good for the gilding flakes. If you want to do a nice straight edge on something, yeah. just put your double sided down, put your gilding flakes on top. You haven't got to wait for your glue to go tacky or anything. Straight on there. Perfect. 925792 is your item number. If you want to get both of those into your basket, great value for money. So normally, at home, I would suggest with your gilding flakes, they come in quite nice big chunks, Yep. like so, I would suggest you have a nice um, takeaway tub to put some into, yes. because you can pour them out of there and they will expand. Um, also, when you see a big, a big chunk, let's see if I can find one, there we are, look. Now, this big chunk is probably about five or six layers really? of gilding flakes. So just carefully undo it. If Can I you just move your pot to one side if oh, it doesn't yes. give too much wind? There, so just to blow them out of the way because that's something else you've got to be careful of. Yes, don't blow, don't breathe too heavy. But you can see you just unravel it with your nails or your tweezers. I find it easier with my nails, if I'm honest. But you'll find that there's more than one sheet there. Yeah. Now, just while you're popping the other um, gilding flakes onto that Happy Easter, yeah. um, details if you want um, the gilding flakes and everything else is on the website. So if you do want to shop ahead before we get there, then you can do. Uh, right, let's have a look at the Happy Easters. Um, these are busy, love these. So you've got plenty to go around to decorate your bags, to decorate your cards, to decorate your plaques, or you might just want to have little decorations around the home. If you're making anything for Easter, like cakes, or maybe um, giving somebody a chocolate Easter egg, you can pop that onto the outside. £9.99, 20 MDF Happy Easter sentiments. Excellent value for money, that one. Saving £5 in the happy hour deals. Brown paper bags, Excellent for the brown paper bags. We've got those on the show as well. This is your bumper pack for your MDF. Oh my goodness, you've got your love hearts, you've got your wall, um, not wall hangers, your door hangers, you've got your plaques, and you also have your discs as well. You've got a lot in this pack. 20 plaques, 15 door hangers, and 30 round tags. That's an absolute bargain. And you've got the different style love hearts. You've got the folky style love heart, or we've actually said before this could be like a little mouse with his nose at the bottom and those is two ears. Um, and then you've got the wider love heart as well. So the two together work beautifully. If you want to get hold of this, you're saving over 40%. It is 1999. I know. 91271 is your item number for your bumper pack of MDF. Remember, it's all made here in the UK. Next up, you've got your hexagons. Love this. Reminds me of uh, blockbusters. Yeah. I'll have a pee, please, Bob. Oh, what an episode that was. Brilliant. Um, and these are great for your projects as well. £14.99, half price deal, and you're getting 28 in total. So you've got your different sizes there. And they do look lovely when you um, pop your papers on here, your texture paste, uh, gesso them up, put your acrylic paints on there as well, do your die cutting and stick those on. Maybe do some uh, moulding and put your moulds on here as well. There's all kinds of things you can do with your projects with your MDF. 499974 is your item number if you want to go for those. 
Right, so we've got some Easter shapes for you now. Not just eggs, no. We've got baskets, we've got egg shapes, there can be balloons, we've got little chickens, and we've got bunny rabbits as well. These are absolutely delightful. You get five of each, and there's a little hole in each of them, so that's your um, chicken, not a rabbit, Janice. There's your bag. No, I was looking at the rabbit behind. There's your little chicken bag. Boys, <laughs> don't you eat? Sorry, I'll start again. Your egg basket. <laughs> I'm thinking back to the pubs. Chicken in a basket. <laughs> oh dear. Let's have a look at the shapes and I'll get it back together. I'll get me in shape. Uh, you've got your eggs as well, chicken in a basket. I never eat it. I don't know why I was thinking of it. Um, we were thinking that these could be balloons as well, uh, which would be a good idea, uh, which is nice. And then you've got the little bunny rabbit just there. Nearly 60% of the stock has gone. I've got a little bunting here. Is it all? Yes, it's all together still. Let me grab that. Oh, isn't that lovely? They look different when they're painted as well. Absolutely lovely. Gorgeous. Be nice for Easter. 966-570. There you go. There you go. No chicken in any baskets. Not on my watch anyway. Uh, 966-570 is your item number with your happy hour. And remember, your happy hours are only for this hour. And it is a, it, we're having a bit of a giggle today. It is a happy hour. Uh, right. We've got another deal for you. We've got your... Uh, this is one of the best sellers, actually. And Mel's right. If you are just starting out uh, in crafting maybe starting your journey. What a great little gift for yourself. You're getting lots and lots and lots of embellishments in this deal. 29 packs in total, £9.99. So let's have a look. On some of them, you also have your self-adhesive. In fact, all of them, self-adhesive. So you've got that little self-adhesive pad on the back. So that's a nice front to a card, so on special. That's that done. You don't need to think too hard about that. And then we've got some card toppers just here. Here's another example. You've got your beads as well, and you've got your um, bows in there. You are so lovely. And you've got the bunting in there. Oh, isn't that lovely? You've also got some sentiments that are like a diamante. So you've got celebrate, which is lovely. Self-adhesive as well. Uh, what else have we got in here? Oh, we've got some lovely... That says congrats, yes. That says celebrate. Oh, congrats is there as well. Sorry, I'm not arguing with you guys at home. I'm not arguing at all. I'm kind of just having a, a, a chat with someone that's chuntering on in my ear. <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised. It happens every time. Uh, you've got your... With love, love hearts. You've got your beads as well. You've also got your bows. And you've got with love as well. Um, my goodness, this is such a fantastic deal. Um, 301907 is your item number, £9.99. Um, sensational deal, sensational deal. Let's have a look at your bags. Right, so these are bags, and you also have the raffia handles there. Uh, let's open these up as well. Good size bags. You've got that flat bottom, I like that, for putting gifts in. That's very, very handy. For example, if you wanted to put your gilding flakes in there, you need a flat bottom for it to stand. In fact, you could possibly get all three in there. Actually, put one on the side. There you go. What a lovely gift that will be. All three gilding flakes in there. You don't get them with this particular deal. You have to buy them separately. But it just, it's nice, isn't it? It's a gift. Put a bow on there. Maybe use some of your embellishments. Happy Easter, for example, like this one with the bunny rabbit on. What a lovely idea that is as well. And it's so effective. Just the bag. We don't need to decorate the bag as such. We just put the bunny rabbit on there, which is lovely. Over a quarter of the stock has gone. These are perfect. These would be great for my little great um, um, clay models. How lovely. Uh, 9 99 saving £5, 3.82702 is your item number. Right, the gilding flakes, we were just using these actually on the project. Uh, very, very busy for these. We've got the gold, the copper and the silver in your gilding flakes. All you need is a bit of glue or something that's tacky. Um, 
to place these on and then you can start to create those wonderful effects. If you've got one of the quickie glue pens we sell, you could write your name and then you could put the gilding flakes over there or you could make a nice design and put the gilding flakes over there and just give them a little bit of a rub and they'll only adhere to where the glue went. So you can imagine the different designs uh, that you can put together. Right, so that's your uh, £10.99, pence. great price, 046241. Now we've got some charms for you. These really are charming. Love these. So you've got your dragonflies. You've got uh, your bicycles in there as well. You've got keys. Now they're lovely, aren't they? Great for your steampunk style projects. Oh, so these as well. Um, your, what do we call those? They're like a, it's a key. It's not an Allen key, but it's a key. It's a key. It's like a key that turns things. Clock winding. Clock winding. That's it. Thank you, Mel clock winder um, and then what else we've got a whole array all oh, got little um, boats in there little sail boats and a little heart pack lock as well love these and they're all metal 9.99 saving five pounds you get four of each and there are eight designs in there that is excellent value for money three five three 745 31 pence per charm absolute bargain absolute bargain remember the price of these will be going back up at the top of the hour uh, we've got some pallets and your pallet knives and your pallet there you go um, superb for using with your acrylic paints your watercolors as well so you've got the different areas for mixing your little trays there for putting your colors in i really like the design of this because you can put your thumb through there and you can rest your thumb right there and it's left-handed or right-handed left-handed or right-handed all of your pallets all five of them come with this particular deal for 11 pounds and 99 pence 205 803 is your item number remember you can see all items on the website and you can multi-buy if you want to you don't just have to buy one of each item so stock up whilst we've got them at these great prices now something else that we've not seen are the magnets mm. Uh, with the masking paper as well. Now, these magnets are great for your stamping platforms. They're also great for using as clasps in your memory books. Um, all kinds of different ways. You could even sew these in to a clasp and use it that way. £9.99, saving £25. That's a big saving for you. Uh, you get 10 magnets and you also get 20 sheets of your masking paper which is great of course for stamping on and then masking out your stamps and building up your compositions 952464 is your item number if you want to go for that remember you can multi buy if you want to so if you want 20 magnets just buy it twice pop it in your basket um right something else that we haven't mentioned all the papers i do believe uh, that mel has some of these with her so she'll show you these when we come back to mel 9.99 saving five pounds 160 gsm and you get 120 sheets they are eight by eight so choose between the spotty or the stripey you choose you decide if you can't choose and decide go for both of them you can do you'll be saving uh, on each of them four three nine one six eight spotty or stripey uh, right Mel back to you how are you getting on so good I'm um, so I'm just dabbing this off because I would I would leave it to dry normally would you I would leave it to yeah ah. because um, then I can just rub that's a good idea hard over it okay um, so you can see the gilding flakes and then when you rub quite hard over it it yeah. brings up a shine Ah, okay so that just shows you our lovely gilding flakes and nice silver easy to use yep and we'll wait for them to dry and that's when you give the final yep. polish over so then once they're dry you can just go like this you see, see. and they're not going anywhere that's a good tip so I've just done one of our lovely little bunny rabbits and I just think this just on your little uh, front door yes or um, kiddies room or wherever you want outside in the garden on the gate they're so cute aren't they just put some glue on the back so just a um, nice strong dries clear PVA glue and we're that. very busy for those embellishments that you're using there with the bunny yes. rabbit your little door uh, hanger three quarters of the stock is gone you get five of the bunny rabbits so and I think they're not just for Easter no not at put all. a bow put a little bow on the um, hole there Aww. um and I think uh, baby cards kitty cards yeah definitely even the eggs you know they could be balloons, balloons. Uh, and those are separate so you get five and five uh, you also get the basket with the eggs in there you go and then you get 
the chicken as well, little chick. Got a nice little hairstyle on that chick. Uh, nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Twenty five shapes. You get five shapes, five of each. There you go. Very busy for those. If you do want to pop them into your basket now to check out, then it would be a very good idea. Into your Easter basket. Nine double six five seven zero is your item number for those. Now the papers, Mel. So the papers. I love these papers. Um, they're quite um, earthy colours. Yeah, so they're not overly bright, but I love them. They all coordinate together. So you can use different different ones on one project. Yeah, they, they all blend really well they work together. Well, don't they? Some nice chocolate colours, earth colours, pastel colours. You get loads in there. I love them. And the stripy ones especially, really good for men's shirts. Yes. Um, men's cards absolutely brilliant so this one I'm going to show you I'm going to use so you get several you get a couple of the same sheets so I'm just going to do a nice little door hanger okay for you when's the first day of spring this year so there's some really lovely um, spring colors in in the card stock and I know you're using some nice spring style um, colored paints when is spring? 21st of March, I think. 20th of March this year. Oh, it's late this year. Is it late? Oh. Is that late? It's normally 21st of March, 20th of March, depending where it... Yeah. Right. 21st of March to the 20th... Sorry, 20th of March to the 21st of June, that's spring. Ooh. And then summer starts. <gasps> Love summer. Right, so these papers are 8x8, eight eight, so they fit on these plaques yep. perfectly, um, lengthwise. And all the plaques are the same width, just about, so they'll all fit yeah. perfectly as a Mel so if you're going for the um, mega bundle with the plaques. That's a really good idea. The details for those are at the bottom of your screen. So, and I know that you can get two plaques covered with one sheet because that, because that uh, yeah. fits right on top of there. Or a front and a back if you want to do Oh, yes, if you want to do a double-sided. So that. All right, now we want to make sure our holes aren't covered up. Now we've got 10 minutes left of the show. That's 10 minutes left. Ooh. Is that 10 minutes left of the show? And then we've got a few minutes after that when we go to a break. So we've got about 16, 15 minutes, 16 minutes for you to get the deals. Because when we go from your screens, you've still got another three or four minutes to check out your baskets. But if it goes past the hour at three o'clock, you will be paying the higher prices. So to get the discounted prices, it's worth getting them into your basket now and checking out whilst we watch the demo. So pressure now. Time. Pressure. No pressure. So nice to, easy to file through the holes. Now, if I was at home, I'd be letting this dry a little bit before I started filing okay. because you want your glue to set your paper. Now, like I said before, I'm, I love my sanding at the moment. Yes. So once this is dry, I would sand it. And what I like is if I go in a straight line, you can see where I've sanded on the actual paper. It gives oh, you a nice line. Okay. So it just brings up. if you can see that on the TV but it gives you like a, a different kind of color blue on the edge oh yeah look at that can you see it on there yeah just yeah, yeah you can that's interesting and it's really nice paper for sanding yeah so you don't you're not rubbing away the dots or the actual yeah. color it's just giving you a it's like that's it's got a, a like a, a coating on it yeah like yeah so you're just taking off the coating and it just gives you a nice muted edge there. Oh, interesting. Love that. You can just see that, can't you, on yeah. there? Yeah, you definitely can. So that's what I would do there. So right, that's my moment. So I'm going to hang some ribbon. I've sanded around the edges. Then I'm going to put a little embellishment on there. If I've got some foam tape, I do have some lovely foam tape. And what I've done with the embellishments is I've put them on bits of string and hung them with yeah. my double-sided oh, on the back. Oh, that's lovely. 
Now, we had some red liner tape on the show earlier. You may have got that. Could we use some red liner That's tape? That's what I've used there. Yeah. You can see I've put the red on the back. And we, what we get asked a lot at shows with yeah. the red liner tape, yes. what's the difference between red liner tape and normal double-sided? It's, oh, do you need me to answer that question? No. <laughs> I feel you do. What's the difference between red liner tape and normal double-sided yeah. tape? Um, part of it is red, so you can see where you're putting it. Nope. Um, red liner tape, normal. Um, it's 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 um, stronger. It is a lot stronger. A lot stronger. So once you've stuck your red liner tape down, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. So got you. And the tape is clear. A lot of people do think at the shows that we go to that it's red, but it's not. It is clear. So the red's just the carrier. Yes. And it's really easy to peel off. Perfect. But it's so it's really the red liner tape's really good for making your boxes and yes. things like yeah. that. So I just think these are really nice little plaques for door bedroom doors, bathrooms. Yep. I like the way you've got the little um charms at the bottom. I think that's really pretty. So put that. There. Then is my part painted bunny rabbit. Where's my paintbrush? My favourite paintbrush. Is it in the water? No, no. it's here. Why is that your favourite brush? I don't know. I think because it's. I like. I like it because it's dinky. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. It's just. Oh, my... I've got a favourite brush. Like, is that? Has that got um, like a chiselled end? It's, yeah, it's like, yes. Well, it's, yeah. 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 I like know what you flat. mean. One of my fav one of my favourite brushes, one of my favourite brushes has got a chiselled end, and it's my it's my go to brush. I think it's because it's got like that flat surface, and it's that's really good when you when you're using the um, painting on to MDF. Yeah. And I've changed my mind. I'm not going to have a pink bunny rabbit. I'm going to have a lilac bunny rabbit. So that's what also I like about this is if you want if you if you do a first layer of paint yeah. and you just like, well I don't like that. Paint over it. True. Say so paint. Yeah. And if you're doing a um, project where you're on your um, hexagons and that, if you're painting it and you don't like it, gesso over the top of it. Start again. And start again. Yeah. Recycle your projects. Just gesso over the top of them. I love his little green ears you've got. I just think, well, bunny rabbits don't have to be normal, do they? They could be yeah. anything, can't they? It'd be better if they were glowing the dark it is, because then if they went onto the road, you'd be able to see them. You would. But they're meant to be able to see in the dark rabbits, aren't they? So yes. they shouldn't be crossing a road when your car's coming anyway. No, you you just abide by that, all rabbits out there. Yes. Remember that. Uh, we're busy on the embellishments. That little bunny rabbit, we are limited stock for the Easter shapes. Uh, you do have the egg and then you've got the plain egg. So you can put those two together if you want to. You get five of each, by the way. Let's just turn that around and show you that one. He would make a really great mouse. Which, who? The egg, the plain egg. The plain egg would make a really good mouse, yes, because you could have the little nose down the bottom. Oh, look, in fact, that could be like little ears at the top. Can you see that? There you go. Um, <laughs> so you've got the, the egg. You've also got the bunny rabbit. So you get five little bunny rabbits. You get five of the baskets with the eggs in, and you get five of the chickens. What are you going to use first, the chicken or the eggs? Oh. Sorry. Oh. I know. Some tumbleweeds. <laughs> We've got four minutes, Mel. Oh, I'm gonna quickly paint, paint, paint. Oh, do you know what? I've got. I just put the bunny rabbit on top of the egg, and it looks like his little body. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Little bit of cotton wool. Yeah. On the for his, put, put for his little, little tail, tail at the side. How Isn't that lovely? Cute. That is really cute. That's that lovely. That would look so, really can lovely. Can I say the chicken to the egg? The bunny rabbit to the egg. Look, and there's his little. There's his little... Um, that would look really cute on one of the plaques. There you go. And then his little tail at the side. Look, that could be his little tail. There you go. There's his little feet. Jump like that. 
chumpy, 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 chumpy. Let's go back to Mel. <laughs> just leave me, just leave me to it. Leave you to it. You're jumping, jumping. So I've made a little bow. And I'm just going to stick that over because I'm not using him as a hanging ornament. He's still a bit wet because obviously we're on telly. Push for time. Just your nice strong PVA, PVA again do. Lovely. on the back. You don't need a lot either. No, I've, I've seen that. You've got quite a precision tip that you're using, so you're not putting an awful lot on, but it's sticking. Yeah. And then we're just going to put him. Would the glue work the same way as paint on your MDF? If you don't gesso it, the glue soaks into the MDF more? No? I haven't found no. that. Um, and then you've got... It's still a bit wet. Because we're oh look at that sleeping baby oh that's lovely so they all interact together all yes. the mdf you can yes, use together do. it's not just one love heart you can layer them yes um, i think we've got um something layered up somewhere we've got something um, oh I'll... yes in the corner there look against the flowers oh yes oh. Um, so you can use the different that. shapes hello there you go. I so, don't know why I had to walk like that. But that, um, I think that looks lovely. Yeah, that really is nice. The two layered up as well. Two different shapes layered up there. If you do want to go for the bumper pack, uh, we are busy for that. We'll bring the details up. You can multi-buy as well. So if you're thinking about making and creating uh, projects, 19 99 you're saving £15. If you check out your basket after at three o'clock that goes back up to 34.99 20 plaques in total 15 door hangers and you also get the 30 round um mdf tags as well so you get all of those those are the little round i say little they're not the good sizes good sizes uh, right one of the best sellers that we've had are the gems these have been very very busy mel why do you think that is uh, do you know what i've just had a thought do you know if you've got somebody that is isolating on their own yeah and you want to give them something to do get the bumper pack buy a packet of playing cards yep and let them loose yeah that's a great Just idea get them crafting yeah and the great thing is because a lot of these are self-adhesive um they're good to go directly out of the packaging and there's so many different inspirational car toppers tags and sentiments for 9.99 29 packs but in some of the packs you get multiple items so it is superb in uh, for value for money we've got about 10 seconds left mel when are we going to see you again i think i believe i'm here at the end of the month oh are you oh yes. lovely well it's been a joy and a pleasure thank you so much thank you very much you can give me the chocolates after the yes. show oh sorry we'll see you after the break I need to get them all before our oh, Catherine sets eyes on them. Uh, right, so we've got lovely Leonie coming up next with a fantastic show for you. Uh, Pink Frog Crafts, one day special after that, and then back to Crafty UK. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. 
You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Call in all crafters. This is a Hachanda announcement. We would like to inform you that our Hachanda buying crew have been busy searching for incredible brand new products and show ideas to inspire and stimulate all your crafty senses. So, watch out for Aileen's Original, Doodle Duck Designs, Etchol, Rose May, Rocks and Chains, Caterpillar Cross Stitch, Tulip, The Skinny Poo Company, the Isabel Craft Collection, Stadler, Hunt the Moon, Has Crafts, and Star Glazers. We will be checking in our latest new product arrivals from 6 p.m. on Thursday, the 21st of January. Gates close at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, the 27th of January. So, join us on board flight Hachanda Air for our new arrivals event. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Headaches. We'd started our family run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on Achanda. Good afternoon to you all. Do stay with us. This is the second out with our Leone. She's going to be joining you in a few seconds, actually, because I'm just here to introduce the show. But don't go anywhere because we're already busy as well. I can tell you that. Uh, second hour, as I say, I would also say to you, do go to the website. Use the app. That's the quickest route. Of course, check your baskets out as quickly as possible because already we've got a few items that look very, very vulnerable. Now, the first show, which was earlier today, of course, sellouts galore. That's all I can tell you. And you were shopping ahead, ready for the focus of this hour as well. I do believe we're going to have much more in the way of sellouts this hour as well. So do think about sh checking those baskets out as quickly as possible. But I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of our lovely Leone. Well, thank you very much, our lovely Catherine. Um, and yes, it was very busy in the first hour. Um, I'm really pleased because I am such a huge fan of Lesia. Her artwork is absolutely absolutely amazing and obviously the finished samples she sends us with the colouring in are just astounding. Now 
First of all, let's start with the alphabet. The first time we had this on, we have literally only had this on once and it flew. I mean, it sold out, um, oh, it was minutes. It absolutely flew. It's a beautiful alphabet. I mean, you've got all that gorgeous movement. It's absolutely stunning and it stamps beautifully. I mean, you can see it there. How, how stunning is that? You know, you might just be doing initials with this. You might be doing the, uh, the beginning of, um, of a sentiment with this or of course stamping out the full word really gorgeous if you like the cats they will of course in the first hour but yeah I adore that now there's loads of different ways you can use this um, I like the open space as well on it because you've got uh, the ability to color it in which looks again really really effective and it's dead easy to line up as well um, Beautiful. I mean, it's one of those that you will use time and time again. It sits with so many different designs, whether you're using it for your cards, whether, of course, you're using it in your happy planners that look lovely in your planners. Um, tons of ways of using it. I must admit, when I did the cards, obviously, I just went for real short words. Uh, but you can do your long words. I love that over the book page. I just think that looks absolutely exquisite. Now, if you would like to get hold of this, only £17.49. It is so busy. A quarter of the stock has already gone. It absolutely flew last time. If you missed it last time, or maybe this is the first time you've said it, then please check your baskets out on that. It is so busy. Now, um, everything's going to be dispatched on the 26th of January because obviously um, everything's, well, not obviously, uh, because everything's coming over from Poland. Um, so you've got a bit of a wait, but it's worth it. I do believe, and I said this in the first hour and still haven't checked, I do believe this is the only place in the UK um, that you can get your Lessia designs from. Um, obviously, Lessia herself has some beautiful, beautiful ideas and inspiration on um, Instagram. So please look her up because she does share some colouring in techniques and honestly her colouring in is phenomenal so please do follow Lessia. Okay that's your first one really busy 530006 is your item number. Now next and this is lovely I just adore him I mean I said the very first time I saw Lessia's work um, and actually I saw her on um, it was Instagram I saw her and I said to Caroline oh I like these can we get these and and um, and that's where it all began and I must admit the the first ones were the animals and the animals are just beautiful she draws them beautifully I love this one because she's put the wolf there but then you've got the gorgeous arrows and the arrows are lovely because it's that detail I mean they are so intricate and they stamp beautifully I mean really really nice detailed stamped images as well but then in this one you have the got um, be wild and free and I love that which is fabulous, and I think that's that is quite um, quite a, a thing. It's it would be rather nice to be wild and free, especially at the minute. Um, but have a lovely have a look at that. See, it's I really like that. Just the arrow in its own right, I think, is absolutely beautiful. Obviously, the wolf is fabulous. I mean, it's such a strong image. Is it a wolf or is it a fox? Is it a fox? But it could be a wolf, couldn't it? For some reason, but yeah, it looks absolutely like a fox, especially where Leslie has um, coloured him in. So, yes, yeah, sorry, fox, Mr. Fox. And look at that. I mean, it's just a beautiful image. If you like the triangle, we've got the triangle on the show. We will be showing you that in a moment. But if you do want that collection, it's stunning. It's only $13.99. Then... Again, they're the kind of things that you'll use with a lot of different stamps as well. Uh, 503576 is your item number. Next. Now, these have been really busy. Um, in fact, 80% of the stock has gone now. And I was saying this in the last hour. When I first, because um, obviously with Lessia's shows, I used to go through and pick uh, what we used to put on the shows. And I must admit, the geometry was one of the, oh, that were a whistle, wasn't it? The geometry were one of the, the ones that I seriously fell in love with. And at first it took, people were like, yeah, I don't really understand. But now everyone is like, yeah, love these. These are pattern building. These are, are just fantastic. And obviously, it's um, it's quite symbolic as well. I mean, your triangle. When you when you research a triangle, there's so many different. Um, they, it stands for so many different things, which is lovely, you know. And obviously, beautiful for building up as well. Now that one is slightly different. We put it here, but it is slightly different because it hasn't got. If I just show you, 
It hasn't got the, on that one, can you see it's got the other little triangle just at the end there? So, but that one hasn't, but it doesn't matter because you can use it in the same way. And I actually saw, bear with, does it? Oh yeah, it could be. Oh yeah, it could be. Am I talking rubbish again? Do you know what? That's twice in like the five minutes that I've just lied. Look at that. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Talking rubbish. Absolutely ignore me this hour. I probably should have had coffee. <laughs> um, so yeah, it is exactly that one and that's what you can do with it. Um, okay, it is limited stock gutted. I really want to use that as well, but it is limited stock. That means less than 10% remaining. You need to check your baskets out. That one is going to sell out. And we did have sellouts in the first hour. Please check your baskets out. Uh, 725207. Now next, and this is another absolute cracker. Love these. Um, you've got, again, talking about geometry. Um, Talking about that symbolism, I mean, all the gorgeous triangles here. Um, the used triangles, I'll read it about this. The waxing and waning of the moon, that's one of them. Um, the different, um, the different sort of, uh, the different times of the goddess, that's one of them. Obviously, um, the sun, uh, the spirit and the Holy Ghost, that's another one. That's what, um, and in numer numerology, the, it's the, because it binds the first and the second number together. So it's, um, it's something about the giver of knowledge or something, and that's number three. So your triangle stands for all sorts of stuff. Obviously, the circle, of course, um, stands for so many different things in so many different religions. Um, and belief systems, and that is just beautiful. I mean, however and whatever you're using this for, that is such a good stamp, and it's brilliant for pattern building. Because of the way it's been shaped and because of the way it's been designed, you can easily link it, which looks absolutely fabulous. Like, you can actually, you know the little circles rise at the end? You can easily over stamps and make a massive pattern with that. I adore this one. Um, obviously, with this one, oh, if I say obviously, again, when you go, eh, eh, my head, I'm doing my own head in with it, obviously. Um, that is beautiful. You know, Leslie has used that as a background, which looks absolutely sensational. She's used it there as a background. Doesn't that look cool? And you see, it works sort of, yeah, I think of it as your, your lovely potions and things with that one. That one, I've used it just as the background, which I absolutely love. And then I've actually used it on here as well. And on that one, you can see I've used the full, I've used it on the full page to create that background. And that's over an inky background. So it was already inky and then just use that over the top of it. And it just ties the whole page in. Love that stamp. Now, please check your basket out. They're both incredible. I mean, that one um, that Leslie did was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Check out Instagram because I know she's done that on Instagram. So please check that out. Um, stunning. Now, that is 0409. Six one, that's your item number there. And they go so well with your other geometry ones. They all tie in together. Now next. This is another one that has absolutely flown in the past. And this is beautiful, the whale. Now, oh, I love this stamp. This is one at first ones as well. So what you've got in this one, you've got the plain, the, the empty whale, if you will, the empty whale. But then you've got your layers. So that'll give you the solid finish. That'll give you the flowers. So with something like this, you can use it in a lot of different ways. You can put the solid in, you can just put the florals in, or of course you can leave the whale as it is. I think again with the whales, um, they've just got that, that, I don't know, it, they're, they're almost magical, aren't they? Because they're so big and so beautiful and so mystical almost. Um, you've also got the, the beautiful little schools of fish there, um, which are really, really handy. Now, just have a look at some of these beautiful cards. That is, of course, from Lessia. I mean... Look at the colouring in. She's so good. Absolutely beautiful. That's like the whale as it is. Then that one is putting the colouring and putting the gorgeous florals in. Putting the florals in and adding colour to it. And then that one is your beautiful little fishes. 
which I just adore, adore this. Um, if you do want to get hold of that, only £12.99. It's such a good stamp and cuts out easy as well. So on that one, I've got him um, floating in. And that circle, if you like the circle, that was the one in the first hour. Now, 990074 is your item number. If you'd love to get hold of that, just £12.99, your price. Now, next. This is another one that the first time we had it, we, 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 we had this one again right at the beginning when we started bringing Lessia's stuff and I love this. It's another one that you can do so much with. You've got the, uh, the moon, you've got the sun, you've got the um, wave. <laughs> you've got the wave there, which is absolutely beautiful. And then, yeah, you've got the clouds in there, you've got the stars and you can create shooting stars with those absolutely adore those and the the um the clouds because they're a solid and they've been kind of cut into they give you a really cool effect love this one the wave is beautiful it works with the um the whale of course that we've got in the show but i love that with lesia um what she's done there just a standalone image but i just think that looks gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um i've used the um with this one i've actually used and the the background so i've used the um the triangle stamp but then i've used the stars um and the moon there and the sunshine and the clouds just layering them up with different colors and then the bottle that sold out i think did that sell out or ross that did sell out in the first hour but look how good it looks on that page absolutely love it such a good set of stamps that one and it, you'll see these have been used a few times throughout different cards like on that one i've used the clouds there and the sunshine on that one to go in the bottle and it just suits it you know like this one hold on bear with bear with there that one that was the one that Lesia did that I copied um, in the first hour. But that is exactly what you're seeing here. It's the sunshine, the beautiful clouds, the little stars, and then the moon at the bottom. I just think that is fabulous. And um, if you do want to go for these, again, absolutely stunning. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. Really busy. Please check your baskets out. Zero seven seven zero seven five is your item number now. Last but by no means least, I mean the little bear this is beautiful it's so it's the simplicity of this image aren't there they're just having such a lovely cuddle i mean at the minute that is a brilliant miss you card it's a you know thinking of you card to sending a card to someone you love it's just such a beautiful image and i do love the simplicity you really i think a card like this an image like this you really don't need to do much with it i mean that is just such a, a stunning image on its own, in its own right um, and it says sending you warm winter wishes but of course definitely doesn't have to just be for winter I mean your bears are not just for Christmas they're for all year round uh, 184294 is your item number only 11 pounds and 99 pence now please check the website out we have got some of the stamps left that we had on this morning um, so do have a little perusal at some of those um, I mean the images are all amazing there's so many to choose from thing is though they're all quite cost effective so if you are going for um, for a few of these then it doesn't really break the bank and obviously if you are going for it and you're spending 60 pounds or more then we can split it up and you can get your flexi but yeah beautiful beautiful images please check Leslie out on instagram for more inspiration um, and if you've already got some of these i know you've already got some of these because these have been so busy in the past i would love to see what you've made with them i mean i know the whale and the alphabet were seriously busy what's limited did you say? Am I all right? Ah, right, okay. Those beautiful geometry ones, they have gone. Um, oh, you're gonna love those. But yeah, they've gone. Okay then, so let's start building. Right, you know, what I'm gonna do, oh, so many things I want to do. So what I'm gonna do, I wanted to use, um, this stamp, like I did in the um, the finished sample there, just because I really like this stamp. Uh, so this is a triangle. So first of all, I'm putting it right at the top of my um, my block because I know I'm going right up to here. You know me, I never ever um, 
uh, I never take my pages out because I can't be bothered, but it's okay. So what I'm going to do is start inking, start stamping. Now, don't worry about being perfect because you just start into layer. Oh, it's a good job I'm not worrying about being perfect, isn't it? Let me try and be a little bit more perfect. So go in and just, that's okay, that's better. So bob in and do that. And let's start building up. So what I'm going to do with these is start building this image like this. And again, I'm not being, I'm not too fussed about it being too precise, but the thing is with this, you can see where you're going. You can see where you're stamping. So it really does allow you to line it up beautifully. So for pattern building, it's fantastic. And I think that's one of the things that Lessie has absolutely nailed. Which is because you can get your points, you can see the points. So it allows you, I'm not worrying about that not being perfect. I kind of like it. So it means your points, you can see them so you can get them spot on. I mean, you probably take a bit more time, but I'm going to rush this one. Um, the triangle is also, depending which way it goes, so if it's pointing upwards, it's male. If it's pointing down, it's female. So therefore, it's... Um, you're sort of uh, celebrating the points that are more masculine and celebrating the points that are more feminine. That's another one of the, the things that a triangle represents. You can tell I've been reading about triangles, can't you? There we go. <laughs> Otherwise, all this will be forgotten by tomorrow. <laughs> Very fresh. <laughs> this is what I was reading at five o'clock this morning when I woke up. Right, so, <laughs> well annoying. So, look, and before you know it, it just builds up this fabulous fabulous pattern and it's easy because I'm lining up not just the top and bottom but because it's got those points um, in running down the triangle so you've got your point there there and there 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 and there so it allows you to line that up beautifully and <laughs> I wondered why a bit look I had a little bit of paper on my stamp so you know how there's bits missing on it that's because I had a bit of paper on my stamp. But do you know what? I'm going to pretend that was a technique because I actually quite like it. Um, I'm going to pretend I'm meant to do that because I quite I like the sort of bittiness. I like it not being 100%. Now, I am stamping, and this is something I did on the original. I stamped over um, a background. So one of my inky backgrounds that I hadn't used, you know, just cleaning as usual, and I stamped over that and I just love that something that was a really random page became a thing. You know, it actually became something. And I just thought it's a beautiful way of transforming your pages and making them look really, really cool. See, I'm still missing bits, but yeah, I like that. Now, considering that is a full page, how long did that take? You know, you can create a beautiful, beautiful pattern in no time at all with that stamp. And I mean, it is a cool design. So that's your first stamp. There's loads of ways of using that as well. If you manage to get your first, um, your first collection, the, the geometric shapes, then they fit so well with that. I might be, I won't be really naughty and use those as well because I am going to use the circle. So these were on the earlier show, but um, they were very busy indeed. So if you do want these, please check your baskets out with these ones. Before I do it, let's get a little bit of colour on this one. I don't really want to faff too much because, um, as usual, there's lots of stuff I want to do and show you. But we'll just pop. Shall I use? Yeah, let's use this. But let's get a little bit of colour there and let's get a little bit of colour and that one, so some really nice bright colour, like that, so squish that out there first of all, and I am kind of recreating the one that I did because I really liked it, and use my paintbrush, get this, it's also I'm faffing now, okay, and then let's just water this down so I can get it to drip and run, this is when, when you're doing your drips, you know how I bang on about having a big piece of card at the bottom, your, um, your pink pig card at the bottom. 
this is when you do it because I'm going to have that dribbling. If I had a piece of big card, which I haven't, but if I had a piece of big card at the bottom, then all this paint, I wouldn't waste any. Then you start creating another background. It's a brilliant way of using your A3 cardstock. I should have pinched some. I wonder if I've got any here. Uh, mm, I've only got black. I'll have to use that because I haven't got any. And it doesn't matter how much I'm hinting. I'm not getting any, am I? <laughs> oh, well. Forget about it. I'll just do this. So, so you spritz on like this. I was just after A3 white card. It don't matter to it because I've done it. So, there you go. Allow it to go. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> so, this is what you use it for. I mean, it's too late because it's there. But, if you do it like this, you see. And then, as you spritz down, the colour... On here, it picks up all the paint, so you don't lose any of the paint. And look, I love this, because as it spritz, you see, you see that image. Can you see the image just start to, to sort of explode? Then you get all that lovely, oh, love it, all that colour blending together. And of course, now, I mean, it's going to be a bit muddy on there, but that's cool. It doesn't matter, because it will still look really, really good. The drips, I'll just pick up a few of those drips. Move that to one side. Um, and because I have kind of got paint everywhere now, but let me just pick that up from other side because there. I'll get rid of that because that's really me, me rubbish side now, but the other side's my better side because that's where I would have. So you don't waste anything, you see. And that's why I'd highly recommend, not just for all the boxes and things, but for stuff like that, the A3 card is absolutely beautiful. And I do use um, the... Um, the super smooth all the time of course that is your one day special your pink frog did i say pink pig no i did set right one that's good i get all my pinks mixed up you see okay i'm all i'm all i get all mixed up with my pinks so give this a blast dry now this is when already you start to get it to to sort of become a thing the stencil behind it that sort of disappeared almost but now you've got your background, it's cutting into it here where the ink has just exploded. I love how the colours merge together as well. There we go. That splodge there, I'm going to pick that up just for, for time and also to stop me putting my jumper in it. Okay, and then just bring a bit more ink and I'm just going to blend that. So a bit of blending because then my... Oh, I love that colour. Because then it brings my 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 actual um, page together. So bring that lovely colour in, and it looks so nice with that with the yellow. Does that beautiful blue? There we are. Oh, see, I kind of want that. It, if you have that geometric one now over the top, it'd look absolutely amazing. We're going to use the circle because obviously you've got this on the show as well. Um, Okay, that circle limited stock. So if you do want this, you do need to check your basket out. That is limited stock. And actually, before I do this, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do it the other way about. So before I put that one on, where's my white gesso? I'm going to go on with white. I'll just use white paint. Sorry, folks, I'm faffing. And I'll tell you for why. Because if you do this first, and don't worry about it being perfect, but it'll just knock that back a bit, like that. I might put a little bit of pink on there as well, or orange. Kind of liking the, the brights at the minute, though. Let's see what I've got down. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that, beauty. Loving the brights. Let's pop a bit of that cheeky, cheeky brightness on, shall we? Look at that. Oof. Slap that on. There we go. Oh, love that. Okay, dry it off. And I'm just, I'm making sure I'm drying this off because I want to stamp over the top of it. But when I want to stamp over the top of it, I want the stamp, I want you to be able to see it. I don't want a texture, I want the actual print. Even though I've layered that, you can still see under it. So I, I haven't layered it that thick that it's, you know, that you can't see the the layers underneath and now I am going to use the circle so just ink that one back up again and pop that circle there like so 
which is just gorgeous see and that really stands out now absolutely stunning now because i've used my circle see imagine if you have if you've got these if you manage to get these popping those through there or popping it up that's gone but imagine what it's going to look like on a page like this and with that background it'd look absolutely beautiful but i tell you what inside that circle i bet i bet this would sit rather beautifully inside that circle let's have a little look because i reckon and i won't go in with the black i'll go in with the blue see look at that that sits rather nicely doesn't it in the middle there oh yeah i love that and again i'm not going aiming for perfect that's i like it like that this one and this is in and i will finish this page but just because this comes with the triangle and the thing i wanted to i promise i will finish that page i won't just leave it as is let me get a spare piece of paper because look the thing that that triangle can do spare piece of paper come on is i'm not going to fill the whole page <laughs> <laughs> three hours later Leon is still banging on about how good it is but look this is why this stamp is amazing it's just like the triangle whereby you can do and I've changed colors but if you've got a clean block which I haven't but when you've got a clean block you can line it up like that that's a bit bad but can you see you can actually that one i hit that one i missed but you can line it up so you can actually get in the circles so it means you can you can line it up perfectly and that one because i would just out of the circles slightly you do need a clean acrylic block you probably just see it top of my head there but mm, not too bad but yeah you need it but look at isn't that just beautiful and it's when you've actually designed and like for instance so for instance <laughs> where i'm off on so many tangents i love these stamps though you see you can do so many different things with these the really cool stamps but for instance if you go on with this one really light so if you go on with a really nice light um, oh, let me use that one. That's a bit cleaner. Might have a better chance. Try and set myself up with a bit of a chance as opposed to set myself up to fail. <laughs> so now, lining that up. So, dink, dink, about there. Mm, not too bad. I am rushing. Okay. And then again. So, dink, 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 about there. Oh, look at that. Fabulous pattern, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And then I'll go in like this. Dink, dink, dink. And it's the way it overlaps as well. Do you remember, um, oh, what were they called? Spirograph. And how it would overlap like that. Oh, love it. And then that one there. So, I do, no, just do it. Don't say what you're going to do, just do it. So bringing that round like this again. So what you're actually creating is that shape, but obviously you're creating it again, but you're creating it bigger. So that's about there, like that. Okay, so you've created that shape again, which looks beautiful. Now I know these have sold out, but if you then bring in the geometric ones which have sold out, Look how they layer up. So what I'm saying is, essentially, if you've got your geometric ones already, then you need to get these. <laughs> that is what I'm saying because look how good they work together. Because you then bring on this shape and you can have this running through the center. And actually, I'm gonna do it like that. Let me just line it up beautifully. There. Okay. And look at that. Look how it lines up. So you can have it, and it, and if I'd have used a lighter ink, you'd be able to see that better. But this, honestly, this is why I love these, because the pattern building possibilities are phenomenal. And it's very, I mean, it's very cool as well. Now this one, and I don't know what this will look like. It might be a bit too much. And I'm lining up the circle, but I'm also lining up that point with these points. So it gives you lots of visuals. Look at that. 
Isn't that cool? See, that's the stamp I couldn't design because it is perfectly measured and I don't perfectly measure nothing in life. But it's so beautifully um, measured that it means that all of that is easy to build up and it's really very interesting, you know, to look at and to do. When you do things like that, honestly, it's such a nice, um, it's watching it build up. It's so interesting watching it build up. So coming back to the one I were actually working with. So this one now, I want to find my gorgeous um, fishes. Let's go for fishes because obviously you get your, oh, uh, the word. Um, because you do get your fishes in with your wave, don't you? With the whale, sorry. So you get your little fishes with the whale. And I also want to find my sun and my moons, but I'm not quite sure which pile I've put them in. So I'll find those in a minute, because I definitely want suns and moons on this. Because the sun and the moon on this look absolutely fabulous. So you bring your little fishes in. And what I love about the fishes, it doesn't matter which way around you stamp them either. But you have got, um, you've got them going both ways anyway, if you want them. But look, your little fishes, like this. I'm going to rummage for my sun and my moon in a minute. Do you want Catherine to do a reminder of stuff while I rummage desperately to try and find my stamps? There we go. And then that one there. Right, I'm going to rummage now. Doesn't that look cool already, though? Hmm, OK. Does Kat, do you want Catherine to do a refresh while I rummage? Because I don't know if I've dug them out or if I've hid them. So... I'll have a rummage and be back with you in just a few moments' time. Over to Catherine. Thank you, Leone. Yes, let's have a recap down the counter. So, of course, we are starting with this set here. You heard it from Leone. This absolutely flew the first time round. It's so busy again this time. Half the stock has now gone. You are, of course, getting 26 stamps because there's each letter of the alphabet there for just £17.49. Let me just bring in those samples again. We've got that beautiful one here with the love. But, of course... Love can be uh, seen in many different uh, guises, can't it? There you are, on the book page as well. There, grow. I love that, absolutely adore that. Do you know these letters are just the right size, aren't they? Yeah. Not too big, not too small, they work beautifully. 530006 is the item number. Just a reminder as well, everything will be dispatched from the 26th of January. Moving down, let's have a look at our wonderful little wolf. Here he is. I'm doing it now. It's a fox. I'm copying Leone, you see. But it could be a wolf. It could be. It could be whatever you want it to be. It could be an Alsatian as well. And you've got the arrows there as well. But yes, he is really a fox, isn't he? Especially when you colour him. As you can see, he's been coloured here. Isn't that gorgeous? What a beautiful, beautiful image that is. Gorgeous. Using that stamp again there as well. I thought Leona was building up a quilt when she first started stamping there and joining all those shapes together. It looks amazing. Thirteen ninety nine, and you are going to get Fox Be Wild Sentiment and the Arrows as well. Four stamps in total. Five zero three five seven six. Then next, oh, we can't do this one, can we? That one has gone. I'm going to just lay those down then because you can't have them, sorry. Uh, but we can go to the next one. Let's go to this one here. Of course, these are the stamps that Leon has just been using, the triangle and the rosette. Absolutely love these. Half the stock already gone on this one as well. Isn't that card with the florals just beautiful as well? You know, however you work with these as backgrounds, as, you know, focal points, you know, break them up, join them together, it doesn't matter. They look stunning. 11 99 that's all it is for both of these stamps here. 040961. So, so useful. Then, of course, the whale and the fish. We've just seen the little fishes, haven't we? So, uh, oh, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. All in good time. That whale, how that's been coloured there. I mean, there's very little colour in the whale itself, but it just is perfect. And then if we add a little bit more colour, you can see those overlays there, the florals, gone into the main body of the whale. Then if you want to start to colour a little bit more, you certainly can do as well. Using the little stars, it looks great as well, doesn't it? But you know what? You're getting everything else as well. You're getting those fishes as well. So use those without the whale if you want to. Love that as well. Twelve ninety nine is the price for this one. Nine nine zero zero seven four. Then the star and the moon, I think Leonie's going to be using these as well. I've got to say that wave is absolutely beautiful. I was watching from the other side of the studio when Leonie did the counter and I wondered if there was a way you could kind of attach that wave and mask it over and make that a very sort of beautiful leaf or a petal to a curling flower. 
You know, you've got the choice, haven't you? You can try that when you get home. But you do get the sun, you get the moon, you get the stars, you get the clouds, all in this one kit. Only $9.99 as well. Two-thirds of the stock has gone. It has been very, very popular. 077075. Not surprised at these prices. These prices are so fair, aren't they? Very, very affordable indeed. Let me just bring this one in again. I know we haven't got the bottles now, but you can see the moon and the stars in the background. And, of course, that beautiful triangle that you've just seen Leona using there as well to make the background up. Let's move down again because of course we've got more for you. Let's go to the end of the counter and of course we've got the bears. Do you know you do get the winter wishes. You do get that but I'm so with Leone on this one just to send that as a card. You know if you're missing somebody or you know you can't see someone for the moment. I don't even think it needs a sentiment. I think it just says everything it needs to say just as it is. 11.99 is the price. You're getting two stamps. 184.294. Oh, wait until you see what's coming up. We've had an image come in. This is from Jane. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh. Look at the bears there. Look at the backgrounds. Oh, the oh I like high bear Nate look as well. Play on words. Very clever indeed. Well, you can do something like Jane has there if you go for that stamp set. 184294, don't forget. Uh, do remember to check those baskets out as well because we've been extremely busy throughout this hour. You know, in a very similar way to the earlier hour as well. Don't forget when it looks, when we're looking back at the previous show, which was, what time was that on? Was that 11 o'clock? It was 11 till 12. The cats that you can see on this card here were extremely busy. Do have a look. That circle that we've seen Leona using as well was also on the previous show, but still available on the website. Here's the cats. Look at these. You've really got to look into this image and appreciate how beautiful it is. Oh, it's stunning, isn't it? Two stamps in total, only twelve ninety nine. Again, so affordable. Four three nine two zero five. Now, something else that was popular earlier as well. Uh, we stay with the cats theme, actually. Oh, look at this! I didn't even see this one. Mummy's kitten stamp set. You're getting two stamps in total. Oh, that's adorable. Eleven ninety nine nine zero six four six seven, and then have a perfect day. Oh, perfect day. Let's look at that one. Oh, look, playing with the yarn balls. I'm not going to do it in an American accent, though. 11 99 is the price on this one. 273 Oh, lovely. Oh, Leonie, over to you again. Aren't they fabulous? They are. They're absolutely gorgeous. Playing with the yarn. <laughs> Paolo says that funny, isn't it? Yarn. Um, okay, so what I, I found, I found the um, the stars and the moons. I've just lost my acrylic block now. Oh, do you know, I'm useless, aren't I? I? I do, I put one thing down and then it just goes poof. I mean, it's here in front of me, but who knows where it is? Mm, don't matter, I'll use the big ones for now. So the... Um, Oh, no, that's a whale. So the stars <laughs> and the moons, now, with these, you want to, with these, you, they are beautiful. I would, again, highly recommend these, however you use them. I mean, you might be using them really, you know, really, really strong colours with black, but I am going to mix and match the colours. So I'm going to go my first one with the blue. And some of them might sit into the background because of, his, oh, because of the colours that I've used in the background. I've got stuff under there. I've got 3D stuff in there, so I'll just move that. But I like that. I think that's quite subtle. So I'll put that on as well. The first one that I did, I did use the... Um, I did use my Versafine Claire, which is why the images were stronger um, when I did the, the original one. But these are just fabulous. And it's the little clouds. I love the clouds. I'm going to do those in black so you can see them. These are just so cool. So I'm going to have the little clouds coming into my circle. Like that. Look at those stamps. They're just well cool. That's, that's floating in beautifully. And then you've got the teeny tiny little cloud here. And again, everything matches. It all goes together so well. There we go. That one's just floating in like so. And you can extend it, obviously. Oh, isn't that such a good image? And then let's have the lovely sunshine. I wouldn't normally do these all in black, but I wanted them strong. Then I know the with my background, um, my Distress Oxide is too light for the background. So that's why oh, I might do the sunshine just there. 
So just sitting, oh, I smudged a bit, that's annoying. Just sitting behind that cloud. I'm going to do that again. Right, this I might mess that up now. If I mess it up, hmm. no, I think I can get away with that. That's okay. Um, so just to clean that off, I'm going to stamp that on there. So I've got quite a lot of ink on there. Oh, look at that. Might pop that on there. Looks quite good, doesn't it? Um, beautiful stamps. They're so cool. Then these, the, those teeny tiny little stamps, but they're absolutely fabulous. Really, really good stamps. See, I do want stronger ink pads now. It's funny, all your, your ink pads, you'll use different ink pads for different jobs for sure. Well, that's okay. I can see that one. Wow, I've only got 15 minutes. So just ink stamping my little star. And quite random. I quite like the star with the fishes as well. Because it's it's quite um it's a little bit out there that. Uh, that one, the sunshine. If you do something like that and you botch it a little bit, let that dry and then just go in with a bit of black pen and you'll be able to cover it up or you put your sentiment there. Uh, but I'd go in with a black pen. Now, I am going to put the whale. The whale, I've already cut mine out, but I'll show you um, how to use the actual whale. So I'll get a little bit of card. Um, so with the whale, I mean, this is a beautiful... I want to use smooth. It's a beautiful stamp, is this? Because it's, it's just... Um, it's just magical. She does a lot of stamps that are just magical. So with this, first of all, you do get that beautiful whale. And he is just exquisite. And again, with this, you see, you could have the whale on there. And because these work with your geometry as well. So if you put a mask over the top and I've not done that properly I've only done it in um, I've only done it in paper but if I now take that image again and I go over the top and I'm gonna go over in shaded lilac so you go over the top and I'm going over in a lighter color hopefully keeping that mask in place but You'll see how it goes. Doesn't that just just a tiny bit of that behind it? Absolutely works. But then, if you were lucky enough to get the others, they then you see you then bring that, and you could bring that again over the top, so it links with these. Can I just show you? I know they've sold out, but I just want to show you how it all links together. So if you've got one, why it works with the other one? If you see what I mean? Because if you look. That circle, again, you need a clean thing, but that circle will work with that one. And that circle, I can actually get that circle to stamp inside. Oh, hold on a minute. Clean block. No, this is my cleanest block. I can get that. Oh, I do annoy myself. This is when I annoy myself for not having really nice clean blocks. But considering that we're a dirty block, I've done that well. Even though I say so myself, that would more good luck than good management. But can you see how well they line up? And this is why, I know I keep banging on about it, but if you've got one, I'm pushing my luck now, trying it twice. So if you've got one, this is why I highly recommend the other. Because look how, see, it just looks magical. They look really, really um, mystical almost. It's just got that, and especially whales. I mean, let's face it. They're just phenomenal creatures, aren't they? So if I then take um, one of my other colours... So you can build it up like that. OK, move on, because that's one way you can use it. I'm going to do what I did earlier on and just do different ways of using your beautiful whale. Um, I'm using a smooth card because I'm going in for a texture, um, because I'm going in with the other stamp in a second. So I want it smooth. So you can have him like this. And again, if I bring that one in, but then bring in my beautiful, where is it gone? There, my beautiful wave. And of course, the wave will work wonderfully with the gorgeous whale. So if I have my lovely wave, I've stamped him in black, so this one I'll stamp in blue. And this one, so pop that back over there, like that. And then I'm going to have a wave coming in from this right side. And then 
a wave coming from the other side. Now, if you do want that wave set, 80% of the stock has gone. Um, it comes with the sun and the moon and the stars, which are just exquisite. I mean, that, the movement of that stamp is exquisite. We'll do it in threes, because obviously that's what we're talking about, isn't it? We're talking about our sacred geometry and magical numbers and stuff. So let's have threes. Don't faff Leone. So we'll have that. So it's following the wave. And it'll come round like that. So it's following the wave. See? So then you've got that movement. But look at that. And actually what I would do with that now, I would use the sun and the moon and the stars like that sunshine. Let's use that again because I just love it. And oh, I'm not going to go in light colour. I am going to go in black. Just because it's such a strong image. I'm going to stamp it right there, right central, like that. Oh, I've moved it again. No, don't mess with it, kid. Come on, quite like that as well. But I like it how it's central. And actually, what Leslie did before when she put the moon underneath, I do love that. But this time I might put the moon over the top. So bring in the moon over the top, like so. And again, if you've got them geometry ones, They'll work with that. Don't that look cool? Really cool. Because then, of course, you can bring your beautiful little stars. This is when you absolutely use your small block that I've put in a safe place. But then you can use your little stars. And you bring your stars in so that I can get that sort of line up. Right, so how cool does that look? Especially with that whale. That whale is just divine. And they start looking all a little bit magical now. Oh, I'm having a lovely time. And then let me show you one more with Will. So what you, you know, the, the way it has been designed and one of the ways you can absolutely use it is using all three together. So if I get him again, so just get the beautiful Will. It works with flowers and everything though. You know, we had the blossoms from the first hour. Absolutely works with the flowers. So don't just think it has to be you know, with, well, it can be anything. Of course it can, because it has got flowers in its body, of course. Of course, of course. Oh, what if I use there? I don't want that, do I? Bear with, bear with, folks. And I'm inking it, but I am going to get this off because I didn't want to use black, because otherwise it's just going to, you're not going to see it, are you? And that'll be daft. So I'll just stamp that off because I don't want that. Let me just clean that off now because I've used the wrong colour. Like that, and then choo -choo. right, got the blue there. Make sure your stamp is clean. If you've got any blobs on it, when the solid stamps, then you can see there. I mean, that is some on the stamp, so you can always tell if it stamps like that. And it's like, oh, yeah, so you've got some on stamps, just clean your stamp off proper. Um, if it does that, and you don't want to re stamp over that, just go over with your black pen, it'll be fine. And the way because it's a solid stamp. Your distress um, inks will probably puddle a little bit, but actually for this, I really like that puddling. Can you, oh, I love that. I just think that is so beautiful because it just gives you that really nice kind of, um, I don't know, almost watery effect. And then the last one on this one are the gorgeous flowers. And again, it really helps if you have got a clean stamping block, which is my cleanest none of them so that one is my cleanest so taking my black ink again which is there and this is just so pretty this one will match with the flowers that we had on this morning as well they do go rather beautifully together so with a cherry blossom and now just lining it up about there it might not be perfect but I, I keep doing that. I lift it off and then go back on again there. So approximately there, like that. And how pretty does that look? Can you see the beautiful flowers in there? And then if you want to lift some of that ink off, because it's distressed, it might not lift on this card, I'm not sure. But because it's distressed oxide, it might just lift out of there. No, no, not really. No, the card, it depends what card you use for that. But this one's 
it's soaked it in but i would actually um I'd colour that in beautifully anyway. But isn't that just such a gorgeous, gorgeous image? Right, so that's the little whale. What I have done here is cut my whale out. So I've got my lovely little whale and he's going to be going over the page like so. But what I'm going to do, because I'm not happy with my sunshine, not happy, and I can't get over it, I can't let it lie, <laughs> because so what I'm actually going to do is bring a die cut in because now if I bring that die cut over there then it gives it a different obviously it, it changes the way I'm looking at it but it just covers up that sunshine but it looks like I'm meant to have that there so that absolutely fits so that's what I do it looks like it's meant to be there doesn't it I then bring on my sentiments and the sentiment of course we've got be wild and free and that I think that fits so well because you've got your beautiful will you've got the sun and the moon and um, the wonderful fishes so I just think that works wonderfully so be wild and free and then all that needs is obviously gluing down but then um, some splashes and the splashes are gonna be a mad bright pink because I can so I've got this mad bright pink that I absolutely adore I mean look at that neon pink I love that so just taking my paintbrush mixing it with a bit of water like so and get some little splashes occurring on there this is where Leone splashes it all over a jumper again feel it going up my arm <laughs> there okay I'm happy with that I might even color the frame in pink maybe maybe not I don't know I'm in two minds too late now Let's splash it, done it, no, oh, done it, too late, done that. It's like my my relationship with cake, that. There. <laughs> oh, too late, did it. Oh, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to put drop shadow around my lovely whale. So he'd be 3D'd on there, then a cheeky bit of drop shadowing. And I'd actually do drop shadowing, sorry, I told you I'd finished, and I have. But I'd actually then, and I'm just going to show you this because it absolutely makes a difference. Take your ink pad and definitely take the time to do just round that circle. Just do your drop shadow because honestly that will make such a difference to that and it will look really finished. I will put a photo, I will finish it um, and I'll put a photo on um, that their social media when I've finished it. But you'll be able to see how different it looks with your drop shadow straight away. Right, I'll stop faffing. <laughs> Oh, well done, Leone. A very quick recap before the end of the hour then. So, of course, we'll start again where we began, right at the top of the hour with the alphabet. 26 stamps in this one. It's been extremely busy. Doesn't matter whether Leone's used it or not. You've found it. You're loving it. Isn't that a gorgeous card? Do watch out for those cats as well. Let me just very quickly, as I give you the details, show you the other samples as well. £17.49 for all 26 of the stamps, the full alphabet, and it is beautiful. 530006. Then, of course, we do have our fox. Mr. Fox is here as well. I love this. The text in the background on the canvas or the watercolour we've got here is beautiful. Be wild and free. Of course, the sentiment that Leon has just used, so you can mix this around with other stamp sets that you've got as well. £13.99 for the fox. There are actually four stamps in total because you're also getting, as well as the fox and the sentiment, you're also getting those arrows as well, which you can use on their own or in conjunction with anything else, of course. £13.99, £5. 03576. Then, moving down again, we've got the geometrics that are still available, the triangles and the rosette. These are just wonderful to work with. As we can see, with the backgrounds that Leona's been building there and the different samples that we've got here in the studio, do grab these while we've still got some stock of them. They've been very, very busy. 11 99 is the price, 040961. Of course, everything else is on the website. Do check those baskets out. Don't miss out. That's what we like to say because you will regret it if you do. Leone, I've got to say, 
Very well done yet again. Can't Thank wait to you. see that finished page as I'm well. I'm going to be faffing now, aren't I? You are. I'm but going that's to have fine. A, that's a, great. We a love little it. faff. I'm going to be in this corner for another maybe 10 minutes. I, I do need to go <laughs> home. <laughs> but no, thank you very much. And oh. I'm back on Monday at 7 a.m. Are you? Uh, oh, I know. With, um, with a show. I forgot what I'm doing. It'll be great, whatever but, it is, yeah. won't it? It's it will. Product. Menu coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is on Monday, it'll be on the schedule. It'll be fantastic. Coming up next, it's the final call Pink Frog Crafts One Day Special. Then we've got Crafty UK Quilting Templates and then Studio Light. Did you know you can watch Ochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people would be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard 
designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Yes, indeed. Good evening. Is it evening? We could go with evening. Early evening. Let's go with early evening. Uh, I hope you are well. You are looking at a four o'clock show, which means, if you know Hanchanda well, four o'clock is called Final Call. For the sheer fact, this is the last live hour of our one-day special before the price goes back up at six o'clock when we open the doors for the sweet shop to another brand new one-day special. Now, come closer. I've got something to tell you. We have been, keep your distance, we have been remarkably busy for this one day. So, like, over what we actually thought. When we go into a meeting room, we sit there and we go, how do you think it's going to do? We go, oh, it will do all right. It's, a, it's lovely, super smooth, white card stuff. It will be fine. We'll have enough stock. We sold out. At the end of the eight o'clock show this morning with myself, Catherine bought it back at 12 o'clock on extended delivery. This is where my point now lies. We have spoken to Mr. Pink Frog himself. And what we are saying, there he is. Uh, we spoke to Mr. Pink Frog himself, our Andrew, and said, can we get any more? He said, you can, but we are that busy we're going to have to push back on the extended delivery date, only to the 25th. It will only be dispatched on the 25th, which is only, uh, what was it, four days extra. So that is, you've already ordered, the extended delivery date now is the 25th of this month, which is not that long to wait, OK? So you're, in, you're still in for a good treat. You're getting everything in there, and already... Over three quarters of the stock has already gone. You can go back now. Uh, I'm not on my own either. We have sort of, you could say, the brand ambassador of Pink Frog. It is true, you are. Uh, we have our Hazel here. Good evening. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Right then, let's get straight down to business with this. I'm yes. going to put you on the spot. Okay. Sum up our one-day special in four words. Exceptional value. For money. I like it. Mm. I like, that's good. That's that quite was good. sharp for me. That was quite quick. I was thinking, well. God, what's he going to say? <laughs> I was going to say five <laughs> words, but I could it down in my head. Uh, it, and it is exceptional value for money because what you are getting in this kit is a kit like no other. Yeah. This has a bit of everything in there. Let me go through the sizes and what you're getting. Then we'll also add, show you the templates. Oh, yeah, there's templates as well. Uh, 937606 uh, is your item number. 937606 is your item number. So your A3 that you're getting here, you are getting 20 sheets of this, and it's 300 GSM is what we're looking at. We then go to your 12 by 12. 25 sheets, 300 GSM. We then go down to the middle to your A4, 50 sheets of A4, uh, that is your paper, so that is yeah. your 180, GSM. 180 yeah. GSM is what we're looking at there. We then go down to the bottom, this is your 15 by 42 yeah. is what we're looking at there, which is 25 sheets, and then you get your 15 by 30 down there, and you're getting 50 sheets of that at 300 GSM as well. You are getting all of this for £19.99, 170 sheets in total. Not only are you going to get everything that you see here, we're also going to throw in templates as well. Hazel, what do these templates give me? OK, so the first one, this is to work with the A3 paper, uh, card, sorry. Um, this is to make a notebook bag, which looks a little bit like this here. OK, so the lift flap, you've got your little handle there, but it shows, and this is going to be a demo in this hour. Hopefully, if we get there, I'm sure we will. Uh, you can also make memory books. So you've got your full, you've got your pictures there, you've got your instructions on the back, which look a little bit like, let me just pull oh, one I of like these this in. One. This I'll one's do this nice. step by step. So, yeah, the spine and everything, this is made from the 15 by 42s, but you can make it from the 15 by 30 as well. And nice. um, then moving on. 
you've got templates for the landscape bag, which is this one. Nice and bag. Nice also bag. the pizza box, which is this one. I think it's better that you physically see it because yes, then you can, can you can see, yeah. Then you've got your portrait bag, which is this one. Which costs a fortune in the shop yeah. to buy a portrait yeah. bag. And then you've also got your bottle bag as well. Jeez. And at this point, I do want to thank um, the design girls. We've got Cheryl, who's a new lady. Wonderful job on the bags here. We've got Claire. We've got Anita and we've also got Caroline. So I do thank you all because it does make my job so much easier. Um, that's not all though. What, there's more? Yes, because then you're going to be wanting to make frames. So if I just pull in maybe this one, this is all made from Super Smooth. I'll pop that at the front for you. There you go. So um, two sheets of 15 by 42 for the top and the bottom. You've got two sheets of 15 by 30, one each side, an A3 for the back. And then you've got some smaller bits which you can use from your 15 by 30. You're going to get all of the instructions for your frames in there as well. Mm. On top of that, you're going to get an instruction sheet for 10 folds on your 15 by 42s and 10 folds on your 15 by 30s. That totals up to 36 projects that you can make straight out the packet when it comes home but you can make so much more than that. And it's all about the techniques and what you can do with the card. So you can stamp onto it. You've seen me using paints on it. You've seen me using gessos. We've been using Ecoline pens. We've been using brushos. I'm looking around to remind myself. Um, we've got distress inks, we've got eyes inks. Whatever your medium, it will go onto this super smooth. It really will. We are talking a bundle and a half, a £10 saving. The price will go back up to £29.99. You are getting all of this and your instructions as well for £19.99. 937606 is your item number. Now, I know what you're thinking once again. I'm one step ahead of you. All right then, Adam, this is all well and good. And I've seen you can, you can do this, you can do that. But prove to me that you can wet it. Prove to me that you can use brush shows and water. And it's as good as the cardstock that you say. OK, let's prove it to you that how good this cardstock is. Right, then go on, Hazel, okay. baffle me. We'll do a couple of... Um, well, where should we start? I'm dipping into my little box again because it has been invaluable. And I'm just going to take a couple of A6 pieces. Um, in fact, I am going to do a Leone special because I'm going to spray. I haven't done any spraying yet. It will take water, um, any of your sprays. So to protect my surface and give us a pretty bit of card... And I'm going to put a lot on here. We'll really mix that in. Of course, I'm going to have to let that dry so I can pop that to one side no, whilst we're doing the next piece. Um, naturally, we all want our inks to blend onto the cardstock. Let's turn that over because I've got a little bit of spray. So um, if you use sponges, I always tilt mine away so the middle of the sponge is blending onto the cardstock. That's going to give you a nice smooth blend. If you're not confident with this type of thing, you can use your um, blending brushes as well and they work perfectly. So I need to know that I can blend my ink perfectly on there. Sometimes, um, depending on what I'm doing, I want a perfect smooth blend. Sometimes I just scrub it on. It depends on the technique that I'm doing. So we'll add that through. That's your seedless preserves. Let's go into some Mermaid Lagoon. And again, it wouldn't matter if I was using Distress Inks. They would work on here fine as well. And we're just going to start and blend those two colours together. And you know, it's always that saying, the right tool for the right job. Yeah. This is giving me a, a nice That's blend beautiful. through. Um, so let's stop there and just add some water. Just spritz that on. And then we'll mop that through. But so far we've put ink on this, we've wet it. Yeah. There's no buckling or creasing. And we'll take that away and that gives us the beautiful faux bleach effect there. Look at that. If we then, I'm going to take advantage of that ink there, we'll add some more down. And we'll spritz this. This time we'll add oh, new, oh, avalanche. <laughs> we'll spritz some water down there. Now this is going to give us a wet, um, a wet mop up. I've still got some beading, so I can get some nice beady effects there. If I wanted more of a wash, I would have done it straight onto my glass mat because that gives it more of a wash effect. 
but you can start and do this. This is where you need to start and dry your layers now. So we'll just give that a blast. Look at that. You see how the colours that I just love. This does never gets old to me. Every single piece that you pull is is different to the one before. And it's still vibrant. It's Absolutely. Not, it's sucked in all the colour. No. And always dry the back if you've got it really wet. And that brings it right down flat again. Okay, so that's blending and that's picking up um, a print. Now I want to have a look with my stamping. I'm actually going to do it on the same... Shall I do it on the same area? Maybe. I might even treat myself to a new bit. Now I always pick up the poppy, so I'm going to use my rose because I don't want it to feel left out. So, so, let me just get this right. So this card stuff that we're using at the moment, you've now made yourself a stamp book as well to keep all your stamps I have, in. yes, and we did really quickly cover it. So this is A4 sheets. I've got a sheet and I've scored it at 14 and a half centimetres. I've rotated it round and done 14 and a half from the other end. That gives you a seven millimetre gusset, okay? And then your stamp sheet, you pull it apart and you stick half to this side. So when you pull that away, you've got, you know, the colour yeah. the acetate's printed, so you know exactly where your stamps are going. And on this side, I've put the acetate and that holds all my masking. Mm -hmm. Which is perfect because it's exactly where I where I need it to be, right by my stamp. And that goes to prove how well this paper is because you would carry that everywhere that with you is, in your that bag. Does go. And, and each time we get a new stamp set, because we're on seven at the minute, and I'm thinking, how how big am I going to get this? I know we've got another couple of three in the making, so that's going to take it to ten. Um, wow. I might then start another one. You, who who knows? Right. So a rose stamp. Oh no, let's have a look at this one. So our spray, that's pretty much dry now on its own, but we will finish off them edges. I'm going to cheat slightly. Just dabbing that along the way. But look at that. Look at that. That can then be scored and made into something. It can be a background. You could add some of your mica spray now onto there. So this is just water with a bit of mica in and that's going to give me a little bit of glitz. Let's see if that'll do any stripping. Not not like that, not that kind of stripping, but stripping the colour out. So what's going to happen here, when I put this on, it will take the colour out but leave the sparkle there. Oh, OK. So I know that it's worked because the colour's on my tissue, so you see? And then when I... I don't know if you can oh, catch yeah, we can that. See. Can no, you we can see the see sparkle it. there? Yeah. But it just ge it just adds more and more interest to that background. Okay, so that was our spraying. I'm just going to pop that on the floor. We'll come back to that. Let's move on to that stamp and spritz. I'll, I will do it on a new bit of card. Because I've got plenty, let's be honest. <laughs> okay, um, what colour shall we go for? I'm going to go brown. I'm just feeling the brown mood. Okay, ground espresso. Pop that on. It's because it's going to lead us into our next demo. Pop that down. Whether you use your mica or your water, I'm going to give it a little spritz so I just get a little That's bleed nice. out of that colour. I probably set myself up to fail because I didn't do it in my stamping platform. Um, if I'd have put it in my stamping platform, I would have known it would have been in the perfect place, but we'll get there. Dry that out. Am I going to cheat? A little bit. <laughs> Turn that over. OK, so then we can go back in. Now, you can use the same one, or you could, I could have gone in with the Versafine. It would have been a little bit darker. So let's just see if I can get this. I probably won't do it, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, it's a little bit off, but you're getting the gist of it. And then you can go in and... Don't look too bad. It's because I'm closer to it. <laughs> you can pick up your ink and start and then paint it. So bearing in mind that's got wet and it's dried, you can still then paint on. Take your colour off and you can still fade that out. So you still can work with the card. Now, obviously, it's not a watercolour card, so you wouldn't think that you could do too much like this but you can do enough to get good results. So that's about your stamping and pulling the colour out and doing your image. So I'm just going to leave that there. And then 
I'm just going to tidy this up and then I've got a, a full demo for you. We'll, we'll make a, we'll be making this card here. Look at that. Okay. And I'll show you exactly how to make that from the instruction sheet. Um, the, the card design is on the instruction sheet and then we're going to be using all these stamps as well. It's worth having a little okay. look at £19.99. You are getting your A3, your 12 by 12, your 15 by 42, your 15 by 30, and your A4. 170 sheets in total is what you are getting. Let's break that down for you. Uh, let's start with the A3. You are getting 20 sheets of your A3 at 300 GSM. Uh, you've also, so that's your A3. Uh, that we've got there. So that is your A3 that we're looking at. Uh, for your A3, we've then got your 12 by 12, uh, 25 sheets of your 12 by 12 at 300 GSM. Then we move on to your A4, which is a slightly lower GSM. Uh, GSM. Uh, it's sort of a paper that we've got now. It's 180 uh, that we're looking at, and you're getting 50 sheets of this one. Uh, then we've got your 15 by 42 uh, centimeters. You're getting 25 sheets of that. And if I bring that one in as well, you can sort of see the size difference that you're getting there. That is your 15 by 30 that you get there, and you're getting how many of them? 50 sheets of those as well. All of that, but nearly 80%. Now, 80% of the stock has now already gone of your one-day special. Everything is now dispatched from the 25th of this month uh, because we are so, so busy. While we're busy on this, 937606 is your item number, £19.99. and pence. But from there, something else that I've got on the show as well. It's your super smooth and your envelopes as well. This is your 20 by 40 centimetres and your 18 by 36 centimetres. Uh, you're getting 45 in it in total and you're also getting the envelopes thrown in as well. Uh, this is your super smooth that you've got. It's the size difference. If you like making your larger cards, this is the perfect way to go. You can see the size difference that you're getting there as well. Obviously, if you're half down down, you're now sort of talking a Phil Martin card right there. That is a front cover of a Phil card, if ever I saw one. Uh, and then you've sort of got your smaller cards as well. Don't be scared of the white card stock. Remember, go for the size that you use the most. Now, if you're thinking that's all well and good, Adam, but I don't use that sort of size. Remember, you can cut it down. Remember, you can make it smaller if you want to. £13.99, and and it includes the envelopes as well. Uh, 968986 is your item number. Um, why is this a nice little bundle? The 18 by 36 is our, uh, our newest size, so that's kind of equivalent to a 7x7 seven seven card. Okay. And then the 20 by 40 is your 8x8, eight eight, but you can make your boxes out of there as oh, well. Yeah. Don't forget you're going to get instructions for 10 folds of each. You're also going to get the frame instructions with them as well. So we get 10 instructions yeah. for the folds as well, and we get the frame instructions exactly. included yeah. in the kit. There is a little frame peeking by the envelope at the front there. I can see it to the end. That's, that's it. So that's made out of the 20 by 40. Ah, and and so they, you, I like these pencils. They're sturdy. They're sturdy little yeah, frames. They are. And they, I mean, that's got just a little bit of texture stamp around it, but how nice does it look? It, it really always looks like you, marble. You put a little stand on the back of that. That's good to go. And, and yeah, you, normally, all you would do is score one of the cards in half, and that would give you your frame card. And just looking at the front, can you see a frame card? That one. That's the one. There you go. So that's been put. Cheryl's done that one for me. It looks absolutely gorgeous. That is your frame card. Looks yeah. That's what you, and that's made from the 15 by 30. I know it's a smaller version, but they all work the same. I absolutely adore them. I mm -hmm. really, really do. £13.99 is what you're looking at. 968986 is your item number. Uh, from there, you've got your bumper set of Super Smooth that we're looking at now as well. I uh, absolutely adore these. 459977 is your item number. In this one, you're getting your Pink Frog Super Smooth 300 GSM, all 300 GSM, so we're talking construction. But we're now talking your 21 by 30 centimetres, your 15 by 30, and all you're also getting your 15 by 42 centimetres as well. 125 sheets in total is what you're getting. Um, you're getting 25 sheets of the 15 by 42 and 50 of the other sizes as well. All that for £13. And 99 pence. Uh, what? Don't this is one of these shows where you think, oh, I don't know which bundle to go for. Do you know what? Though? It's almost like each bundle is a one-day special yeah. of its own, isn't it? Massively. Um, and you are getting your instructions. So three sets of instructions for the three card sizes plus your frames. Because you can make your frames from there as well. But then you'll be making cards. Remember, you get all the details to make cards like this. So if you've never made uh, a separate card like this before, you'll get the details to make that. Then you'll also get the details to make cards like these, which are absolutely... Look how beautiful and how sturdy yeah. and rigid they are. These ones I absolutely adore, cards like Look at that. 
Now, you won't get the instructions to make that one. It's not on the sheets as yet, but there is plenty of little videos around um, on, on, on Pink. There might be one on Pink Frog page. There's definitely one on my page. So if you want to have a have a nosy, I'm sure you'll I see like, it. It just shows how sturdy they are. Yeah. They don't go nowhere. I know. Uh, I made one of those from the 15 by 42s and the chocolate with Leone when I was on last time. I didn't make it as a demo, but I did make one. I just love them. They're they such are. fun. I absolutely love it like blind date. Yeah. Uh, love it. <laughs> uh, for £13.99 pence is what I like. 459977 is your item number. Um, are we... Oh, we're going, we are going there. Uh, you're going for your A5 and your A6. <laughs> is up next as well. Now, this is limited stock on extended delivery. If there was one that I personally, for me, that I would go for, this would be it. I get scared of the big white pages and I haven't got the craft rooms or the cutting devices to start cutting papers down. This, for me, is the perfect size because once I get going, I'm like, oh, I'll do a bit of that and a bit of that and I'll move on to the next picture now. £13.98, pence. limited stock, extended delivery from the 25th. Oh, the 18th for this one. Uh, the 18th for this one. So if you want this, it's on extended delivery from the 18th. £13.98, 698005. This is a nice little, if you've never used Pink Frog Card before, a nice little place to start. Absolutely perfect place to start. I mean, it's worth pointing out as well, the reason we do all of these sizes is, is so that when you're at home, you have got every size imaginable to your hand. This is to cut down on waste and bits of offcuts that you just chuck in that drawer yeah, and, and never get to. So don't forget in there with the A5, score it down the middle, you've got an A6 card blank. That's 160 card blanks. And then you've got... Um, Double that, 320, my brain. <laughs> Math and layers to go on the top if you want, or to do your techniques like what I've done. It's worth having yeah. a little look at, really, really is. Um, this would be my pick of the show, out of them all. £13.98, 698005 is your item number. Right then, let's put this card to practice. We've also got True Black card as well, uh, is what we're going to. Uh, you're, we are shopping ahead of me. We weren't going to come to this now, but we're coming to it because you are buying it ahead of me. £18.99 is what you're looking at. Uh, 584418 is your item number. True Black card as well. Uh, acid and lignum free, you're looking about 200 and 80 GSM, 20 sheets of your A3 and 40 sheets of your A4 is what you're talking about, which is absolutely phenomenal. 584418 is your item number. We've had a sellout. Oh, the A5 and the A6 is gone now. On the 18th of Jan, uh, 18th of Jan dispatch date has now sold out. Uh, so that is now gone. Well done if you got that. I absolutely adore that collection. Uh, right, Hazel, we'll come to you this time. What are you up to? So we're going to make the inverted stepper from the 15 by 42. So I've got a 15 by 42 sheet there and I've got my scoreboard on the centimetre side. I'm going to score on the three centimetre line. Now, because my board doesn't have measurements down the side, there are boards out there that does, I have to guesstimate and I'm usually pretty good at guesstimating. So I'm going to start my score line from three centimetres down and score down and stop it three centimetres from the end. And I'm going to do that the same on the six centimetre line and the same on the 24 line. The reason I'm going 24 is because that's three past the halfway line and it just makes all the folds work. At this point, I'll also mark in the halfway. So on the 21, I'll come down for three centimeters and I need to go up, but I'll flip it over because it's easier for me to do it. Like so. Does this come in the instructions? This is all in the instructions. Oh, you don't need to remember it. The only reason I remember it is because I make so many of them. They're kind of just glued up there. So now I'm going to join up these three lines here. So on the three line, down. Now normally when we make these on a smaller version, the 15 by 30, I can get this in my trimmer. But because this is longer, I can't, so I have to cut it by hand. Ah, okay. And that's why I'm scoring them lines in and not cutting them. So what we need to do, knife, make sure you've got a nice sharp blade in there and then lay your I'm going to come from the side a bit because I'm a lefty so make sure your blade's through and you'll feel it pop through the card if it's sharp and then just line that up take it out and just cut straight down there in one go if you find that you have to go back through it that's when you start getting furry edges and that's why it's really important to make sure you've got a real nice sharp blade and down and push your blade against that ruler I always tilt it because it's, if you try and cut like that, it just doesn't feel right. When you're coming towards yourself, it does. So there's our cuts. Pop your fingers in. This first one is going to be a mountain fold. 
then a valley and then these two on the outside are a mountain and put your hand in and pull that down press that and that gives you your card base Look at that. okay nice and simple and then all I've done and I've gone ahead to do this I cut myself a matten layer from the A5 black set that we've got on the show. Yep. And again, a handy size to have. Um, I did it 14 and a half by 20 and a half. And then I gave myself a two and a half centimetre just to make the little, I'm going to call it a hoof because I always do. And then I reduced it again by half a centimetre to give me the white. That's, that's how I made that. So before I stick that on, we're just going to stamp some bits on it. So we're going to use the ground espresso the VersaClair fallen leaves and I'm going to use my script so we're just going to pop a bit now I don't want to stamp it perfectly on there so I'm not going to ink it up perfectly and we're just going to pop some bits of script around just to give us some detail there we go that is enough and then that goes back in my book nice and safe so that's that done and I think I'm going to stick that straight on. So I'm going to go for my EVA which has been so popular hasn't it? It is, that is a brand new yeah. glue that we're talking about today. Launched last night, uh, Pink Frog. Oh has it? Oh okay, it was launched last night for me, I've not seen it before. It was launched uh, on the 7th um, with Claire. Claire oh, bought it on the 7th. not that long ago then. No, it is still very, very new. This is his first outing in a one-day special. Absolutely, there yes. Go. That, got, that, that got me round that one. Uh, Thirteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Five three eight four two four four two is your right number. Uh, why do you love it so much? It's what makes it different. So EVA is an and I can't remember the word now. And I've written it down to an ethylene. Oh. So it just means it's an archival glue. It's it's flexible. It doesn't yellow. It's good for book binding. Basically everything as crafters need um, so yeah and, it, and it's a nice consistency it works really well in the glue bottles because they're, it, they're soft squeeze so the glue comes out effortlessly and that's that's what you need bringing us nicely into what do you like the glue bottles for <laughs> well done. are you testing me well, done. well I did say I like them because they're soft squeeze you use a tiny amount of glue so you're actually saving money um, the lovely fine nozzle is going to show off my dirty fingers, but look at the detail. This is the fatter of the two, but you get a real nice... I mean, I've got the EVA in here. I've also got Colal in my second set, because I'd say I'm... Oh, no, it's the wrong way. Um, yeah, the Colal works in there too. And then I've also got EVA and glossy accents in my other, my other ones. Game changer. They really are. The precision yeah. tips is what they are. So you really can go with that fine nozzle. £12.99. If you want precision glue every single time uh, for £12.99, 603282 uh, is your item number. Uh, just before we quickly go back, I do have to tell you, uh, the A5 and A6 cardstock now, so your A5 and your A6, it did sell out. We've managed to get some back. It's now on extended delivery from the 25th of this month, which is not that long to wait, to be honest. Uh, 698005 is your item number. Uh, so the 25th is what we're looking at for your A5 and your A6. It's sold out twice before, so get in quick before it goes again. Let's go back to demo. Okay, so I'm going to, I've chosen the rose from the rose set and I'm just going to stamp it. I've cut myself a panel of card. We're going to stamp with um, ground espresso. And I'm really inking this up because I do want a bit of a bleed on it because I am going to spritz it. We're going to stamp that down. We're going to give that a little spritz. I don't like this sprayer. Sorry, just give me one second. No, it's all right. I need to dry that because it's given me too much water out. Not that that's going to affect the card, but it's not going to give me the look that I want. So I'm going to change my water sprayer. And just so that I know it's going to work properly, just dry that off. It's no drama. We'll sort it. So, we'll do that again. The it rose stamp is on screen at the moment as well, and you also get some watercolour card and super smooth in there as well, if you want to dip your toe in the water, but you love your stamping. Right, can you see the difference with this sprayer? It's so much tamer, and I'm getting a little, a little bleed instead of a big blob. So now, we'll dry that. And this is where your mask is going to come in. 
because I've gone ahead and cut myself. See if I can peel it off while I'm doing this. It's a brand new one, <laughs> so I have to be careful. I think I've just ripped the leaf off of it. <laughs> uh, we've got the masking kits on the show as well, if you want to make your own map. We don't always think it's handy with your stamps uh, now, uh, to the sheer fact. Uh, £9.99 pence is what you're looking at for this. Uh, £9.99 pence a day, 976569 is your item number. Right, I did just rip that, but I might get away with it. So, I've got those stored on the other side. I'm going to... I'm jumping ahead. I'm going to put my second layer on now. So, this is a darker brown, and that's just going to bring the life back in and put the detail back in. OK, so that just really brings it to that. the foreground. And then I'm going to... Bearing in mind, this is really skinny. Do you know what? It, it, delicate is the word, I think. A bit like me. Well, OK. <laughs> Twice today now, I've been shot down. I didn't actually say anything. Skinny and delicate. Well, I don't know what you're welling at, though. This is it's the skinny or the delicate. Right, there we go. So I've got that over and I, my leaf did fall off, so I'm just going to pop that in place. OK, so now I can move my um, rose stamp. I'm looking round because I've got a special sheet that I put down. Of course, I can't find it. Oh, I found it. There we go. There we go. So I put my grid in. in the bin. And this is just so that I can now line this up without getting ink over the background. So I'm just going to position that about there will be fine. If you want your prison sheets, you'll find these on the website under craft two, I think, off the top of my head. Yes. Right, so I'm going to move that up and do the same technique. Make sure you put plenty of ink on there because I did have <laughs> a bit of Versafine on beforehand. And I'm going to go in for another layer. We've got cues on the phones. So jump to the website or tap the app, it's the quickest and the easiest thing to go. Now I am going to take my mask off because I'm going to spray some water on it and we're just going to repeat that technique. It doesn't matter about... Oh, look, still got a bit of mask on there. That one's gone for a ride. OK. So then we'll dry that one. Oh, my God. It's still very vintage today. Isn't it? Yeah, I just really fancy doing the brown. It just looks quite different. Yeah, it does. It looks like a modern old card. Yeah. I know that makes no sense whatsoever, but it does. The way, when you look at the finished one, it looks like it's been around for years. Yeah. But with a modern twist with the black and white edges. So by drying the back, that just flattens that down again. You might still get a slight kink, but it's not going to affect anything whatsoever. So then we'll come in with the Versa Claire. Pop that detail back in. Oh, I just... I've, you know what? I've forgotten. Your mask. Yeah. Yeah. So don't forget to pop your mask back on. So <laughs> it's fine. We'll get away with it. OK, now we're going to add some colour in there. Pop that under there. That's because I was getting excited again. So we'll have some brown. And then you can just add in some extra detail where you want it. If you want the areas darker, just add a little bit in. You don't need to be an artist to do this. Because you've got that lovely spritz in the background, it kind of does the work for you. Yeah. Just add in a little bit of something in. That'll do it. In fact, you, can even, you can't even see that, can you? Just make nice, that leaf nice. a bit darker. There we go. Nobody would know. Happy accident. Just us, though. <laughs> right, so we're happy with that. Now we're going to get um, a brush and we're going to use the Versafine Claire and we're just going to put a nice soft blend. Now do be careful that your mat is dry because if there's some um, dots of wet it will come onto your blend. But look at that soft blend from your brushes. So whether you like your brushes or your sponges, you do get a really different effect. It's nice. And then I'm going to pull in some of our texture stamps on here. Just speed round. That's 
part time. Once again, as I said, look how it's taken everything so far. It's, it's really, we're really putting it through its paces. We've spritzed it, we've inked it, we've gone back in with the spritz and the water again on the same areas, we've dried it, we've gone back in with more ink now as well. And it still looks, there's no blotchiness, there's no bleeding, there's none of them little bobbles that you get when you wet paper and you put a brush on it. I'm just going to put a little bit of text in the background again, just because it'll be rude not to. Um, then we'll have a bit of our texture set, another favourite of mine. We'll go for that one there. The We've got these on the show as well. And for this one... Details are at the bottom of the screen. You get super smooth and watercolour card. You get five sheets of each, and that's a little sample pet. I kind of just want to get a little bit at the edges, so I'm tilting it away and just hoping that I don't drop just portions of it. So it's kind of giving it a an aged frame. I nearly dropped that then. <laughs> so that one's a bit dark. If you've never, all I can say for this sort of cardstock, like if you've never used this cardstock before, give it a go. And that's me speaking from the heart. I've tried it. And it's very rare I say anything like that. And if you've not tried it, you won't know. And, and you all know, I'm no artist, I'm no Picasso, but I like to give things a go. And I had some of this super smooth over the weekend. And you, the photos are on my social media. And I put, I draw a photo and I doused it in water because I'm not very good at water colouring. Literally doused it in water and felt it pens and it had the work thrown in it. A cat walked over it at one point. Everything was thrown at this picture. But it's still, for me... I was still really proud with the end product. The right tools for the job are going to enhance what you know already, and it's going to take your crafting to the next level. Just thought I'd add that. <laughs> so I've just taken one of my Myla masks that I've made from the Myla that we've got on the show, and I just cut hearts into this one just to pop a couple of hearts down, and I've just done that with my brush there. Just to get that lined up. Just dusted over. Okay, just to add a little bit more, and then I've just gone through, I need love and you. Myla, um, you don't get the stars, but this just goes to prove that you can make your own stencils through these as well. So take your dies and you've got all your shapes in there. You can make for £11.99, you get six sheets in total. Well worth having. They're nice blending mats as well, aren't they, if you can't have a blending mat? Absolutely, yes, they are. Yeah. Nice little blending mat. Right, so I'm just going to use my stamping platform and I've got love and you and I'm just going to line them up where I want them. I could bring my grid in, but I'm just going to go with it. I think I want everything down. on this show. Do you know what, though? In all fairness, it all goes together. I think I do. The more I look around, the more I think, oh, I haven't really got... My crafty statue's getting better, but it's not amazing yet. But I think I could do with, I could do with some of the glue... I could, yeah, I could do with the entire back shelf, the black card, uh, your foam pads, I could do with some of that as well, because that's ridiculous value. Uh, I could do with the precision, I could do with the glue, red liner tape I've not got yet either, scotch tape I've not got that, removable tape I've not even tried gesso yet, mylar I could do with that for a little blending solution, and then I could make my own stencils as well with the limited stamps that I've already got, and I could make masks in there. That is a nice little stock up on that back shelf. And I don't think it would cost you that much either. No, I don't. Right, there we go, we've got Love You on there. Love You too. Thanks. <laughs> right, so we're just going to mat and layer that up and we're going to pop it on our card. Hopefully without getting any ink on there. So I've got a little bit of black. Now, normally I would probably use a red liner tape before I got my hands on this EVA. If I've used water on a card, I like to put red liner tape because I don't like little bits of edges at, this, at the sides. Makes but sense. we'll use the EVA and we'll go around... And I suppose because with the EVA and these precision tip knives, you can get right to the edge. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm not going to be tight with it. I am going to cover it because, like I say, it has got a slight... Because it's been wet and dry again, it's like us. We don't... <laughs> we get a bit wrinkly, don't we? Well, I don't need to get wet and dry. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So we're going to layer that on there and give that a nice, firm press. What I do like to do, turn it over. If you've got a brayer... Oh. Do you know what's really funny? There's black ink on this. It's a good job it's black card. Brayer over there. That has now stuck tight on all oh, of them edges that. for me, which is exactly what you want. Um, and then to stick that down, we'll just add another little bit of glue in here. I can't believe my mat is so messy. Am I normally this messy? 
Uh, my director's saying yes. Oh, OK. Thanks for that. <laughs> we didn't, he didn't use the word always. OK. Right, there we go. That gives us our inverted stepper. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely love it. That is using the only part of your one day special that you have got there. How beautiful is all of that? 937606 is your item number. Uh, and remember, you're getting instructions uh, for this as well. So it's going to give you full instructions on how to make the card. We'll give you the base. Obviously, you put all the things in. It's not going to give you a full demo, but it will give you the basis on how to do your card blanks again there. Remember, you're getting your A3, your 12 by 12, your A4, your 15 by 42, and also your 15 by 30. 170 sheets in total is what you're looking at for this. 937606 is your item number, £19.99. It's sold out once. We're now dispatched on the 25th of January. Not that long, and 85% of the stock has now already gone. We are very, very busy. The quick and easiest thing to do is jump to the website for me. Everything is on the website. You can't go wrong. You can shop ahead of me on there as well. Uh, you'll find all your car stock there. You've got your glue look, $13.99, your precision tips, $12.99, your gesso at $11.79. Um, your Myla, Myla, eleven ninety nine. It always reminds me of that song. There's only you, Lionel Richard. If I lied. Uh, then you've also got your stamps and your card stock as well to have a little practice. I, I don't know what it is. Anytime anyone says Myla, I burst into that in my head. I've been singing it all show. Uh, and then you got your red line tape. And then you got your phone tape. Double sided phone pads. What do you like about these? Ah, oh, you caught me. Look at me. <laughs> uh, right, they're twenty five mil by twenty five mil by two mil which means you can have them just as they are, or you can double them up to make them thicker. 1,500 on a roll, an right. absolute bargain. What I like to do, I'll just show you my little pile. Do I cut them off in lengths of eight to 10 and just have a stack of them in my bag so I haven't got to carry that big roll around with me. Uh, you could fill one of those little plastic boxes up with them, but they are amazing. They've got that lovely easy lift pull, so it's nice and quick. Stick it down, whip it off, and away you go. I absolutely love it. You could put in your Deflecto storage. Happy hour coming up this evening with our Janice. £19.49, so for 1,500 bone pads. If we add it as a bowl, it's that big, you can form that roll into a bowl. I also want them as well. I absolutely love them. Right, and what are we up to on demo-wise? OK, we're going to do a pop-out card now from the 15 by 42. I have kind of half prepped them, but I just want to show you the bones. So, let's pull this one in. It's a version of this one. Here we go. So this one's a girly one, and I'm going to do a male one, but Look opening that. up to give you that detail. So two pieces of 15 by 42. You get instructions to do the pop-out. It's just this extra cut line here that you need to learn how to do. So we'll move on. First piece is going to be centimetre side of your board, and you're going to do a half fold, 21 centimetres. And then this is going to be the outside so we need to cut out two aperture. I'm going to just show you this one because it's going to save us time. Look, there we go. Okay. Now, because of <laughs> <laughs> I did that with a knife, and I've just realised, actually, because I folded it in half, I could do that in my trimmer, but I'd have to go through the two pieces. Um, but because I, I have done one, we won't waste time doing that. For the second piece, onto the trimmer, what we need to do is if I turn it over, you'll, you'll see. We've just got to make these two little wings, so to speak. So we're going to put that half fold in again, like so. And then we're going to need our trimmer. So we would pop this in, and we would put the edge on three centimetres, and the tool on three centimetres, and cut from three down to 12. That gives us that bit, and we're going to do the same on this side. Uh, onto the three. So I'll go this time, I'll go 12 up to three. You kind of find yourself hopping between the trimmer and the scoreboard on this one. Okay. So now, at 10 and a half centimetres, when you first make one, um, I probably highly recommend just scoring that all the way down because it's going to make it easier for you. Okay. okay. And that is following the instructions for the pop-out card. So we'll do that on both ends. And all I need to do now is cut from there to this line to give me 
this effect. Ah. Okay, so I would do that with a craft knife, but what I would do is score my lines on here. So I'd go three down to that line and 12 down to that line. And then I've got a, a channel to cut in and I'd do the same on here. So even though it's a big long bit of card, it's, it's easy to work with once you know what, what you're doing. Okay, so that's exactly what I did on this piece. Okay. So we'll move that. We'll move that and we'll continue on. So what I've done on here to speed it up a little bit is I was stamping in the background with that lovely um, paint effect. Is your texture background? And we just pop that on. And I did it in a black versifying. So these join up really easily. I'm going to have to turn it because swinging. So, so long as I come off the edge, we're going to press that down and then we're going to keep going just to finish and join those up. I'm going to speed it up a little bit for you now. You've got Alan, we got Jim. We've got about eight minutes left. Oh, perhaps I have time to make some cows. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. Right, and then a little bit there. But you can you can't see these joins, can you? No, no. It just looks aware. like a full background. It's a bit like aged crackle. Yeah. So that is that done. That Pop that to one side. Aged crackle. Well we've got an aged and we've got a crackle oh, it, across two, so you're nearly there. Um right. I'm gonna dry that off. Just so it doesn't smudge when I bring in my miler. Oh, so the circles that you've got there is your own template that you've made? Absolutely, oh, yeah. amazing. Yeah. So, we've also used, guess which one? Script. <laughs> the script from the poppies. This poppy. is in the poppies, and this is worth its weight in gold. It oh, really, know. really is a good text background. And I'm just going to add in a few little bits. I've probably got a little bit of brown on there from last time, but it Bring doesn't matter. Bring details of the poppy up on screen? Yep. Oh, that's nice. So that's a bit of that in there. So then we'll dig into my little box. Where are my circles? Here we go. So for this one, I have chosen aged mahogany. I haven't got my little daubers ready, look. Um, ground espresso, because that seems to be a favourite of mine. Do you go through favourite colours? Yeah, I do try and be strict with myself because otherwise I just, they're really dry and all the others are juicy. <laughs> <laughs> what are your go-to colours? Well... Like, you, when you first get cards stuck home, what's your go-to? Well, you, we'll continue watching your demo, by the yeah, way. Yeah, continue watching my demo because otherwise I'll forget well, what I'm doing and I'll go off on a tangent. So I'm just going to position and fill in nice and simple. If I hadn't have dried, I might have ended up smudging that, but um, that's why I dried it off. So a bit of ground espresso there. Now I know that this bit in the middle I'm going to fill in. So I don't have to put the colour in there. We'll put a nice big bit of blue in there. Look, that's going to go all the way over. And don't be scared to do a bit of shading around the outside of these as well. But I thought this would be a really nice male version. So that one I think we'll put a little bit more on that side. And then we'll go maybe there. Peacock Feathers is a, a favourite colour of mine. Oh. Um, see, that just popped into my head. Well, I did think that. Where did that come from? We ended that. Well, I was thinking, because you said, well, let's carry on, Demo, and I'm thinking, yeah, OK, yeah, yeah, it's important. <laughs> uh, no, well, I did think, I thought, oh, Peacock she must have forgot my question, so I'll leave it now. I like Speckled Egg, too. That's, that is <laughs> That's one, one of, of the my favourites. isn't it? Yeah, no, not that you can get it anywhere. Um, yeah, right, that's the last one I'm going to do on there. So that's put some detail into the background. So we'll stick that straight. Now, did I do some bits? Yes, I did. Here we go. I'm going to decorate the front first before I stick it together. So okay. I've cut myself again. I've just reduced it by half a centimetre, a little frame. So that's 14 and a half by 20 and a half. And then I've cut a two and a half centimetre frame. And then I've got this piece, which I need to cut a two centimetre frame from. 
which I also reduced in size, but I need to put some colour and bits and pieces around it. So it's got to work in with this kind of theme, but I don't want it necessarily the same. So I think what we'll do is, I'm just going to have a bit of a drag round here. Because I'm going to be cutting the middle out anyway. Um, we might have maybe a little bit of blue. And then... It's like wood. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to have to have some of the script. But this time, we'll go in for a black so that that really pops out. And again, not worried about the middle because it's going to be cut out. I just want it all to kind of tie in but not interfere. Um, maybe we'll put a little bit of some of the circles. So we'll have a bit of the blue. And because my ink won't be totally dry, it'll give quite a nice effect. We'll have a bit of aged mahogany. And a bit of... Um, One day special, limited stock. Limited stock on the extended stock that I've already got. It's sold out once, it's a bank to go again. If you want your one day special, your A3, your 12 by 12, your 15 by 42, your 15 by 30, and your A4, 170 sheets in total, uh, get it quick. 19 pounds, 99 pence. I'll also throw the templates in there as well for you. Was it 32? 36. 36? Whoa, three and six, 36. Uh, 36 is what you're looking at. Uh, the templates and designs coming your way. A lot of good templates in there. Well, then let's go back to demo because we literally got four minutes left. Okay, so I'm just going to cut out my two centimetre frame. So it measures 20. I'm cutting down to 18 from two. I just hope I've done it right. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it was in my head when I planned it. <laughs> just make sure that your card's in there straight. You shouldn't have a problem. Okay, and the last one... Okay, move that to one side. So now, just assembly, we'll pop this one onto here. Using our glue again. It's at this point that I would notice, and I think it looks a bit wonky. Don't tell anyone, though. Don't tell no one will know. Nobody will know. So do you know, can you give us a little sneaky peek of what's, what's coming up next in the world of Pink Frog? In the world of Pink Frog, well, you've got Claire next, and she's coming on the 20th. And I do know that there's some rather special stamps on the horizon. Oh, new stamps. And new card sizes. Oh. So. Do we know a colour? Oh, oh, I can't tell you that much. Uh, he won't be watching. He'll be watching Tipping Point. He will be watching. You will know it? he'll be watching. Uh, <laughs> I was talking right. about Ben Shepherd. So just be careful that you haven't got an inky, um, let's just clean that off because otherwise it will go over the card. Have I got two minutes left yet? Of course you have. Good. You've got two, got two and a half minutes. Oh, that's, that's ample because I've still got something to do. But we'll stick the card together just in case we don't have time. Okay, so I did go ahead and do a topper just in case we ran out of time for one side and we have got to do one for the other side but I will stick this on we'll stick the card together and see how much time we've got left uh, so wait on now 53 two minutes right okay so that's perfect so then all we do open this up poke that bit through the hole and then you'll notice that these line up perfectly. So I'm just going to lie that flat and lift this one back. We'll pop the glue down. There we go. And then just hold it up in the air. And that way. really sturdy now, isn't it? It's because like you've got 600 GSM 600 there, GSM. yeah? Yeah. So make sure that's nice and equal. And that fault that look, looks cute. That Outside works quite well, actually, yeah. Quite pleased with that. And then this... Even if I say something. Yay! Right, so just fold that. those. And we're going to do the same again. So keep that out of the way. Fold that back. Pop your glue on. You've got a minute left. OK. It's a good job I pre-made that topper then, isn't it? <laughs> Poke that through. We can get another demo in that time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, just make sure that's all pushed in. Oopsie. Come on. 
There we go. Squeeze it down. If we open that up oh, for you. look at that. Minus the topper on that side. But if I bring this female version at the top of it for you, you can see that just using our stamps there. Oh, sorry. There you go. That's all right. Give it to you. So on this one, I've got happy birthday. And then I've put with love and best wishes on your special day, which to be fair, I probably would have put that one in there. But you could have the back ones like a little money wallet if you wanted to Absolutely. as well. There's so much possibility. There's no uh, rules, is there? Thank you, Hazel. It's been Do an you know what? Pleasure. I have had the most amazing day and I just want to say thank you to everybody that's taken advantage and, and got that one day special. You won't be disappointed. Well, I think that sums up. That does sum up our one day special. You won't be disappointed when you get it home. It is now limited stock. If you want to get yours, you better be quick. £19.99 for brand. The price goes back up at 6 o'clock. I will see you Monday morning. See you soon. Now nah, I won't see you on Monday at all. I'll see you Wednesday. Wednesday is when I see you now. Uh, I'll see you Wednesday morning. Uh, welcome to the UK. Quilting Templates is up next. Then Studio Light with love. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. You know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free. Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps, and we've got a great range of inks, which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. 
We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're well. I hope you're enjoying your day today. Has it been snowing where you live? Oh, yes. how about rate? <laughs> All right, Andy. I've, I've got to wait till I get to. I'm not allowed to throw to you yet, Andy. You asked a question. I, <laughs> I said <did>. yes. <laughs> It has been snowing You was. know, in the earlier show, I got told off for throwing to a guest early. <laughs> I did, I did, by the same director working now. But we did that okay. <laughs> How are you at home? How are you, Andy? I'm fine, thank you. It's great to have your company. Now, Andy, uh, was it raining when you left home? It was, it was, it stopped snowing, but there was still a lot of white stuff on the ground, so... Yeah. Uh, so, but it was a, a blizzard conditions at seven this morning. Well, the, it best, has eased. the best place to be is at home watching us and enjoying the programmes that we're bringing to you here on Hachanda today. And we have got a fabulous show lined up. Uh, we've got some new today. We've got some shadow rings. Now, Andy has a shadow ring already on his sewing machine. The details are on your screen. I think it's best to see this in action because if you don't know what it is, you're not quite sure how to use it. Seeing is always believing, isn't it, Andy? It is, yes. So tell me about the shadow rings. OK, so the, a lot of people have got these um, feet that you put on so you can use them with a ruler. So the shadow ring fits on these. Now, these fit ours. I can't guarantee they'll fit everybody's foot. Our feet are a half inch, um, but some people's feet half inches are not half inch and not round. So they fit on, they fit on your foot like that. So they just simply clip on. This makes your foot, instead of it being a quarter of an inch from the needle to the edge, it's now bigger. They've got a um, size on what they are. Um, they, they go on upside down. Now, that sounds a bit odd. So if you can read the writing on them, you need that to be down so you can't read the writing. Because when the laser cuts them, I cut them with a very slight taper. Okay. So therefore, the foot goes in... And the foot, more you push it, the more it grips. Okay. So if you try to put them in from the other side, they go in, but they're really tight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so simple as that. So that's how you put them on. So here's one on the machine. So you're just going to sew with it, and you're going to do, like, an outside round something. So I've got a square here, and I'm just roughly following that and giving myself... Guys, you wouldn't necessarily be using a square. Yep. You'd be using something, you know, an odd shape, and just to give them around like that. Right, now, Andy, so there are various different sizes in the shadow rings. Is that important for different machines, different projects? Uh, no, the, 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 the sizes are so you can give a different different gap between things. So okay. you might want to, if you'd got a a sort of like a quilting ruler that was a square or something, so you could quilt round the edge of that with one ring, yeah. and then you could take that ring off and you could put a, a different one on, and then with that in the same place, you're now going to quilt a line parallel to it, but a different way away. Very and, clever. And we've made these, because we have got shadow rings on. There's just a set on a chander by themselves, but these come with the foot. But we've done something that someone asked before. So these have got a slit in them. So technically, if I stop this machine, if I stop this, if I lift the pin up, then, sorry, the needle up, I can actually take this off, and although the machine is still threaded, yes. I can swap the rings. Oh, wow. And put the other one on. And That's so I easy. haven't broken my thread. Yeah. So now I could move to, now I could put another one on there. So that's, that is all they are. It's a case yeah. of, um, you know, you can use them 
with a ruler or against a ruler, but you can use them free. Yeah. And if you've got, you know, got anything you want to quilt around it, if you want to stay away from a certain area, um, you've got, a, it helps you with a bit more of a guide for it. Yeah. That is so, so that's, that's what they are. It's very, very clever and a great investment for you as well. £17.99. pence. Nearly 20% of the stock has gone. And once it's gone, it's gone. We can't get any more. 195553 is your item number. A great investment today for you. There you go. For your low shank uh, machines, isn't it, Andy? Your low shank machines. The, the actual, they're made of four mil, so they'll fit on a low shank. But if they would work, if you've got a high shank foot, yes. um, they would go on that as well. Okay. Um, it's, it's a case of you can't put high shank rulers onto a low shank machine, yeah. but you can put a low shank ruler onto a high shank machine. Perfect. So that's why we made them low shank. Yeah. They'll fit everybody's. <laughs> it'll fit all of them. <laughs> oh, brilliant. OK, right. Next up, if you are new to quilting, maybe you've been quilting for quite some time, but you want to try something different and you want to try something that's going to be very inspiring. Uh, what we've got here is your Octa Swirl pattern and four piece template. You've got a reduction of three pounds on this. It's only 14 pounds and 99 pence. Five double four one two zero is your item number. So if you wanted to make the smaller uh, octagon, which I've got in my hand just here, so you've got the smaller one just there, great little pattern. But then you might want to start to extend that and make that larger. Well, you've got the opportunity to do so with the template. Five double four one two zero is your item number. And there's one behind Andy. How big is that one, Andy? So the, the, one, one the one that's you. behind me is the total using all three triangles and that makes an eight, sorry, a 10 inch sides of the octagon. So, so the edges of the octagon are 10 inches. So that yeah. is, um, it's about, um, what, 16, it's, it's about um, 16, 18 inches across. So that's yeah. the full one. But when you make it, you can make it with the, um, just putting the first set of triangles on or the second set, which is the two you've got there, yes. or you can make it with the thing. And then also, once again, it can then to turn into a quilt. So once you've got that octagon, because behind me again, to my <laughs> my right, <Yeah. laughs> that, that was a difficult question, wasn't it? <laughs> well, it is for me. I don't know my left or my <laughs> right. The, you um, said anything. It's the blue and the uh, blue and orange one. Yes. So that's been made with just the two on. But then when you put them together, you've, it forms a square, which are the orange bits. Yeah. Um, you can make them out of the same triangles because a, a square wow. is, is the four triangles put together. So then you can make a, you know, I mean, sort of like eight of the large ones would make a full-size bedspread yeah, with all the bits would. in. So it's not just a a table centre, it can go into, make into a full-size quilt. That's yeah, a good idea. And again, uh, you get the instructions, it will tell you how to place those together, easy to read, and then you've got those to use again and again and again, all from Crafty UK. 544120 is the item number. Now, next up, I think we're going to have a demonstration on this one as well. This is the Entwined Hearts. Um, love this. Let me just lift this up and show you. Um, now, this could be a tabletop. Uh, it could be a wall hanger. You could put some initials on this, Andy, which would look nice. You've done them as outline of hearts, and you can interlock them. And but there you've got two, um, but you can carry it on as make as many many more as you want. There's the next one there. There's there's five there. So you wow. you say well, you can carry it on because they just carry on interlocking in different colours. So. Uh, you know, it, it will go on. You could make it a long table runner, or you just have the two hearts with yeah. two sets of initials on. Is there four on there? No, or five? One, two. No, it's four. Sorry. Four. Yes, four, four hearts. I thought it was five. I, th I thought it was like a magic eye. We had to look, at the, look for the fifth I one. Th I was like, I, I think, can't find that heart. I think I added another one because last time I said there was only three because I couldn't see the pink one. <laughs> <laughs> so this one I added, I added one again. <laughs> yeah, there's four hearts there. There's two hearts right here and they look absolutely beautiful. £15.99 pence might be a gift for Valentine's Day coming up. 3208 uh, 485 is your item number. Uh, right, let's pop that there. Uh, we've got some more for you. You get quite a few in this particular set. Uh, this is your square triangle set of four, £18.99. How do these work then, Andy? So the, uh, the, the block you've got there, if you were to cut your pieces and sew that together, that would be full of Y seams. So we've made this, this is, this is where th three pieces are joining. Um, you know, at an angle, so you're gonna, you can't lay it flat and sew it. So that's been designed so it will lay flat and sew. So that's done in strips, um, 
to join it together. So it will make it makes that pattern. And once again, that's just a one square. Um, there is, you know, you can then multi it up as yeah. many times as you want to make, build it into a, you know, to a, a quilt full size bedspread or whatever. So it looks it, fa it looks fantastic, doesn't it? Just makes it easy. It's just nice and easy to do. It, it yeah. stops anyone that has problems with Y seams. Yeah. Um, I mean, to start with, when I first started, you know, I avoided them like the plague. You Did know? you? So like, but, um, you know, I've got used to them. There's a lot more things on the market that teach you how to do it, a lot of videos. But that is particularly, you know, no Y seams, done in yeah. strips, wow. made nice and easy. So uh, It would make a, a lovely bedspread, but also a cushion just like that. And how impactful is something like this when somebody walks into the room? It looks perfect close up as part of a pattern or from a distance, very, very striking. £18.99, 982 oh, 075 is your item number. Right, square in a square. A square in a square. We're very busy for these actually. Thirteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Six eight nine zero four eight. Square in a square. Is this difficult to accomplish? So this is this is because it's it looks easy, but to actually make a square um, with the four triangles on the edge and then to make another one accurately isn't so easy because it's you're sewing on angles and to join them it becomes you you are going to end up with the two squares you want to join together and they're actually going to be different. Yeah. So this stops that. So this makes a perfect square in a square so that because you cut it down afterwards so it's done there's a little bit of waste extra waste of fabric yeah. but it's well worthwhile so you've got two in there so the one you're holding up um, is the uh, larger one of it and then that's a five inch that finished size of a five inch square in square and then the smaller one um, that you had is a two and a half inch which is half the size. Wow, you can take your quilting to the next level uh, with all of these templates that we've got. And they're all made um, uh, by Andy here in the UK, Crafty UK. 689048 is your item number. Very, very busy for that already. And you do get uh, the instructions just to show you. There you go, you've got the instructions. It's a little booklet that comes with it, so you can read through that when you get it home. Uh, right, next up, next up, we've got quite a few for you on the show, but we'll get through as much as we can. Um, these are the four diamonds and it's called no y seams so this this makes a tumbler block so this makes an illusion like their steps like it's 3d um oh, but, wow so but it, it but it's it is to make it without we just make it with the triumph with the diamonds you would have y seams so this has got a special line on the ruler um that stops that happening so this gets rid of y seams and allows you to do that um, without it, so it's a it's a well known um, you know pattern the tumbling block. Um, they look like you know depends on how you look at it. They're either steps in, steps up. Um, but the, 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 what you have to use is you have to use a dark, a medium, and a light fabric. Once you do that, your eyes do the rest. Yes. So they just that's one's made there with the uh, two inch diamond in the pack. You get a one inch, a two, a three, and a four inch. So there's four different sizes um, that you can make them in. I have no idea which, I love which this. way up it is. I don't actually yeah. know. You'd have to ask the, um, the person that created it, which wasn't me. It's a <laughs> lady called Angela. <laughs> well, it, it is amazing. And each time I change it, will change your perspective and changes how it looks. Yes, it can look good with the white on top. It could also look great with the white on the side and the pattern on the top. It's entirely down to you. And if you make it, you can just keep turning it, which is brilliant. A quarter of the stock has gone 888 Three two seven is your item number if you want to get hold of your set of four diamonds with no Y. Uh, right. Cupcakes. Oh, I could so eat a cupcake now. <laughs> oh, we love cupcakes. What's your favourite cupcake, Andy? Uh, well, any, anything that's... Well, I suppose it would have to have, to have chocolate on it, really. Yeah, you know, really, it's no. got to have chocolate. A, a slab of dairy milk. Other brands are available, but not as good. <laughs> 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 on, on the top. On the yes. <laughs> I can't think of it. Uh, Bourneville and... Uh, uh, ga galaxy there yes, you go I. there you go <laughs> <laughs> yes now you can make your cupcakes and put them onto a quilt onto a bag onto a cushion uh, i think fantastic coming up to easter 
you yeah, know, cakes and cupcakes easy, you know, and things. Plique on, make some nice little um, placemats and stuff just to decorate, you know, things. People like to do lots of stuff in the kitchen, but then you can have a, you know, a nice placemat that goes with it. Yeah, so, uh, I love that. Nice little wall hanging as well. You could turn those into little pockets or something, which would be nice, little hooks on them. Uh, a nice little wall hanging there with the cupcakes and the cream on top. And then here's another little project for you to have a look at. This could be part of a bag, a quilt. Um, it could be part of a little, um, pi not pinny, apron, little apron. Yeah, uh, you say there's, nice. there's lots of places you can put, and there's two different sizes. So yeah. that's, the, that's the smaller one of the two, and the wall hanging was the larger one. So you can put them on, you know, they'll, they'll fit as a, you can, you know, motif, you can put them on a, on your pocket or something, yeah, of a, of yeah, a shirt or something, you know, your, or, or your chef's apron. Or on a picnic blanket. Picnic blanket, yes, anything yeah. like that, just something different. And you choose the colours, you know, they can go in and uh, and then you just say, you just cut them out and apply yeah. them on, makes and them off you go. nice and easy to do. 693-981 is your item number. Get that one into your basket so you can make and create your um, lovely cupcakes when you get home. Unfortunately, you can't eat those, but you can make some cupcakes to go alongside. Now, baby elephants and a beautiful, oh, hello, it's alive, <laughs> a, a beautiful sample to boot as well. Um, is it expensive fabric on here? Um, we, we went to, um, we were up in Scotland um, a few years ago and we went to a, a place where they make and make that. So, yes, and it's, um, what, I think it was £160 a metre. Wow. So we, we bought a scrap bag, which is what we made that of. <laughs> Oh and that, I think the scrap bag was forty pounds. <laughs> wow! Wow! But yeah, it's, it's cashmere. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever fabric you put these um, through and onto, it's going to look fabulous with those elephants as well. They're absolutely adorable, aren't they? Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. It's your six-inch elephant. Um, oh, it's and then the, so super the cute. ones behind you, directly behind your head. Oh yes, the ones. Oh yeah. But, Oh, which way? I never know. I'm going to stay here. The other way, as to what you were going. <laughs> there you go. You can just see the side of my head. That's it. Move out of the way. Um, oh, that's lovely. I like so that. So it's got a, a deer that comes out so you can do it as a different colour and the foot is removable. So you can either have the elephant with a foot or without it. Aww. So there in the, in the picture, the foot is the colour behind and the yeah. ear is the um, one in front. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? That is so nice. It really, really is. That's your baby elephant applique, £11.99. Two more to show you. Uh, we have got the easy bunting, always very, very popular if you want to go for the easy bunting. It's easy to use, it's easy to make, and bunting is fantastic, isn't it? Now, my arms aren't long enough to stretch out. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New... I, yay! I can Happy do New it. Yay! I can do it. Both. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, if it drapes it. There you go. There you go. Oh, hang on, hang on. Where am, where am I? Happy yep. New... Happy New Year! <laughs> so I'm hoping we'll have something to celebrate soon and be able to have some parties. So oh, we'll... I'll tell you something. I feel, I feel like I'm eight, <laughs> eight inches taller. I didn't stretch before us. Oh! just need to clunk my arms back into place. So we, we, we will need to have some bunting in the future. Yes, yes. <laughs> At the um, moment we can only see ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Cheer, cheer yourself up. Yeah. Cheer yourself up. 999-099-739 is your item number. Lots of people do charge for bunting and sell it online, especially when we do have special occasions. Now, finally, uh, our next item, this is your basket weave. Now, this is an interesting concept uh, because who was it that came up to you, Andy? Joe, my, my other half, my better half. Let's call her, let's get, give her a posh, a posh title. Oh, <laughs> well, Joe said, do you know what, Andy? I like this weave. Can you recreate it? <laughs> So we did. And you did. <laughs> and you did. I think this is fantastic. Now, is this easy to use? Because that is a complex pattern. We also have one of the samples behind, behind you. Me. That looks complicated to me. Is it easy? It's, it's got Y seams in it, but, and it looked, when we first started, we thought it was going to be quite complicated, but it actually is quite easy, and, uh, it? you know, and it sews together in blocks, and it is quite easy to do in the end. It so. looks really effective. That sample behind your head, um, very, very effective, actually, very striking. It's, again, it's um, um, dark, medium, and light gives yes. this... Yeah, gives yeah. this 3D effect and it makes it seem like it's no longer flat, makes it seem like it 
it's standing up and gives this lattice effect that something is going underneath it is something. Yeah, it is amazing. And it is quite Christmassy. It could be a snowflake if you make it like that. Yeah, put something in yeah. the middle. Um, lots of different ways of using this particular template. It's only £10.99. 088066. Um, so try something different. Try something new. Take yourself out of your comfort zone and start making and creating some incredible designs with the templates. Right, let's head over to Andy. What are we going to have a look at first? So this is the um, Octus Whirl. So this is the octagon, which has then got triangles going around the outside of it. So there are, in the pack, there are three triangles. One, two, three. They're nested inside each other. Um, this is, um, makes the whole thing cheaper and easier to use. Yep. And, uh, and the last one, it, obviously it says this in the instructions, but <laughs> I'll still tell people. <laughs> uh, it's got a place on fold, so the actual triangle that you're going to cut is actually going to be twice the size of this template. Okay. But if I made the template that big, um, it would be a waste of acrylic. Um, it, it would be a lot harder to post and more liable to break in the post. Yes. So um, we cut that one in half and we nested, nested them inside each other. So the middle one has is, the only, is one also, it's not symmetrical. It's got one corner different to the other. Okay. Now this is important when you cut them out to join them together. And then the last bit is the octagon that goes in the middle. So. Um, they're all non-slip, so they've all yep. got um, sticky dots on the back. So, uh, so you would cut, you would place that onto your fabric, use your rotary cutter, cut them out. So you only need the one middle, and then you need four of each of the triangles. So, I've cut two of the white. So, I'll just cut two more of the um, these ones here. Now, I will say at this time that you are very environmentally conscious. Are you still using the old VHS? We are. So the um, the one the, the only one on the counter in the um, VHS is the square triangles. Um, some th some things just don't fit into it, but yeah. um, we do we do try and use them. People do phone up and offer them to us, but unfortunately at this time of the the, the climate we're in, it's very difficult for us to go and collect them, and it's not worth... Yeah. Um, but um, I'm not in short supply of them yet. Okay. My garage is full, and my mother's garage is full, <laughs> and she oh. does keep reminding me. <laughs> oh, bless her. But she only has a mobility scooter these days, so it isn't as if she needs, a, needs the full space <gasps> of a two-car garage. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I, so I get away need, with it. She might need her space for something else. Well, yep, yeah, she might do, but... I've, I've, <laughs> She's not getting I've, it. I've commandeered it with, with boxes and boxes because I, I figure they are going to disappear eventually. You know, yeah. People are going to have all sorted their lofts and um, and there aren't going to be any left. So, uh, so I've cut out four reds. Here's a few I prepared earlier in a, like a well-known show, that's still on, I believe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, four of each and the centerpiece. So I'm going to sew these on. So I'm going to, you can take any one you want. Now, they sew and it will be twirling round. Now, if you want it to twirl the opposite direction, then you t turn your fabric over okay. when you cut it. Don't turn your template over because it's only non-slip one side. Yeah. So it defeats the object <laughs> of it being non-slip. Of course. So, there's one corner that's angled slightly, so you'll see that. And if you lay that onto your octagon, you'll see it fits nicely onto that corner. So the first one, this is the thing you have to remember and everybody forgets. Andy, can I just interrupt you for one moment before you go on because I've got some news. Your shadow rings are all in baskets. We've technically sold out. If any bounce back, I will let you know. If any bounce back, I'll let you know. Um, but they've all gone, sold out. Well done, Andy. Well, that's, that's taken longer than the last show I did. It took six minutes to show the first, first item. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. But there you go. We, we make some things that people want, but obviously, but we can't make the popular things are always something we can't have hundreds of because they're yes. difficult to make. Yeah, so, but never mind. Um, so, we're going to sew this first one. So, you're only going to sew half of it. So, we're starting midway and we're sewing down halfway. Now, if you forget and you sew it all the way on, it's quite simple. You'll have to use that wonderful tool, the unpicker, and unpick it. So, um, so we've sewn that on, and I'm just going to Fold that over and press that. Now this first one, it's very important that it is in the right place because this determines everything else going Does around. It? So with the tool, the number two, 
you can actually check to make sure you've got it in the right place because you can put the dotted line you can can't you can see where there's a dotted line there and then that line goes on there that will mean and i've sewn this and it's gone slightly too far up so i'm just going to trim that bit off that will make sure that this one is in exactly the right place. Now, it doesn't matter, I've nicked a bit off of it, because it'll all get lost in the, in the um, seams as you do them. So yes. now I know that one is in exactly the right place. The next one will go on, and that lines up that end, and the 90-degree um, the corner lines up perfectly that end. So I can put that underneath the machine, and, and I can sew that. And this one you'll sew all the way. Now you've got little points to make sure you're doing all right. That will go right way through the end um, there as you do it. And then so we fold this over and, and iron it. Just remember to, uh, you're using, well, I'm using two different colors. You can actually use, there's eight, there's eight going round. So you could actually use eight different colors. Yeah, um, you could do. Just remember to, um, <laughs> You, th you think, oh, I can't possibly put the wrong two colours next to each other, but it is quite easy to pick them up, and then as soon as you've sewn it, you, uh, you notice it. So we go round like that, and then... How long has Crafty UK been going for? Andy? Um, ooh, um, I think we're... Uh, we must be getting on to six, maybe seven years now. Is it really? Sort of like, uh, and how many years are here at Hochanda? Um... I think this is my, um, I think when I was on last year, that was a four year anniversary. So, um, wow. so I've been, I've been here a while. I've, I've nearly worked out what I'm doing. <laughs> We've had a picture from Angela. She's emailed in. She's been using the Octoswirl. Uh, thank you so much for sending you pictures in. Anyone else, please send them in. We'd love to see your inspirations. Oh, this, yes. Isn't that <laughs> fabulous? Actually, I, was, I was talking to Angela on route. So. Were you? <laughs> Because I sent her one as a in the in the start of the week to uh, have a play with. Because I always like someone else to have a go with something to um, make sure that um, you know I haven't made a, an error or something, or just give other people's ideas where I've done two colours. Yeah. She's done you know a group of colours. I so. know, and I was just looking at that photo there. It looks completely different to the sample that you've got behind you because you've used two colours. And I was just looking at that one, looking at your sample. So you can you can make and create so many different effects with them. Yeah. And there you go, there's the one that Andy um, has made. With all, you know, say it is, a lot of it is, you know, there's a, there's a pattern there, but um, by using lots of different colors, um, you can totally change what it looks like. So yeah. I mean, we've had, ended ours trying to make it a bit like a poppy because actually the color fabric we've chosen all the fabric has got poppies on so so we carry on going round keep sewing them on this is the another one going on so it's just do, the, do the templates come with instructions Andy? yes they um come instructions on how to make um various things so we um we show how to uh you know if if, well, if there's a picture of something on the front yeah. it shows how to make that but this it's, you know, this shows you the basic ways of putting it together, and then it's up to you to um, choose your colours and everything. So, and if we get stuck along the way uh, when we're putting something together, maybe you know I'm about to put a piece of fabric on. I'm not quite sure. Have I cut it right? Is it the right size? Is there anywhere we can go to get the yep, help and advice? Every every template on it is my email address and my home and mobile telephone number. So wow. you can phone me and you can ask me that question. And uh, most of the time I can answer it, you know, wherever I am. Sometimes I'll have to uh, come back and perhaps get you a picture or email you a picture or something yes. of it. But, um, you oh, know, thanks, that's um, it. Right, I'm now going to need an, un an unpicker. Right, so... Do, yes, uh, that's a good point. Do you have office hours or can we call any time, day and night? Well, there are no phones upstairs, so if you, phone, if you phone after we've gone to bed, we tend not to hear it or answer it, and, uh, and 
the world could could explode while I'm asleep. Oh, so, dear. Basi so basically, but you know, if you phone at 11 o'clock at night and I'm asleep, I don't hear the phone ring anyway. Do I? <laughs> Seven in the morning, I'm not up. I probably would would answer it. But um, I'll take that as a yes. And we'll, he has we office are, hours. <laughs> We are a 24-hour you know, system, especially, you know, we, we try to reply as soon yeah. as we can on, on things. But um, sometimes I get a question and I look at it and think, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, so, I, so I don't reply for an hour or so while I, I'm trying to think of an answer. Yes. So. Oh. Well, hopefully it's always craft-related to your quilting, the questions that come in. All right, so that's the eighth one sewn on. And my um, thread cutter decided not to cut. So, so then you've got the last one. So you've got got that there, but you've yep. got one one to go. So, to fold that flat because of the way it's sewn round, there's always a little bit of a seam that catches to stop it. So I've found it's actually best just to unpick that little bit. That lets that lie flat, and it's never going to fall apart. Um, so don't think, oh, you're unpicking a, a thread in the middle. Um, so just, um, that's that. So that now allows that one to lie flat. This is the one what we sewed half of it as we went. So we're just going to put that under there. And just sew down the other bit until the line to where we got to, where we'd sewn earlier. And now press that. And that's our first section. So from that, so that's the small triangle going all the way around. So from there, you would then cut the, um, the larger one and then start again and sew that on eight play round. Once you've got that on, then you take the, the last one and put that on to give you the there. Andy, that you're holding there, that make a nice little coaster. It's, it's a perfect little coaster, like, yeah. the, one, like the one you've got on the yeah. table. Um, uh, you've you've got your like I mean, you've got your table centre behind me. You've got a placemat and a coaster there in your hand. So a perfect set. So yeah. those three all came out of a half a metre of fabric. So okay. you had I had a half a metre of the red and half a metre of the white, and I got all them three out of it. And then obviously whatever you're gonna oh and, and a little bit of black, but the black yeah. is just the spot in the middle. So it isn't really a massive amount of black. And yeah. um, we bound them in black, but the yeah. binding, but you know, it's whatever you wanted. But yeah. so you would get, you'd probably get a, a couple of the coasters out because they were still, I think what I've got here on the table is what was left out of my half metre as well. And I've just made that one. So yeah. Yeah. Um, you, you could probably make, you know, a table centre, a couple of placemats and certainly a couple of coasters out of your half metre. So that would, um, you know, yeah. de decorate your table. And of course you can do them in your... Colours of your room, can't yeah. you, or whatever? Yeah, I mean, you absolutely. Can, you know, Favourite colours. Christmasy colours, Easter colours. Yeah, yeah, you really can. And it'll change each and every time. Uh, so, we have been busy, £14.99. If you want to go for your templates to build and create your uh, swirl pattern, you get the acrylic template and you also get the instructions as well. 544120 is your item number, £3 off that particular deal. Now, your connecting hearts, your entwined hearts, Hearts. These are lovely. I've got a nice sample here, a gorgeous sample actually, of two hearts coming together. Isn't that lovely? Uh, and then there's another sample near Andy with the four hearts together. So you can keep entwining and you can keep making and building and letting it go on and on and on, which would be really nice. £15.99, 320485. There it is through our protective barrier that keeps Andy and myself apart. Uh, well, it just looks like a, a, a pole going through the screen at the moment, but I can assure you there is a screen there to keep us apart more than to protect us. Uh, right, square triangles coming up next. Um, we have got your various different templates here to put together. Uh, it's a set of four and we've been busy for these. We have been busy. Um, if you do want to get hold of your set of four acrylic ruler sets, uh, well not ruler sets, ruler set, uh, 982075 is your item number. It looks effective, doesn't it? I think they look absolutely stunning. And to think that you can make this and just divide this into three strips and then place this together, it's very, very effective and something very satisfying once you've done it. 982075 is your item number. Be great as a cushion. 
in. Be great as a centerpiece to your table, table runner as well. Uh, do a several one of these. Um, or it could be a nice little wall hanging or cushion. Or a bag. Or a bag. Uh, right. Square in squares. Nearly half the stock has gone, so we've been uh, busy. I think we're going to see a demonstration with this next. If you have any questions, by the way, please do email in. It's studio at hochanda.com. £13.99. That's your two and a half inch and your five inch set. These are your squares in squares, and those are the two different sizes together. 689045 is your item number. You get the full instructions as well. But with everything, you get Andy's email address, telephone number. And inside leg measurement, so you can give them a call whenever you want. <laughs> uh, right, 888-327 uh, is your item number. If you want to go for your set of four diamonds, no why, nearly 60% of the stock has gone. Only £11.99. We've also got the basket weave. Now, this is intriguing. This was a basket weave. But now it's a template for you guys, and it's very, very effective as well what you can create with that. £10.99, 088066 is your item number. Now, the baby elephants have proven to be very popular as well. They're cute, aren't they? These can be used for anything. Adults, children, uh, half the stock has gone, 11 571250 Andy is back later on tonight with another show with our Catherine. Yes, which you are excited about, aren't you? <laughs> yes, sorry. I, I, was... saw, I saw Andy in the corridor earlier on and I said, oh, you stuck with me tonight. And he went, not for both shows, though. I've got Catherine for one. <laughs> I was like, all right, calm down. <laughs> I was like, don't panic. You've got Catherine. <laughs> oh. uh, 11.99 if you want to go for your baby elephant. Uh, right, so we're going to have a look at the square and square now, aren't we, Andy? We are, yes. So I'm just squaring up my piece of fabric. So it's designed to make a, a nice a square and square. So here, I'll lay that down. <laughs> so um, this is the two sizes. So you've got the larger one there and then the four blocks in the middle, that's the two and a half inch one. So yeah. we, d we did it like that because obviously you, you can do a block of two and a half inch ones and that then equals the same as the five inch ones. So it makes it very easy to do, okay? Like so. That. Now, yes, it does come with instructions, but we've also crammed as many on the template as possible. So with the idea that once you've made it, um, you, if you lose the instructions, you can always email us, you know, and say, yeah. I've lost the instructions, send me some more, and we'll soon do that. Um, but you've got enough on there to guide you through it. Once you've done it once, it's a case of you, you won't remember everything, but most of it's on here to, to yeah. help you out. So there's a little hole there so that you want to cut your centre square. So some people think that this middle one is your centre square. They're two individual templates. There's okay. a, this one makes the five inch square, five inch square and square, and the other one makes the two and a half inch square and square. Okay. So don't be thinking that the middle bit is that. So all I've done is place this hole on the edge of my fabric and I've cut myself a square. So then with another colour fabric, it's always best to use another colour, otherwise it would be pretty pointless. <laughs> <laughs> um, we need, we can use the template again and we need two and a half inch strips. So we, there's a line on the template so we can again cut two and a half inch strips. Now these can all be come out of uh, scraps that you've got because yeah. you can see whether they're big enough. So we've now got, because I'd cut th through earlier, so we've now got one centre square and we've got four bits like that. So we're going to sew them on in the middle. Now they don't, they didn't have to be this long. You could, you'll, you'll learn as time goes on that you can make them a little bit smaller, but um, um, this is, you know, just for the for the ease of it, for the template, I've just cut ones that are that big. So I'm just sewing that on the edge there. Now I'm going to trim it off level with the the inner square that I had. So I'm just going to put that on there, trim that bit off. And now the other side, I'm going to put another one on the other side. So you could actually do this with this this is what uh, what I said it was two and a half inch you could actually cut a strip of fabric that was two and a half inches therefore as you sew each one on and then trim it off 
you wouldn't be wasting any fabric because you just carry on you just yeah. carry on with it so so that's the two done on opposite sides what do you prefer doing the most or does one lead to the other designing the acrylic plates or actually quilting Oh, I don't know nowadays. It had to be, if you'd have asked me a couple of years ago, it was always the designing, because that's what I spent 36 years yeah. playing with CAD equipment. But I actually quite like making things out I think I do more than Joe. I don't think Joe ever gets on the sewing machine nowadays. <laughs> like, I, I have a cleaning template as they come off the laser. So, like, oh. <laughs> so That's nice. That's nice. That's testament to your great designs, Andy. <laughs> so we've done them too. And we've sewn them on there like that, so we've got a piece like that. Now the next piece, so this needs to go in the middle. Now if you're, never, if you're ever unsure where the middle is, you can of course put the things together and um, just pressure crease the middle there. And then you can do the same with that. But um, it is only a rough guide for the middle. So, And the, the more you do, the more, time, the more e the easier it gets each time. So I'm going to place that on there. I'm sewing down that seam. These, all these seams are um, a quarter inch seams. The templates are all set with a quarter inch seam, um, unless otherwise stated. Sort of like that's what we tend to use most of the time, really, because I just tend to use a, the machine, the foot on the machine that's a quarter inch foot. So yeah, and all that is explained with the instructions that you get. Yeah, with the yeah, we 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 there's there is writing, but there's also a lot of pictures. Because pictures often say a lot more, and uh, and I can't spell a picture wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you are a man after my own heart. I'm exactly the same. Pictures, no writing. Thank you. So we know we've done that. So we've got ourselves a block that looks like that. So that's the. Um, so you've got a square in the middle and you then you've got four pieces around it. So now we take our template. Now this has got a square etched into it. So we line that up on the edge of our square because it's all been it's, all the quarter inch seams has been allowed. And then we trim. It's the trimming when it really comes to life as well. You know when you do that and so this, that this is the this is the thing when I when I discovered these and, and I, we do two or three things now like this is the fact that because I've trimmed it down afterwards no matter how I did my seams um, if I, my quarter inch seam was a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller each one will come out exactly the same yeah. so there is a perfect square inch Look square with a quarter inch seam on it ready to go to join to the next one I think that's fabulous. And then if you wanted to, you could make something like this with your square so and squares. That allows the point because because the this is you're only this the fact that there's five pieces of fabric here is not relevant now. It's one piece and you're sewing it to another piece. So yes. the points all line up and you know and work better. So that's a that's it. I think it's fabulous, <laughs> I really do. And the world's your oyster. You can make and create so many different designs with that. Thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence. That's for your two and a half. Uh, oh, that way, two and a half inch square in square. <laughs> and then your larger one, which is your five inch square. Now, with quilts, if you've ever seen quilts with those optical illusions in there, so it looks 3D. This is a, a fabulous set of templates to get. Your four nested templates with no Y seam. Um, and if I show you this, you can see it doesn't matter which way I turn it. It's going to get a different look each and every time. And that's mainly down to the design, but also down to the colours, the light and dark shades that you're using. Now, I'm being told that two thirds of the stock has gone. <gasps> two thirds of the stock gone. £11.99 for your four diamonds. No Y seam. And it's one inch to four inches. So have fun with those when you get them home. 888. 327 is your item number. Now, when I was told we've got cupcakes next, I actually thought we had cupcakes next, but we haven't. Um, um, but I do have, talking of cakes, a cake stand coming up at 7 o'clock tonight on the Happy Hour Show with Deflecto. Um, I'll see if I've got any cake around. I've got a croissant in my drawer. Might bring that in. I don't think a croissant would look quite the same in quilting. I don't know. Maybe make a template for a croissant or a pan of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a, or a cheese straw. 
<laughs> there you go. There's a challenge for you. Uh, we've got the templates here for your cupcakes. Aren't they cute? They really, really are. This could be on an apron. It could be a bag. You could just use the appliques maybe on a, a jacket or, a, or a, uh, another bag or your crafty bag. Uh, let me pick this wall hanging up because this is really nice. This could be something for your table to put your cupcakes on in the middle of the table, especially if you're having a picnic. It would be excellent, wouldn't it? 9 dollars 693 and that's for your templates for your cupcakes. There you go. Uh, from cupcakes to baby elephants. Oh, so super cute. These are gorgeous. They really are. And the great thing about the template, the actual size of the elephant is six inches. Um, you can have as many as you like because you can just keep making and making and making. How much of the stock has gone? Nearly two thirds of the stock has gone. 571250 is your item number, 11 pounds and 99 pence. And you can use it as Andy has done in this particular design as well, going all the way around. I like that. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, so that's your elephant template. Now, your easy bunting. Um, bunting is very popular, isn't it? It's becoming more and more and more popular. Whether it's someone's birthday, whether it's Happy New Year, or whether it's just welcoming someone home, or inviting someone into your home, or getting a new home, or a wedding, or an anniversary. Happy New... Or ha where is that? Is yeah. It? Happy <laughs> New... Yeah. Happy <laughs> New Year. There you go. There you go. Mind you, a bit of drapage might help. There you go. Anyway, you get the idea. You get the idea. Um, easy bunting. It's made to make life easy for you when you're making your bunting. 099 739 is your item number. 999 saving two pounds on that particular deal. And then finally, the basket weave. Yeah, based on a basket weave. I think this is a remarkable... This, did this take you very long to take this concept of the basket weave and make that template? It was It was actually quite easy. But was it? We didn't realise the one, the one behind the black and red, we didn't realise that, that was achievable. To start with, the two that you've got on the table were yes. what we did. It was after we'd done them yeah. that that came to light, um, that, that we could do that with it. Um, it is, as all templates, um, when, the, when we first design them, they, they do one thing. We then find out six months, a year later or something, that you can do something else with yeah. them. So, like, you know. Yeah. And if somebody gets these home, they might think of something else that they could do with yeah, them as well. Yeah, I say, um, um, the, you know, the, the, the several things we give to people. That's why I do like people to email in, um, you know, the work, the stuff they've done with them, because um, I like to see what other people's take on my... Because we can only look at it. I always tend to buy to use bright colours. Um, yeah. I'm very um, bright. I don't like um, pastels and stuff so much. Um, but it is nice to see what other people do, you know, different ways of colours, yeah. different ways they use them. So. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Well, if you've got any pictures, um, Andy will be back at 9 o'clock tonight with our Catherine. I will. Yeah, <laughs> you will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, Seven Day Savers. Uh, they expire tomorrow. We're launching brand new Seven Day Savers at 8 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow, what am I saying? I don't know. Hang on. Rewind, Janice. The seven-day savers expire tomorrow. We're launching new ones tomorrow at 8 o'clock. There you go. So here is your last chance within the late hours of tonight, early hours of the morning, to get your Quilting Cowboy set of two pattern booklets, California Springs and Deer Valley. Oh, Deer Valley. Deer Valley's beautiful. Uh, £9.98 for that particular patterns. Then we've got some polyester thread. You've got five white and five black. Very handy to have. Saving £10 on that deal. £11.99. Thanks. Back to Andy. What are we going to have a look at now, Andy? So this is the uh, basket weave. So um, there's two bits to the template. There is the triangle, and then there's this bit that we called the bar, because we had no idea what to call it. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure there was a proper ter terminology for a shape. I like the bar. Shape. So, so we called it the bar, because I... I Used to frequent frequent them often. So. Oh, I thought I thought you was going to say you, you, you like Shakespeare, but that's the bard and not the bar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'll just um, cut the um, the triangle out. Um, once again, they've got little corners that need to be nipped off. These are all if if the template has got a corner that's been nipped off, you need to do it. They're, yeah. they're not, I haven't I haven't cut it, cut the corner off to save acrylic. I've cut the corner off to save you time and, and yeah. effort in doing it. Okay. So the bar, as as we're calling it, is been made so it's two and a half inches wide. Okay. So therefore, that means you can use all your jelly rolls, 
fabric roll, whatever you like to call these these things that are two and a half inch that come in a strip that we've all got loads of them that you uh, you buy and store and keep in your wardrobe and only take out at midnight. Stroke them gently because you. <laughs> This fabric's too nice. Is to that use. why you can't take phone calls at midnight? Because you're stroking your. <laughs> we, ha we have a, we have a bedroom that is um, full of fabric. Yeah. Just piles and piles. Really. Of it. Yeah, because uh, we used to buy it by the meter just so we can make something, and then we thought, nah. So then we started buying it by the roll. So now we have more of it than ever. We do we do sell it occasionally at shows, but yes. um, but. But we, we don't tend to, we, we do bring the odd pack on the chander yeah. with something in, but... Have you missed doing shows this year, Andy? Not shows we, here at Hochanda, shows out and about, you know, the, the um, fairs. We've seeing people and yeah. the fun that we have, because we don't, although we travelled all the way around the country, we didn't just go to a place. If we went to, if we went to Edinburgh, we'd go early and we'd go and see something in Edinburgh, yeah. we'd go round it. So Aww. we used it as every we every show that we did, we had a mini holiday somewhere yeah. in the country for yeah. a couple of days. And all the people, all the other traders, um, you had Anthea on this morning. Yes. Um, you know, we'd all meet up in the bar and, and have a laugh and, <laughs> and nothing would be repeatable. For <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what happens after the quilt show stays? <laughs> oh, I'd love a behind the scenes with that. That would be hilarious. So, I've, I've cut the bar here. So, um, there is a simple rule to the to the um, to the basket weave. When sewing the triangles on, yeah, you can sew them from end to end. When sewing the bars to anything, you have to leave a gap at the end because they're the start and the stop because they've got a ah. Y seam. So um, that's sort of like as simple as that. So when the bar, when they come off the end, but that it explains it. But there's always an unpicker, so you can always, if you've if you've sewn it on too much. So we just, you know, you sew the one on there, and I think we haven't got that long. We've got how long? We've got five about minutes. Four minutes left four on the show. Minutes, so we'll. So you would sew the one onto that side, and then I've got another one the other side, so I can sew that on face down. I did these in, in batches because you otherwise you're going to be very confused as to which bit you attach and to which and the pattern and everything so so that's the other side on. Now we do you do get in the packet with the basket weave you do get a colouring in block. Yeah. Everyone likes to have a bit of a colour in so you do get a printout of of the shapes of the basket weave, various different ones that you can look at and that you can colour in yourselves oh, too. that's a good idea. You know, so that then you can play with the colours, see how yeah. it's going to work. And then also you've got that, you can count up how many greens there are, how many blues, yeah. so you know what to cut of everything. So you do get them in with the pack, so you can do them each time. It's a good idea for building up that 3D effect yeah. with your different fabrics, yeah. especially if you're putting the black and the white in there that really so looks effective. The, the 3D effect was made, this doesn't show up very well against my black shirt, does it? <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Yes. So the, the, the bars were made with a strip, so they, we sewed a strip of black and a separate strip of white together yeah. and then we cut the bars out of them. So that's how the one behind me was achieved, so uh, slightly different, but there is in, there's instructions on how to do that. So we just need it. We need a green one to uh, go on the top. So to say we we made it two and a half on purpose so that it would fit out of your block. So then the green one will go on the top. Now this is where you need. I don't know what I've done with my pen, but probably haven't got one somewhere. But never mind. Um, the template has got a tiny hole yeah. right in the edge. Um, so um, that's that's your start and your stop point yeah. because this is you're going to have a Y seam in this corner. So if you sew all the way through, you can't. So when I said about the triangles, you sew them all the way. The um, the bars you don't. So I'll put that on. So you're going to start just a quarter of an inch in on the corner. If you start a little bit further in than that, it doesn't matter. If you do less than a quarter of an inch, that's where it's going to cause you a problem and we'll sew that on and once again stop before the end um, and do that 
and then we'll just fold that over and press that. I think it's very, very clever to um, take this from a basket design and now you're making and creating some amazing segments for your quilts. It could be um, a cushion, actually, a cushion of this I mean, that, shape that can, would be that quite funky. That can go on. That, that's no, it's the block there. Yeah. Um, you can make that as big as you want. You could carry on the whole quilt in that wow. style. Um, you know, it, it's not limited to to any any particular size yeah. it carries on yeah. uh, you know as big as you as big as you want it so wow. like amazing that it really is amazing what are we going to be seeing at nine o'clock andy it's been a fascinating show so far but i know we've got some have we got some other items on the show at nine or no the, 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 there'll be the same items but we'll have some um more we'll have some more demos as perhaps some of the ones that we haven't got to or that because I mean, this is a this was a filling show for me i wasn't i wasn't meant to be on <laughs> <laughs> Like, so, the, the, we're meant to be on. You didn't realise you uh, had me. Yeah, the You're lovely, happy you've got Catherine. <laughs> the lovely Alice in the in your, your buyer's department phoned me up and begged me, can you do this for me? So, wow, you never, we've just given everything away right there. <laughs> you, never, you never say no to Alice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're watching at home, Alice. Hi. <laughs> well, listen, it's always a pleasure to have you here, Andy. You know that. If you want to go for your basket weave, £10.99, 088066 is your item number. These are incredibly clever and very, very easy to use, and they're going to make sure that you do something a little bit different with your crafting. If you want to go for your bunting, 9 99 that's all that is. Uh, that's from Crafty UK. Remember, all these are made by Andy and they're made here in the UK. The baby elephants have been very, very busy. They are so super cute and it's a good size they're limited stock along with the no Y swoops seam and the square and square wow limited all limited stock and mate will you have anything left for nine o'clock oh, i can go down the pub oh i can't because we're in lockdown my mistake <laughs> dear right andy it's been a pleasure i'll see you later uh, and we'll see you guys after the break do check out your baskets make sure you get thank you andy oh we've got studio light filled with love coming up with Catherine next deflecto happy hour deal some amazing deals in that show at seven and then we're back to the one day special a little later on Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Calling all crafters, this is a Hachanda announcement. We would like to inform you that our Hachanda buying crew have been busy searching for incredible brand new products and show ideas to inspire and stimulate all your crafty senses. So, watch out for Rosie's designs, Stitching Finger Kits, Janie's Originals, Emmeline Bags, Counting the Stars, Beck Beck Mix, Bergen and Bath, Gale Pan Designs, and Penguin Palace. 
We'll be checking in our latest new product arrivals from 6 p.m. on Thursday, the 21st of January. Gates close at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, the 27th of January. So, join us on board flight Hachanda Air for our new arrivals event. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. everyone it's six o'clock that means of course we're launching a brand new one day special now we will be introducing our guests I'm sure you can guess who it is we're saying hello to the lovely Lou with us shortly but it's all about love we've got love in the air here in the studio as well we have got the one day special we've got a big collection for you as well and of course we've got amazing demonstrations shall we I don't know if she's ready shall we say hello to Lou she looks like she's ready she's waving here she is oh look at you with your backdrop there how posh is that? I know, it fell on my head last night. <laughs> How are you, Lou? I'm really, really good. Um, I'm liking this, and I'm liking the theme of not just being about love, um, as in Valentine's, but I think we all need a bit of TLC at the moment, and sending it out to other people, I think it's a nice idea. So, Definitely. yeah, not just... Not just Valentine's. Of course it's not. Of course it's not. Well, we'll look at the one-day special first of all. Dispatch from the 25th of January, so not long to wait. Let's have a look because the one-day special itself are the dies. So let's have a look at these. I'm thinking straight away. You know, you're not just talking your cards again here, are you? You're talking your journals, your planners as well. We've got a lovely die there. When we get to it, I'll point it out. But there's a lovely little heart-shaped pocket as well. So, uh, Lou, obviously, we've mentioned already it's not just Valentine's. We're thinking about all those reasons you would send a card just to tell someone that you love them or you're thinking about them we're talking anniversaries aren't we as well here mother's day even yeah i think we, at this time now i know we really don't want to go on about it but it's really important that we sort of we're all in the same boat and it's nice to get a piece of uh, whether it's a card or it, whether it's just an email or something with something made for you and i think now is the time we need that sort of thing so just to say that, you, you know, a love art doesn't mean just love. It just means care, nurture, thinking. So you could do anything with these. You certainly can. And I did mention, kind of, it's kind of a pocket, isn't it? This heart here. You can see it's quite a large die. But I can see there's areas that you're going to score and fold there as well. So does it make kind of a pocket? Could be a secret pocket, maybe, in a journal or an album. Oh, yeah, look, it's, you've it's got one there. Pocket. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, make one. Because what happens is when you see a die like that, you think, oh, what's that? So I made one and it can be you could put them all together to make a, a big flower. But it's it's like a pocket. So it's that way, but a couple of them and you can make a book, a journal out of them or anything. But as I like to say, 
It's something that you could put a gift in, a little gift card. I really like that. Oh, like do you know what you could do? You could make a lot of those loans, string them together and put little gifts in each one. You know, like bunting, oh. but with gifts in there. Like about, uh, almost like, yeah, I yeah. can see it now, yeah. Ooh, I oh, yeah, I like Ooh, yeah, like that. our little favour pouches as well. Just want Ooh. to point out as well, you do get, you know, you've got a lot of different dyes on this one set, but you do also get the little eyelets there as well, and they are separate, so you don't have to put them in there. You can choose to have the eyelets if you want or not. So everything's been thought about. With the one-day special, you've got lots of dyes here. I'm not sure how many we've got all together over the three sets. We'll see if we can work that one out, but you do get three sets here. 35.97. Now, look at the saving on this one. £10 saving. That can be carried over to the full collection, so keep a tally of that. 155484. That's for the dies. And they're, oh, got it. 39 individual dies. That's what we've got amongst those three sets there. So straight away you can see the value, can't you? That's less than a pound a die. Now we do have more because we've got a bundle with stencils and washi tape in low. And I've got to say the washi tape is absolutely gorgeous. When I first saw washi tape, I thought it was one big thick reel. So when I got it all out and I've had, a, I've got it on a page here, it's superb because you've got some that's got from day to, you've got best, and you could do it, you know, handmade gifts. You yeah. could chop this up and put, and put it on the back of your stuff. It's brilliant. Love yeah. it. Love it. The black, the red and the white together. Do you know, it always works, doesn't it? And I can see there, we've got the date, the from, the two. So thinking about, yes, your planners again there. Washi tape is fantastic for that. But this bundle does also contain, of course, the stencils. And something else I love about uh, Studio Light, Lou, is you always get the little ring with each stencil, don't you? So you can string these together. But you can have spare rings. If you're going to get a lot of stencils, you don't need to put a ring in every single stencil. So you could use those for mm. maybe making your journals and your binders. These are lovely, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, you can use the little reinforcements to reinforce for the ring for those as well, because you get a couple of them in, in the other yeah. die cut yeah. as well. But yeah, they're great um, for making your own journals with, yeah. Absolutely. They really are. We're just looking at the stencils there as well. Actually, I think I'm going to, I did show the board with the washi tape on, but just to see the rolls, let me just bring these back in. Love the fact that you've got the narrow ones, the wider ones, and those in between as well. Very, very useful indeed. 12 rolls in total with those stencils. Four pounds saving on that one. So already, if you think about it, we've had 10 and a four, that's 14 pounds saving already. But individually, 13 pounds and 96 pence, 040611. Then, of because it wouldn't be studio like without some stamps, would it? Now, these are good fun, aren't they? I adore, absolutely love the heart that's made up of hearts, Lou. Yeah, I like, there's loads of them. And really, you need to sit down and have a bit of a mess with this so you can have a look around what they actually do because there's some that will never be off your desk. Like the little hearts are great for backgrounds. Those optical illusion ones are brilliant. Yeah. They, they play yeah. with you. they mess with your red, those. That's the one More I'm looking at, that do. heart with the hearts. We've got a lovely sample, yeah. kind of a, it could be a scrapbook page or it could be a journal page using that. But you've got yeah. so many elements here again. Two sets, your hearts and doodles. There's actually 38 individual stamps there as well. And I love the fact that we've got some of the solids in there. They're made with love. You can see it stamps that solid background and it leaves the, you know, the text there clear, doesn't it? Just for you, sweet yeah. love, forever and always. Life is better together. Then, of course, you've got your with love, your for you as well. So you can keep these separate or you could use them together as well. And as always, we see a lovely mix of different texts there as well, Lou. Yeah, and there's a teeny weeny little hole punch. And they'll fit those round solid ones, like almost to make them out of shrink plastic or something. So yeah. to make great little carvings and things. So, yeah, but the, those little dies, get a magnetic sheet for them. Because otherwise, definitely. That's fine. Well, a £3 saving on the stamps, 12 98 that's all it is if you want to go for those individually, 706-517. So that would be, that's 14, £17 saving already on the items we've seen. But there's something else we haven't shown you yet as well, and you've already found it, the paper pad. Now, this is a 12 by 12 This is a lovely pad as well, Lou, because you've got, of course, the black, the white, and the red in the colour scheme in there. But you've got glitter card in here. You've got pages that have got the resist on them as well so you can add your own colours and bring through the detail as well. 
watercolour and sheets there. There is this ones, I think. The die cutting sheets are in there as well. So you've got ready-made toppers, you've got embellishments, you've got things you can pop into pockets. Maybe with the uh, template that you've got with the dies as well, these would work very, very well. Just a lovely paper pad. And another £3 saving there, 10 185406 So that is £20 saving, if I've done my maths correctly so far. Now, as always, we do offer you a full collection as well, and a lot of you have found that as well. So let's take that £20 that we've just added up on those individuals and give you another £5 on top. That's what you're seeing there. But Freedom members, look at this, an extra £11.89. Oh. So you would be saving... £31.89 if you're a Freedom member. And it's on Flexi as well. Already, when it comes to the full collection, 10% of the stock has gone. This is busy, Lou. Everyone's loving this. That paper, you know, the glitter paper, it doesn't shed either. You know, like, it's encapsulated. Yeah. So it won't go everywhere. We'll have a look mm, at that, really actually. Nice. I think I've just flicked two mm. pages straight away. Let me just go to these die-cut elements because, of course, you can see lots of die-cut elements in there. I mean, even down to the little gingham bow, that is beautiful. You know, you've got lots of ways of quick embellishments here. Or, you know, keeping your cards simple, just one topper would work very well. We can see we've got the scalloped edges there. Loving the lips, actually, the kissing lips. Uh, what else have we got in there? We've got uh, the hearts that are replicated from the from the stamp set as well as there, I've just noticed. Yeah, the, the, everything is doubled up, so it all mixes and matches. And, and I really like the idea that you're not left left thinking, oh, what can I put with that? It's done for you. Everything's done. It is. Now, I'm just going to show you the glitter card then. Then I'm going to go back to some of those pages. Let me just see if I can catch the light with this one. Oh, let's see if we can get that. It is, oh, there it is. Can you see? It's very, very sparkly. It's absolutely beautiful. Right. I agree fine, with you. It's, it's non-shed, isn't it? I can see that. Yeah, but it's, it's really fine, isn't it? It's not. Some some glitters are quite. Um, I don't know what's the word, but this is quite fine. I really like these. Yeah, really they are like beautiful. Them. We've got the white. We've got that gorgeous red. When it comes to the glitter, we've got the silver as well, which is beautiful. And we've got the watercolour pages, the resist pages as well. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'm sure Lou at some point will show us these. I just flex that. Can you see the resist on the pages? So you add your colour over the top. And wow, you're really going to see those designs come through, aren't you, Lou? Yeah, that's my first demo because I think when you see how easy and quick you can make one card with just one element, you've got four there. Yep. I don't want to use them all. I have to buy two. <laughs> well, you can go for the extra paper pad, you know. We have got it for you at the bottom of the screen oh. there, 10 .99. Now, let's have a look at a few samples as well. We've got all sorts of beautiful samples. Can we just have a look at this one to the side of me, actually? Because that's the one. If we look at this, this could be a journal page. It could be a scrapbook. You could add a photograph or something to that. It could be a canvas. Look at those hearts, those optical illusion hearts. Obviously, using the paper pad there for the main heart on there. But look into the background there. You've got the washi tape on there as well. Lovely example of how to use the whole of the collection here as well of course you've got your love is all you need there if you want a very simple card that works so well and of more when we come to journals and books and things like that as well Lou do you know the dies themselves are perfect I love how fine these are as well look at that when you look at the die, it's it's a bit mis misleading because you're looking at the die you, you see the die cut it's a lot finer than you think yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm really, 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 really proud. These are beautiful samples by the girls. They really are. I've got, I've got to mention Karen and um, it was the, bl the big, the blue one at the beginning, and we've got Liz and Rachel and Susan, uh, and they've done really, they have done brilliant ones. They have. This one is from Liz, actually. And, of course, oh, now then, there is a lovely sample here. Let me just pick this one up. I don't know if you've spotted this one because it was at the front of the counter, but this is the pocket, isn't it, Lou? So if I just turn yeah. this to the side so you can see that fold there as well, you can see the dimension, and then you can pop something into that little pocket, which is beautiful. In fact, I need to turn this to the back as well. Not only is the front, the side, beautiful, but also the back as well because we've got those lovely lips on there as well. That's one of that's what I mean. I mean that is that's that's the real yeah, Caesar likes the detail. She's really good at stuff like that. And she thinks I like the um the, how she's taken one heart and cut it cut it out of the die cut and used it on its own. I think it's clever. She's clever like that. 
Yeah, she's very, very clever, as is everyone who's uh, sent in the samples, yeah. of course. Now, 20% of the yeah, stock yeah. has gone. Phone lines are busy, almost 20%, I should say. Now, I'm just going to show this one because it does say on there, Be My Valentine. It's a waterfall effect, which is fabulous. Those toppers are all out yeah. of the paper pad as well. But I do want to show yeah. as well, Lou, that this isn't just for Valentine's, of course. I mean, you can go with oh. any colour. This is one of Karen's. I love that. That is Karen's very clever, blue isn't it? Is looking foul. Yeah, she's. I like the way you know. Bring in the other stuff that you've got. Make it so really personal to you. Definitely. And like I say, love is all about just hearts of Valentine's. But I like the way she's used the washi with the hearts. I think she's been really clever yeah. with that. Love the blues in there as well. That's another one of Karen's as well. And we've got one from Rachel here as well. Now, oh. Lou, just as we're looking at a few more samples yeah. and going through a few numbers, I know you've, you're ready to go for demo or should be all, almost ready to go. If there's anything you t need to do, if you want to do that now, we'll just give a few more numbers and we'll throw over to you as soon really? as possible. Is that okay? That's fantastic. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. And oh, I love that one. I've got to say, that's one of Rachel's, but look at the colours in there. Nothing Valentine's about that at all. Completely the opposite, in fact. It could be for any occasion indeed. Well, we are very busy on the full collection. Don't forget, Freedom members, look at that saving on top of all those savings we've already got. Oh, it makes it a why not deal, doesn't it? Because if you're not a Freedom member, 597, look, you're still going to make extra savings as well. 635-442 is the item we need for the full collection. Now, we do have more things to tell you about a little bit later on, but I think Lou is ready for uh, demonstration, so I think we're going to throw over there now. You can go to the website, of course, and find everything, but I'm loving what I'm seeing here already. The black, the white, and the red, it's just gorgeous. Lou, are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready whenever Perfect. you are. We're all, we're, yeah, we're fine, I think. Um, what I wanted to show you was, I'm having, I'm having a fight with me, Pat. Um, <laughs> what I wanted to show you is, when, when I got this and I, I looked at it and I thought, yeah, I want to use red because I really like the idea. I don't use red a lot and I think using it, it makes me sort of a bit out of my comfort zone in the colour wise. And I thought, it's good. So I went around the house um, and this is what I did. I went and got all the bits that I thought would work with it. So I got my threads yeah. and I got my embossing powders and I got my glitters and I got my um, sequins and I thought... It's a good chance for us all just to go around your house and just check all the stuff that we've got that we could add. So, you, you know, in the studio, I can't ring everything. But when I'm when I'm there, you know, at home, I can see, get yeah, your pencils course. out. and everything. So this is what I decided to do. But the first thing I wanted to do was show you that one of the pages in the in the stack, it cuts up to these. And these are individual toppers on their own. So really, all you need to do is a tiny bit of washi tape with that. And then you've got a card made. You so have, it's so, so, yeah. simple, so simple. And these, these are really nice. And I think washi tape's a bit understated because you see it on a roll and that's all you look at. When you get it out and you look at it, you say, oh, there's a bit more to it, a lot more. So I sat down and I also got my old big, bright colours out because I thought that'll work as well and then I sat down and I did this now you're gonna laugh but I think some people like to see this so uh, this is all my planning but I, I thought I'll show you all the different ways using this stack that I come up with right hang on sorry not but I hope it's not boring you too much no no um, no we're loving all, it all the different ways oh, just wow. using what we've got of card fronts and wow. empty layers so that's what i mean like when you get this just think about all the elements you've got and then just forget about a, one card just think right how could i make i could put that on there and that on there and your only way to do that is to get your die cuts out and do them okay. and then play around so yeah. i come up with all those and it really does and then i did all my die cutting as normal made a mess and then I've got these. Now, these are the resists. So what we've got are some wonderful um, text and textures and things that come out when you actually add colour. So the first now, one is... These are sheets from the paper pad, aren't they, Lou? So if anybody yeah. wants to go for extra, you can do. Lou has cut hers down, obviously. So it depends yeah. on, the, on the page that you've got, actually, because one is already in those quartets, so you can just cut into each one, so you do get the four six-by-sixes. Another is an overall sheet, but we're going to see the magic here, I think. 
Yeah, that's I'm using the one that splits into four, but you have got another one that goes into nine. And what you can do is just sort of get your I like to put a little bit of water on it first and just okay. let the water spray because it's really thick card this. Yeah, it it's is not, I noticed that. Um, it's not thin stuff. And I was really sort of, oh, this is interesting that it's so um so so sort of thick. Anyway, I put a little bit of water on there and there's a stamp that's very similar to this. And it's really, um, it's quite a small stamp, so it's not too sort of in your face, but it'll work well with this. So I sprayed some water on, and the next thing is, what I want you to do is just, now you might not see that at home, but I've just painted a, a heart on it, right? Okay, just yeah. a heart in water. And then I'm going to get some of my watercolour. Now you can use any watercolour you've got, anything that you've got that you like and then we could just now i'm using a dark color and it just sort of all of this oh, look at those little hearts coming through now and then i'm gonna another color i've got no water in the pot oh no i have i have got water in it it's just it's it's about you know you've got a massive big dish of water and there's about one inch in bottom right so i'm allowing the heart to have the color in again and it's nice and bright this so you can see and while it's like this you can sort of play around with the shape and and this is when you can sort of yep yeah, we've got a great card it's a brilliant front but now what you can do is bring your own element to it because you know you might want a bit of bright orange in it you might want this but this is to me the bit that makes these cards different from everyone else's because these aren't made like this you're actually doing this yourself and then a very thin wash you don't want it thick you and you don't want it to be too sort of bold in the background because you want that to be the element and then just okay. go all the way over like that don't go up to the line yet because if you do it might still be too wet to take it so go back to the red and, and depending on what red you want, you go for a cold red or a warm red. So just, I'm using um, a bit of both. Okay. So, right. Now, when you've got to that, so you can just, just take in the edge of the white paper off, then dry your brush off a little bit and then just dampen the edges together. And what that hopefully will do is help them to blend. So it'll soften them without creating a real sort of heavy edge. Yeah. I hope that's coming across. So here it might need a little bit. So this is where you might get a little bit more on your paper. But well, you've got your heart ready and you need to let that dry. You do need to let that dry because um, even though it's watercolour paper, it will it will sort of buckle and bevel. If you want to add more colour while well, you can, but you get the idea of how that looks. That resist um, is amazing, once. isn't it? When you see you go over the top with the water there um, and it see is. it kind of move away from that resist area, it's really interesting yeah. to watch. Do you know, we are busy on the full collection, everybody. A quarter of the stock has already gone on the full collection. Right. Now, Lou, we this will be back to you in a little while. I uh, just want to do a couple yeah. of things, actually. We're just going to look at one or two other items as well. So moving away, of course, from the one day special and the full collection for a moment, I want to tell you about this. I think this is such a great idea. This is a build your own, basically, a, a, a scrapbook pad if you want if you, that's no the best way of putting it really now what you've got here are 12 different designs to choose from and you choose any 12 so that means if you want one of each you certainly can do if you've got a particular favorite and you want to go for a favorite then you can of course multi buy on that one so it's entirely up to you so the first one we've got is stag silhouette and you can see why it's called that isn't that beautiful then we've got woodland stag so i'm going to show you front and back because these are double-sided isn't that gorgeous? These are beautiful. Oops. Oh, I dropped one. Uh, we've got Winter Fox. Very thoughtful, isn't he? Lovely stuff. We've got Winter Woodland next. Again, that overall background there. You've got more stags on the back of there. as well. Isn't that lovely? Lots of air in the front there to, to place your photographs and things. Forest Scenes is there for you. You could cut those out individually as well. You've got a full background there as well on the reverse of that one. 
winter foliage we've got here, those beautiful reeds. We've still got the woodland animals there as well in those jars. Again, a lovely sort of overall background there to work with as well. Look at those stags in there again. Winter stag. These are gorgeous, aren't they? Do you know, you can go for more than one if you want. Multiply however you wish. Go for 12 of the same one. Go for whatever mix you like. Winter bench is this next one. Let's have a look at the reverse of that one. Oh, oh, how cute is that? Oh, the Arctic wolf. Love that with the roses in there as well. That's pretty. And there's the reverse. Oh, oh, that would be definitely in mine. Love the roses, love the wolf, love the cabin especially. And then we've got the polar bear. Let's have a look at the reverse of that one. Oh, you've got the owl on that one. Aren't these beautiful? And then we've got animal scenes. Oh, look at the raccoon. Let's see what's on the reverse of this. I've not even seen all of these before now. There we are, beautiful background again. And then we've got Winter Lodge for you. A really nice mix again of those different animals. You've got the lodge on there as well. And then on the back, you've got that beautiful snowy scene. So, 12 sheets, double-sided, remember, for 9 99 And you can choose how you configure that. That's up to you. A £2 saving on these, 370999 is the item number. So do consider that as well. And in the meantime, we're going to head back to Lou and see what she's up to next. OK, Lou, over to you. Yeah, great stuff. What I've done is I've um, just got to leave this to dry. And, and rather than hot, heat it again because it's, it's resist, I'm going to leave it to dry now. So I've got, I've damped down one of my cards now you can use either or it doesn't matter which one but this one's got love on and I've just cut a piece of card that I think will go across it and then what I'm going to do is choose a stamp that I'm going to work on so what I'll do is I'll, I'll choose this one no this one and that that many that many right so this has got hearts in it what I'm going to do is just a tiny bit I don't want to put too much color on but okay. I'm just going to get a tiny bit of red and I'm going to put the red on there. Now these are really old ink pads and I've used these because it was a bright red that I wanted. So, you know, you might have different ones. I've got, I've got a tiny one there that oh, wow, hardly yeah. anything. Look at that. I didn't realize there were so many different designs on there. Exactly. So you can go really dark. I'll show you straight on. So if you want to, I just wanted to show people that there's lots of different ways of doing this. Because people just think there's one way of doing it, but there isn't. If you put the, the, the ink straight on or you can wipe it off because the wrist allows uh, the resist allows it. So I quite like that one. I'm well, going to put now work in the same way as well, Lou, our water-based yeah, sprays. Absolutely. All those sprays work. Um, anything like that works. You just um, need to... What I would do is just try it. If it's water-based, it'll work, simply as that. And yeah. if it's acrylic or anything like that, all you need to do is just try it. But, yeah, all of these should work. So we've got the pattern coming through quite, you know, it's not too strong. Uh, what you can do, though, is in the meantime, if you wanted to, you can even put this on and go back over it, if you wish, get a bit more ink on your thing, and then you'll get it darker in the hearts you can just see oh and then, i like that actually because you've still got that resist yeah you can just see the hearts there you yeah. might not be able to see it much yeah. but the hearts are in the side so that's another thing so you just basically build up the color where you want it and i really like this because you can't make a mistake if you wanted to use watercolor you can still use watercolor and it just it goes straight into the paper look so yeah. anything you can use anything yeah. right what you do need to do is wipe it off the resist as soon as possible because if you don't, what happens is you get a residue and then you get this cube. So okay. straight over, leave that there. There's a bit down here that still needs more. It is like magic, isn't see. it, when you watch it come through? Oh, I love it. So I've got that there and I've got this and I'm going to just do... Now, the thing is, I thought I had my sticky inks, but I haven't. So I'm going to try and see whether this will work on here. So I'm going to get the stamp. I'm going to, I've got the stamping block. I've got my ink pad. And I'm just going to... I'm going to try. I look for these and I think, which would I like? And I think I'm going to try with this one because it's hearts but it's not they're not too heavy the hearts that you know like some are quite strong now i'm going to see if this works with this ink pad it may it may not it's weird but it's um, an, a pigment one so sometimes they do show up on black you just have to check 
So I'm just going to put that there. Yeah. So it just takes a bit of a sort of stamping on and off, and I'm going to emboss it as well. So I'm using it really than just using it for the colour. I'm going to be using it as a, you know, a card front, but yeah. I wanted it. I want the colour. If I miss with an embossing powder, with it being red, it won't matter because I'll still be able to see the red underneath it. So it's a bit of a, you know, in case you make a bit of a fluff up. So <laughs> what I've got there, because we do, sometimes you'll hit and miss. With, yeah. with, and I, these are the only bright colours I tend to have because most of the others are quite subdued. So I thought, well, I'll get those big bright ones out now. I've got bright red now. Now, you might not like this, but sometimes, as I said earlier before, you need to break out. Oh, come on. You need to break out your comfort zone. And by using these colours, I it just it just opens new doors for me because I think, oh, I really like that. I forgot I had that colour. Now, this has got a bloom on it. So um, that means that we'll have a lovely gold happening when, when, when it dries. So, so far, we've got the back, we've got the white, we've got some die cuts that I've done already. Now, I'm going to dry this, so okay. it wouldn't, shouldn't take a minute, but you can tie it to you if you want to watch. I love this. I don't think I've ever, ever got tired of seeing it. Well, just as, is, um, sorry, just as you're drying that off, Lou, I'll just give the details. They are on the screen there, but for anybody who was buying, of course, the full collection, over a quarter of the stock has now gone. Remember, from the individuals, we're carrying over all the savings. We're giving you extra savings on top. If you're a Freedom member, you're getting an extra £11.89. We've already carried over £20. So that's £31.89 saving on the full collection. If you're not a Freedom member, you're going for that collection. Join now. You will still make extra savings. 635-442 is the item number. And, of course, you have got the dies. You will get the stencils and the washi tape. You're going to get the stamp sets and you're going to get the paper pad as well. And we can split the cost for you. Two payments of £31 and a penny if you're a Freedom member. And this is going to keep you going all year round. I mean, you should get this in time for Valentine's, but we're much more than that, aren't we? We're talking about, you know, just those, those little letters or those little cards or projects that we want to send just to let someone know we're thinking about them. Anniversary, you know, Mother's Day isn't that far away as well. So do think of all those other occasions you don't have to stick to the black and the red and the white as a color scheme i can so see these being used these dyes so many times in your journals I and mean, your albums as well as your card making as well some really pretty designs in there as well now we do have something else to tell you about as well we've got some essential dyes for you now these are really nice the booking book booking bucket no not bucket button a pocket <laughs> and the burst card with a seven pound saving on these 28 pounds and 98 pence great size die sets there again in fact you've got more dies than you'll probably realize amongst those two sets there 186457 is the item number on those so don't miss out on those as well right back to Lou right sorry I've got all the papers out as well and I've got some multicolored papers and I thought they're a bit um it's the strange the, the sort of gold and red and I thought they really look well with this but embossing powder just to show you that you get what we call a bloom on but when you dry dry when it's all dry and you wipe it off you can see that it's no longer it's it's the bloom's gone but you've got a red gold shimmer on this you have so, I can almost see a green coming through there as well exactly and now I've ripped the edges of this because I quite like so this is one of the dies in the kit so what I've done is I've just thought right well I do like that this die you get fits all the ones in the book okay yeah so this page in your book you yes, get a die yeah fits it so you can die for all of them if you want so we've got these so I really like this now I'm going to just put this together the pocket could sit there, but I quite like just having just a couple of these together. And this is what oh, be one of my nice. favourites. Like it, it's a really lovely one. And you can sort of die cut it, cut it out, um, play with it. And, and I think personally, all you need now is a bit of love. And there's your card done. You know, you don't need much more than that. I mean, I'll finish it by all means, but I just think, you know, we, what we tend to do is 
think about overcomplicating things. Now, I think even that looks nice, but I do like this bit of gold on it. And if you want to, what you can do is overlay two or three of them. So I've got one wrong there. If I put that one over it, and we get the two. Oh, I like that, love. Lou. That looks really good. And then what we've got is this one is the heart one with the love. And that goes over both. I really think you can sit there and do what I've done and spend hours just drawing out the little designs um, that you think will work. And it, it's endless. I mean, I can glue all this down as much as I want, but I'll just show you by adding certain things. Each one looks totally different. Yeah, it's amazing um, how those little elements change it. Just going to put, just to show you here. Now, this is um, one of the die. No, the washi tape, sorry. Oh, come on, where's the end? <laughs> right. Oh, where's the end? Right. Right, I'm getting another one. I'll get this one. And this has got love on it. So if I was to just show you that this looks brilliant as well, just a line there, take yeah. it off, a line down there, rip it, and then do the next one that way. I think because we've got a lot of red, we've got white as a card, if we bring... The white in it tends, I think this tends to make it look like ribbon. Yeah, it looks completely different and again. It does totally different. Now it looks quite angular. We've taken that off. We're going to put that in there now. We'll put the, those back on. We could put that, I think that's too much. So I'm going to go back with this again. And then this here. Uh, and then to me, Aww. another card done. Yeah, that so pulls it all together endless. beautifully. Endless. I mean, I could put them all on black card or whatever you wanted me to. But at the end of the day, it wasn't so much about that. It was about showing you how each one can look entirely different, a little bit of different colour, and you just go on for ages and ages and ages doing them. So it's entirely up to you. Um, I can't. Would you like me to glue them down, or would you like me to show you some more techniques? Uh, we'll see some more techniques if that's okay by you, Lou. If you want Absolutely. to get set for another demonstration, and we'll show a few more samples in the studio, if that's okay, because the design team have worked yeah. so hard. I've just spotted this one in the, at the back, actually. This is one of Susie's. Love that. Again, you know, it does say Be My Valentine's, but you could change that, again, to an anniversary or a different uh, occasion as well. I adore the die-cut hearts there. They're almost like scribbled hearts, aren't they? But putting a few of those on together, what a lovely effect you've got there. Absolutely beautiful. And again, with that pocket die, that could be exchanged for the heart there as well. And you could tuck something inside that pocket. Maybe it could be a, a secret love note, or maybe it could be a ticket to somewhere for future times. Who knows? We've got more samples on the back there as well. But I want to remind you again that we have got... Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's just from the paper pad again, you see. Because you've got the red, the black, and the white all there together. But, I mean, there's nothing to stop you, again, adding further colour. Let me show you this wonderful book again. This is by Liz. Uh, I'm not going to open all the pages up, but you have got bits tucked away in these pockets here. There's cards at the top that, of course, you can put photographs on or decorate in other ways. But it just shows you, again, different ways of working with all of the different elements. Don't forget, with your die cuts as well, use those as stencils. You do get stencils in the complete collection, but use your dies as well. There you can see that that resist page. I've not even realised that until I saw Lou doing that demonstration. I thought that had been stamped on there. And I, I adore those lips. I think they're perfect. Do you know, if you're sending a card to somebody and want to seal it with a kiss, that's the perfect op opportunity, isn't it? Let's have a look at one or two more again. Oh, let me bring in that pocket one again for you because I really want to show you this. This is such a lovely idea. If I bring the die set in again, of course, from the one-day special, you are getting the dies, but the full collection, you also get them. This is the die that creates the pocket. There are smaller dies within that die set as they're placed on the card there. But the whole of that, you know, you've got the score lines built in, you've got the little tab that you stick down, and it does create that beautiful pocket that then you can, you know, tuck a little gift in there again, or a photograph, or a little love note, or whatever you want it to be. I love the shape of this as well. If I just bring that forward, that's a clever use of the border that Lou was shown is there as well. So it's almost as though it's standing on the very point of the heart there. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But just a reminder as well that it doesn't have to be Valentine's at all. Stay clear of the red, the black and the white, if you wish. You're not going to get much brighter than that, are you? But look at the background with the love all in the background there. Then you've got the dyes and the stamps that have been used. All in the blue there as well. The blue, the white and the black looks amazing. 
And of course, we're not just talking cards, we are talking your little home decor pieces as well and your projects. Beautiful. Now, almost 30% of the stock has gone when it comes to the full collection. This is the first live hour, remember. And we've got that flexi on you. Individually, yes, you can go for those. If you've got your eye on something specific, you will make savings. But carrying all those savings over and then the extra saving on top, the biggest saving by far is on the full collection. 635 442. Don't forget that washi tape is also included. I'm just going to show you that board again. If you're going for the individuals, then the washi tape comes with the two stencils, but with the full collection, you are getting 12 rolls of washi tape included. There we are. That's just them, you know, basically just put onto a piece of card so you can see what you're getting, but you can overstamp those, write on them, tear into them, do whatever you wish. It's a lovely collection. Right. I don't know if Lou's ready to go again. I can, oh, oh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. All right, I'm going to leave it with you, Lou. Oh, right. Sorry. Sorry, I butted in. How rude of me then. Sorry about that. No, no, um, I just wanted to show you this stuff. I love these. That's a really cool stamp, isn't it? it so is. all I'm doing is using a rather jaded archival ink pad. I would, pr you know, probably if you've got a stamp platform, use one. And then I think sometimes I don't put the stamp on right. And what I do is I leave a bubble in, in the middle just there. Oh, I see so what I, you mean. Yeah. So it's and not stuck down quite away. all the way across. Yes. And I think, let me see. See, see, the bubble's gone. Yeah. I just redid it. So just what I, the way I do it now is I just sort of roll it down. And then I do, and I just wanted to show you how nice it would look if you could make, I'm just going to make like my own background here. And you'd be surprised if I just put this into a, you know, into a frame. Yeah. With a little bit of red on yeah. it. Oh, yes. It'd be, that'd be done, wouldn't it? It would. So I, I really love this stuff. I really love it because you've got lots of optical illusion with it, but it really works on these. These are the packs out of the sheets. So you yeah, get the sheet, the and I've just, yeah, I've decided to cut them up. And it was this one, and it was a few I thought you could just add. Now, the one we was writing, using before, the love one, um, this one, sorry, it's got the same background as that. So it's the oh, handwriting. Yes. Yeah. So basically, you could just use a little bit, little bit of red washi and you're done. But I just wanted to show you how you can sort of make your own little identity on these. Um, I really like this because it's sort of misstamped and it looks like a sale ticket to me. You know, oh, when you go to the shop yeah. and I can see what you mean. Not down. <laughs> And I just thought that on there, get your um, stamp platform on it because then it'll work properly. Properly, and I just really like. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I love that stamp. Isn't it good? But yeah. then what we'll do is because yeah. um, at the moment I'm doing doodle doodle mad here. At the moment I do a doodle every day, so we call it moodle doodling. <laughs> and all I'm going to do now is just do one line. Okay. And then a wiggle around it. And then a third line with a wiggle around it. And then what you've done is you've got basically your own pad and uh, you've got your own sort of, how do, what, what do you call it? You know, when you do your own little embellishments. Now, when I do this, I tend to sort of do this and then I colour in little bits of it. Okay. So if you wanted to just take one element of this, one little piece of this paper, cut it, create, as put a stamp on it, then add your own doodles. You've got a unique piece of artwork. Seriously, oh, it's unique. It could be like you stitched it. around it. You could have a loose thread or something. Absolutely. I think stitching would be perfect for it. If you get a white pen on this as well. Now, I, I'm, I am so famous for none of my white pens working. Oh, Tell me about it. it's working now. <laughs> so that's not, I, I can't believe this. Anybody who sees me will know I never have a white pen that works. <laughs> so now what I'm doing, it's true. I'm going to. Have you got glue that's that, not bunged up, that. though, Lou? Because every time you're in the studio, oh, no, your glue's bunged. Oh, it's all unbunged. Mark oh, unbunged brilliant. it for me. <laughs> right, so <laughs> I'm just going to copy this. So. You don't have to. You can just put your own little designs on like that, your little doodles. So yeah. I'm looking at that. 
I'm looking at that, looking at that. Let me get, you've got just a card front. So if I wanted to use this, I'm just going to fold it. You might not want it joining there. But I just wanted to show you how quick and simple uh, it all comes together. So I'm looking at the little hearts and I've got the little hearts there. And this is what I mean about when I draw out all my layouts. It, I do it so that I really do get to know what my card looks yeah. like or what my you know, elements look like together. I'm just going to put one. Is that skew it? Oh, it doesn't matter. Skew it. <laughs> and I'm just going to put that there and have that there. Oh, I think I'll have it across. And, and no, that's skew with that, isn't it? That my eyes are going wobbly. I think it. I think right. it's those so, optical illusions, those hearts. It will look in it. Well, yeah, it is with me. <laughs> right, that's better. It is. That's better. Right, can you see now? I've just put that over there like that. So put that there, and then I would always chop these from behind, like. But I'm just going to fold them over for okay. the moment. Yeah. Then what you can do is get one of the hearts that sort of go with it, or you could get the love. But if you've got this one, which is stunning, oh, you can just chop out all the extra bits. And so you've got lots of different size hearts there. You you've have, got a big yeah. one on its own, a little one. So, you know, you don't have to stick with just that little one or whatever. You can do whatever you want. And then... That's a nice I'm one like as well. It, that on there and it yeah. just looks stunning but again little elements um there's all these as well that people miss and these are beautiful and they're, they're really beautiful like fleur de, uh, not fleur de lis like ornamentation you know stuff i don't think that goes but i really like that on there and there stamped it a little bit of washi tape i think it needs a little bit there not all the way a little bit of washi tape and before you know it you've got all these cards made and the unique because you stamped and you've doodled all over. So again, another card. Lovely. Very so contemporary as well. Really nice, clean look. Yeah. But at the same time, you've Absolutely. got quite a lot of um, ink on there as well. But it's the yeah. bright red, isn't it? Beautiful. Now, yeah. we are over 30% of the one day special. Sorry, not the one day special. The full collection gone there because the complete collection, of course, you are getting the dyes. You're getting the stencils and the washi. You are getting the paper pad. You're also getting the stamps as well. Huge savings on this one. It says it's saving 11.89 there as a Freedom member, but that is once adding on top once we've taken those single um, savings over from the individuals as well. So £20 savings on the individuals plus the 11.89. That's £31.89 and, and split over Flexi. Two payments as well. There you are, £31 and a penny per payment now i'm just going to show you again through this paper pad of course you can go for this individually if you want to add an extra one into your collection you can do as well we'll bring the details up at the bottom of the screen they are all die cut if i just turn that over so you can see they are die cut so it's just a case of popping those out i think it is a great idea to take those out of the pages and do play around as lou's been showing us with the die cut elements that she's made herself you know do the same with the paper pad don't forget you are going to get a die that corresponds with these shapes here these scallop circles as well so you don't have to fussy cut those out you can use your die to cut those out or you maybe even want to leave a little frame in there you've also got the ribbon borders in this page as well and then you've got those lovely toppers these are the ones that Lou was just showing us there you've got an awful lot in fact you've got is it 12 on there it will be 12 four times three yeah 12 different toppers there as well some of these pages are double-sided as well so this one here look you've got the beautiful red with the font on there but then you've got that checkered effect on the back there that graph also almost even there as well you've also got the the love stamp there as well I like that as so though it's been sealed with wax or something so don't forget you have got double-sided elements in here and then i'll flip over those because i want to show you these beautiful beautiful glittery cards again and it is encapsulated so you can't rub that off it isn't going to shed all over the place that beautiful white is in there you're also going to get the red and the silver as well let me just show you those because they are stunning look at that red that's a true red isn't it absolutely beautiful and that silver is gorgeous as well and then of course you get those watercolor sheets as well now you do get Lou did say nine elements on one page I hadn't realized actually there was nine to start with but you can as I'm just flexing that and catching the light I think you can see those we've got sentiments in there we've got the hearts in there we've got a wreath in there and other items as well and then we've got the quartet as I call it because the 12 by 12 has been split into four there I think you can just about see that as well now I've realized where that love background has come from with that beautiful card with all the bright colors 
as well. So there's your paper pad. It is just part of that full collection. As I say, available individually as well if you want to go for extras or just for that. But let's go back over to Lou. Just one more thing to say, actually. A third of the stock of the full collection is now gone. It is very busy. And I've got an eye on what uh, Lou is doing. We're going back to where we started, aren't we, Lou, here? Yeah, I, I wanted to show you because not part of me just doing it and then thinking, well, what should you do that for? So um, I've got some thread, um, and the first thing I'm going to do is just, for me, I'm just going to go, I know it looks daft, but oh, I don't want that end. That's a bit dodgy, that end. Get rid of that. <laughs> if it's really dodgy, the end, don't have that on it, right? So it's just a little bit of playing around, really, because I don't often get to do this. You did I, that quick. Mine's on. Well, it's because I'm not thinking about it. If we sit there and think about it, we're there forever, won't we? So, you know, and it works better. It's like my hair. It's having a month off at the moment, my hair. <laughs> so it, it's decided it's, it's left me. It's being a teenager. So I'm just leaving it. And then whenever I leave it and then do it again, it looks all right. So it's like, you know, pretend it's not there and it'll come back. Anyway, so I've got thread thread and I've got a bit glittery bits on it and it looks yeah. a bit it doesn't look nice it doesn't look nice that it doesn't i know it doesn't but i don't want it to at the moment because what i'm going to do is add my own bits now i should have done this before but never mind and all you're going to do is get a red pen and just do your like scratchy lines like you did before okay. yeah just a red pen you can use a black one this is a ball uh, this is an ink pen it doesn't matter what you use as long as it, it, it sort of works on the resist. Now, you can rub these in because it'll rub off any resist. So um, it, it's not waterproof ink. But then, okay. quite like that. Then I've got this love one. Oh, this is a beautiful dye. And then I've put it over the top. So really, it's a bit of glue showing there. The background is irrelevant now because it's the actual dye that, cut really that we're good. looking at. Um, and then, you know, what you can do is if you're, say, you, you, you know, you're really not liking that, you can wash it out a little bit if you wish like that, but I'm not, I quite like that. So what I'm going to do now is just leave it like that. And I do think sometimes, oh, there we go. Sometimes these little bits that we've cut off, because they're already, um, already primed, so to speak, um, I, I like to cut these down and then keep them as really nice little sentiment bits. So what 